とまるな。Oh, shucky ducky, ladies and gentlemen, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's, uh. <sighs> it's the 16th of June. Oh, sorry, it's the 16th of July, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's the 16th of July. And that means it is time for TennoCon. Now, <clears throat> TennoCon is not going to begin for quite some time. So instead, we're going to. What if I tell you it's still 15 here in um, the Philippines? <laughs> Can't really do anything about that, eh, PB? Also, I get the feeling it won't be because time zone wise, uh, Philippines should be close enough to Australia that. Um, I mean, are you two hours or. I don't know. Bottom line is. It is the 16th here in Australia. And it's not the 16th in the Philippines, if memory serves, because you guys are a few hours behind us, not a few, not an entire, almost an entire day behind us. So, um, yeah, there we go. But you're, anyway, uh, before we begin tonight's stream, with which there is definitely quite a lot of things I want to do, especially in Genshin, but also in Warframe, uh, did you finish the movie? Yeah, we finished the movie. So... I want to first start off with some personal news. I received something uh, this week. Oh, hey, Cephalon Mara, how's it going? I received something um, this week that was um, quite shocking uh, as I was um, ordering some KFC. Is it a death threat? Is it a death threat? No, PB didn't actually sub. Gaius Dihau gave him a sub. So that's what happened there. But, um, essentially what happened was, as I was ordering, um, 
As I was ordering some KFC. Um, you know what happened? Oh, sorry, it wasn't gas, the house. Sorry, it was soup. Soup gifted him a sub four days ago. In fact, I can actually prove it. Oh, oh damn, it doesn't actually show that soup actually gave you the sub. Okay, never mind. Subscribed. Well, PB did sub, but it's not PB who subbed, it's soup who gave him the sub. So, yeah, there we go. So, anyway, as I was ordering KFC. I want you all to have a look. This would be, uh... This would be... Oh, it's be reversed. Okay, hold on one sec, folks. Let me, um... Transform... Flip horizontal. Okay. Chat, I want you all to have a look at this. Is that ominous or what? <laughs> and so the person in the front desk was like, order number 666. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and I had a look and lo and behold, that is very much uh, my order number. So yes, I managed to get order number 666 at the KFC. Does that mean I'm going to die of gruesome death? Probably, because I, of course, do have a diet that consists of something with the nutritional value of rocket fuel. Who the fuck calls it 666? Well, that's order number 666. But yes, it is also order number 666, the number of the beast. That's basically today's personal news that's essentially what has been going on and now i have encountered a pretty hilarious genshin bug where aloy is constantly happy until i fire the weapon god damn it okay anyway it is spiral reset day it is also the day that we go to the golden apple archipelago again or rather that was yesterday but i didn't do it yesterday where's coffee coffee is just over there i will always be able to get coffee whenever i want I thought you were going through some shit. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. Oh yeah, Kate, you can see one Aloy? Excuse me? What do you mean? Um, unless there's a mechanic that I'm unaware of. Or is there, or is there like one of those uh, during the anniversary? Wait, did they announce it? What? No, that's not real. No, there's still nothing yet. Don't, 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 don't give me hope, Soup. Don't, don't give me hope. Anyway, I, I was watching um, X's uh, stream of the Spiral Abyss, and so I know for a fact that first round of the second half, there is going to be some freaking um, nonsense known as uh, Electro Auras. They are never fun. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can... Uh, how, long, how long exactly are you pulling an all-nighter? Basically, I'm going to try and go all the way until 10 live, and then do... And then watch watch the turtle live live and then um then we'll call it a night uh or rather we'll call it a day electro bird electro bird try is a strong word but you know remember i pulled an all-nighter when we played when we played the new war should be fine uh i don't think the electro bird is part of the um spiral abyss um, it might be part of floor 11, but it's probably for, it's probably part of, um, no, floor 12 is all about, like, um, Ruin Serpent and Cryo Cube. I don't know why they brought along Cryo Cube, but yeah, they brought along Cryo Cube. I wasn't there for the new war because I had a Typhoon fuck me up during, yeah, yeah, you did. Also, by the way, for those who aren't aware and weren't part of the uh, 
subreddit, uh, so not the subreddit, the Discord channel. Uh, yes, I do have, um, I do have the Deluxe skin, and yes, I will be using him a lot more. I will be using him a lot more compared to before, so yes. The Deluxe fans within my community rejoice for the time has come, Deluxe will actually be used quite a lot. I thought you hated Deluxe? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And then his skin came out, and suddenly I don't hate him anymore. Isn't that interesting, PB? Isn't that interesting? Who would have thought you make a male character actually look pretty decent, and suddenly, within within a split second, I no longer despise him? Isn't that interesting, folks? Isn't that interesting? Skin isn't that bad. No, his skin is actually pretty good. It actually looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. And this is coming from me, someone who, for the longest time, absolutely despised every time I got D Luke. And I got him six times. I have C5 D Luke. And at the time, I didn't want C5 D Luke, did I? What if D Luke had a gender bent skin? I probably would have preferred. I probably would have liked D Luke a lot earlier. To be fair, D Luke kind of does have a gender bent skin, and her name is Sin Yan. He also changed races. No, I just have my preferences. In fact, it is it is racist to assume there is in fact some inherent uh what is it? There is some inherent positivity or negativity in the gender of the character with which we discuss. So uh that's a bit of a self-report right there, PB. But of course, because I'm going to use D-Lurk, I'm going to go as meta as humanly possible. So there, we, there is Xing Chu and Bennett, uh, both Xing Chu and Betty Boy, uh, present. Uh, because obviously my D-Lurk ain't going to be doing jack shit without them. <laughs> that is, of course, after about two years of neglecting this guy because he wore the dumbest looking jacket in the history of video games. This is absolutely horrendous. This is absolutely amazing. So there we go. It is quite that simple. Where's this uh, daily? Apparently floor 11, there's going to be a pyro damage bonus uh, applied to the whole floor. So uh, I am going to be running Yanfei and Diluc uh, when we do Spiral Abyss today. Am I a Diluc main now? Perhaps. Isn't that exciting, Soup? Isn't that exciting? So the skin didn't change much. It gave it's given him brand new um voice lines. Uh it's given him a new idle animation and it's also given him some uh sound effects as well when he uses his um abilities. Uh suppose it, I don't I don't know what it has to do with um the the skin per se. But um supposedly like he's got chains in some way, shape or form. So like if you lift if you listen uh closely Yeah, like you hear like chains. So I think that has something to do with like the, the lore of this skin, so I'll be interested to hear I'm actually quite interested to hear what the lore is behind this skin because um as it is as it, as it has already been readily pointed out, guess what? There's no vision. Where is Deluxe vision? Chat. Where the hell is Deluxe vision? It's not there, is it folks? It's not there at all. So, is he using a delusion, or is he, you know, is this pre-vision, pre, uh, or is this something else? Is d -Luke actually the one who is going to murder everyone in Monster and not Albedo? Perhaps that is what's going to happen, but we'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. Um, because that, all that stuff is, his ponytail is ugly though. You don't like his ponytail? I think it, I think it looks a lot better. What did he have before? So, what did he have before? That's ugly. This is quite nice. Yeah. The, the ponytail here, I think is actually quite nice. The ponytail from before? Yeah, that's ugly. Oh, 
Oh, dealer, how did you miss that somersault? Yeah. I just want a clay skin. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, we're going to Golden Apple Archipelago round two and we still don't have a clay skin. How did that happen, huh? Alrighty. Now, I would be going to uh, Catherine here at the Adventures Guild to go and uh, collect my stuff, but I don't want to just yet because that's going to trigger the um, the Golden Apple Archipelago stuff, and I don't want to do that just yet. I want to do Spiral first because uh, just looking at what we got in Spiral, like every time we have a spiral, a full Spiral reset, it it's blood it's butt clenching time because uh, Floor Twelve can often be a complete and utter meme. And I want to see if I can brute force through the um, electro aura in um, floor in floor one. So we'll see how that goes. If I can brute force through that floor two and th uh, floors two and three, sh uh, so rather chambers two and three should be pretty straightforward, I think. With my triple electro death squad, and I might go like whole ham just to start off with, because I kind of want to run. Um, well, I don't know what I want to run. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. So let's let's do that. Let's start off with um, Spiral Abyss. Maybe maybe there's a clean a swimsuit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Seriously, so like you need help. So what is this blessing? So this Fortnite's blessing. They gain a fortitude stack every two seconds. This will increase their attack by 20%, maximum of three stacks. When characters with three fortitude stacks hit, and a, hit uh, opponents with charge attacks, the with charge attacks, the shock a shockwave will be released to deal true damage. When the character leaves the field, all of their fortitude stacks will be cleared. Oh, okay. I I got called a pedo for liking Noah Schnapp yesterday. Who and what is Noah Schnapp? Okay, nothing. Nothing's changed here, huh? Yeah, it's still the same old, same old, isn't it? Uh, okay, I don't really need to. It doesn't really matter what I bring because I kill these guys really quickly anyway. So, okay, while we still have a chance, let's bring along the uh, Aloy. Uh, the Aloy. Wait, where are you? The Aloy Permafro the Aloy Permafreeze Death Squad. Noah is Will from Stranger Things. Ah. Oh. I still haven't watched Snape. I still haven't watched Stranger Things at all. Oh, come on. Wow, what's with the freezing? Hello? Freezing? Why am I freezing? Yeah. <laughs> that, uh... Hydro main. Wait, what? Hydro main? There's always a Hydro made somewhere. Okay, there we go. I really don't like Floor eight, floor 9 at this point. Retired Hydro main. Ooh. What happened there? Did I read something wrong? I thought there was going to be some treasure hoarders here. Ah! <gasps> ah, wasted ults, man. Wasted ults. What's with all the ER? What's with all the ER bonuses? Sumiteo Sug Sug. These guys are freaking uh, orcs from Warcraft 3. Oh, 
Time to build C6 Ningguang? Yeah! I literally can't kill shit in Puddle with a, within a decent time. Um, if you're going up against Grenier, you may want to consider pairing Puddle with, um... Corrosive Barrage. Oh, here we go. What the hell? You're using corrosive barrage? I'm surprised that you're struggling then. Might be something else then. Oh, what the hell? I guess whatever Aloy was aiming at was already dead. Still both enemies are still tanky even with 20% 20, 20 of their armor left. Um, the idea is that uh, Puddle should be continuously increasing the amount of damage it does per tick. No, but yeah, no, you're, you're right. Um, yeah, the Puddle still doesn't do enough damage, but hang on. Hang on, doesn't the puddle do a percentage of damage? Or am I am I wrong? Alright, buddy, your turn. Oh crap. Okay, I thought that was actually going. No, the damage scales. Oh no, the damage scales by percent. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You're just gonna leave this friggin' cryo puddle here? God damn it. Oh hey Gasty, how, how's it going? Oh, you guys. Oh. Well that was just disappointing. Ah! Constantly wasting Aloy's ult like that. God damn it. There's no real difference here, is there? Okay, so we've got Abyss Herald here. We've got a, a, and a so we've got Abyss Lecter and Abyss Herald. Okay. Uh, okay. I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, where the hell are you? Aloy and uh, you, 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 and you. It's the first thing that I missed the death battle stream. Yeah. Actually, ah, fuck it. It's just, it's just um, floor ten anyway. It's fine. Nobody, ma nobody cares about floor ten. Everything's too easy anyway. Anyway, how's your day been, guys? How's your day been, everyone? Uh, we just finished movie night. Hey, Miso, how's it going? So we just finished movie night, and we're watching this video called Sadako vs. No, Sadako vs. Kayako. To say that it is a weird film, I think, is a bit of an understatement. It is a very strange one, folks. Oh, bloody hell! They just started? Because your stream is early? Yeah.
Boom! That's what I was looking for. Have you heard? Have you heard of the news? I have heard of some news, but I potentially may have not have heard of the news that you're thinking of. So, what news do you wish to report? Oi. Ja 47 year old Japanese man married a 27 20 year old Japanese idol. Uh, was it consensual? Did she want to marry him? Look, if she wanted to marry him, I mean, you know, I wouldn't particularly. I would think it's a little bit. It's a little bit here, here or there, but. Aside from that, like, there's nothing, there's nothing really left to be said, as long as she's happy with it. I don't think you understand the word marry. Okay, explain. Arranged marriage? Was it, a, was it an arranged marriage? If, it, if it's an arranged marriage between a 40-year-old and a 20-year-old, then yeah, okay, that's a bit fucked up. That is a bit fucked up. <laughs> I didn't include the word arrange in there, did I? No, no you did not, so perhaps that's not the reason. So explain to me what you mean by marriage then. Oh man, A's not going to be able to pop up at all, is it? Man and woman like each other, want to live together and shit. Uh-huh. They marry. Well, not necessarily, but okay, sure. So what am I not understanding? If you think you don't- if you think that I don't understand what marriage means in this context, explain to me what I am not understanding then. So Kate's married to his roommate. Yeah, according, apparently so. Now I missed that part of the legal process. Uh, I did sign some papers though, that's for sure. So I didn't realize that that was actually the extent of our agreement, but uh, hey. At least that means I'm no longer an... <laughs> at least that stops me from being an incel. <laughs> So what is the problem here? The Japanese idol likes the guy. Uh-huh. The guy likes her too. Uh-huh. So how is this newsworthy? I'm not seeing how this is newsworthy. Uh, Miso! Miso mistake underscore just subscribe. My laptop your, is your computer was lagging while you were trying to download 2.8. Oh no! But thanks for the sub. The guy is the same age as, his mo as her mother. Okay. So, the problem the problem that I am seeing here, Soup, is that you are unable to um, deal with the fact that an older man has managed to snag himself a very nice, I'm, I'm assuming, nice, nice young lady. So, the news here is, uh, is uh, the fact that you are very intolerant about this, Soup, and I'm very disappointed in you. So like, you know, the guy's a fan of hers. Yeah? You're just jealous. Oh, okay. Yes, Cephalomaru, you are the only one without a sub. I'm hoping YouTube chat is working, because I haven't actually checked it out. Okay. Oh god, why does it have to be- <clears throat> Okay, so, what am I gonna do here? Where's the- what, do I, what am I fighting against? Wow. And oh, oh, okay. It's gonna be one. It's gonna be like that, huh? It's gonna be like that, huh? And thunder manifestation. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do it. Um. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. Yenfei. Uh, 
Yeah, Yen Fei Yu. Uh, Yen Fei Yu. I should probably bring along uh, you and you. Okay. I don't know how that's going to work. And then, yes. Yes, everyone. D. Lucas. D. Lucas finally making his debut on the field. Let's go. Um, against Cry. Oh, actually, against Cryo Slimes. Maybe, maybe I'll put I'll put Yolan. Nope, I'll put Yolan here because Yolan doesn't get cucked by um Cryo Slimes. And uh, actually, you know what? It's floor eleven. It's floor eleven. So you know what? Sack it. I'm not going to use Noel for Spiral Abyss today. Not today, anyway. So um. Let's bring out Xin Yan. Let's bring out Xin Yan, why not? Oh wait, hang on. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, it's gonna be like that, huh? Okay, so... I don't need Benny there. Um... Hmm... Okay, let me just sort out this one. So, I'm gonna use you- okay. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So, Sucrose is going from being a healer back to being normal mode. Oh crap, I should probably give Lisa back Skyward Atlas because I don't need her to use Osborne Eye for the time being. Okay. Let's... let's swap you- let's swap you back with, um, Sayu. And we'll give you the EM bonuses. Yes, it is ten on Honday. Hey, Gavin, how's it going? Marriage is indeed crap because I might cheat in the future. That's more of a you thing at that point, mate. Can't really do a whole lot about that. So we're gonna go with Diona, and um, Sinyan. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Oh no, sorry, no, not Sucrose. Um, no, we're gonna need, uh, Sing- no, not Sing Chu, we're gonna need Yolan here, and Sinyan, why not? Where are you? Sinyan! Where are you? There you are. Okay, D. Luke, Benjamin, Sucrose, and Sing Chu. Here we go, folks. You got skills facing the abyss, I'm struggling in it? Yeah. I've also got some characters that are pretty good. Hey, welcome back! Fuck Tenor Life with the Tenor- God fucking damn. Um, R slash NSF Warframe is a thing, soup. So yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. These are... No, they're not. Wow, this is very annoying. Alright, here we go. Pa! 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 There we go. Here's a hoping I win the PC or laptop giveaway. Ooh, good luck with that. Here's a hoping they announce some um, crossplay. It's a... Where the hell did everyone go? We yeah. Kate is just making me want the Deluxe skin now. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Completely wasted ults, chat. Completely wasted ults. Cross news. Cross place news do be happening. Well, we'll see, man. We'll see. Don't forget we're doing a level cap when crossplay comes. Yeah, yeah, we will be. Hey, we actually will be. What the hell is this? Oh, what the hell is this? Wait, the sacks are the sack bow not work on these guys? On Spectres at all? Seriously? Magico! Oh, these guys! Gizzy Melee King, how, how's it going? Horobido Ken! <laughs> Y'all see that? 100k charge attack on Yenfei? God damn, man! <laughs> God damn! Level cap survival too. Mm. Love your build is infinitely better than mine your dealer is level 70. Dude, my dealer build is fucking non-existent, mate. Trust me, my dealer build, honestly, non-existent. Oh man, I'm really feeling... Where's Hazel? S still like level 1, mate. Oh. Oh, that's good to know. I can actually just like swap between the two. Level cap is pretty boring. IMO, thank you! This is also. Oh no, no not a waste at all. <laughs> wow, there's so much here. Ah. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I got deleted. The Shinchu, the Shinchu got deleted, man. We're gonna try that again. We gotta. No, sorry. We gotta try that again. God damn it, man! Yeah, level. Actually, no, because remember, um, last gasp is a thing now. Yeah, don't forget that level- don't forget that last cast with the thing now, so... It'll be interesting to see, like, how well the operator works, uh, in level cap. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it works. Yeah. Watch them say crossplay next year. Ooh. We'll see what happens, man. Because he's like that, I guess. Okay, let's... Oh crap, this guy. Yeah. 
Nothing really I can really do about this guy. He's got a freaking hydro shield, man. Just gotta slowly kill this dude. Luckily, it's just floor um 11, so I have time. Here we go. Maybe I should have gotten him first. Yeah, I probably should have aimed for him first, hey. Okay. Either way. Keep in mind, this chamber is 75% pyro bonus. That's why I'm using Yanfei and Diluc here. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I should have I should have aimed for the uh, Hydro guy first, 100%. Oh, oh, here we go. Trying to fly away from me, you bastard. Oh, I lost the end fame. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> Let's try that again. Maybe I'll start with a... Uh... What the hell? Where the hell was my other... Ah, crap. Kind of screwing this up. Ayla would have been great here, actually. Actually, I should have swapped her up with Simulacra. Where are you? What the hell? Okay, I'm seriously starting to really get annoyed about this fucking electro bird, man. Can you stop being so freaking high? Can we just kill him already? There we go. Oh my god, that was very annoying. <laughs> Oh crap! Oh no, crap! I should have started with Sucrose! Ah! That was very... Okay, that was very stupid. That was very, very stupid. Brood Mother Frame when? Yeah, a lot of people might be asking for a Brood Mother Frame. Even though Brood Mother Frame technically exists and his name is Nidus. Oh my god, can you not like freaking fly away, you bastard? I know they're trying to get people to use like Yoimiya, but like I don't have Yoimiya, man. If you want like strong summons, uh, I don't know if we. I was going to say Necros, but 
not like his summons are particularly strong either. Got him. I want some variety of infested shit. <laughs> yeah, don't we all, mate? Oh, great. Just great. Okay, we got him. Just hurry up and die already. What? There we go. If Halibut had one battle less Conculus and Healer, I would main him. Same. I agree with that 100. percent I kind of thought that he would. I kind of thought he should have. He should have that. But alas, he does not. Okay, chat. I'm gonna try. This is what I'm gonna do. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, wait, hold on. What was my idea? Wait, why did I think I want? Why did I think I want Electro here? Wait, why did I think I want Electro here? It's two Cryo Gunners and a Mirror Maiden. Never mind. Okay, so we're gonna run Yenfei. We're gonna run Yenfei here, hundred percent. We're gonna run Yenfei. Uh, I'm going to also bring along Diona, uh, and Sucrose, and, uh, change of plans. D Luke, Diona, Sucrose, Yenfei. Let's, let's, let's make this happen. Um, and then I'm going to try, emphasis on the word try, folks, emphasis on the word try. I'm going to try to brute force the um actually if I want to brute force I probably I probably should try and use Yamiko first. I'm gonna try and brute force the um electro aura. Hey Seed, how's it going? Let's see if brute forcing the electro aura works. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna to have to come up with something else. I'm hoping I don't have to come up with something else. Let's find out. Wait, I'm sorry, is this a freaking playground? What is this? This is a playground! Yeah, this is a playground! This is an actual playground! I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. This is chaos. <laughs> what the fuck was going on, man? Let's try that again. That was actual pure chaos. <laughs> Your turn. Bang! Bang! What's up? Oh, 
終わった会社にはオッケー、ほら。I should probably remember to heal! That might be a really good idea. What's up? Oh, dear, where the hell was that going? What's up? Okay, we have a shield at least. Oi, oi, oi. Come on. Oh, okay, this guy is just taking forever. Okay, this guy's taking forever. Why? Okay. We're putting D we're taking D look off the team. Sorry folks, we're taking D look off the team. This is floor twelve. We can't we, we don't really have with this is floor twelve. Without the luxury of Benjamin, I don't really get to fuck around a whole lot. So instead We're gonna bring in Fischl. I don't know if that's going to make a huge difference, but we're gonna bring in Fischl. Let's see if that works. <laughs> oh boy. Is Fischl that better? What the fuck? Wait, the hell? Fuck, man, these things are so tanky. Okay, we've got the big ones. I don't know how good that was, folks. Because now I have to deal with the freaking Electro Aura. Is this the first run? Yeah, this is essentially the first run. Yep. Also, hey, X, how's it going? If you want to jump on voice chat, you let me know, okay? Oh, God, why do you have to be so far away from each other? 
Okay. Gotta break that electro aura somehow. Kill the both at the same time. Come on, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. That's the way. That's the way. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. How's it going? I'm all right. How are you? I'm doing all right. Thanks for. Whew. I managed to see brute force the electro aura, and we're good to go. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I was really worried about the electro aura. I think I should be fine now moving forward, because I was seeing like how the the ruined serpent was a bit of a meme when you were trying to use um Benny and Shing Chu together. Yeah, but I duh. should be able to do that by accident with Yai uh, uh, Miko, so let's see how that goes. Yeah, I'm hopeful. It definitely doesn't. It, I think it's gonna struggle with this if it's not like a hyper invested whale level one. I tried my one and it. Because I beat the first side so fast, I had enough time to barely squeeze enough damage in for Aika, and it was energy okay, dependent too. So Aika mains are just gonna cry. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's see what I'm missing here. Oh. Okay. Ho hopefully I can um, do the charge attack stuff with um. Uh. What's her face? Hi. Uh. Oh, shit. GA. Is the how did it with Ayaka? Okay. Where there is a will, there is a way. Yeah, there is. Like, how much time do you leave for the second side? Okay, here Maybe comes the fun bit. I think I'm just gonna try with Jean instead of Kazuha, because Kazuha is cheating. Yeah. Like, if you have Kazuha, you're usually fine for this abyss, but if you don't have it, you're really struggling. Got him. <laughs> good thing, nice. uh, good thing, um, oh god, I'm, I'm forgetting names now. Uh, yeah, good thing she can actually do that. Oh, this is just another Thursday for me. Why am I forgetting her name? Um, so, yeah, good thing uh, Yenfei can do that. Uh, you haven't even put all night yet, and your, your brain capacity is going down already. Dude, I was watching a movie called uh, Sadako vs. Kayako. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a bit of a strange one, mate. Right. The Japanese, the Where Japanese are they? names there, and yeah. foreign names doesn't help people. Magical! Oh, this is second half. Okay, I've got plenty of time. Uh, electro resonance here, pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, no need to burn an ult there. We've got plenty of time. I'd like to say hello to the eight viewers on Twitch and the three viewers on YouTube. Hello, hello, hello. Well, that was easy. <laughs> uh. Look. Dude, floor uh, floor one of chamber twelve is a friggin' playground, man. There's like so many enemies, and then they bring out the big boys, and then suddenly it becomes not a playground. This is private or two, so it's like yeah, it, it's not always fun for some for some people. Yeah, but, but for the venti and the power of unit, yeah, it's it's, it's playground. Yeah. 
Well, this is basically like a, a pyro gaming. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? No, no! <laughs> this is basically pyro gaming. Um, so yeah. Come on, Super so Christ. Can you explain this first team? It's kind of hard to me. Sorry? Can you explain this first team? Like the, the how it um, works? Yenfei popping off. What, do you know oh, the what is that? Is it was originally gonna. I was originally gonna put D Luke there as well, but nah. Hey, Comrade Angster, how's it going? You, you know why I'm freezing, right? Sorry? You know why I'm frozen, right? Yeah, I know why I'm frozen. Oh, good. Ah, that's off. How long till starts? Uh, damn it. Damn, they do so much damage. Waiting for Tenocon. Nice. Maybe I should have brought Zhongli here. Ah, oh, it's Zhongli. too late now. Zhongli is going to be late in the inevitable. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to really struggle in this chamber. Can you not do that? Oh, it's easy. No, no, no hang on. Why is my- What the hell happened to my cooldowns? Uh, slow water. Oh, you. <laughs> Slowing water. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. You still have about two minutes for the second time. It's not too bad. Your A is very strong. Yeah. Let's go! I think yeah, you, I think you made it. I think you made it, Gacha. Gotcha. Alright, not this bullshit. This is a bad ability check now. <laughs> Where are you going to be? Nice. Pop him off! Non crit on the hold on the original, unfortunately. Got him! Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, yep, we're done. I think you cleared him. Yeah, we're done. Good job. And we end with a Kokomi. There we go. Done. <laughs> See, that's the that's the way you defeat the ruined serpent. When it starts doing that swirly swirly crap, just uh just shut him down with Sara. That'll do. Yeah, that'll Sarah, do. Sara hits in all directions with her. Yeah, that'll basically do it, eh? Her chance of triggering will be pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Boom! There it is. Oh. Does, does that mean Klee C4 will be 100% triggering? Probably. You might want to give it a try. Oh, you don't have C4, oh, do you? I don't have C4, but my, my friend does. Might want to give it a try. I might ask him, yeah. Yeah. Oh, does, oh wait, no. Gene doesn't work. Gene didn't Gene's work. All, Gene's all hit in 362. It definitely work. It probably doesn't hit high enough. There might be a verticality issue going on because, um, yeah, I think it's a verticality issue. 
Uh, I'll just turn that one on. I think Jean actually does have some verticality. Not from my understanding. Maybe it's not enough. Yeah. Maybe it's not enough. Because when I'm thinking, some because it can hit high out the storm apparently. Because when I think verticality, I think Lisa, infinite verticality. You know. Oh, or like Kokomi with the healing, just. Or that infinite too, yeah. Verticality. Wait, does does the jellyfish have infinite verticality? I heard, yeah, I heard it has infinite vertical. God damn. <laughs> Which means theoretically you can heal someone at the top of uh, Storm Terror when you're at the bottom. In theory, yeah. In theory, oh yeah. no, no, there would be a range range. Like I would shoot. Vertical range. Oh, I get. Oof, okay, yeah. If there's no vertical we range, that's that hilarious. Right All right, you go to the top. I'll go. You go to the. You join my world, and you go to. Oh wait, do you have Kokomi? No, you have Kokomi, right? Okay, you go to the top, and then um, I'll heal you. Yeah. Hold on. I will Genshin, stand. 2.8, Spiral Abyss, Chamber 1. Sorry folks, let me just do a bit of admin work. And by admin work, I mean just rename the replay files so that I have them. Yay! Okay, so, where are we? Where are we? I'm about to go to the Golden Apple Archipelago, but first I need to burn my resin. And we're going to burn our resin tonight, folks, in an attempt to at least get D Luke up to a position where I can actually level him up. I'm missing Mora, though. Okay, so you're. you're... Missing Mora. I'm just missing Mora. Like a lot oh. of Mora, because I just burn a lot of my Mora getting, um, getting my uh, Yenfei uh, normal attack talent up to level 9. Right. Okay, I mean, it takes some full damage, I, su I suppose. Yeah. All right. Where are you? Okay, you're over there. Okay. Let me see if I can. I can't. I'm gonna take four damage. How do I take four damage? Is this long enough? No. Let's take four damage. Oh, I suck at taking four damage, guys. Okay. Let me just kill myself. <laughs> uh, it seems like we have a pretty easy answer. We just find a we just find a patch of grass and I set it on fire. I have a better idea. I fall to my death. Done. <laughs> with no, Kaz? No, with uh, with Zongli. Zongli died. Um. All right, there all we right. go. If short, sure, okay. I'm gonna run with an egg. That way, my HP bar will be zero, will be like black. And uh, if you heal him, he'll, he'll start turning green. Hmm. I'm standing right on top of the blue disc thing. Oh, okay. So if I go, so if I go to that blue disc area. Okay, so you're there. Now, let me see, let me see, let me see. How do I Wait. go how do I go down then? Uh, you're going up. <laughs> I'll be going up. Wait, what? Wait, didn't you just run Is it just me? I think it's oh, you, yeah. mate. Cause I'm at the top, right? Oh, I can go the okay, here we go, here we go. I'm I can be right under you. So if I stand right here, I'll right under you. Right. So you're in the middle? I'm in the middle, I'm right on top of you, yeah. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh no shot! Is. It's actually working! <laughs> no way. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Can you go even further? Is it possible to go even further down? Uh, I should be able to actually, yeah. See how far down. Oh, now I have to kill my zombie again. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunate. Oh well, what a shame. I think this is the lowest I can go. Wait, I can't... I shouldn't kill him. I need to take full damage now, because my, my egg's on cooldown. Just kill someone else. Swap over to someone else the and just egg, kill him. The same egg is reviving them. <laughs> no, but the egg won't... The egg is on cooldown for someone. It won't be on cooldown for everyone, isn't it? I thought it was team wide. Sure oh no, you are right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. <clears throat> Alright. I'm right off you again. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one. It's working. Yeah, I'm infinite vertical range. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's nuts. <laughs> you are two levels above me and that's actually healing you. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah. God damn. 
I don't think we need to go to the Tower of Dragons Prime versus the, the No, I think we've, I think I think we've made done. our point. Yeah, we've made our point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, how's your day been, X? Been alright. Nice and chill. Nice. Okay, so in order for me to level up D Luke, I need to hit the Cryo Registine a maximum of three times. Let's do it. Registine, where are you at? Registine, there you are. Apparently, in Simaru, there's going to be a there's going to be an Electro Registine, which I'm assuming is going to be the boss for Dory. Electro is in Registine, huh? Yeah. Okay. Electro, uh, Tenocon is in three hours, right? Uh, Tenocon is going to start in three hours. I'm waiting mostly for Tenno Live, uh, which will be at seven o'clock in the morning. That's why I'm pulling this all nighter. Um, pain, yeah. <laughs> no, not really, because if you have Aloy, you're gonna be right as rain, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna be right as rain. Uh, because oh. guess what? Guess what beats uh, Py uh, Guess what beats Electro? Pyro or Cryo, usually. Nine times out of ten, you'll be uh, raring to go with Pyro or Cryo. Uh, yeah, Pyro or Cryo, yeah. Hydro is a bit memey, uh, but it is a Regis fine, so it doesn't really matter. You can also use Hydro as well if you want to use Hydro. Ganyu team? Yeah, Ganyu team. When A is just too tired of the shit, she just pops the she just pops the flower instantly. <laughs> what do we get? Okay, this could be useful. Ah, damn it! I only got two Raiden of them. popping the flower like she popped the uh, Signora. Yeah. <laughs> One slash. Popped Signora so hard that the Fatui literally had to come together and hold a freaking funeral for her. Yes, yeah, but everyone. What's in the coffin? She's ashes. Sorry. Well, what's in the coffin? I don't assume it's her body. Or her, she just uh, only her ashes remained. Yeah, like how K pops his pimples. Yes. Uh, and, and just like and just like that, the the pyro flower is also bleeding profusely, and it won't stop. Oh dear. Yeah. It's the shit you have to deal with, mate. It's the shit you have to deal with. <sighs> how many? How much? How much Primo Gems do I have? A fair bit. Is it enough for Klee? <laughs> it might actually be enough for Klee. It might actually be enough for Klee. No, I have more than 600 now. I actually, um... All day commission and stuff, right? Yeah, and all that jazz. Um, let me see. When did I get that 5 star? When did I get that Kating? 6 pages. 36 PD then? There were 6 pages? Could you do some pulls on my account some point before the end of Kaz? I don't normally want to jump on other people's accounts. It's as a security thing, but if you're absolutely 100% comfortable with me doing that, I will jump on your account. We'll also look at your account as well, but yes, I will then so be it. I will jump on your account. Um, let me know when, uh, Miso. Let me know when. So hang on, so six pages, six by six is 36. The first, the first one of the sixth page. So it's of 36 is 30. I have 31 pity then, right? Six pages is... You know, six page... If it's like top, then it's around 31. Yeah. So I don't... Yeah, I don't... I'm not going to be able to hit pity. Unless Klee decides to come early. Hakushin? Do you I'm think that's to... likely, considering the track record? <laughs> well, considering that I've got 55 billion Ningguangs, I mean, what else could possibly go wrong at this point? I mean, you did get Kokomi relatively early, and she was unpopular, right? I actually got Kokomi, like, late, but then I got the second Kokomi very early. Right. Just manifest that same energy. Okay. Then you- then everyone, let's all put our hands together and say the following words. I don't want to be arrested. 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 That's what we're going to say today, folks. I do not want to be arrested. I do not want the FBI to punch through these doors, despite the fact that they 
technically don't have any jurisdiction here in Australia, but you know, it's the FBI. They're going to break through these doors if they ha if they need to. It's Interpol. And we do have good fortune, which can only mean one thing. Good fortune for the FBI. Oh, Hakushin, <laughs> cause of this enchantment. In reference, I've performed this right to be a guiding light. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. <sighs> Give me the FBI handcuffs that I clearly see. Three. This is it's only one temple, by the way, folks. Three, two, one. That that definitely won't be a no. clip, right? No. No. <laughs> now no watch way. me get another Ningguan. I'm gonna get another Ningguan. Any time between- the No, I've got a Toma instead! I've got two Tomas instead! Two Tomas. God damn! Toma day. That's actually pretty good. Hey, I'm actually pretty happy about that, not gonna lie. Oh, why are you happy about Toma? You barely use him! Yeah, but at some point I do actually want to try him out. Oh. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we Is have achieved C6 season? Toma. Oh, I was about to say, you can have my C6 time if you don't. <laughs> we did it, chat. We did it. Nice. <laughs> I, I heard his constellations does make him a lot better. We'll, we'll find out. In terms of, like, energy, it gives you energy back, it increases duration, and decre all decreases cooldown of the two. I just want to see if, it, if I can use them on an Aloy team. In some way, shape, or form. If I can, that'd be great. If I can't, eh. Yeah, <sighs> I don't think you can. Probably can't, but eh, we'll find out. You all, yeah, but you all attack way too fast. Yeah. All right, give me those. Uh, give me that battle pass XP. We're already up to level nine. Boo, Yakasha. Toma with Hazel. Yeah, that could like, work. I think the yeah Toma with Hazel tree. It, it works. Yeah. <sighs> I think the best four star is probably still going to be Hazel just because a Nemo Catalyst TDDS plus VV is it's just too yeah. much to support although utility. in this case he's a bit of a DPS character yeah. Whoa, a DPS hey hello in... look at what but I got even if he falls thing. off as a DPS right he can still have the backup plan oh hello yeah. yes yes and, hello uh, but like I think the best character I still think is Ning Wang on, on the the on the Dude, the amount of the amount of people that I have seen on YouTube who are like, oh, Ningguang. Yeah, she's not that good. And it's like it's like I'm watching Ten Ten. Like, okay, so we have the Ning. Uh, I can't I can't do his accent, his scuffed Chinese accent. So it's like, okay, so we have this banner, and this banner is a bit Kek W because aside because like outside of the new character Hazel, we've got two characters who are not good. And I'm listening to her, and I'm like, Ningguang isn't good. I mean, yeah, not like, in my experience. She pops off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get like I get if like if you're talking about like Ningguang, in like it doesn't really have a place in like any meta team. Okay, sure, but Ningguang just by herself can really pop off regularly Ning too. Ningguang very good single target. Hyper burst damage too. Yeah. 40 energy cost, folks. 40 energy cost. Does like I did the math today because I was actually writing up a. I actually wrote up and um recorded voice recorded a comprehensive Ningguang guide. So folks, that's coming soon. Um. Yeah, I did the math. Her ultimate when you put into it when you take into account the Jade screen um throwing out gems as well. Two thousand two hundred percent damage scaling at max level. Which is absolutely. You should, you should come to the child attack too. Well, that's basically part of it. But... Yeah, it's. No, I, yeah, but I didn't want to gild the lily too much. <laughs> I think it's valid because, like, no. Maybe. You know, like, uh, the correct way to play it, you're. You're going to do a charge attack yeah. as well. Well. Because it's. Uh -huh. If you're going to do that, I should actually be um, taking into account the, the Jade Spear. Uh, not the Jade Spear. <laughs> the Jade Screen itself, actually, because you only start taking into account a charge attack at C6. Yeah, the C6 charge attack is insane. Yeah. The Jade screen, sometimes you do have to cast it away from the enemy just because... Yeah, otherwise it's gonna break. Oh, uh, Yeah, it's very annoying. 
Is Tenno Live when they're going to do the Daviri Showcase? Yes. Yes, Miso. That is exactly when they're going to do it. So, uh, hype time for that. 7 a.m. in the morning. For you. 7 a.m. in the morning, mate. 7 a.m. for you as well. But you, you're, probably, you're probably not interested at all, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying, like, why do you need to do that when it's 11.30 now? Because I figured folks on the Discord want me to pull an all-nighter, and I'm too hyped to go to sleep. Right. Plus, I'm about to probably drink some coffee, which further exacerbates the problem. And so, uh, fuck it, we'll pull an all-nighter. Right, huh? So that's why I decided to really delay all of the random things that I need to do here in Genshin so that um, we could at least uh, sort of um, drag it out a bit. Right. Uh, yeah. 4 p.m. for me? Nice. Oh, uh, it's Saturday. Who's, who's farming comes on Saturday? No idea. No one farms on Saturday. Cause yeah, like, if you're not farming, you might as well condense and wait till Sunday. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. So if anything today, I'll just burn my condensed on um, Crimson Witch because I don't really think I'm going to bother with um, doing the Sunday stream. So we might as well complete all of the Battle Pass shenanigans too while we're at it. So if anyone is missing Battle Pass shenanigans, now is the day to do them. Oh, what? Oof. 80k Aloy. Mingin. Okay, we got ourselves a hat. <sighs> it's a shit hat. Um, <laughs> well, we got three of these, which means I don't need to do this. Wait, hold on. Am I done then? Oh no, no, I'm not done. I'm off by one, chat. I'm off by fucking one. God damn it. God no. damn it. Oh, let's have a look at that, um, let's have a look at that flower that I got from Thingo Thingo. Can you just craft another one? Sorry? Can you just craft another one? Are they craftable? Aren't you crafting the gem? Are you no, no, the no, gem not the gem, the not the gem, the, 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 the boss, seed. the boss, right. the boss thing. Holy shit. No, oh, here it comes. 32 CV already. Will it make it to 40? Uh, I'm gonna burn some random shit right now. Uh, a max roll will get to over, over the 40 line. Jesus Christ, I need to hold on to this one, man. No, that's a hydro damage bonus. I'm gonna hold on to that for a bit. Nope, that's an ER one. Uh. No. I didn't think you would be someone to save defense goblets with double crit. No, the yeah. idea is to. Oh well, maybe I'll maybe I'll be great for Noel someday if I decide to swap, change up my build a little bit. Mhm. Mm and also, just saving up everything is a good idea right now. So, like, basically, what I'm doing right now is tantamount to heresy right now because um, Sumer is coming. So the idea is you want to save up as many five stars as you can. Uh, so that you can then uh, burn them all in the thing. Ah! Got a defense. Got the flat defense wrong. Oh, finally. That's fine. That's fine. It's still pog. That's still pretty pog. Another one. Another one, chat. Another one. That's pretty pog. Like I have this one already, which is um, twelve and nineteen, thirteen and twelve, thirteen and thirteen and eighteen. Yeah, I have two now that are 30 CV. That's pretty good, hey, folks. That's pretty good. Can't complain. Can't complain. Both from Vermilion. Sorry. Both from Vermilion set. Yeah, both two Vermilions. So you know, I also have like a bunch of other flowers, obviously, but we're looking at the Vermilion one specifically just then. Ah, I don't know how I'm going. Yeah. No. Yeah. So it's got an off piece flower then for you. Uh, not necessarily. Remember, they are the well, plus two, two piece, I suppose. Yeah, the they're, they're part of the two piece set. Yeah, exactly. Um, I've also seen someone run uh, four piece Echoes Aloy, and it's actually kind of dope. 
Yeah, so, it makes sense because yeah. it's like Aloy's kind of like Yoimiya, and yeah. Yoimiya can do, use that as well. Yeah, if I can get um, what am I missing? I think at this point I'm just missing a really dope. I'm just missing one piece that's just dope. If I can get a sans that is like at the set, I'm probably not gonna get a sans that's a, that's at the same level as this freaking god tier piece. But if I can get a sans that is at least like 30 CV, I can at least you know huff that copium a little bit and give it a try. Hmm. But yeah, that that one's really really cool. Oh. Adventure handbook is F F one. Gotta remember that. Thingo oh, still respawning. Hmm. In 18 seconds. Where are, you, where are your attack rolls in Cryocop? I'm not actually using a Cryocop on my Aloy. Gasty how. So, this is actually not an attack cup. Oh, sorry, this is. Sorry, sorry, what am I saying? I'm not using a Cryocop. Gasty how. This is actually an attack cup. And let me explain why I'm using an attack cup instead of a Cryocop. Number one, I'm using Aqua Simulacra, which is a weapon that doesn't have particularly high, you know, base attack for a 5 star. Number two, Aloy ascends with Cryo, so she gets like 22, 20 something percent just from ascending and I'm already level 90. Number three, I'm using two-piece Blizzard, so obviously there's another 15, which is why just by default I have, what is that, 40 something percent? And then number four, and let's not forget, uh, Ice Rush and specifically Strong Strike exists, and the way I play Aloy, I tend to be using Strong Strike as much as I possibly can, uh, so then... At some point, I kind of make up for that cryo at the very last second when I drop her ult and do 80-something thousand freeze damage. So for the time being, I'm pretty happy about that. Now, if I do manage to get a really, really good cryo noblest cup, you bet your ass I'm going to swap over to it. But until then, you know, um, uh, I think my Aloy is actually doing pretty good. Oh my freaking god, how did I miss that bird? Oh. You don't have Yun Jin. I mean, you don't. You don't have um. What's it? What's Shunha. her face? Um, Shinha. Yeah, I don't have Shinha. But I don't think she works well with Shinha, anyways. I've tried her in the event. She actually does work pretty well with Shinha. Really? Yeah. So like, um, it Isn't just it just depends on how you want to use her. If you want to play auto attack Aloy, then you, uh, I think you just do hold E and then use her ult, and then just start perma freezing and auto attacking. That'll do the trick. Isn't it like seven hits, but like your bomb is one hit, and then your bomblet is four hits? Wait, does she have a counter? Yeah, she has a counter. Okay, let me have a look at Shinha. It's it's five if you tap, seven if you hold from memory. Unless it's C6, then then all attacks and sh and stuff don't count. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, if you what? have C6 Shunha, all attacks and chai attacks don't count towards <laughs> the limit. Holy shit! Oh wait, is this for her ultimate or is this for her? Okay, I've never really okay. I've never really read how Shinha works. I just know the I, the general idea of it. Right. So, so Shinha at something called flat damage. Yeah, so she has it's kind of like Yunjin. a number for you to boost via uh, oh. crit rate, crit damage, uh, crit okay. damage, for example, and then uh, yeah. So she's sort of like a hidden DPS. She hides her damage within your hit splats. Right. Rather than being a support. So, uh, so, so her ultimate she, decreases cryo and physical res resistance of everyone. So that's uh, of everyone inside, okay, uh, and her special ability, so you, uh, wait, hold on, it's a talent, no, it's not her talent, it's a passive. Where, wait, where are you looking at this? Are you looking on the website or are you looking I'm looking on the it? wiki. On the wiki, right? I thought you put, or you were playing on, uh, character archive. Here we go. I don't think I can do it from character oh, archives, because I don't have her. It still shows. Does it? it just doesn't show the scaling, yeah. It just mm. shows that one time. Yeah, that's not gonna help at all. Um After uses after she uses her ability Elemental skill and elemental burst damage increased by fifty percent for ten Oh no, but see there's a there's also a fifty percent by ten for ten seconds. So there's right. also this there's also this one part of her passive where it's not number based, it's um 
It's duration based. It's duration based. So there's at least but, that, but that's not as strong, obviously. That's very weak. Yeah. It's rather weak, considering it's on the same level as um the the crowd damage bonus. Yeah. Um, I see Quill's effects can be uh, will be cleared once his duration ends or after being triggered a number of times. Let me think. Is there an ICD on um on the quote on the trigger quota? ICD on the trigger quota? No, no. It's it's just like your first seven hits or first first. Five oh, so hits. there's no ICD either. Okay. Hey, okay, maybe you're right. Maybe well. Mm, no, but see, I think then you just have to um just keep that in mind because then instead of um. Instead of um, uh, using her tap special before you chuck Aloy's bombs, chuck Aloy's oh, yeah. bombs, get That's Ice Rush to start happening, and then tap special, and then um, the only trigger that's going to what happen is Aloy's ult. Is is Ice Rush like Noel's ult, where you can switch out, switch in, and Oh, yeah, absolutely. It? Ice Rush is still active. Like, the reason why I get to use Sucrose is because Sucrose can activate Ice Rush while Aloy is off field, um, and then right. Aloy's counter starts going, and Aloy doesn't have to be on the field for that counter to keep going. So, um, right. yeah. So you can do a damage per screenshot rotation. Oh yeah. I start the ice rush and then finish with the ult at the end. Yep. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Absolutely. So like one of the ways I used to do it was um to actually throw the bombs first, get Gene to cluster them and start the ice rush. <laughs> then what did I do? Um. Mona, Benny, and then BAM! Right. And then I would hit like 135,000 or something like that at level... Oh, I want to say level 8. Which was pretty wild. Level, level 8 talent, right? Level 8 talents, yeah. Was like level 8 Aloy? <laughs> <laughs> the power of reverse melts, chat! The power of reverse melts! God damn! But yeah, that's how Ice Rush works. It is a timer that it you can be off field for it to work. It's not yeah. it's not necessarily like the well in the sense that like it's not like the well, i.e. like Dilu. Oh god damn it, I didn't even get an opportunity to drop her old. <laughs> Thingo died too quickly. Um yeah, it's not like that, but it is um it is a timer that just works off field, so that's how that is. Right. Okay then yeah, you can play around it. Yeah. Kind of. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you wanna use her E or use Aloy's E, start Ice Rush, hold Shen her E, and then you have seven auto attacks where mm. it does boost the damage. Yeah, you could also do that as well if you want to run it that you way. Can, Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, do, is that better or do you just want to use Yun Jin? Yun Jin might be either just either either works. You can also use both of them. Thing I was always dead. Thing I was always dead, folks. Katagari is suffering from success. Do you have Yunjin yet? Have you built her? Oh, I built her level 80. Level 80, okay. I've built her level 80. Right now, I'm just trying to get constellations. I'm at C2 at the moment. Right. It's, isn't C2 pre... Is that big for her? I think that was decent. Uh, yeah. Normal attack damage is also increased by... Is also further increased by 15% for, for 12 seconds, which is yeah. kind of nice. Yeah. It's pretty nice. What's, what, what's C4 again? Uh, if she crystallizes something, then her defense increases by 20%, which could be a way of playing her if you can find a way to crystallize, which I think is more oh, for like that, that rainbow teams. Off. Yeah, it's more for rainbow teams at that point. It makes her, it makes her buff a bit harder. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Doesn't matter which hit gets the quills though, right? Since it's the same flat damage anyways. It is the same flat damage, which kind of does make it sort of matter which hits get it, because then you want to have a look at like which hits would get the most benefit out of it. Any hit that is low damage, for example, Aloy's first two shots being only 37 and 42% scaling, they would get a super buff. No, that's the whole point. What do you mean? No, I think, I mean, you want multi-hits so it comes up very quickly. That too, yeah. So Aloy's like, first hit is actually two hits. There we go. I mean, it, it only matters which hit if you're going for like a specific melt hit, right? Yeah. You want right. the ICG to be timed exactly right so that your last hit, like your is one, the last hit being a vape would be huge. Mm. That's why Diona's E does so much more, does that much damage because her talent percent and attack doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, because it just simply because at that point you're probably just replacing it with 
the actual flat damage. Like, if you're running a free team, whichever hit gets the flat damage doesn't matter, but if you're running melt, then it does. Mm. Mm. But that's just standard melt logic anyway, so... Yeah. Uh... Standard th three hit rule, basically. Yeah. Alright, folks. <sighs> the day that a lot of you didn't think would come, and frankly, neither did I. Wait. Let's just stop right there for a second. You know how during the 2.8 um, clusterfuck of a um, live stream, stream yeah. they were like, wait, D Luke is missing his vision. Wait, you have I think his vision is actually on his jacket, that eagle eye right there. That's the thing that was sort of, um, that's the thing that was glowing. See, when, when your character has maxed energy, notice how their vision glows. So, Xing Chu's vision glows on his hip because it's his vision. So, which part of D Luke is the one that's glowing? It's the eagle eye on his jacket. Did he sew his vision into his clothes? Or rather, it's his vest. Did he sew his vision into his vest? Is this the next level of fashion that's coming to get you back? What the hell? D Luke joined the Fatui? He was a power agent. Maybe all he along. did. Yeah, maybe he did. He was Senora's uh, replacement all along. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was the plot twist? Maybe it has an undercover, yeah. <laughs> that would be kind of wild. So we are going to be getting his uh, story quest of his um, skin very soon. So. We can keep bullshitting about it, and then we'll actually discover the truth. So I'm actually quite interested to hear what that's about. But the day that a lot of you didn't think would ever come, and neither did I, has finally arrived. Level 80 D Luke. Well, I don't know if I'm going to level 80. I'm not. I don't know if I can level 80 him yet. Let's find out. Yeah, I can level 80 him. Yep, I can do that. <sighs> Level 80 D Luke. I never thought I would live to see the day that I would actually put all my feelings aside and god freaking damn it, we level 80 this bastard. Let's go. Now, for anyone who is interested in what build I'm actually using on D Luke, it's a scuffed build. I have almost 3k attack, which clearly means I have too much attack. I also happen to have no EM. So that should give you a rough idea of where I'm going wrong. Uh, 54, 144 on the crit stats. Which is actually not bad, considering that I am of course using Wolf's Gravestone. I should probably try and use Pain Slasher. In fact, I think I have an R5... I can get an... I can make an R5 Pain Slasher if I want. Please don't use a Pain Slasher. Please don't use a Pain <laughs> Holy crap. But why not? Why not? I clearly have way too much attack at this point. The EM must be useful. And um, increased hydro and <laughs> increased damage against hydro hydroed enemies? Sounds like good sounds good to me. You can just use Sucrus for the EM, right? Yeah, 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 I can use Sucrus for the or or Diona actually. Diona? C6 Diona. Yeah, C6 Diona, but you lose a BB shred though. Eh, that's true. Oh, Do but I... you don't use better anyway, so there's no one to BB shred off. No, of. when I'm using D Luke, I have no confidence in my ability to use D Luke, so I'm right now running full meta, as hardcore meta as possible. Do I get a Mocha or Americano? I've never had an Americano. I've had Mockers before, and they're not bad. So, Mockers are, I think, a, a safe choice. If you're feeling a bit fancy, try Americano. I've never had it before. Damn, racist against Americans? Yeah. <laughs> Suka is the Kathy Newman of this uh of this of this chat. <laughs> yeah. Americano is pretty is pretty bitter. It's coffee. Most of the time it is a bit on the bitter side. Unless you add sugar. May want to add some sugar to your Americano, see if that makes it better. 
cute people who actually love Americanos who are like, oh my god, I can't believe you're adding sugar to a fucking Americano, you fucking degenerate schmuck. They're looking at you like, pathetic. Pathetic. I was drinking bitter Americanos when I was a little child. When I was a young warthog. Yeah. Disgust. You disgust me with your sugar and your Americano. Ugh. <laughs> oh yeah. You are what you eat. You're just as bitter as they are. <laughs> as you have a cup of coffee. Yeah, you are what you eat. You bitter little piece of shit. <laughs> well, you know, I am what I eat. Greasy chicken, then, huh? <laughs> I was saying, uh, I don't think you were here when I when I was talking a bit about a, about a bit of personal news. Um, speaking of greasy chicken, what a segue! Speaking of greasy chicken, personal news uh, that I was just talking about it uh, this morning. Uh, not this morning, right at the start of the stream. Um, I was at a KFC and I got my order number, and it just so happened to be order number six six six. Nice. Yeah. Stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a healthy attitude right there. <laughs> you, you are what you eat, and then it's like... Oh, Order 666. Oh, so I guess I'm screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Cat <of> fuck chicken. <laughs> what? Kate is dog eater? That's racist, dude. Just because I'm Chinese soup? You're really going to go there, mate? You're really going to go there? Keep in mind, both of us are Chinese. If you're going to call one of us a dog eater, you're calling both of us a dog eater. If memory serves, dog eat. If memory serves, dog dishes were actually a thing in China until like 2009 or some shit. Like it was. It wasn't even that long ago that it got banned. If memory serves, right? Probably right. Yeah. Fucking that. That, that shit's. It's actually wild. Where did I say I don't eat dogs? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Like, like soup's neighbor comes on. Have, have you seen our dog? <laughs> Have you seen Fido? He's gone missing. Yeah. This is like, uh, like, uh, super like, like picking his teeth with like a bone. You know? <laughs> no, I can't say I have. I can't say I haven't seen him. That's a big ass bone, dude. He must have a yeah. big ass gap in his tooth. It's soup. It's entirely possible. <laughs> Sorry, soup. Um. Have you had a look at the leaks for the for for the three Sumeru characters that are coming at the start? Like Dori, Tanari, and Dori. Kori, Thaigari, and um, Dori. Yeah. Um, Not too much. I know there are quite a lot of Dendro. Like usually off the old, and yeah. also Dendro cover as well. All right, come on, Dilo, pop off. I know it has a lot of EM scaling on his charge attacks. Is it EM scaling on his charge attacks? He scales EM and extra flat damage onto the child types, it seems. Huh, I didn't- I missed that part. The interesting premise? Oh... I'll need to see how it works. Well, you know, I think they're, they're clearly really trying to move away from like the boring old uh, attack crit into- attack crit scaling. The and moving time. into the much more interesting EM crit scaling. It's not gonna crit then. It's a transformative reaction. It's like electric charge. You can't crit. So all they can do is add that damage onto it. Hmm. Okay, I've never fought the right in puppet with the uh, D Luke, so uh, no uh, no guarantees that this is, turns out to be good. Especially the part where we have to kill the thing. Don't have, yeah, you hit the mechanism thing without both bursts up, or either burst up, you're gonna be in trouble. Yep. Okay, I got it. Okay, nice. at least I timed it properly. Stream is diverse indeed. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what does that even mean? That works. Yes, yes. Chinese, 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 and Chinese. Chinese, Chinese, and Chinese. Yeah, exactly. 
Is it Koyo? Yo, yo. The channel is Chinatown. Yeah, pretty much. Oh crap, I forgot about this bit. Can you jump? Ah. Oh, this is the part where we this is the part where we burst. Okay, let me join. Oh, okay. Ooh, 70 something on on a deluxe thing. Wow. Yeah. Dang. So you, 70 that something on that. You are level 80 guy. <laughs> yeah, now I'm finally level 80 deluxe. There we go. What race is PB? Human. Nice. Good job. Did I say more? I think, I think, oh, clearly they were asking for the ethnicity. <laughs> uh, <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Holy shit! He's, he's returned. Okay, he's dude. Back okay, evolution. dude, let's just chill for one second, okay? Before I get banned for racism. No longer homo sapien. No longer Homo sapien. We are now hetero sapien. Is that how that works? How? Are, hey, Daxastroph, how's it going? I am doing all right. Thanks for asking. Twitch drops. Let's go. Oh, that would be Twitch drops for Genshin. Yeah, I actually got a Twitch drop from watching your stream. I have no idea what the drop even is. Well, you only got one. I got one. Oh, you have to, you have to keep going, dude. You claim and you keep going. Oh, I should probably be watching my own stream then, huh? You can get up to, you can, the last one is 30 primos. The last one is 30 primos. Yeah, okay. so instead of, you know, clearing this bar of this and getting 36 star, you're gonna just, you know, just watch people for like 5 hours and, and you'll get 30 primos as well. Jeez. Jeez. That's so, that's actually, that's actually fine. <laughs> that's actually fine, you just leave it in the background, right? Yeah, exactly. Most of, a, a lot of folks here are just like lurkers anyway. <laughs> Embryo Amethyst, where do I live? What? Do you want my... Do you want my full total... Ah! There we go. This is a totally not sus message at all, isn't it? It's all in Chinese. What? What the hell? <laughs> Somebody knows when, like, this... When this, like, full barrel shop thingy starts? It should start, like... As soon as Tenocon starts. Uh, Embryo, I am in the great country of Australia. The usually great country of Australia. I'm not actually in Japan, no. I would like to be, but, I'm, but alas, I am not. How is your in Chinese? Is yours not? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not entirely, I'm not entirely sure if I want to claim these, uh, these 20,000 um, uh, thingos now. I'm not sure if yeah, I want to. This one, this one you're gonna get it's a freaking like a. This is. It sounded like a Nigerian prince scam. <laughs> I, I, I was exactly what I said. It was like one from in Nigeria and saying like it's from a prince. Is your Twitch Chinese? No. Oh, I will say this though. When I uh, had when I linked my um, account, my Twitch account to my Genshin account, the entire, um, the entire thing, the entire website was all in Chinese as well. And I was a little nice. bit surprised by that. I was kind of expecting it to be at least in English in some way, shape, or form. Yes, hey, Vampu Jazz, how's it going? You know, what's your pass? Uh, what's your postcode? Nice. Four three two two. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Miso, was there a particular boss you wanted to run, by the way? Because I just, I just run that one. So what, what's interesting about the leaks of Dory specifically is that apparently she's going to need um, Raiden puppet material. Which I actually found very surprising. I didn't expect that at all. Mm. If you can trust Google... Okay, I can trust Google. It says, Dear Traveler, congratulations on completing the task on Twitch. Good. You get the following rewards. Okay. So at least not sounding too sketchy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thigari though? Dude, I really want to get Thigari. Absolutely. He, he actually it's looks dope. Thigari is an email, right? Yeah. I can't tell. Yeah, he, I'm pretty sure he's a dude. Because we heard his voice in the Fatui, in that Fatui um, video. Right, I did. What's Thigari? So, Thigari is, um, 
Uh, Specifically, like the the dendro dude with the ears, the five star dendro dude with the ears and the tail, who's a he's a five star dendro bow user. So what's interesting about him is that he kind of has a bit of a charge mechanic, kind of like Ganyu, except when Ganyu shoots her charge attack and then it does like this sort of bloom thing. Uh, uh, what's it, um, Vigari's charge attack actually splits out into mini missiles. So you basically uh, hit someone with an arrow that then does a splitter arrow kind of thing. And I'm actually really interested in using that because, you know, I'm such a fucking Ningguang main that obviously micro missiles are my jam. I also want to say this is the first time I've actually gotten 11 people watch. Is it the first time? I haven't gotten 11 people watching on watching a Genshin stream in quite some time. Is Cora Prime going to be here today? Wait, is Cora Prime going to be here today? No shot, right? I actually hate Genshin Impact now. Oh no. Is it because the gacha screwed you over? Or is it because uh, something else screwed you over? Like, what what what, what caused you to... Uh, what caused you to lose it? Sounds like Yoimiya's bow effect. Yeah, except Yoimiya's got three micro missiles that are shooting from you. The idea with Thaigari is that those micro missiles come from the arrow when it hits someone. Two hours to Terracon, right? I think so. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm mainly focusing on um, Tenno Live, which is that's what I know. Didn't like the combat. Didn't like the combat and the 30 minute reads. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Um, especially as you continue going through the story and you go through like certain character story missions, it stops being 30 minute reads and it starts being 45 minute dialogue trees, which, yeah, it is an absolute bore. Did you do the, did you do the Kazuha story? X? Not yet. Okay, well, you're just, it's, it's 45 minutes of dialogue trees and then 10 minutes of actually something interesting. And something mm -hmm. hilarious. I think you were what? I think you were. Were you here when? When you hear what I did it? I don't remember. I was in the background, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I refused to step dialogue too. Yeah, exactly. When the dialogue, when they've actually put the uh, time and effort into voicing the dialogue, I don't skip it. So it's forty-five minutes of a fucking dialogue tree. Free sword for Kuki to use. Is it actually good on Kuki Shinobu? I, I like. I, I I can't for the life of me think of anyone to use this on. Because Kuki should, uh, mm, Because Kuki should doesn't she scale off EM, not attack? So you probably wouldn't even have that much attack on her. On her. No. Her healing scales off, her healing scales off HP mainly, but you can add extra healing based on EM. Her, her, yeah. add, her ult damage is based on attack, I think. Oh, okay. Wait, no, 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 it's based on her HP as well, is it? To be honest, I don't know, and I don't remember, and I don't have her, so I don't know. Uh, it's not the new event sword, it's the Kazuha story sword. Like, I think... It, hang on, is this the only story mission that gives a weapon? For free? I remember her one is... I think it's Kuki Shinobu. I think it was attack scaling on the old, but depending on your HP level, it'll... Too long or short duration. I think. Yeah, it's also R1. It's only it's also locked at R1, folks. It's it's it's, it's you might as well call it a freaking PS4 sword at this point. <clears throat> yes, yeah, the only weapon not event weapon free. Yeah, it's the only one that comes from um a story quest, but <laughs> it's locked at R1, so who gives a crap? Um, sorry, Miso, was there a particular boss you wanted to do? I don't think you said so in the. If not, we're going to hit... We're going to relive the uh, memory of dust. Okay, I stand corrected. It's it's HP scaling entirely. Oh! Yeah, her, her damage is entirely HP scaling. It's just oh, her own okay, attack, yeah. that, uh, attack scaling then. Oh, crap. Alright. <clears throat> nope? Okay, awesome. <sighs> like... It's interesting that like um, Raiden Shogun event, uh, Raiden Shogun Story Mission Two unlocks a weekly boss. So, if you, for example, want um, if you want Dory 
but you somehow don't care about A at all, you're gonna have to go through the A story quest too. And you're just gonna be sitting there being like, fuck, why am I here? But that's just to unlock this, the weekly boss that will get you the materials for Dory. Allegedly. Um, so yeah. Balls, what? I use this sword of Kuki because I have no other Inazuma sword to use. <laughs> Fair enough. Witsith is useless here. And I assume you don't have, um... Lost Prayer. But I don't have any other catalysts. Rough times, mate. Rough times. I mean, if you want to use a sword of Kuki Shinobu, you might want to use something like... The three star dark iron sword you get from the uh, well, the shop or something. Yeah. It gives EM. Yeah. You can also think about using like Sky Rider sword, right? Because because she's fully HP scaling, you might as well just get energy recharge on the three star sword. Yeah. What's your big hope for Tenocon? Uh, crossplay at this point. Uh, maybe something Railjack related. That'd be really nice. That's my my. That's probably the most copium I am idea I have, like something Railjack related would be fantastic. You want Inazuma theme? Surely Animo Ame Animona Kageuchi would be very good on her. Horses? We're going I think we're going to get horses. I'm almost certain we're going to get horses um because Duviri. Like that's already been shown. And I think the Animona would be good on the Duki. You never use it all anyways. Uh, depends on who you are, I guess. Um, if not Animo, Ame, ah, pronounce this name. If not the sword with the most difficult name, despite the fact that it's just simply Japanese. Ah, oh, she teleported before I chucked my eagle. Where, where are you? There you are. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Not the combat! No! Oh my freaking god. <gasps> on a drop of health. Literally on a drop of health, folks. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Miso! No! There we go. <laughs> Miso, no! What happened, man? Um, I've been avoiding playing the new war just so I won't have to play it on Switch. I mean, fair enough. It's up to you. You just don't like. You just don't like playing it. Is the resolution that bad? I mean, it's a twelve. It's a seven twenty p resolution, isn't it? On the Switch, and then it, but you could dock it. And you can play it on a TV or like a screen, so then you can have full 1080p um, shenanigans. The main thing is that because it's on a Switch, the, it's not the resolution, it's more like the um, the general texture quality and the general model quality does get reduced in order to make sure to in order to make sure that the Switch can still run it without exploding. Um, or lagging like crazy. That's the main thing, right? Because it's still a Switch, you know? Um, so that's that's really the thing. Um, yeah, Switch is kind of bad. I mean, I never expected a game like Warframe to be to, to potentially be working on a Switch. I also never expected a game like Warframe to ever have a mobile port, but you know, the, that's happening too, you know? And uh, hopefully, um, you know, DE doesn't pull a fucking uh, Diablo Immortal. I don't think they will. They, have, they don't have a track record of ever pulling Diablo Immortal shenanigans. Why is it even on Switch? Why not? I think, as well, you know? Warframe Mobile. Yeah, Daxastroph, were you not around for TennoCon last year? When they announced cross-play and cross-save, it was because they were also going to... It was at the same time that they announced that Warframe was also going to go on mobile. That they were also developing a mobile port of Warframe that will work concurrently with the Switch, the Xbox, the PS4, and the PC version. Now, my experience of the Switch version of Warframe was that it was... The textures and the anti-aliasing was like a bit here and there, so graphically it didn't look amazing, amazing, but it still ran all right. 30 frames a second, I think. But it still ran all right. 
wasn't horrible, horrible. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> thought it was a joke or something. No, 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 it's real. They're, they're, they're making it happen. They're making it happen. Uh, but I don't... I, I, I don't have any reason to believe that they're going to pull, you know, like, you know, when most people, when most companies do, um, when most developers do a mobile port of their game, they also bring about, you know, the standard uh, mobile market shenanigans, which is, you know, fucking dog shit microtransactions. Um, I don't think Warframe's going to do that. I don't, I don't see a reason to believe that D is going to pull that just yet. So yeah, we'll see. We'll just see what happens. Warframe on mobile sounds like you have to break your fingers for boom and zoom shit. Then don't boom and zoom, Daxastroth. Just don't fucking boom and zoom. I haven't been boom and zooming at all. Oh, speaking of boom and zoom. I wanted, I just want to read you guys um, a subreddit post on the Warframe subreddit that I actually, I'm surprised was actually on the front page. Um, you guys may have seen it if you actually go on the subreddit. Let me, uh, let me just bring it up. You want to clear fast? Play Mesa. Uh, if you want to clear fast, just play Saren. Actually, Saren will probably be a very, um, a very, um, uh, mobile friendly uh, character because you kind of don't need to press too many buttons, usually. Where am I say? Oh, here we are. Warframe subreddit is so cringe. Yeah, a lot of the times it is very cringe. <clears throat> but then sometimes you come across something that is actually kind of interesting. Don't you realize that the boom and zoom meta is our fault? A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a video game company by the name of Digital Extremes decided to make a mod called Courses Shot. Now, this mod gave us a nice timeline in the recent history of self-damage. At first, it reduced the damage you took from your own explosives by 90%. Why did it reduce the damage of your own explosives by 90%? Because you took damage from your own explosives and, it had, and that hurt a lot of people. And people couldn't be asked to move in this looter shooter with great movement systems. Yes, this is actually, I think, a very interesting Warframe discussion. People complain that 90% damage reduction from your own explosions is unfair and kinda is because our enemies have way more health so we end up doing significantly more damage than we have health. And that later got buffed to reduce 99% of the damage taken by your own explosions. But that didn't really fix the I keep killing myself with my own weapons problem. Because in the end of the day, if we deal roughly a thousand times our own health pool in damage to everyone in the room, reducing that damage by 99% still gets us killed 10 times over. Eventually, people complained about Quarter Shot being a loss in DPS since we're wasting a mod slot on it. So DEB, the ever generous gods that they are made cautious slot a uh, cautious shot into a an excellent mod but people still didn't really clock that they were that there were other solutions to dealing with self damage and i will tell you this i didn't really use explosive weapons all that much you know my answer to oh my god i keep making i keep blowing myself up with explosive weapons is wasn't to bitch and moan about blowing myself up with explosive weapons it was just to continue using weapons that didn't blow myself up Hence, I'm still such a massive Paris Prime nerd, you know? Um, but yeah. Uh, people, uh, that's what brings us here. The era where everyone and their mother, or rather everyone who wants to get their grind done, uses a Kuvazar and a Wu clone for the very simple reason that it is efficient. And it is simply too easy. I feel like there's an alternative timeline where D has said something along the lines of fucking grow a pair and people compl when people complain about self damage. I kind of wish that D sometimes would just put their dick on the table and say this is how it's, this is how it's gonna fucking be. Grow a pair. If you're if you're complaining about blowing yourself up with your explosive weapons, how about you learn how to not blow yourself up with an explosive weapon? Because guess what? If real life happens and you find yourself in a situation where you have to use a rocket launcher, maybe you should learn safe rocket launcher use. Maybe it's time we start thinking about that again. We can end the boom and zoom meta instantly by bringing back self damage, which is actually kind of ironic because a lot of people bitched, a lot of people, and honestly, I kind of bitched a little bit too about, um, 
explosive damage. A lot of people fish to moan about explosive damage, and yeah, I I also sort of fished a bit, a little bit about it as well. Because at the time, it really did feel like it made sense that he should just get rid of self damage. But then, you know, now in hindsight, it's way too fucking easy. Self damage Trinity, the good old days. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You blow yourself up, but you actually wouldn't blow yourself up because your link would just send that damage to someone else. Hey, good times, mate. Good times. I 100% agree with this, and I'm really shocked that this post made it to the front of the subreddit. A subreddit that, mind you, is an absolute circle jerk, where if you ever say something that is against the community and is seemingly in favor of DE, you're a fucking heretic. This post pretty much calls out everyone in the community who bitched and moaned about self-damage. And also suggests that, hey, maybe D had the right idea of letting self-damage still be a thing in some capacity. I 100% agree. I 100% agree. Um, now, I think what would be much more interesting is if explosive damage didn't just kill you instantly, but at least took out, like, a portion of your health, or a portion of your health and shields, you know? Um, because... On the one hand, grow a pair, but on the other hand, it kept one shot at you, which is kind of wild. Now, of course, we have shield gates now, so perhaps it won't one shot you if we just bring it back because your shield will kick in. But then if you're playing in Naro's Prime, then um, you're still going to get one shot at anyway, so you know, tough shit. So yeah, it's just something to think about, folks. Wait, boom in, the boom in boom and zoom means actual boom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actual boom. Because boom and zoom, Daxastroph, was very simply you use a fast moving warframe and an explosive weapon. And you just keep shooting that explosive weapon, Kuva Brahma, you just keep shooting that explosive weapon, uh, and you just keep running and you don't care what you hit because anything you hit is just going to die. You just aim in the general direction of something, you shoot it, and then you just move on. Because that thing's gonna- because that thing and the 35 friends around it is just gonna die. And then you move on to the next thing. It's absolutely degenerate in every way, shape, and form. Now, luckily, I personally have not come across this myself. Mainly because Oceania servers, there's not that many players to begin with. Keck. Um, so, if we're all going to play d Luke, bring out your d Luke. So, bring out your d Luke. Where is he? You have- I know you have a D-Luke. I will continue to use a Benny then. I'll use a Benny and a D-Luke. Bring out your D-Luke, my dude. Bring out your D-Luke. Let's go and do these things. I've boomed and zoomed once. I actually used to boom and- I actually used to play, um... Like, I actually didn't realize I was playing boom and zoom when I used to play... Mirage and Koopa Brahma. And it was fun for about 10 minutes and then it got boring. Because it just got too easy. It was to farm Void Plume Pinions. Is it that good of... I guess it's good of Pinions, huh? Brahma is my most used weapon. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Somehow I don't doubt that. Alright, we're, we're waiting for soup. X, do you want to join in? What are they doing? Uh, four D Luke's doing the commissions. Commissions? Yeah. Uh, Not the dailies, I mean, I mean the weekly commies. Ah. Uh, I need to give my D Luke. I haven't used him in like a hot minute. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll wait for X to jump in. I needed to kill angels and finish the exterminate fast. Yeah, fair enough. Hmm. <clears throat> Misa doesn't have the skin. Neither do you. Uh, Neither do you, Soup, as far as I can tell. So, you know. Ah, uh, yes. Waste a great sword. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Waste a great sword. <laughs> I got 500 hours in this game, and my most used stuff is a normal mag, Acceltra, and a Mark 1 Kunai, and a Skana. God damn. 
You've been playing early game for like 15 years, Daxastrop. How did that happen? I'm assuming you have a four piece uh, crimson somewhere that you could use, X. Yeah, I'm clean. Switching it over. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <clears throat> 86, 150. Okay. That's not bad. It's a lot better than my 55, 144. Yeah. <laughs> Our most used stuff frame is oh, your really primary Brahma, secondary Nuke or Melee Quasas. Alright, so I guess I'm the leader then. Alright, let's go. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Wait, you guys all have Wolf Gravestones? I'm not sure. Klee Gang. I don't have Klee. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. <laughs> his, 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 uh, his Klee does uh, electric damage for some reason. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Ready, everyone? Let's go! Miso, you're missing. Miso, MIA. Report Miso for uh, AFK. Wait, was that staying on burning grass or something? Wait, why am I. Yeah, we are standing on burning grass. Uh, okay, well, you'll, you'll need to be on time for the second one, mate. Unless it's all, uh, friggin', um... It'll be pretty hilarious if it's, like, friggin' Pyro... Jesus Christ, this guy won't die! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it's friggin', like, Pyro memes. Like, Pyro immune, that would be pretty annoying, eh? Can't even say Gar I. What? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's let's continue with the next one. Miso soup. If you want to jump on the on the voice call, that way we can like coordinate a little bit better, so that you don't have to deal with um the. Uh, I'm guessing we're doing physical dilute, judging from that. Yeah, dog. we're doing physical uh, dilute, chat. Physical dilute. Here we go. Do I have a. I don't know if I have a physical, physical. damage bonus. Pop. Put on a physical damage cup, folks. I have, um. I wonder if I need. Oh, crap. Mine has to be. Oh, shit. I have to use on set. No, I don't. No, I don't. Let's oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run a full physical build then. Uh, I believe my the set that I'm using on Yula should be really really good. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Swap that. Yula, what do you got? Yola, where are you at? Yola, 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 where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there's your physical bonus. Cup. Wait, Klee's got her stuff back. Okay. Deluke, what should I give you with? Okay, so this Deluke was actually, actually is decently built now. 57, 161, physical Deluke. <laughs> Let's see how this works. We're waiting on um. We're, we're waiting on the others first. Okay, I have a clip I want to send to Discord. It's some funny mag shit. Okay, put it on Discord. We'll have a look later. Physical damage. Surely this one. Surely this one. <laughs> Questionable, but it'll do. All right, Miso, waiting on waiting on you, and um, yeah, waiting on you as well. Where are we? We're here. What? Yeah, we're we're at the we're at that area. I need to. Miso, where you at? Yo, just kick. Okay. R.I.P. Miso. Yeah. All right, if, if that if we're gonna play physical Deluxe. There's only one thing to do. C6 Benny. <laughs> Thanks. 
<laughs> you just wasted all my time gearing. All right, let's do it. It's C6 fine. I can still do physical damage. C6 even for Zarya. <laughs> let's roll. We'll hit the. Uh, let's hit the. I am fine with the Bennett. Yeah. I'm fine with the Bennett. Let's hit the flying one first. I, I will be quite pleased with the with the Bennett as well. Yeah. Oh what? I got pushed. Bastards! Wait for me! What the? How's it? Why does it hit me like that? So, yeah, Pyro will work on the other one, but like it's the shield do that Pyro won't work on. All right, here we go. My attack has gone up. Thanks for the mystery, Harry's guy. Next, you look like you're dying. Hi, Miss Harry, was ya? Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> what is this happening? Jesus Christ. Whoa, what? Just oh, popped me, man. Nice. Uh oh. Super. <laughs> <laughs> he died again. <laughs> Did he pop an egg into him and set on the fire? That what happened? <laughs> Thanks for the five mystical ores. Ooh, five mystic ores, hey? Nice. Hey. That's the that that's the that's the Genshin giveaway that we're doing today, folks. I'm giving away five mystic ores to anyone who watches this stream long enough. <clears throat> Archon beats, when does Tenocon when does Tenocon live begin? Uh soon. In fact, Tenocon probably begins... Actually, let's have a look. Like, normally... Hang on, let me see. I should get a um, Twitch... I should be getting a Twitch notification that Play Warframe goes live, and that's when Tenocon really begins. Apparently it's, becoming, it's apparently it's beginning in two hours. Oh, okay, well, there we go. Where's Benjamin? There you are. All right. Time for the real C6 Benjamin memes. Play Warframe is called Warframe now? Oh, they actually they got rid of the play part? Oh, okay. If Tenno equals child, con equals like. Another word for like equals file. Bruh. <laughs> Wait, how does con equal like? <clears throat> Soup's ears are pricking up. Okay, it's another lava shell. Uh, it's another lava shell in Tatarasuna. Before we begin, let me just um <clears throat> change up, swap back my um Diluc build before it goes nuts. Okay, so. <sighs> What's with the golden rift town and the and the uh, ru ruin serpent? Why do they have such <laughs> weird hitboxes? They they launched <laughs> when I was doing it with another team. They launched it launched me into the ceiling of the abyss. <laughs> it launched my Ayaka, dude. Like straight out, I was like, am I going to fall from full damage? Am I going to die from full damage? I don't know, man. It's clearly that high. Dude. Wait for us. Wait for us. I don't know what it is. Oh no, it's over here, it's over here. Oh, you just, yeah. you, you went, you came into a Follow the Karagi spot, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Alright, Soup, go. get in here, let's go. Wait, it doesn't spawn until you get there? Yeah, it doesn't spawn until I get there. Hold on, let me just uh, get my Benny um, energy up. Alright, everyone, get in here. Three, two, one. one. Okay, kill something. I have infinite charge stamina. Let's go! Oh, 
What's up? Nice. Switch you to Twitch? Okay. Four piece bloodstain. Is it four piece bloodstain? No. Well, you're using four piece one. bloodstain. God damn. Oh no. Bloodstain and then uh, charge attack. <laughs> oh, right. That's how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, while we are all here, Maguro Kenki. <clears throat> Maguro Kenki, if you don't dodge in the battle, you get one shot? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Great. Amazing. <laughs> don't worry, we got Benny. He's supposed to be a good healer, isn't that correct? He's a good griefer in this case. <laughs> Amazing griefer. That's what I kept thinking about him when, with regards to fighting Ashtaha. Because he would drop his ult right in front of Ashtaha. And so if you're playing like a bow character, who is supposed to be one of the safest characters against Ashtaha, you're completely screwed. You get nothing. All right, time to dodge, boys. <laughs> you guys don't run away. What is this? Yeah, I don't have uh, anyone to trigger the four-piece oh, blood Oh my freaking god! There's your heels. Dead, my grief. <laughs> ah! oh, oh my god! D Luke dying again. Typical fucking D Luke's, man. Just iframe forehead. <laughs> I tried to bring an iframe, man. He <laughs> still died, the bastard. Oh my god. Oi. My coffee order is about to arrive. Oh nice, I should probably get my coffee too. Because I think the time is a oh no. The time is arrived, we're going to farm some Hmm. I don't farm think I need some. to farm any I don't think I need to farm crimson again. I'd rather not. Farming crimson the bar. What am I running on? Oh, right. It I is know. emblem domain forever, for all eternity. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna give strong box and 3.0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, they're putting. Um, for... I don't know if they're putting everything or if they're just putting the elemental ones. It is almost everything. It's like there's no tenacity, I think. There's. No tenacity? Uh, oh, that sucks. I don't think that was tenacity. I don't. I think that's, is that the only one? Well, so every single other one seems to be in there. Oh, I have a set, that's right. One second, everyone. The... I'm just gonna get my coffee. Wait, as you were saying? I was saying... Uh, there's only two sets that... Or two dungeons that... Uh, the sets are not in the strong box. And that's the two most recent ones in the Zuma one. Oh, Husk isn't in there either, so... There's three dungeons. Husk, Clam, Shimano, Emblem, Echoes, and Vermilion. These six out will not be in the uh, the 3.0 Shrine box. Spin to win in Genshin? I, I wish that was the case. That's only the case if you have Skyward Pride, I suppose. Actually, Spin to win. Uh, that would be uh, Noel and uh, Xinyan. Mm, Noel? Yeah, yeah, charge. Yeah, um, when you're not using Yunjin, Noel, Noel basically spins to win. I haven't heard that one. Yeah, because um, she has a um, <clears throat> she has a thinger. Also, hey, as a co, as a co. Yeah, because um, Noel has this um really cool. Uh, I think it's a is it a talent? No, it's a consolation. Oh, charge attack, stamina decrease by like 15%. Yeah, like. that's the one. Talent. Right? Right? 
I don't remember. No, 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 I no, think no, that on. was from like my vague memory from 1.0 from scanning her uh, description once. Oh yeah, C2. It's C2. Chip, Warframe channel and House Yami. Okay, let's have a look. What do we got? Okay, so you're summoning a bunch of dudes. You're using a Felux. Magnetize. Holy shit! Oh, and, and then when you reload, you're jacking off? Holy shit! <laughs> okay, yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> um, if you... Okay, see if you can, um... If, get a, get a invigoration of Zada's Whisper. And then try that again. It'll probably be even wild. Even more wild. Okay, 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 you guys, I don't know if you want to bring your pyros or your uh, cryos. Y'all figure it out, and then I'll bring whoever's left. Soup declined the invite. We're farming uh, EOSF. Just gotta remember that you can give feedback on Twitch if you haven't done so already. Yeah. I need to do more weekly bosses. Oh, right. Soup actually needs more weekly bosses. I, I missed that. I missed that um thing. Okay. All right. Let's hit um. If that if that's the case, then let's just hit um. Ishtaha. And then we'll also hit child. Why not? We'll also hit child. Why Clee doesn't come home? How do you hit child? <laughs> Clee doesn't come home because of child abuse. Yes. Wait, what's- Weekly what's... child abuse. Oh, it's Electro and Pyro today. Oof. Oh, overloads. Well, or well, lack thereof. I'm gonna play Aloy. Hmm. Hmm. What goes on around Asia has none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, hang on. You're playing Kaz Soup? Okay, good luck. Level 70 Kaz, yeah, good luck. Yeah, good luck, mate. Kate hits Childs. Every Genshin player up till about 2.3, I want to say, was hitting a child. Twenty K HP Kaz. Oof. Why is that so bloody high? He's had something probably. Need to fit the very distant settings of some, some, somehow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's my guess. Yeah. Okay, we got the cryo firing squad. I like it. <laughs> Soup against the Ashtaha. Soup tank. <laughs> yeah, good luck mate. Level 71 tank. <laughs> Don't, don't go for me. Oh, run, Soup! Run! Oh, he's trying to like float above it. Oi. Okay, clearly, clearly, I should have done this. I didn't know that Soup was like this level of wild. No dummy shield. Yeah, no zombie shield. Well, I mean, he's he's the one who's basically tanking it, so yeah, even if there is Zhongli shield. I mean, unless you're... Well, you've got C2 Zhongli, but you're not using him. So there goes that idea. And oh, I don't have C2 be. Zhongli. I do have C6 Diona, so I probably should have brought Diona. What's happening? Why is he over there? Over there. Over there. Nice, I'm actually doing 18k charge attacks. That's wild on Aloy too. 
Similar for Huh. And BB Shred Drum. Interesting. So. So another way to clear the pyro thing, the pyro tag, is to just vaporize it. Huh. Ooh, there, there's a melt. That's a melt if I've ever seen one. Oh shit. Ice rush, baby. Bam! Ah, no crit. Right. Even if you I frame with the old, you still uh, you still get tagged. Yeah, okay. you still get tagged. Yeah. I've been full action, so. And then finally, we hit the child. You can bring your wow. you can bring your clay this time. So if you want to bring your clay, it it sounds like you're looking forward to child abuse, dude. <laughs> Finally, I don't get to abuse child, child that much, mate. I, I don't often abuse, abuse child at all. If anything, it's not me who's excited. It's definitely Soup who's excited. You can hear him through the 5G radio waves getting very excited for this. What are you? Ah, you're gonna use Gene? Yeah, my 300% ER Gene almost. Um, a Klee, okay, a Gene, a Bennett, and a Deluke. That This uh. this looks almost canon. <laughs> this is almost a- this is basically a family. You've got the dad, the- you've got the dad, the, the mother, the- the son, and and the, the, the daughter. Yeah. It's a family outing. It's a family day trip. To murder... N nice clip there. Nice clip. Yeah, it's a wonderful clip. Thank you. Oh, that's a good one. 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 Oh, that's a Soup when you're ready. Ah. Oh, I didn't even really ちょっと。Let's go! Where are you? Oh yeah, nice one, nice one, Deluke. You just pushed him out of, <sighs> pushed him out of Benny's ultimate. Yeah, well done. <laughs> that value must be insane. Oh, Cody dead. No shot. How did you die when we have two healers? That's okay. It's okay. Oh shit! That's okay. It's the it's the husband and it's the husband and wife combo. Oh, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> yeah, where was Mommy Jean? <laughs> big child now, eh? Yeah, big child indeed. Yo, what? What? What do you mean you're above? No, there you are. Alright, so that's your weekly bosses done? Yes? Let's farm EOSF. Am I uh, artifact? Hey, Mr. Gar, it is your car built. It's my Cora built? Yeah. Or at least was. I don't, I don't remember what my core ability even is anymore. I haven't used her in so long. Built? Yes, past tense. Yes, it wa she was built. But is she built to a satisfactory level as of now? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, let's do... Uh, where are you? Aloy! Let's roll! Oh, hang on. Actually, if I want to do that... I'll bring along Sucrose as well, why not? Why have one Kazuha? When you can have two Kazuhas, hey! I think that sounds like a no wonderful... No one's gonna kill you're gonna die. <laughs> Sorry? No one's gonna kill when you're gonna die. Uh, heal, a, heal a Sucrose. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> try not to die too, too quickly though. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some cleaner, so I'm off to lurk a bit. Okay, no worries, mate. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's see how this turns out. Come on, come on, baby soup. Let's go. Oh god, my it infused uh, electrode. Son of a Wait, what? It what? Somehow I cancelled out of Aloy's ultimate and just lost all the energy. Holy shit! Uh, where, wait, where, where is it? <laughs> where, where the hell was it? I find that sometimes I, I'm animation cancelling an alt. I don't know how oh, that. Ha Whoa, hello. I don't know how that happened. Just the bug, maybe? Dude got child handed? Yeah. Child handled, yeah. Oh, someone's left. Do we still want to run EOSF, folks, or do we want to run something else? Yeah, I can run EOSF. I thought it was done. Sorry? I didn't see a resin. Oh, okay. I kind of actually want to run the chasm one. I'm still missing pieces um, for one of those two sets. Right, right. We can run that. Yeah. Doesn't matter what we run as long as it's <laughs> elemental damage, Kazuha. <laughs> yes. Alternatively, it doesn't matter what team it is, Bennett. <laughs> yeah, Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> Bennett. Step down for a heal. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run Electro. Oh, I'm going better than this. All right, just to make sure you guys don't die ever. It's just three machines. What could possibly happen? And then three seconds later, we're all dead. And I'm like. 
Well, Make shit. sure there is no possible way that you guys die. <laughs> Benny. I will get the mo absolute most healing that I can muster. <laughs> Where's the invite? Apparently it's still pending. Try again. Hey. Where's my Bennett? Wait, oh, yeah. Bennett. How are you enjoying Klee, Soup? And I realize when in asking that question, that is a very dangerous question, but I'm going to try and ask it anyway. How are that you enjoying Klee, Soup? To ask on stream. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The answer to that question may very well make or break Twitch. Super satisfying. Okay. I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's leave it at that, yeah. Yeah, let's just Definitely leave it at that. The, 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 the... <laughs> the good choice. She blows me away. Oh. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. Now. Thank you. That'll be enough. <laughs> That'll be enough. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have energy recharge if I use the other weapon? Mm. I have A. You'll be fine. Oh, in that case, J cut Extra twenty percent HP. You want to swap before we start? Uh, I can, I can do it. Yeah, why not? Let's... Alright, let's see how much healing we do. Wait, does that mean Jay cut on this heal this Bennett has 62% crit rate, 80 83% uh 82% uh crit damage. Oh damn! And we also have Pyro Resonance. Let's go! I'm seeing your AP bounce around. <laughs> what? Pa! 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 60k a pop. Nice! I like that. Whoa. 80k. 80k ride right and hit. What? 80k ride right and hit. What the hell was that? Check Discord after you're done. All right, let's have a look at what we're looking at. Oh. What? Okay. Who were you guys healing for, actually? I have no idea. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> let's have a look at. Uh, let's have a look at this real quick. So this is uh, after. You, this is with you using um, Zardas Whisper, is it? Yep, there's Zardus Whisper. <laughs> Told ya. <laughs> God damn, we gotta run that back. We gotta run that back. That's brutal. Are those Gox out offices? Yeah, they are. Jesus Christ. When you're re-inviting because like, I'm watching something else. Alright, sure. That's that's nuts, dude. <laughs> oh man. I was only healing for 6.5k per tick. What? Was I? Me, yeah. I thought oh. I was healing for more. Maybe the the set effect buff didn't go in. Which set effect is this? Maidens. Of all the sets to not work properly, this, that was the last one I would ever think of. <clears throat> Wait, I have an idea. Sara. Wait, what is soup? Wait, where is soup? Oh wait, no, never mind. If soup's bringing like clear and stuff, yeah, yeah, I'd bother. Is Exceltra good? Every weapon is good in the right hands. If you like the weapon, it's good. But I can join. Oh, damn it, Miso, you're off by like 
a split second. We'll try again. We'll 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 we'll, we'll, re we'll make the party again. <clears throat> Miso, send the uh send the join request. Let's do it. I hear that like. Let me think. I think Exceltra has very mixed reviews then. Because I've heard that Exceltra is pretty good. But if some of y'all reckon Exceltra is kind of bad. I mean, you know, just, just make it and give it a go and see if you like it. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. If you like it, then you like it. Boom. Me not having a chair that's not me I'm guessing not me having a chair that's falling apart. What? Candyman criminal, hey, how's it going? I mean ninety percent of this community is stupid. Yeah, that's true. They say everything is good. They also say everything is bad. Which is the most hilarious part. Isn't that isn't that right, Gasty How? Everything is both good and bad at the same time. It is Schrodinger's meta. And that's not just uh, Warframe, that's that's Genshin as well. It's Schrodinger's meta on a near constant basis. I'm tired as hell, slept like shit. Well, I haven't slept. Boom. <laughs> Misa, where you at? They say Prados is bad, but Prados is actually pretty good. Yeah, pretty much. I haven't, I haven't heard much about the bad side. Just Yoreli bad, Inaris bad, Hydroid bad, Prados bad. Um, <clears throat> uh, Prados bad. Uh, Railjack bad. You know, just basically everything bad. And then we're like, hmm. Hmm, is it that bad though? Is it that bad though? Still loading. Whoa. Okay, let's try again. You fixed up a shooting gallery. That's actually not a bad idea. I still get people groaning about mag when I join randos. Oof. Miso, what's going on with your internet, mate? Seems like you have a really bad connection. Invite? We stop. Oh, okay, we'll try again. One more time. Let me uh, do this. So you're here. It's interesting because you have a green. You you allegedly have the best connection out of all four of us to the server, and yet. There we go. If you, if you struggle with shooting gallery, just use Buzzle Flash. Hell yeah, brother, hell yeah. Bring whoever you want, so Uh, so Bring whoever you want, Miso. Let's go. There's always people groaning about bag. Just send them my way so I can just slap their ass down. Candy Mad, just send them my way. Just send them right away and be like, hey, Candy Mad Criminal told me to tell you that I don't like it when Mag joins my team. And I'll be like, you don't like it when Mag joins your team? You don't like it when a, when a Warframe comes along that can strip everyone's armor so that you don't have to? You don't like a Warframe that keeps you alive by providing you with shields through Crush or Polarize? You don't like it when a Warframe puts enemies together so that you can very easily kill them in really easy and fancy, fancy fashion? You don't like a Warframe that basically does your job for you so you can just sit back and reap the benefits without having to do anything, you lazy son of a bitch? Are you sure you don't like Mag or is it just really something about yourself. Think about it before you actually answer next time. Miso dead again. God damn it, Miso! What's up, you man? What's happening, mate? Uh, the domain on uh, 40% HP and didn't go low. Got sucked in and died. Oof. Like, he died like three pixels away from my ult. So oh healed. no! <laughs> it was so close. <laughs> Pa! 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 
Do people not shoot their EV target? Yeah, people do not shoot their EV targets, mate. Dude, the amount of people... I still remember back in the old days when, um... Remember when, um, Brenia? Brenia farming was a thing, folks? I think it's just Brozyme. Brozyme you By the way, Brozyme uses dispensary on trip. I may have uh, forgot that I was on... Like... Hey man, how's it going? 20% HP. Oh my god. HP. <sighs> Cephalon. Sorry. Oh. Go on. Whoa! Wait, how do I not have max resin? God damn, oh. we're getting some good stuff. Okay. Cephalon Mara. I'm going to need you to find me some evidence that he actually did that. Because that is too stupid. That is just too stupid to be true. If, uh... I'm, I'm if having you find... a bit of a confused moment. Yeah. If you, uh... If you cannot find me info... If you cannot find me proof that he actually did that... You know? Then, you know, that's not good. That's not a good sign. Soup! Soup! Oh, soup. Oh, okay, there you go. I no, no objection here, say rejection down bad. Rejected down bad. Oh, what? Yeah, Genshin doesn't allow overheal, does it? Over what? Overhealing. Uh, overhealing in the way of like using the clam set? Yeah, sure. The clam will calculate overheal, but when you get the green number, it doesn't affect the overheal, right? Like, uh, can I try no. switching a weapon real quick? No, yeah, yeah, sure, go for it. Yeah, there's no. Oh, that's why I only showed 6.5 last time, because Cleo oh. only had lost 6.5 oh. HP. But when yeah. Riso died and I healed him, it was fucking 10.9k. Wait, hold <laughs> on, you're using uh, Han Hamayumi? Okay. Fair I enough. just want to try it. Yep, fair enough. Hey, Kate, do you have a name for your viewers, like Asian Courses viewers? Holy shit. Mm, no, not really. I haven't really come up with a name. I mean, the Discord is called House Yami. I may just use Hamayumi from now on. You actually yeah, like Hamayumi? If you're gonna play uh, Ganyu, then you know, stand back. Let us, let us, uh, you know, figure it out here. You're like the long-range artillery, like sort of um, player in an RPG. Wait, sports Hamayumi. I think it's better, but if there is one and you hit it. Prototype's better. Mm. Should I R5 Hamayumi for Ganyu? That sounds pretty Not good. Bad. <laughs> what is this ERP's? God damn it. <gasps> Lameo, I use Aqua Ganyu, so I need sh so need to shotgun range. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, if you're playing Aqua Ganyu, yeah, you really need to you really need to get real up close and personal. I'm kind of sad I don't have Amos. I've been playing this game since release. Don't hey, worry, you're not the only one here without Amos. Isn't that right, X? Yeah. No Amos, no Wolf Gravestone, no Skyward Spine. <clears throat> meanwhile... Hey, let's go. Meanwhile, I would just like to point out that I currently have an R2 Amos bow. Yeah. Fuck you, Kate. Get <laughs> R5 Amos, R2 Amos bow and shove it. Yeah, give me that shit right now. <laughs> Let's go! Someone I know literally just way off for Amos and I'm, I'm pissed at them. You guys still don't have Amos. Damn. That's such a shot that you. What's funny is that I didn't wail for Amos and I got Amos. Because I was wailing for C6 Lisa. God damn it. You get two, an R2 5 star weapon when you're getting a. When you're going for a. Uh, a four star character makes sense. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 pretty close. One year, no wolf that I want. I have I have too many Akira Favonias and Sky Halves. God damn. That's rough. One That's rough, buddy. I only have one five star for that, but fine. That's Jade Spear. Hey. Yeah. Okay. That's let's, rough. 
Let's hope this actually tur- Oh, wow, okay. Okay, let's hope that that sand turned out pretty good. Guess we'll find Wait, can out. you not get two Twitch drops at the same time? Did you? Well, don't then, question then it. At that one. point, just don't question it. I just just take it as a as a wonderful surprise. <laughs> All right, don't be shit. Or like, all you gotta do, you have one job, artifact. You have one job, just one. Fuck. Okay, you have one job, just the one. That defense roll, though. That defense roll. Fuck. Okay, you have one job. Come on. Come on. This could be a Sinyan piece. Copium. 25% chances of them. Yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't, don't do me up the shit like this. Fuck. I'm running out of Mora. This is a... Nah, this is a wipe. <sighs> what a damn shame. What a damn, damn oh, shame. Damn. Wait, hold My on. My Wi-Fi just like... We're not done yet. Crashed. Your Wi-Fi just crashed. How are you still yeah. with us? For my uh, laptop or other laptop. Oh. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> the not of refining weapons is understandable. I just don't want to have so many uh. Spend so much resin just yeah, farming out weapons. Yeah, I also wouldn't be refining weapons Cries except I just... in prototype on cake. Yeah. Like, it's a standard better weapon, I'd refine it. If it's a gacha weapon, I might not. I might not even roll on the same banner again. Alright, we've got ourselves a bit of a winner winner chicken dinner. I just don't have any fodder. What a shame. Okay, winner winner chicken dinner. There it is. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna that. I finally at least have a freaking sand that I could use on this particular set, so that'd be great. Okay, that's uh, just about all the resin I have, except 20, which I'm going to burn trying to get Mora, so come with me as we go and get some Mora. Fix my benefit bill. Uh, so we're gonna go to the Sangonomiya Shrine area. Bring whoever you want. We say, oh, don't bring electro characters because I'm pretty sure this particular part of the Mora trip, we're going to be going against some electro slimes, I think. Hey, and potentially some cryo slimes. Have you not maxed your entire map? Sorry? Have you not maxed your entire map? I don't bother with that shit. It's because like, the idea of finding the last, like, random ass uh, uh, box. Yeah, no, nah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have the energy to deal with that nonsense. All right, I'm waiting for you guys. What the? Wow. Pyrotif. Pyrotif. You have no idea how much I want that skin right now. <laughs> it's all for the low, low price of two days worth of lunch. Yeah. Three days reasonable. if you eat. Three days if you eat cheap. Does feather calculated to Benny buff? No. It is purely just your base weapon damage. That's it. So the I'm only thing that matters that, with like regards to the Betty buff is just uh, Betty's level and which weapon you use. Oh, that thing got wiped off the face of the earth? Yeah. That's what happens when um, th several different... Uh, you ready, Miso? Three, two, one. I don't know if you used yours, but I definitely yes. used mine. <laughs> I didn't use mine. Ah, but there we go. 
how different is the animation? It doesn't seem that different, does it? Animation is the same. It's, it's just the it's main just thing is that yeah, the main Definitely. thing is the color, and I think the eagle itself looks a little bit different. All right, it we're gonna kill these guys. Different, but I can I can't even tell the difference. It's like not that that much. At all. I think I think the main thing is that like the OG skins one is a bit bright, a bit more on the brighter like orangey side. The skin one is a bit more on the darker side. I have the clip, but Discord is ass, and I can't post shit over eight megabytes. You gotta get nitro, mate. All right, I'm out of Mora now. The time has come to kick you guys out of my world as I go to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh, I need to do that. Thanks for joining the world. And we'll figure the it out The physical Deluke was atrocious. <laughs> I think I have it clipped. Oh yeah, Key, can you let me kill my uh, rank 5 sister later? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, thanks. Uh, oh no, that's C six Toma. What's this? Oh no, I didn't clip it. Well, it might. <sighs> All right, we're gonna go to the Golden Apple Archipelago now. <clears throat> With Aloy. Where are you, Catherine? How could I forget? Aloy. Aloy. Well, to be fair, like when you were when I was playing Wind Trace, it seems like ninety five percent of the community forgot that Aloy was a character, so I could just stand there in broad daylight yeah. and people would just walk run right past me. <laughs> so uh, you know, a character who is used less than five percent of the time in Spiral Abyss. Does have their Isn't advantages. Isn't she the only character with locked constellations at the moment? Yeah. So you know there are some uh, there are some benefits to that. My beloved retainer. Oh. Oh, that's official language. Yep, that's official language. Hundred percent. Ooh, official skin. Let's go. That official skin got me nutting. <laughs> yeah, it's official. What do we even say to that? Oh, Catherine's being cute. Oh, we're doing it. The, we're doing the quest at the same time. Chat, do we want to hear more, or are we good? <laughs> I think I'm good here. Okay, I'll race you to finish the quest. No, I'm not going to race through the quest. I'm going to experience the whole thing. Alright. You have fun with that. Alrighty. I will paint the building in white. Oh my god, soup. Oh my god, soup. And soup get some help. <laughs> Dude, we've been saying that for thousands of years. Alrighty. Meet Fischl at the plaza. Oh. I like how the stars are not telling us to, um... Like, the, 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 the route that it's telling us to take is not the route where we go up the stairs and all that jazz. It's the route where we climb the damn wall. Yeah, when I was a new player, I followed those stars, so... Oh, yeah. I died a lot. Oh, yeah, at the start, climbing these walls was an absolute meme. Oh, it's it's Fischl, it's Fischl, Mona, and Oz! Should I be using English voice since this is a monster thing? Maybe I should. I'll swap over to English after, after this cutscene. Or after this thing. Hey, I'm currently official. like, I'm three minutes in right now, Kate, so... Hey, Cat and Elliot, how's it going? 
Wow. You're gonna be stuck in it for a while. Well, isn't that isn't that exciting, chat? We finally get to know who Fischl is. This is the first time this is actually not the first time that we've even seen Fischl in a quest. Why are we getting this now? Two years after two years after the start of the game. <laughs> That is a pog champ moment. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is of course Mona's uh, censored skin. Except, uh... It isn't that censored, is it, chat? It really isn't that censored. Also, you know, new Oz voice actor for Chinese. After all that shenanigan. What, what happened with the... Basically, I th basically, the idea is that the Chinese voice actor for Oz ended up in a... Bizarro relationship with one of his fans, and it just became a bit of a scandal. So Hoyoverse just straight the fuck up, cut him out from the from the project. So then they spent like a year and a bit trying to find a new voice actor for Oz, which is why Oz, sorry, which is why Fischl had like a ludicrously long um banner rate, um, you know. Thingos. And then also secondly why Fischl just pretty much disappeared from existence for like the longest time until finally today. If they don't have the original Golden Apple Archipelago soundtrack they probably do. その did you just spiral yet? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably try it again sometime this sometime next week. Using Fischl sorry, using Lisa and Aloy in some capacity. Would be interesting to see if I can make it work. Should be able to, I reckon. Oh, oh yeah, Kate, have you heard about the uh, legend of Lost Riches we're on? The what, the, the what and the what what now? There's allegedly gonna be a Lost Riches we're on. A Lost Riches we're on. Like the silly pet thing. Lost Riches? I don't quite remember what that is. It's a silly pet man. Why do you dig up coins? Then you oh, that one. Pad. Oh, different colors. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a dendro colored one. Ooh, okay. Hey, more events is always good. Just gives us streamers something to actually do for like three hours on the stream. <laughs> Almost there, Kate. Or for ten Ocon at least. Ten Live is still a good five hours away. Oh yeah, yeah. Ten Live's not gonna be on for a while. No. Had to post it on TikTok. You had to turn it into a TikTok, huh? Oof. Oh, I'm curious to see how Sinyan and Kazuha are part of this. Like, of all the characters to be part of this, Sin Sinyan. Like she really she really just has the most random story arc right now, huh? She's just popping up all over the place at this point. I'm still I still don't quite understand how she showed up in Inaz how she was like part of the Inazuma thing. That um Wait, she was part of the Inazuma? She was she was um part of that um that event, that combat event with the random generated tile set thing. And Tart was there as well. Oh. Yeah, it was the one where we learned that Scaramouche has gone AWOL. 
Yeah, somehow she was part of this, and I was like, of all the characters to be part of this, Shinyan, Shinyan, god damn. Wait, 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 what the fuck? Why is Oz's voice just suddenly so different? What the fuck? What is going on? Tenacon Barrow is here. Nice. If you've bought the Tenacon digital ticket or anything like that, you should be able to get access to the Tenacon Barrow, which is basically Barracutia with everything. So, if I bought the ticket, I'd be able to get every single like personal weapon. Yeah, provided you have enough ducats. Yeah. Okay, this this roleplay is getting a bit over. This roleplay is getting overwhelming. <laughs> Why does Oz suddenly sound like a fucking weep? <gasps> what is happening? Oh, it's reenactment. This is like the epitome of Genshin Impact. Klee gave Fischl an island. Holy shit, she actually owns the archipelago now? To serve as the uh, promised yes. land. God damn! Esteemed princess of the Imanakrite. I am a witch who travels amidst the mountains and rivers of Teyvat. That's probably oh, Alice. Shit, it's Alice. Yeah, it's Alice. I write to you having heard from my young daughter that your kingdom has fallen and you are searching for a way to restore it. Amid the seas under a far-flung sky may the Golden Apple Archipelago be found. If this masterless land can assist in your restoration of your highness's realms, that would be most wonderful. Fuck yeah, let's do it. There we go, that's the Oz voice that I know. Not that friggin' high pitched, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, voice. <sighs> Actually, those eyes for two is a hella cancer the second time I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's permafreeze bullshit dude we have to find a way i think we have to like actually i think we have to go backwards and let the mirror maiden teleport to us you kill the mirror maiden and then those pyro dudes are like fucking easy mode except those pyro dudes are going to jump up into the air and then try to slam you so you got to try and figure it out i think i think giving it some range may be the idea i also really feel like um floor 11 and 12 are designed to really um, are, are designed to really like be uh, done by whoever is like the new five stars or like the five stars that have been promoted despite the fact that obviously you know the ley line bonus for floor 12 continues to be nothing but, you know I mean 11 is made to sell whatever's on battle yeah 11 is 100% made to sell is sort of fair game I feel. I feel like 12 is still designed in such a way that you that you would still be better off using the characters that are being promoted so for example that that perm that permafreeze cancer you know who would you know who can deal with that permafreeze cancer really easily yoimiya hmm. wait what the fuck <laughs> wait hold on what's happening here <laughs> God damn it! I wasn't even paying attention to that part. What happened is like you're role playing yeah, for now we're too superficial, and that's why you're hence a weird English. <laughs> yeah, now we're role playing too, and it's suddenly gone cinematic, which is actually kind of wild. Goes for another half an hour. Fuck, dude. Can you imagine if they public, actually didn't? What, what happens? Sorry? Just remember when you're roleplaying, you're in public still, so everyone's just gathering around watching you guys yeah. be complete weird weirdos. Yep. When's D&D &D night? I don't know. I don't know. There's two ways of dealing with Perth Freeze on the first half. One is use Bennett, of course, and two <laughs> is... 
Is Ragdoll the maiden so hard? Ragdoll all of them so hard that uh, they don't do anything. In other words, Klee, how do you even stop his ice flamethrower? You don't. You have to get away from it. It has a range. Okay, I see how. I think that's the idea. It has a range. So you know who else could potentially deal with it? Yai Miko. Hell yeah. Yai Miko. I bet or you just kill them like, before they activate it. It's a, it's basically their normal attack, so they basically activate it instantly. So that's kind of out of the question. So you have to find a way to stun lock them. Klee! You have to find a way to stun lock them. Oh! Or, actually, Mara, here's an interesting idea. If they are... If they're perma-freezing you, maybe it's time you try to perma-freeze them back. They can't kill you if they can't move. Try perma-freezing them back with Ayaka. Mm. Give that a try. Mm. See if that works. Ayaka. It probably won't. But give that a try. <laughs> I was using Hu Tao Shangling double Hydra at first, so was it a problem? Interesting. I wouldn't have thought melee would be the right idea. But okay, interesting. Irrational. God damn. Yeah. Wait, X, why did I have a giant Dodoko head? Of course they would. It's a Dodoko island. Alright, I'll take that. Okay, 20. but I'm not I'm not talking about like I'm talking about the location of where they placed it. I think it was there before then, because I think um supposedly there are some things that are there um that um that are specifically there for people who are already who were on the island uh in the first place 1.6 yeah in 1.6 no why is there a giant dodoku ahead outside of monstat wait what Where? if you if you keep playing you'll find out yeah i guess we'll find out okay let's go to the bar <sighs> Wait, so they have old stuff from the old island for only for people that played during 1.6? Apparently so, there's supposed to be a canvas with um, a Dodoko painting. Wait, do they also sap your energy in cooldowns? Yeah, there's soothing water. Wait, it's Venti! Holy shit! It's Venti and Kaz! And Xinyan! Holy shit, what are they doing here? Two, two meta characters and a Xinyan. Yeah. Uh, well, two yeah, meta characters that, that I do not yeah. have. Yeah. Come on, take a seat and join our Let's delightful go. conversation. Yo, have you guys heard? share a clip to answer uh, Gaia's question on how to deal with? Uh, wait, uh, do they uh, do they also sap your energy and cooldowns? Um, yeah, it's the soothing water effect. It's what it was something that I was wondering what the hell was going on too. I'm pretty sure it's. Uh, is it the, energy. It's, is it because Electra, the mirror maiden? The aura is actually energy. Um, the, the slowing water from the mirror maiden is what increases your cooldowns. Yeah, yeah, your energy doesn't go away because there's no electro dude. And there's no electro thing over, but it's just... It's soothing water, man. And that really fucked me over as well. Um, but, you know, I kind of just auto-attacked with, um... Uh, I'm like, Yen, not Yenfei. gonna leave gonna... the golden apple archipelago. <laughs> Traveler, palm on. Speak of the devil. We were literally just talking about you. Wait, hold on. Shinyan's English voice is actually <laughs> Southern American. Coincidence. That's kind of wild. Shinyan, what are you doing here? Oh, in a lot. <laughs> yeah. Having to share a table with the tone deaf bard. Tone deaf uh, bard. <laughs> now that's a fun um, stage is, day. Is the how like you're a share a singer, clip fella. on? Kate's oh, Discord and uh, we could perform a duet. on how to so, deal. You all know each other. Yeah, have a look how at that. Friends um, are my friends if my friends you have Clee, you can ragdoll them pretty easily. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty Fresh. absurd actually. She has it's insane so voice damage. Indeed. Oh, we should form a poetry go. club and um, call it a free poet society in or Genshin Impact like one. If you're a uh, if you're a Venti main, by the way, you should definitely check out Venti's voice actor doing um, Wellerman, the Wellerman Sea Shanty. It's pretty good. Kazaha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. 
What did she send to you? Beto held a big booze filled oh. oh. drink to the Wait, is it a very popular song? And she put me in charge of the music. Yeah, Wellman. That's yeah. where I met yeah. Kazaha. It's very popular sea shanty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Sinyan part of Beto's crew at this point? Kind of like how Kaz is? Probably. Is that what's going on? Is that why she ended up all over the place? Although Xinyan can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and original. Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. Oh, you can say that again. Oh fuck, Kaza's dude, the puns. Oh my god. Leaf becomes an instrument. That makes him an expert among my friends. You have no so idea leader. how hard this is making me nuts. Kept going until we came into Mondstadt. <laughs> Then along the way, we saw this really awesome man. I'll be right back. It was something else. Oh, yeah. We know the one. My friend owns that place. Oh, they're talking about Deluxe Manor? Really? Y'all sure have a lot of friends. Well, whoever it is that lives in that fine place must be really loving life, huh? Uh, yes, so. <laughs> I still remember everything. Attract each other. Traveler and Paimon, you must have exceptional taste, just like that friend of yours. Wow, you're too nice! Unlike some people who only ever seem to poke fun at Paimon. Wait, X, is not a spawn island that they put you on the island that had the massive, like, bubble on it? Yeah. It's supposed to be huge. This is for you now, Kate. Okay. Time is oh, time is it for now for you. Oh, sorry, time is it for you now, Kate. It is currently 1.30 in the morning. Uh, and it's currently eleven. Well, so far it's mostly just empty promises. For me. Anyway, it's supposed to be a music festival. We're just having a chill time. really did a number on me last time. They canceled on me, but I hear that they're still active. Wait, what? What's going on? I'd love to get the festival another shot, but wouldn't you know it? The plans fell through again. How can they make Wait, she, this bad? she really has a southern accent, chat. Music is all about That's kind of insane to me. Maybe the organizers She's supposed to be from Liyue. She's supposed to be Chinese with a name like Xinyan. Wait, she has a journey was not in vain. Southern accent. It has, after all, southern American you accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The temple of music. What? Your temple of music must have more than just good tunes. Dude, and she sounds like she's a country nature? singer. A song's got to have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? <laughs> but she could totally pull off rock and roll too, probably. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories. Wait, with is Venti going to be like <laughs> coming with us? Are we going to ride the Devalon Express film? again? Oh shit! Is oh so the many the conches are for the official skin? But none of yes. Are as entertaining as you. <laughs> I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, by extension, the all quality right. of theirs. And on that note, here is a fantastical tale that is sure to delight you all. Uh oh. Is, is he about to sing? <clears throat> Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There, the Dodo King and his people live a blissful The Dodo existence. King? That is until the Fire Nation born, attacked, and by the Fire Nation I mean Klee. Some learn to swim, others are carried away by the waves. All the way to Mondstadt, where they befriend the children. No, stop. They don't befriend the children, they just befriend Klee. One Dodo Co made a new friend in Mondstadt. Yeah. Little Spark Knight. But the Dodo King did not approve. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. So the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the Wait, is this, this a story of actually be a reason for me to continue playing Genshin? But Dodo King what do you mean? There. Dodo King He's had playing the Golden Apple there Archipelago. Was no trial by fire or interrogation. <sighs> Keep in mind, my only reason. Keep in mind, it's going to disappear after this, and, and, and when Sumeru pops in. Along with this message. Sumer yeah, I know, the and then it'll probably re-release it, it next year. It's probably around the same Again. time too, eh? So everyone, please sing. So dance, basically, every single major patch cycle here. will include the. Golden Apple Archipelago at the very end, huh? Is that how they're gonna do it, huh? Have you seen the custom PC going. giveaway? Yeah. Hang on, I haven't seen this new custom PC. I just think like a decent gaming PC, but with the uh, Lotus symbol all over it. 
Ah, oh, okay. How interesting. I now have the urge to visit that island myself. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck to everyone. Maybe one of you will get it. You can't. And if you do, head, better to time to start gaming. Takes you and go where the heart leads. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Well, there's wine on the table. My and I have graphics to tell. Seems oh. like fate. Oh, it's a shape like, like the Zaraman. No shot. Here's to music. That's Come pretty on, cool. Traveler. That is actually pretty cool. And also because it's a custom PC, you can probably open it up and replace the parts for the most part too. So oh it'll last case. for a while. Hell yeah! Glass of juice. Hmm. This one. I like the color. It's wine. <laughs> oh, Venti's drunk. Sorry, not Venti. Kaz is drunk. Kate. Uh oh. Kate, do you remember this the water level drunk. puzzle? But uh. Uh, drinking fruit juice? From from where? <laughs> One point six. Uh, more. Oh, from Archipelago. More, more. Yeah, uh, vaguely. <laughs> more. Mm, no, I don't actually remember. Oh, you talking about the water level of the entire area? Oops, I think. If memory serves, no. you just had to like. No, it's just uh, it was just one island with a My bad. bunch of. <laughs> Like water anyway, level pools. Guess it's time to talk about uh, I don't remember. That drinking. You came As you can imagine, it's basically been a year since I've been to oh, the Golden yeah. Apple Archipelago. <laughs> I don't remember shit from even half a year ago. Yeah, Venti, come with us. Are we going to board the Devalid Express again? No. Spoilers. Let a man dream. Yeah, he got roofied. Yup, I can sense that you're about to tell me something very interesting. Klee gave a special Ooh. gift from her mother to an adventurer friend. <laughs> She's such a kind-hearted child. Yeah, Klee's a good As kid. I'm sure you've already guessed. That letter is most definitely written by Alice. Yeah, no kidding. When are we gonna meet Alice? Michelle. Speaking of, She'll probably show up like after Shneznaya and, and be like, okay, if you want to fight Celestia, Master Jean, this is where I come in and help. A mother and daughter, and you get C6 Clay for free. And the most amazingly adorable personality. That'd be amazing. <laughs> for soup. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. So be like, wait, answer. what? The unaging maid. You mean to tell me that? Yeah, you, you, you mean to tell me that once once we reach like Genshin 8.0, uh, Alice shows up and that's how I get C6 Clay for free. 8.0. Oh. So now it's yours to keep. <laughs> Genshin 8.0. I am actually unironically ready to. I, I I can't wait for that to help to happen, man. Why is he? Why does he have a? It's not going to. What? I'm gonna feel so old at that point. Ah, oh, dude. Each other just like this, even when we're apart. Genshin 8.0. That's like five whole patch cycles from now. 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, 5 etc. All the way to 8. Oh, six of them. Five years. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's six whole patch cycles from. No, five whole patch cycles from now. It's I'll be in like five oh, years. Fuck, I'll be in my 30s. It allows people to stay in touch over vast distances. Yeah, However, you're gonna be you old. can't just use it anytime you want. And there's also a limit <laughs> on the number of times you can use it. That's why it's currently only available to a certain Maybe select few. I heard definitely. that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> Alice is always full of surprises. I always wonder what world she Alice is actually in at the present moment. Like, Please considering that she seems to know about the Dora tribe. No, wait. I.e., you know, friends. Aloy's world. Does that mean that she's theoretically been in Aloy's world? The of this have Has she arranged. been in another world? Right, Has she gone? To, is she? Is she traveling the multiverse at this point? Like, what's going on here? Like the two of you are Has she been to the MCU? <laughs> of course not. Really Can you imagine if we actually get a I fucking am. MCU crossover here? Traveler, you're my friend. And as your friend, That'd be mental. <laughs> that would be nuts. Have. You'll get Iron Man and he won't have any constellations. Have y'all seen the theory that the uh, main characters uh, are from actual uh, the Hong Kong multiverse? The two of them are just uh, like to joke around. 
Oh, like, uh, Fayette, out. how's it going, mate? Your up. microphone is ridiculously <laughs> low. Your microphone is ridiculously <laughs> soft. Can you like it's pretty pretty wonder, yeah, well, I'm gonna head off, mate. I'll Where's see you next time, then. Alright, see ya, mate. Yep. Yeah, Fayette, your, your microphone is way too freaking soft. Nobody in their right mind can hear it. I thought it was freaking oh, Miso, man. like, talking away from Poor camera. Kazuha's still out for the count. Seems like he can't handle alcohol so well. Uh, Shinyan, do you, you want to come to the this? islands with us? Oh, that's better. <sighs> anyway, there was a the theory that uh, the main Can't. characters from Genshin uh, are, are from another world uh -huh. searching for a new world he doesn't want without to go corruption, anymore. aka Hong He seemed Kong. really interested yeah. just a moment ago. Can't. And Genshin yes. Abyss is basically just, the it's basically the same as a Hong Kong. <laughs> the Hong Kong <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Might act mature. Yeah, 14 yeah, viewers for a Genshin stream, that's wild. Hello everyone. Experiences. Obviously, I think most of us are just sitting here waiting for Tenacon to happen. Juice earlier. But, hello. Well, yeah. all the more reason for you to join the island trip. You know, a lot of people have praised the beautiful scenery there. Even Either that, or it seems like the okay, majority of my Twitch like audience player. are awake at How this particular hour, as opposed to, you know, my normal streaming I'm hours. Covered, apparently. There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city uh, gate tomorrow morning. I want to ask you a question. We'll wait for you. Sure, go ahead. How, how do you handle playing like three, four multi, uh, life service games? I don't, I only play like two. Game. It's just Warframe and Genshin that are the, the, the only two life service games that I play. This is the last uh, time. What, what else like, do I play? I'm crying out of nostalgia. Yeah, I don't. I don't play any other. I don't really play any other live service games. There was a moment when I was playing Destiny for a bit, but I haven't touched Destiny in about three months. Sorry, half uh, a year. I haven't touched Destiny in about half a year. There was a moment when I played Lost Ark for a while. I only just booted up Lost Ark again like last week for the first time in about half a year. I don't see myself playing that again anytime soon. I thought you were, you were still playing Destiny in HOTS. Nah. HOTS, no. I haven't played HOTS in a while either. Much to the dismay of like PB and stuff, I haven't played HOTS in a while. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. Traveler? Guess how many players are online in Alien? They don't official yet, do they? Okay. Can I guess the number of digits, Soup? Because I want to guess... From a faraway land in her retinue. Who are also coming on Four digits. Side. Number of players. Uh -huh. Let's just start with Numbers how many digits. I want to guess four digits. Uh, Paimon? Don't get me wrong. I'm no, an alien. I'm to make sure, but from the way you're plugging this trip so hard... What the hell is that? Did the iridescence... <laughs> it's just PB. Up to this? There's still... No, I have some friends who play HOT still, and I don't play HOT at all. Already made the trip. Still... Wait, That's what? Kind of the same Am I... Okay. Up or down? So, up or down? Uh, why won't anyone believe Paimon? <laughs> don't worry about that for now. You'll all have the chance to get acquainted with each other tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Whether you're a princess, a Where is this supposed to be? Down. What? Okay. All VIP guests of the island on your no shot is a double. <laughs> it's no shot as double digits. Surely. Sure looking forward to it. No way is it double digits. If it's double well, digits, just pull the fucking plug. Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some honestly. work to take care of. Wait, hold on. Venti has some work to take care of. Sumeru teaser. That's a Sumeru teaser. I'm calling it now. That's a fucking Sumeru teaser. Oh, it is triple digits. Okay, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say right now there is exactly 468 play- Oh, right. <laughs> 200 and something play- Nah, that's- that's a, it's over. It's over. Pretty much- the pretty, pretty much the death knell of Lost Ark is when everyone remembered that, um, Black Desert exists, and then Lost Ark showed up. Yeah, that was pretty much the death knell of Elian. It, it was over. It's sad to say it, it's sad to say it, but yeah, it's, it's Ripperitos. Wait, does the Traveler remember that we came here before? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, here, here. Didn't, wasn't there like Well, maybe, maybe not. If you haven't actually, if you didn't play Golden Apple, 
Golden Apple Archipelago before. <clears throat> no, nope, I do. I did. I don't know. I guess I guess you'll find out if it's a newer player who's only just starting to play the game, and then it's like, oh crap, Golden Apple Archipelago. What the hell is that? It's kind of like how the Kaz. Is... Sorry. It's no, I'm just meaning. It's kind of like how the Kaz storyline doesn't really make a whole lot of sense if you weren't part of the Iridori Festival because it's talking about things that were talked about a lot more in the Iridori Festival. So it's like, huh? Today Swords? Is the day of one's reckoning with fate as foretold by the night sky. Humiliation suffered oh, in the past. Oh, did they elaborate the on the Kazuha sword, sword story? Well, the Kazuha story is about the Kazuha sword story. Which started off first in the Iridori Festival, so you know if I that story right. quest is a little bit scuffed. That final phrase did not sound like one. A little bit scuffed. I mean, that part of it is a little bit scuffed. The most scuffed part is the fact that the first forty-five minutes is a fucking dialogue tree. So I really despise that. But yeah. Well, the first half hour of this is still dialogue, so yeah. Signify the importance of this day. But here's the difference. Let me see. I am actually somewhat interested in what's going really on here, and you want to know why? Phrase. Because it's dialogue between playable characters. See the difference? That makes it's a huge difference. Hey, wow, it's Mona, really? it's Kaz, it's Sinyan, it's Fish. These are characters right, that I can play Kazuha. with the exception of Kaz because I don't have him. Yeah, but yeah, Kazuha. these are characters I can play. So I actually at least have a bit more of a care about like what's going on you know whereas if it's just some random dude some other random dude it's random dude number three and here's the best part random dude number four who will never care about ever again i mean <laughs> These dialogue trees just become a complete snooze fest. To be in the company of dignitaries, and this lady over here. Holy shit! I'm getting free stuff from this. Uh... Oh yeah, whenever they release a new area, it is just like free stuff out the fucking wazoo, dude. Your gaze pierces the dark veil of night to arrive at the truth beyond. Fuck man. Need of one such as yourself. It's funny to make me want to do all the fucking poses. Musician laureate. They should have made Genshin half the uh, half the <laughs> visual. To say like you say all the right things. Sorry. Um, and the it, same goes for me too. Genshin is basically a visual novel now. Mona, they should have made it half visual novel like Conker. Well, they also make Not Genshin this. visual novels. They're called Hangouts. No, oh, well, it's nice to meet you too. No, and they already do have Genshin visual novels. Just. Mona is amazing. Yeah. Read the damn. Can find out everything about you. There's also Genshin manga as well. <laughs> That's how we know that yeah, Amber knows Kole. Astrologist and an articulate yeah, raven I, I know about the manga, but I didn't know In the company of giants, my is Sinyan a redneck? Deserves mention. She's meant to be Chinese. Kazuha from Inazuma. Now, are there Chinese <laughs> rednecks? There probably are. You all. But I don't what think she's a redneck. Kaza? If you're listening to a Chinese voice. Oh, but looking at but listening to her English voice, I just get the feeling really she's Southern American somehow. Um, from like the great state of Louisiana. I think they were trying to. Holy shit! Mm. Mm. This one is too different. Mm. The others are like slightly different. Probably. Like a tiny bit. Let me take a look. That's probably what happened. Huh? Oh. Oh my. Uh oh. Chat. Chat. What happened? Mona's going to jump Kazuha's bones. I'm calling it now. What? <laughs> she was just like, let me take a look. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh my. Yep. Yep, she's gonna jump his bones. I'm calling it. it the, 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 rule, the rule 34 is happening. Hi, I'm absolutely delighted. Literally every... No, please, no. 
Don't do it now. Why? Hi, Kazawa. I'm absolutely delighted to meet a great sword master like you. Ah, oh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's exactly what's going to happen. Yep. Yep. It it's Mona X Kazawa. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Even Lady to praise your skills. You are surely one of the Banner oh fuck yeah! Oh fuck yeah! Okay, Lady M Mag. Lady Meg. Lady Magic. What? Oh, oh, just call me Mona. Stop calling me that weird name. By the way, Lady Magic, we found out how to get to the promised land. The character design, that's about it. A legendary great mage gave us a big hint. Come on, everyone. Wait, hold on, how are we going to go there? Are we going to go there by boat? Or are we going to go there by... Dragon? Or... Oh, or are we going to go there by... Dodoko okay. turret? You're going to go there by just... Um... First off, fuck you, Timmy! Hmm? Give him to me! Mmm! All that chicken! How does it feel, Terry? How does it fucking feel? <laughs> All right. The hell is this? Nope. This You're is a teleporter. The hell is this? Look, everyone. Here's our vehicle. That's a right. vehicle. In no in no universe is that a vehicle. Somehow, I suddenly don't feel like going you anymore. Nothing crossplay is happening today with Core Prime. Or am, or am I just on too uh, much cocaine? Unique little thing. <laughs> Looks kind of like Globa, doesn't it? So you made the mistake of playing English stuff when Sinjian is in the story. Hey, I figured we will listen to the English dub anyway. Also, Traveler is very confused. And frankly, so am I. This does not look like Globa at all. Globa? Is he the magical creature at One Min Restaurant? Also, if I had, you reckon you can bump your mic up even it more? Look quite similar. I, I don't know how to, to make honest, it louder, honestly. Just send it to the max. If you go into your window setting, you might be able to crank it all the way up. Hmm. Window, I I'm, 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 I'm Only by meeting the lowliest of ends uh, can we arrive at the Emanok Reich born anew. Is there like a stream? Oh, behold, maybe? the doorway cloven by thundering retribution. By such means as I once descended into the If you're watching the stream, I'll show you how to, I'll show you something you could try and do. Into the next. Come on, I'm on lead mobile. The way. No, no, oh, you're actually watching Oh, you you're on mobile. Okay, there's nothing there's there's nothing you can do with that. Uh, I will enter first. Main Fräulein. Uh oh, the bird's gotta go in first. And then suddenly the bird's dead. We're like, what the fuck? The volume in, in, the, in your the I've turned you up to you maximum. To the land. Oh my god. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I've got you on maximum too. too. And I'm like barely able to hear you. And you also are a little bit on the muffled side, so it's rather difficult to understand what you're saying. Totally safe. Spare yourself Maybe it's trouble. The, Just come like the direct fan I have on. All right, I Maybe uh, so. forgot. Don't worry about it, mate. Just don't worry about it. All right. Is this better? So, not really. <laughs> it's about the same. So is this thing like a teleporter? So the Dodo Fortress is a freaking teleporter, huh? It's so dark in here. Um, can someone turn on a light? It's so dark in here. Come on now, let's all try and stick. Ow, Fischl, you're treading on my hair. I thought it was a snake. Ah, we're flying! Everyone, be careful. Wow, they really saved on the animation budget here. Can't see shit. Yeah, cause uh... You're not supposed to. <laughs> That's the funny thing, Kate. Oh, there we are. We finally landed! What was that all about? You'd think that we'd have access to the freaking teleports that were already here. A beautiful place. Yeah, if you were soft and the already in. Calm. 
and a pleasant scent blows I mean, out free primo, so who's complaining? Yeah, either way, here we are, boys and girls. Here we are. Oh! Metal? This is that, uh... This is that spot that we discovered that the entire island was basically an invitation for Clee to just chill. Now that we can see the ocean. Yeah, it was originally covered by a bubble. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Back in ye olden the days. Mm-hmm. And a land filled with flora. Main Fräulein, we have finally arrived at the promised land. We're finally here and in the promised land. land. Yeah! For retainers, something, this something, is the highway to hell. Bow, bow, copyrighted. Of all do, do. I, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. Let's go. This is the most fun I've had playing Genshin in a while. You to yonder gate of dreams. Yeah, yeah come on, let's yeah. roleplay. Your Archmage hey. Magistus thanks you for your <laughs> kindness, your highness. In this moment, I <laughs> offer my blessings to the Emmernach Reich. Mona. Oh, fuck. What are you, uh... Uh... Oh, don't ask, just follow my lead. 30 minutes to oh, right. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Praise be to the princess yeah, who has led us here yeah, to yeah, this sacred place. My eight sincere minutes, gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip. And then I will mainly be waiting until Tenno Life happens. Eventually, when I'm done with Genshin for the day, and by the day I mean when I'm, Genshin, when I'm done with Genshin for now, I will swap over to play some Warframe, and then we'll have um, we'll try and get um, Tenocon to run in the background, so we can just sort of like watch it at the same time. After all, this is where my soul belongs. On the contrary, Lady Magistus, blessed as you are with the great power of Hydro. One yet finds too uh, many like impurities in thy soul. Make mm -mm. the telecom main Fräulein means uh, Lady Magistus is perhaps on, not the most talented uh, voice chat. Oh no, it won't be audible on voice chat. It will just be audible on on the stream. Because it's just going to be. I'm going to try and do a straight up watch the stream. Yeah, I was just gonna like try to put it as a mini window on the stream while we yeah, play Warframe. <sighs> I'll bring you to your knees, young lady. Wait, what the? Oh my, they... main Fräulein. Damn, they removed Steal the Maku Kenki. Main Fräulein. Right. Probably because the Maku Kenki is, you know, where it's supposed to be now. Yeah, swimming race, swimming race. Wait, you guys know if I still get the rewards if the Twitch tab isn't in focus? I'm sure you still can. Is it possible to still make a Genshin, yeah. make it a, make it still a Genshin stream with, but with Tenocon on? No. Yeah. For as long as you live. I think so. Ridiculous. I think so. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Yep. Bring it on. Oh, wow. First one to run to the beach wins. All right, here we go. Wait, they're actually right. going for a swimming race. Are serious running? Right. I thought they were gonna swim. I thought they were gonna swim. Anyway, it looks like they're having fun, eh? I take it you have no present plans. When do usually the I want to start by surveying the area like, first. Uh, when you bring, What's coming along? Prime, etc. When, when does that happen? I, I forgot completely. Wait, what? Also, Aiden's... A Aiden's? Aiden's on YouTube. Which Kazuo skill is better to crown? E or burst? Um... I think the idea is to crown his skill first, right? Not his ultimate? I would probably say crown the skill. Uh, yeah, I think the skill's first. Uh, Aidens, if you, um, you have Kazuha, so what you can do is, there's now this new thing where, um, should be his burst? Really? Okay, so, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is this thing that you can do. When you go to his talents and you uh, click on the talents, there is this thing called talent reference. You can have a look at that because the idea with that is that it will show you, like, uh, which percentage, uh, what was, um, what's the one that is crowned the most? You know, which one is, um, upgraded the most? Damn, they got, like, a Zelda blood moon thing going a, on. Yeah, and I think it should be, I think it should be his skill. Some people say, Kating Mates is saying the ultimate. I don't really, you know, uh, I don't yeah. really know either way, because I don't use him and I don't have him. So I'm going to go with what you know they say crown e on yoimiya 
I have a lot of used crowns, so I want to spend them. Okay. Both. Aidens. Just do both. Fuck it then. Just yeah. do both. Why not? Oh. Just do both. You know, why not? You are. <laughs> oh, you know what? Fuck it. Triple crown him. Facts. <laughs> triple crown. <laughs> if you wanna. You know, if you wanna. But if you're going to do that, you might as well just say, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to go C6 on him as well. <laughs> There's 2,000 bucks gone down the drain. If you're going to do that, if you're, if you're going to do that, you may as well just C6 on Fiverr. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And if you're going to do that, you might as well, you know, subscribe to me on Twitch for $5 a month. No. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want to, but, you know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to beg for that shit. <laughs> this was not the game he I expected. No. Money. no, but like we're we're basically trying to run the clock until Tenno Life comes out, Shin. That's the idea. Yes, I wanna be green first. Wait, what? How is your sleepiness level? Not existent at this particular moment in time. Oof, golden apple archipelago. Oh wait, it's Sinyan. Okay, this is not gonna make this team is not gonna make any sense to anyone. I don't care. What is it looking like? Aloy. Sucros. Where are you? Sinyan. And Fischl. Let's go. Let's what, jam. Okay, all right, that makes no sense. <laughs> is this with my uh, thing? Oh, yeah, it's with my red horn as well. I've temporarily given my red horn to to Sinyan. Let's go. Why? Because she scales on defense. Why? Why, why are you using her? Why not? She's place? awesome. She may not be, you know, better, but I don't give a shit. She's awesome. Yeah. Okay. That girl was being if a bitch. If you tell Kate something like, isn't meta, he will make it meta. Yeah, exactly. I I, I am the meta. It is meta if I say it's meta. <laughs> Listen to me. I call the shots here. That character is meta now. <laughs> Imagine yeah, falling really asleep really. during the main keynote. Hey, that's why I have um, that's why I have coffee, mate. Put all these things here. Two minutes. Two, what? Two minutes. Hang on. Let's go and um, let's go and unlock everything that we can find on our way to the island. <clears throat> that's what I did. I got like a shit ton of primos. Oh yeah. What? It just disappeared. Do you have coffee? I have iced coffee. You know, so I have like a giant big bottle of iced coffee, like a giant two liter bottle of iced coffee just sitting in the fridge. So should I ever need it? I can always do that, just drink it. What the bloody hell is that clicking? Is that, is that your phone clicking, Fayed? Or is that um like a switch clicking? It's, I don't uh... even know. The Xbox, the Xbox keyboard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a. Ah! No, I'm sabbard. So loud. Oh my God. Like you can't hear my voice, but you, you can hear the clicking. Of I can hear that clicking. You know why? Because it's distinct. It's not muffled. Oh my God. Yeah, that's how it is, mate. That's how it is. Teleport point, let's go! Whoa. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, there's a teleport point there, son of a bitch. Okay. The broadcast has started? Huh, interesting. Wait, what? I didn't get a, um... I didn't get a notification for it. It started. Red text to send it in warfare. Boats in Genshin? Yep, boats have been in Genshin for a while, mate. Ugh. There we go. 
Okay, let me see if I can bring it up there. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, the broadcast started. Okay, one sec. Yeah. It's gonna stay uh, 30 minutes without doing anything. So, I'm just so it's... So what is it, twitch.tv slash Warframe now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Wait. it's no longer play Warframe, hey. Ah, oh, yeah, it was play Warframe, you're right. Used to be right. play Warframe. What the fuck is this? Oh, my oh, that's an ad. Switch to AHM's flexi packages and you can choose how you use your included. Right, let me see if I can, um... Thanks, Pi. Only available at ahm.com.au. Yeah. No, I'm just you're good. getting every single culture right now. Here we go. Okay, 30 minutes of jack oh, shit. 30 minutes, so... Oh. Yeah... They said that in the... In the, in the A little bit too early on the draw, Wait, can boys. I get the drops right now? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can. Uh, well, uh, the fan was the one that was in the entire The fan. Well, I'm not. I'm not concerned about Titania Prime. Uh, I, I don't know. Titania. How the hell you say it? Titania. Tip Prime. Hey, they have the loadout overlay running. Yeah, they do. So you can see what it is. Drop what started ten o line. Mesa Prime. <laughs> Mesa Prime oh. Plasmore. Nani. What? Someone's very interested in using Mesa Prime. Ooh, I um, see a chest. Oh, trust I see a chest. me, I already have a Mesa Prime built. I'm using that exact same thing right now. I'm trying to build the my Mesa and she has a plasma. Shinyan, let's go! Okay. I think it's Reb's build. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, sometimes so sometimes Reb, Reb's build makes no sense. But I'm using literally no surprise. What the hell is a regulator build? <laughs> It's just, you know, it's it's a regular build, don't think about it. My, no, my, my uh, it doesn't Ooh. have corrosive though. Bad. That's very corrosive? Weird. That's very corrosive. uh that's very old school of you. Like, I haven't I used corrosive in a very long time. Imagine not just doing viral memes. Bang! He's doing viral memes? That makes about, that makes more sense. Viral heat with the uh, bow to galvanize. I need I need prime for uh, cracker and heat for I need those for my mesa. Viral's basically been Boom. the idea for the longest time. It's been a, it's basically been the meta, if you will, pretty much since um uh, elements elements got changed. Yeah. And corrosive got basically yeah. fucked in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> you only got corrosive basically if you if you prime. Wait, what? As opposed to not prime? Why? What's the logic behind that? As far as I can tell, corrosive is just not. I mean, I just personally don't give a shit about corrosive at all. The only time prime I ever think of corrosive. That's freaking possible. I suppose like the only mid, time I think corrosive mid really matters is if you're prime with new core epitaph. Oh, okay. Do you have a bingo card? No, I don't have a bingo card. Anything over there? How do you prime with, with Mesa? Mid ultimate. No, you prime enemies up with um like new core with like all sorts of um elements, and I guess the last one left is um corrosive at that point. It seems that we are not the first That's to set foot on this island. Uh, I also, know. there are footprints. Yeah. Why play Mesa and then have to like prime enemies and make sure everyone has the status of being able to be the most dead? Helios Prime and regular Deconstructor. Yeah. Why even here with, with Mesa? Maybe they just haven't built their Deconstructor Prime then. Just CBF. No, but <laughs> you, no, but when you get Helios Prime, you get Deconstructor. No, I mean built as in used mods. Traveler. Oh, yeah. Oh. Stay alert. Daviri is a roguelike, and crossplay will go live today. <laughs> Dude, if crossplay goes live today, that'll be fucking nuts. 
Uh, Someone was I'm here. Not, I'm not on the spot. They're still nearby. They uh release. Judging from the scent, oh, fucking um, here like us. There's other people. Coral there. Prime today. Oh, I don't know if they will release one. Coral Prime today. That seems a bit far fetched. Oh, what are they gonna do without without a Prime access? We don't have a Prime access right now. Yeah. I run out um, post yeah. post Garuda. There's gonna be nothing. Well, I know there hasn't been anything they, since Garuda, yeah. but like unless they release something today. Oh, well, we'll see. I mean, it's not it's not on my thing to do that. Which way it's am I going? Be Cora today. This way. That's that's close. Cora Prime is totally going live today. Yeah. You know what? I don't I don't disagree. I actually don't disagree. Hey, you. Do the patch note. Wait, there's a patch note? Yeah, they gave. What? That's in our cats, yeah, they gave. They, they, they gave uh, Joe Paris and uh, the hit trick some signature buff for Korra. Quite super obvious me? it's gonna be Korra Prime. Mm. But there's no way it's not Korra Prime. Interesting observation. And I, and I don't even say fuck you and skip Korra Prime and then just release the next one. I don't want to be to be honest, but... Uh, Wait, what the hell's going on here? Looking for something? I'm not that quick I, I, I think they did that with, like, Anaros and Neja, right? Yeah, they, they should've, have, they should've, they should've, they should've done Neja before oh. Anaros, but they didn't. Is this they skipped the Korra and gave, and gave us gold at first. Mm. She, she was the first, uh, 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 I think. Right? Was Wait, oh, I'm sorry, it what the hell is this Fatui dude? Like he's so strange. Ah, this guy is not the sharpest sword in the sheath. He's a uh, he's a bit fucked in the head. This Fatui guy is a bit fucked in the head. I'm sorry. Stop right there! What are you doing here? Who the hell is this? We can ask you the same question. What are you doing here? The white screen might be 30 minutes long. The white screen is very much 30 minutes long. Yeah, it is. I'll probably, I'll probably leave it there. I'll probably leave it alone for now. Brother, we're looking for. What happened to him? Wait, what's going on? Nothing. He has a fever. He's just a little delirious. Oh, okay. So he really is fucked in the head. I don't have to tell you anything. Go bother someone else. <laughs> wow, what a dick. This island belongs to our friend. Did you buy the? Did you, uh, did you buy the? What? The barrel. Oh, this uh, island was uninhabited. Key. That's why we came here to. Um, no, yeah. I... Yeah. They 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 like to do this thing where um they they start broadcast like half an hour early, so that um we don't get the Genshin 2.8 fuckfest fiasco clown clown show. Wait, what happened with that? Um, the entire thing just went back and forth, back and forth, timey wimey. Let's do the time warp all over again. You know, it was a complete fucking fiasco. As you're told, we'll. Uh, oh, we'll take his cat! $25. Yeah. Still, hey, still cheaper than Genshin. Stop crying! Prime Access is still cheaper than Genshin. Stay within the Yep. Okay. Uh, by the way. But um, Diablo Immortal is isn't good. That's something else. <laughs> Diablo uh, Immortal makes Genshin, makes Genshin look like a f an actual free game. I hate to say it. <laughs> Our tests did not go to plan. It's actually wild. Oh, well, no, no, like, Diablo Immortal, you literally... Come on, I let's go. Today. You need, like, thousands of dollars to, like, uh, max the character. Not even, like, C6. No, 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 no. Not a thousand dollars to get a max character. A hundred thousand dollars. Allegedly. Why would that's the Fatui appear in such an yeah, that's the estimate. corner of the Yeah, for a single for for a max no. out character you need a hundred thousand dollars or thereabouts. It's that's the estimate. More complicated than we might think. Not thousand. Uh, you, you won't be able to get anywhere with it. It's, it's literally it's Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal isn't available in no Netherlands and Belgium because they ban predatory loot boxes? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's also, in the interest of keeping the ladies in good spirits. Oh, honestly, look I'm at Kaz. Yeah. Chat, look at Kaz. Um, also, in the interest of keeping the ladies in good spirits, I have a suggestion. Oh, oh, my man is playing the field. 
after Mona basically was like, oh, oh, my man is playing the field. God damn. Let's he can't keep getting away with this, man. Let them he can't keep getting away with this. His fucking rerun, this rerun that we're currently in, is probably going to overtake the A, the, the Raiden Shogun first banner. Probably. And the Raiden Shogun re one. That is fucking probably, wild. Probably, yeah. That is absolutely if insane. If he was female, he would 100% win. Like, no, no competition. Yeah. No, if he was if he was female, he, he'd have sale numbers higher than. I don't think it's worth ruining anyone's vacation over. Pretty much all the banners combined. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, mate. <laughs> I hope all of us can enjoy ourselves here. The amount of people I see that say like, oh, oh no, Kazuo is bad. He's he's no like, he's, he's insane. Oh my God, male no, male, no, nobody. Like, what the hell? Wait, who's still saying that Kazuo is bad? No, like, uh, no, uh, uh, male's bad. Uh, oh. Genshin male's bad, no. <laughs> and they clearly don't know Thank about Zhongli. A man with a thick ass. I'm, like, pretty sure Zhongli is the only exception to the Genshin community about <laughs> yeah, male's bad. Oh my, what the fuck is that? You know why? Because Zhongli is fucking hot. Uh, the amount of gender that Zhongli are is, is, is uh, slightly concerning. Slightly. Slightly. Just slightly concerning the amount of gender bent uh, Zhongli. Uh. Gender bent Zhongli. Yeah. Yeah, or as we call her. Very... Yeah, gender bent Zhongli, or as we like to call her, uh, Geo Mommy, aka Ningguang. <laughs> oh my god, this man is down here and just... They've got some like beatbox shit running, you know? The hell? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Just in time! I ran out of Traveler, Paimon, who do you think the real swimming I can't max my, my, my pineapple. This is sad. <laughs> Supreme name and see how Lady Magistus, the so presumptuous, is reduced to Hey, I guess it's tears. hammer time. Sorry? Never mind. Oh, it's hammer time? Yeah, probably. Oh, no, you don't. Don't put this on Paimon. Alright. Oh, wise Paimon. Surely you can discern who the true winner is. Lady Paimon, the time to show the your loyalty we're is nigh. The... Info on crossplay. Wait, today, wait, wait, no? wait. You Should think Paimon get it? some food in her first? Mm. Poor thing looks so I mean, it's been a year since we've gotten the single update, so. Thank you, Shinyan. Wait, a single update in what now? Quite a long way. Crossplay. Right? While you were off doing your own things, I caught us. Please, I'm in Spain and I don't know when the 5 p.m. begins in their time zone to get Titania. You're referring well, to Tenno Live, right? So basically, in a, in a little bit less than five hours, Tenno Live will begin. Uh, no, it's less well, than five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. So dig yeah. in. Less than five hours. The culinary skills five, four hours, friend, forty-five minutes. They're about to yeah. uh, we'll get. You need to like watch for inviting Lady mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. was an astute decision. Or rather, an hour. Not to watch the whole thing. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Probably thirty minutes. Mm. For free. Oh. Oh, I love that barbecue smell. Mm. Ooh, they're having barbecue. This tastes amazing. Mm. Impressive. Since Shinyan made dinner for us, uh, allow me to you take charge of right? breakfast tomorrow. I'm sorry. You have a clan, right? I do. Yes. Uh, can you reserve a spot for me to wait for when crossplay happens? Oh yeah, we have plenty of spots. The clan's very small. <laughs> it's not happening though, I'm just like, uh, I want to... I just want to play with my friends, man. Mm -hmm. They're all on PC. Everyone is on PC. I'm just playing alone. So sad. <laughs> oh, we're gonna contact... We're gonna contact the Venti. 
Alright, here we go. Oh my god, today's war is What thing with the Fatui is bothering you too, war right? Party. Well, remember the bomb yeah, that war you gave with us? E. We can contact him using that! With the E. Wait, no, not a bomb. Fenty said it's called a Dodo communication device. Yeah! Let's Wait, is it possible to get them. all the conches he in one day? On like, they released all of them? any intel floating around, he'll definitely know about it. Yeah. All right, Benji's back in the story. Miss me already? <laughs> I know that. <clears throat> You're the only person who can contact me on this thing. Oh, I didn't notice you had a Spider-Man hoodie on. No, I only just put it back on. <sighs> I'm at the oh. cat's tail. <sighs> so many cats. They, they, they gave me some allergy medicine, but it's not working. Wait, what's he doing at the cat? Oh. <laughs> Okay. I, I know what he's doing in the cat's tail. Uh, Waste it again. A stuck on bingo thing if you want. Could you bingo be board. Any oh, I haven't made a bingo card at all. We'll probably make a bingo card later. Right, if I well, get, Fenty, if I remember to. Strange things uh, going on on this island. After it the starts. The Fatui. <laughs> uh, the Fatui. Yeah, okay, I they're that. everywhere, aren't they? Wow, they really saved on the but they really saved on the animation budget for um Venti, didn't they? Minions are a capable crew. I'd be more surprised if they, what they do. Shown up yet. They just turned him into a fucking communicator. It just floats up oh, and down, yeah. that's it. Really? But uh <clears throat> you sound fine. They can't have caused you too much trouble, surely. Or uh, if if they did, I'm sure you have everything under control by now. Yeah, but something just doesn't feel right. That's why we came to you. Don't you have any information for us? Mm, I haven't heard anything new about the Fatui. But don't worry. I may be a lowly tone-deaf bard, but you may contact me whenever you need me. I mean, I can't promise I'll be of much help, but at least you'll have someone to talk to, right? Sometimes just talking things through is enough to calm a worried mind. Ugh, honestly. Adventuring is what you do best. It's only natural to encounter a few surprises when you head somewhere new, but just remember, not all unexpected encounters are dangerous. The same wind graces the seaside as that which walks over pastures green. Whenever you see clouds, it was the wind that carried them there. Don't worry, my friend. The wind will always be with you. Okay. Okay then. <clears throat> I have to go now. My hey, Kennesaw, how's it going? Yeah, you know, Venti as a character is um. Yeah. Yeah, he's a real character, all right? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. So. And he's chilling at the cat's tail, and by chilling, I mean he's wasted again. Right? They should like count well, that we were a normal war claim, right? Then like they're working on. Yeah, there would be an that? announcement of the next Wait, Warframe, Warframe. Yeah, yeah next regular that? Warframe. Yeah. When you go off on Usually that's the case. Yeah. Yeah. The important thing is. I still fun. haven't gotten Gyre. All right, Summertime that's Odyssey number life. one done. Sigiwa, Summertime what? Odyssey number two. Too much fast for a thing that runs uh, gold is one, but like 50 times the, the radius. Mm. Oh, uh, a bigger radius, uh, it's just so small, man. During the uh, Surf Piercer can... Challenge, you must navigate your Wave Rider following the objectives. Oh, okay. Uh, you will gain a certain amount of Piercer's Drive. Oh, that's the, that's the ramming speed. Once the charging process is complete, you can activate a more powerful Surf Piercer Surge. Yeah, ramming speed. Use the special coale coale Coalesque ability to gather all available... Okay, cool. Gaia seems fine, but I've already hit a plateau with her. Yeah, I haven't really... F I, I don't think I fully yet understand how I should be playing her. I don't know. Yeah. Spam abilities and weapons basically. There's no like thought about it. Just 
press alt, press yeah. 3, press 2, uh, and use weapon. Uh, you can go big damage. So I just basically hold on to my Surf Piercer Surge, huh? For a bit. And then just like grab that. Bop, 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 bop. And let's go! Oh, I actually have three charges on it. Oh, okay. Let's go! Hiya! Hiya! Wah, 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 wah. Hey. Wait, did oh, we not get shot. 600 primos for the patch? Yeah, we did. What? I only got 300. Check the rest of your mail, you might have missed something. No, I, I claimed all, I, do, I don't have it. Right now, I would guess she's a good frame for interception. Is she though? I don't know. <laughs> Why? She doesn't. She doesn't seem like an interception frame to me. I don't know. When I think interception frame, what, I'm what thinking like limbo. What are interception like outside of like limbo? Uh, what, like who specializes in interception? I don't know. Like there have to be there have to be heavy CC frames. Since the original five. I'm missing out on so many primos. Resonating fish. Resonating. Resonating visions. So how does this work? So we need to find 16 conches, huh? Okay. I'm sure there's a map somewhere of all the conches, so I could probably just, you know, um, sort that out. I saw. Okay, you're not I gonna saw, actually man. do it. What? You're not gonna actually go and find every single one? I probably will find them incidentally, and then, and then afterwards I'll be like, ah, oh, fuck it, I just want the skin. I'm, I'm already. I already got thirteen of them. God damn. Okay. Well, but I'll probably. It's I think not I saw. Hard. Just go to. Just go to every. Just like go to every single island. It'll pop up like the. Yeah. They, Oculus. When you use surf, your. When you use surf pierces, search your wave rider is capable of destroying certain obstacles. Oh, okay. Some obstacles cannot be destroyed. That makes sense. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. Uh, Kare, I want Six that. and a half minutes. Okay, it's time to change so, the game so name to Warframe. No, don't. I need a drop. <laughs> Do you uh, okay, don't. Yeah, please. Sorry? Ah! Do you all use main mods or not? They all need what? Do y'all use Bane mods, like Clem's Bane? Do I use Bane mods? No, I, I am not a Bane mod user. Wait. The amount of people who are, who are, who are like, yeah, change your build for literally every single mission, I'm like, no. Yeah, okay. I don't fuck, I don't fuck with that. It's too much effort. When I have a build that I pretty much kills everything anyway. Yeah. Every weapon I have three builds. The normal build, the Garuda build, because she doesn't like uh, need hunting munitions, and the Corpus build was like your toxin for sister. Just seems unnecessary to me. Yeah, Bane's are just. Oh, I can go to the much. top of this. I, I can go to the top of this island. And okay. the, and you, the problem is you also need like. Three, mo four mods, four prime mods for each weapon type. That's so much, like it's a lot of so trauma. much, and so much forma, so much, it's too much effort, it's too much mm -hmm. effort. For it. it is pretty. That is game. pretty overwhelming on the former side. That's for sure. Okay, there's allegedly a contra around here somewhere. Oh, you need forty k endo per. Oh, there it that's, is. Uh, that's a lot, man. 40k endo. Okay, it looks like these four, people are lying eight. on the ground. Okay, this is not. Oh, it's a couple of um, a chewy. Okay. 
I need a dedicated build for Profit Taker anyway, so that seems fine. <laughs> Four Prime mods on a weapon? What do I use? I use, uh, I use Prime Shred a lot, so that's one. I also tend to use, um... Prime... Well, if it's a, right, if it's a, minutes. well, if it's a secondary, then there's also prime pistol gambit. Lethal important is also good. And um, prime pistol gambit Wait. and prime uh, target cracker. Uh, that's the standard, right? But pistol gambit this is, thing like is fun. less crit than the corrupted version. So Not the 200% like, one, the corrupted one. Oh, yeah. the uh, some people use that too. I mean, like, you don't you don't need to then like, like it's like it's only like a difference of like 12% crit rate, uh, crit chance, crit rate. It's only 12% uh, crit chance uh, difference. So it's like, uh, I mean, you might as well not take the friggin' um, what is it? It's a it's critical rate, right? So it's like a it's like a fire rate hit. Yes. Fire rate, but like it's it's 40k Wait. end though. Where? Or less quick. Uh, it... Is that working? Ooh. Okay, well, Queen Vo, you got Kaz, nice. Way, but... And you got Freedom Sworn. Holy shit, you fucking whale. Hold the way in. Okay, can you stop masturbating to your microphone, please? Whoever that was. Fayed. What? What? Uh, what? What are you talking about? I don't know. It's either you or me, so one of you is like putting your microphone into a jar or something. Uh, that's not me. Yeah, that's Fayed. I did do it. I, I literally didn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. <clears throat> okay. Alright, Tenocon, Tenocon is now going to be a mini... Um, mini um, thing on, on the stream. Uh, we got a minute and 30. Hell yeah. Okay, there should be a conch here, right here. There it is. What's going on? Why are there so many hiller shells? That sounded vaguely like Aloy. What the fuck? I only listened to it for about a second, but in that brief second, first I thought it was Aloy. It's like, wait, Aloy is here? Uh, I got you. All right, but. Don't worry about that. I should probably be listening to these since these are voice acted, huh? Might as well. Yeah, okay, we'll start listening to them if they're voice acted. Zakar, don't push yourself. Look, uh, there's a cave over there. Let's go and rest for a while. That actually sounds like Aloy. I am not joking, that actually sounds like Aloy. What the hell is going on here? Alright, 30 seconds, let's go. Fuck, how do I get up there? Is there a fast way to... It does sound like AI. it might be her voice actor. That, or they've actually <laughs> hidden the fact that they're actually bringing Aloy into the story. Hype. I'm very excited for that. Let's call it starting. It's happening! Four, oh, three, oh. two, one, zero! The day has begun! Oh my god, it's happening! So, Here we go. There's no turning back now. Let's you have made it safely there to TennoCon 2012. This is the kickoff of the biggest day for Warframe fans. And we're...
All right, folks, let me know if uh, we'll this if the Tenocon stream is a little bit too loud, okay? Tenno Live, Tenno Con, Tenno Everything for Warframe. Uh, my name is Rebecca Ford, and I'll be walking you through the next 30 minutes to give you a little bit of a look into what we're going to be doing today. And I'm joined by none other than... It's me, it's Megan Everett. Great to see you all. I can see you. Rev, do have forgotten you your, her makeup. Great. You're excited, we're excited. Let's just really I think it's just the lighting and the camera is a little bit too uh streaming studio too sharp. I'm gonna have some food. That, I'll be right back. Incredible. Started off a physical event, turned into a digital event in our little studio, and this year we decided to kinda go a little bit bigger, even though it's still digital. We now have a brand new stage that we're on. <laughs> yeah, we have a stage that we made for this year. Not us personally, an amazing no. team. I mean, oh, maybe it was us. I don't know. Us. We don't know. We're pretty strong. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> but we are excited to have this. We had ambitions, you know, of doing a couple of things, maybe having some staff. So that's the stage, hey? Safety, we didn't. So it's just us. So that's going to be the stage that they'll probably use for um, Tenno Live as well. That's exciting. So welcome to the Tenno 2022 stage. Because this is just Tenno Live Digital, so TennoCon Digital, so. Now. There's um, no like um. Really, really started into things. I just wanted there's to no shenanigan to do with that, um. You know, we've been making this game for so long. Uh, multiple stages doing multiple world, events. Uh, many of which can come they from just need the one stage to do everything. You know, so that's kind of nice. So we just wanted to kick things off with a opportunity for the community to help out. If you do exclamation mark donate uh, U A in chat, in Twitch chat, you can find yourself a link if you feel like giving something towards one of the many causes there to help. Uh, we would, you know, I'm sure we would greatly appreciate it, and anything you can give helps. But just a moment to acknowledge that our team is indeed an international team of uh, lovely human beings and many of them are affected by the team experience. Mm -hmm. Starting off to uh, share that little note and then we also will go right into another bit of uh, donation information. Yes, yeah, so seventh year doing TennoCon and we have been fortunate enough to uh, support a charity each year, one that is close to our heart. Um, obviously we have a lot of people at DE and a lot of people are affected by a lot of different things and this year I'm so grateful to say that we are supporting Inspire and they have sent over just a little video to tell you guys kind of what they're about and also just to say hi. So let's check it out. Welcome to TenoCon 2022. My name is Sienna Votor and I'm the Communications and Marketing Coordinator here at Inspire. This is such an exciting partnership and we know that it'll ignite creativity and passion for digital learning and Indigenous students across Canada. Inspire is There's a an Indigenous here. national charity that invests in the education of First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people oh, okay, by cool. providing bursaries, scholarships. Uh, I think this is a Canadian. I'm guessing this is a Canadian um, <sighs> charity of some description. Building Brighter Futures is our scholarship and bursaries program where we supply qualified applicants with funding to help with school-related costs. Rivers to Success is free programming we offer to every Indigenous student, whether they receive funding from Inspire or not. No matter where they are in their educational journey, Rivers to Success will support students along the way with access to Indigenous resources, mentors, and career guidance. When people oh, what the fuck to Inspire, is. they know that their generosity is getting directly to students. We are encouraged to see how the resilience, ingenuity, and strength of Indigenous students have enabled them to succeed despite the many obstacles placed in their way. Thank you again for helping us fulfill this important mission. Have a great event, and if you want to learn more, please visit inspire.ca. Cool. Thank you, Sienna, and everyone over at Inspire for sending that video. If you would like to donate to Inspire, you can do exclamation point donate mm. in Twitch chat. I know they would love it. We would love it. And thank you so much for helping us help them. Yeah, we'll be announcing our donation during Tenno Live, which is the end of TennoCon today. But we have a whole bunch of stuff to get through. Great stuff. The best stuff you'll ever watch, I'm sure. <laughs> Pour your money back. It's, it's free. It's free. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we have a great show planned for you today. Partially pre-recorded, partially live. This part is live if you can't tell because it's Okay, perfect. so for those mm -hmm. wondering, no nothing. Everything's everything great. Is going, we're just very excited. So uh, the for the next half hour, it's just a bunch of welcome stuff. For those then we're going to have sounds of the system panel. This, we're gonna be some of the developer Q&As, Warframe the art panel, community so art show, and, and then of course the big one, Tenno Live. So obviously I am waiting very much for Tenno Live. That one's going to be new war. Hopefully that one's going to be a blast. Soundtrack. I couldn't even say the word. I, I like. Know. I was like, wait, can I say it? Of course, I can say it. We've been typing it only because we're uh, still working remotely. So saying Duviri out loud is a. That's how you oh, can't start this challenge. Duviri, and then <laughs> do, do, okay. do not listen to us. <laughs> then after the sound panel, uh, we go into a live segment. So you'll be brought back to this stage, this ambiance with myself. I am hosting, and I'm going to be joined by the incredible Pablo. 
Kaz and Matt, and we're gonna dive into a whole bunch of questions that were curated from previous dev streams. I creep some Twitters, stuff like that, grab some questions, uh, and there will be an opportunity near the end of that segment for live chat questions. So if you have anything yeah, brewing. What is live chat saying right now? What is live chat? I see emotes, which I always like. I got some goldfish, someone has snacks, oh, that's good. Yeah, tell us oh, that's snack. Good. Exclamation mark 10 I love it. Oh, we got a lot of clem. A spoiler oh. alert? Um, kind of. There are, there are some spoilers. I mean, if you haven't played the new war, heavy spoilers. Uh, there are, will be, you know, some teases. We're gonna tease a little bit of what you can expect for Tenno Live, maybe. Um, but each each of the panels is gonna kind of take a look back at the new war. That's kind of the last obvious thing we saw from Tenno Live last year. Ah. The new war. So we're gonna dive back into that a little bit. Talk about the sound. Talk about mocap and some really awesome concept art. Uh, we're gonna talk about um, Duveri, of course teases for that, getting excited for that, because um, that is also in the art panel as well. Yes, this is a pre-recorded panel and it takes you through a lot of the art deep dives never before seen revealed with our art team, things we've been working on. This pre-recorded panel will delight you right after the live Q&A, mm -hmm. uh, and it's gonna be great. It has Danielle hosting it, mm -hmm. uh, Jeff, Carey, and Eric are on it, and you know, maybe a special guest. Maybe a special guest. You'll wanna watch, you know, beginning to end, as one would. Uh, and then after that is the Community Art Show, and this is hosted by Helen and Skyers. I'm so excited for this. This is where, you know, our hundreds of submissions from fan art all over the world. Oh, and, you little shit. You know, selected a few, and we're gonna show them all off. But we're also gonna show dojos. We've integrated the dojo segment. I'm gonna show some, so gonna show some dojos. That's always a good in -game one. In-game art that is our incredible dojos. And then some of the featured dojos that I've seen are absolute are bangers. Uh, and I just I simply don't have the time or the energy to make a featured yeah. dojo at all. Exciting. Uh, so, definitely so it kind of just makes me a little bit depressed. The big one. Tenno Live 2022, this is our keynote finale to TennoCon. This is where we're going to have just... So, I don't know if we're going to be able to fit it all in an hour, but we're going to try. So, we have a lot to cover. This is where you're going to learn all about the future of Warframe. We're going to have uh, myself, Megan, I'm thinking in terms of chair organization, Scott Steve. Jeff Sheldon will be up here on stage and we'll be talking Warframe. So if you're sitting waiting for the biggest news of the day in our live show, that'll be tonight, but there's so much to lead up to it that you don't want to miss. And maybe, you know, you want to be a little motivated. You want to get some free stuff, so to speak. So if all of these panels sound great to you, just tune in and enjoy. But if you want a little something to sweeten the deal, find yourself bringing home a cosmetic or a perhaps new weapon, mm -hmm. this could be yours. But make it tough, how do they get you know, you can get it just for simply watching. Make sure you're linked up. If you've been receiving- All right, there's your free Titania Prime, everyone. Dev, dev you just simply have to be around. This year. You do not need to relink. You are good to go. Um, but we have some really awesome drops. So this is the Veracris War Wait, that's doing Tenno Live, right? Yeah, yeah, that's doing Tenno Live. That's going to be the TennoCon drop. So it's active right now until- Can we confirm it's active right now? I, I'm going to look in chat and see if people are saying drops progress. Drop, 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 drop. Can I get a, can I get a drops Yale yeah in chat? Can I get a drop in chat? Probably don't need to do exclamation mark drops either, folks. Oh, sweet. Okay. I know people tend to do that a lot when, um, when that's the idea. It's like, oh, uh, we need to type uh, in exclamation mark drops for it to drop, but no. Pretty sure it just happens automatically. Ten alive switches over, and you're going to get yourself a titanium prime. <laughs> exclamation mark drops for 30 minutes. <laughs> doesn't entice you enough. Live, in game right now, in the market, for one credit, a single credit. One single credit is the stranger's hood. We revealed this, uh, I think, in our Wait. Games Fest video. Um, it's available oh, now shit, in the market the for a single credit? No shot. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah, no, it you is. Just walk on over to the market and get it yourself. So on all platforms right now, uh, start at 1230. It's going to be like... Hey, remind me when I log into Warframe, eh? We can get it. Then. We can get it. This I can go back. It's 48 hours, because otherwise... I can just... I, I, Exclamation mark only fans. <laughs> for 48 hours, it's going to be in the market. Uh, it is a... If only I was actually capable of having an, of making an only fans. If you haven't completed the new war or... A successful one, too. Have you seen, like, the amount of money that people have been making on only fans? It's absolutely... Absolutely insane, man. Yeah, I've seen people with, what, like, making millions? Yes, millions for what is effectively just like very soft core porn. Like, they're not even necessarily like getting, they're not even necessarily doing like anything particularly hard for, and they're making like more money. I would love that. I would love that. Then I think like some porn stars are making even. Like, it's wild. Um, our friends at Wii Game have made this Warframe themed PC that we'll be giving away to our first lucky winner of the day. The Twitch picker has all the power. They are going to send this to us and then we'll ship it to you. So it might take a hot minute to get to you, but 
We are just gonna run the Twitch picker, and the lucky Twitch winner is gonna win a Wii game PC. And here, oh, where that's the Zaraman computer. The competitive nature of whose eyes are better. Oh, Megan my or contact's Rebecca. strong. Enough. Who has the? That's the Zaraman computer right there. Ooh, oh, look at that. Lord I think I see it. I see a J. It's a bit of a J. badass computer. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, someone actually already won. Cho just to check it, just yeah. one straight the, the fuck up. No I way. Cheating, Dean is in my ear. <gasps> <laughs> you just straight up won a new computer. God damn. That is the winner, just to checky. You have won this amazing PC. But this is a bit of a complicated giveaway because you can't just tell us you're a war from alias. We actually need to know where you live. Of course. God don't, damn, they just they just, just gave it away right the there. That was fast. Twitch which channel that you're walking on right? What? Walking? walking? Who the fuck what is that? that? Yeah. yeah no, no, man. Just, just put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Don't dox yourself. You arrange the delivery of the PC that you just want. Oh, I guess so. I could zoom in. Oh, just I guess too we, checky. Just yeah, we can look at our fight though. Well, you had a game. I had to do my ear. Well, let's get on Congratulations the to you. We do have more giveaways uh, later on during Tunnel Live. There might be some physical that stuff. That was our warm-up one. That was warm-up. That was a test. I give it a, a 7 out of 10. <laughs> I would say that's like a se yeah, 7 out of 10 test, but nevertheless, 7 out of 10. We have a much winner. more in store. The winner would probably... All right, let's unlock the other waypoints because, first. Yeah, but anyway... Fake-ass uh, username? Yeah, so that was our first giveaway. The test went well. <laughs> Lots to do. Lots to do. We want to see how chat's doing, though, more than Yeah, that. let's check in with chat. Chat, what are your snacks? Where are you watching from? We want to There's 200k people. Excited for today. Of course there is. Yep. Now, in a while. I want to point out that there are 200,000 people watching, and notice how the stream isn't a fucking clown fiesta right now. People are watching from France. Oh, Which clearly means that the 2.8 live stream was an absolute disaster from seemingly seemingly hover versus part they really screwed they really screwed the pooch on that one i'm not gonna say fashion frame because that would be <laughs> technically incorrect which would be but we'll see what happens when we hit 300,000 viewers during the keynote Michigan, I'm close <laughs> right around the corner. Yeah. I don't see the Twitch drops. Uh, refresh, really check out all the settings. Oh, that's only Shinobi. Yeah, just refresh. Mm. Woo. Just refresh. Uh, you should see it. What? Click your little icon uh, in the top right, and you should see some drop progress. Greetings from uh, Poland. Jin Dolby. Oh, it's just Dolby. Uh, uh, let's see how many. Oh, we got chips in Poland. Australia. Brazil. Germany. Oh, I can't get two drops at a time. I gotta stop watching your stream. Oh, for real? <laughs> that's, that's a bit sad. All right, what are people most excited for? Let's see what uh, what's going on. I'll be back after I get the fucking drop. I think I'm from the Philippines. You're not the only one from the Philippines. No. It says hello from France, from England, Sweden, everyone, all over the place. Horse, all capitals. Oh, mm. is that glue gun? <laughs> is it because this game isn't, is, is it because this isn't a Warframe stream then? We're gonna have a live do all these things. We are bringing a horse on this stage. We're bringing a horse. The, the hardest part of building no, a No, I just don't think you can gain progress it's on horse. drops, yes. uh, we like two it. drops at a time. Yeah, so that's gonna be part of 10 Alive. There's huh. a lot <laughs> more in store for 10 Alive. That is just kind if of you don't a, switch category? A sprinkle on the cut. Is it because of the category? Okay, I'll swap. Yeah, on. Let me switch on you, on Twitch then. Wait, it's not it's not working. Is it your what? The hell is going so maybe, on? So let's see if it's people's first ten lives. Maybe people recognize things on the stage. I think there's one thing that stands out as very obvious. Okay, let me switch. Let me switch my category one sec, folks. <laughs> Even though I'm technically not playing Warframe. Also true. Merch. I this was on my chair, and I'm very excited to have it. Is it for me? I kind of wanted it. I think Dean actually called it, I'm not going to lie. All right. Or maybe it was Julius. Someone I'm else has sure. dibs on this, but we do have some new merch launching today as well. So if you wanted to, to show your Warframe Come on. merch support, Enough we have an incredible amount moving. of new things, including a All right. desert. The category is, the category is swapped. We got, we got t-shirts, we got a lamp. Uh, we got a Wait, they have IRL. You, uh, they have out. IRL floose? No shot. And a new statue, which... It's very exciting. Are they available to purchase? Um, these ones come with the tags that have their personalities. God oh, damn. Cute. Oh, little, little beanie baby moment. Yes, that is adorable. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you might get a flu. Hope it works. Is, yeah, I hope it works too. The dark, or you might get one. Guess we'll find out soon. You know, uses viral only. We don't, we'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know until you tell us. We'll never know. Canada! Like, Canada! Tenocon number four for me! Oh. You have drops going? Nice. I'm pretty sure I have drops going. I don't have to do any... I'm pretty sure I don't have to make any changes. Uh, so yeah. Your drops progress bar. to make that call. Is it going to be digital? Is it going to be physical? Because there's a lot of prep both ways. And uh, let me have a look. going at the beginning of the year, you know, we just kind of said, let's just make it digital. Hang on. I can't just call it. I can't see my uh, you know, we were going to have a, chat a rules. presence here. And unfortunately, we also had to uh, cancel so, so that as well, just because I what's can't going on. see my uh, but we're back community digital event. 
Is well, this the biggest part of this awesome. thing where we talk about all the things that have happened in the past 10 hours, or will people mm. not believe us? <laughs> what One sec, let me just restart the... Let me just refresh the page. Oh, here we go. It's working. Hmm. Peculiar. Peculiar. Rogers did go down last Friday for almost 24 hours, so we're thinking, hmm, has something horrible gone wrong? And sure enough, there was a hardware failure with our... Yeah, iPhone. so... We couldn't do... As you can see, I've got... <laughs> I've got that now. The night before Deno gone. So we... Uh, Warframe has enabled drops for the community, IT watch the stream, and claim the rewards. So we could, uh, you know, get connectivity by other means, uh, and we managed to... <laughs> Do some stuff. Yeah, there we go. But it has been uh, so that's happening. Crazy Tenocon. I can't think of a time. So yeah, that's how you. So, so cool you can get the Sugatra, the Warfan, and the and Titania Prime. But that's mainly from watching. Um, some of them are from watching. Tenocon, Eternal Lives. We love when we're the at fault. Yeah, it's the best. We can fix those. It feels good when you fix. I don't know. I don't really know how to check the progress. At actual hard. The only progress bar I have is Genshin. P, all those fun things, but we need it. And we're here and I don't even have I don't even see a progress bar. How do I how do I see a progress uh, how, how here we go? We're encouraging people to get in game. Oh, I'm not getting really getting I'm not getting a fucking progress bar. Keep, oh. the, you know. Oh a great okay. question in chat about the Deviri Amphitheater. So oh, okay, that's I see. gonna go live at five basically when Tenno Live starts at five PM. Am I not so on a Warframe stream right now? Game, if you are a digital ticket holder and you have access to Bear Arcateer, you're gonna see the Tenno. Con relay, check out his wares, you know, buy whatever you'd like. Um, but Unless I need to restart my stream. Will also be on Earth, its own little node. That'd be we'll annoying. Here, uh, around 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'm a stream now, am I? You want Aren't to I? be in that amphitheater right away. Get your spot. I'm not uh, getting you're gonna get, I know, bar probably you. Rough Okay, so you have to go to your... Um, minutes to kind of run around. No, so all you got to do is just go to your... Be happening, so you, you just know. click on your um amphitheater experience profile. Max, it's going to be your first step. No, I did, into but it's not yes. progressing. We're giving you a preview of what Deviri is going like, to bring. Like I'm not and getting relative anything. Time, it's just over four hours from now. The hmm. Deviri amphitheater will be live in game on all platforms. So at that time, you're going to go to Earth, like Megan said, mm -hmm. and it'll be there for you. But until then, until then, you have lots to do. We have a resource booster that's live. We do. Okay, There's try watch stuff in game that you. You don't have. fuck us upside down. You get your stranger's hood. Uh, but the very, <gasps> very amphitheater is very no. The drops are here. Um, uh, let me see. When Tunnel Live starts, and especially hang on, view details. Especially when we're okay. Let me just view these details real quick. Have a fun. Well, it's called amphitheater, so I'm sure you can figure it so out. So Warframes getting an interactive drops. Some drops of campaigns may not be available in your region. Okay. When uh, COVID connection required. Up shop for the have I not connected? Event, and that was 2020. So that really? Was I might, I'm just gonna reset my Warframe No, no, I've, I've linked. I've already linked. So you folks yeah, I'm all good. Like you're in a theater with uh, mm -hmm. everyone else, so we're very excited. Could not yeah, find checks back later. Couple cons we've done, you know, a relay and also a relay experience. Um, mm. so learning. That's a bit odd. <laughs> Last year so, was a bit of a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we don't claim. I'll just relink my account. Not that you necessarily need to, but I'll just yeah, relink my account. Yeah, human. Yeah, but we we, we have account has been successfully on. linked. Last year to make sure that this is okay. get ready for that end show for Ten Alive, where we're really going to be taking you through the future of Warframe uh, in the most exciting and mind-blowing ways possible. You're oh, going I got to it. be treated to a full hour of what we've been Yeah, it's working on my side now. Going on with Folks, it's working on my side. What can you expect? All of these and more. So, um, so really, damn, they, you know, they remade the Warframe called Saturday. See if, it's, see if it's working if you're watching me, though. You know. So uh, it's working for me because I'm watching, because I'm actually watching. Um, Good luck for you to be there, but you know the Warframe, yeah, the Warframe stream. Drops enabled on your stream. I'm pretty sure I have drops enabled on my stream by default. It's been enabled forever. That's why Genshin ha Genshin drops are working. You never know. You never know. And there's going to be you know a couple teases like I mentioned. <sighs> Uh, throughout oh. the day on various panels uh, that might come uh, a bit more information during Tenno Live, so you'll want to kind of, you know, pay attention, spot those. Yes. It's going to be very exciting. Yeah, I know. It's like the point where, okay, we've given you all the information without actually... This is always, this is always an absolute meme when it comes to, um, you know, when it comes to, like, um, us streamers. It's like, do the drops work? 
Drops are enabled, right? Yeah, drops are enabled. Drops do be enabled. Yeah, drops are enabled. Yeah, it's work. It, it should be working, folks. It should be working. Is it working now for you guys? Guess the hell is it, is uh, are you getting drops from my stream or are you getting drops from the the actual oh, yeah. Warframe stream? Serious speculation on the next You can have multiple drops at the same time. Ever see the drop? Uh, if you if you've been watching I've been sitting on the Warframe page, which is cool if you were uh, before it start, you might need to just refresh the stream and it will pop up sometimes when you're just You're getting it from the actual Warframe stream. Page. Yeah, same here. Uh, it needs a bit to, to I'm not giving anything. If you want to refresh, you should be able to see it. Um, if not, you can, I believe, it's click your... I'm actually not getting drops from my from my channel anymore, there. which is kind of hilarious. Well, I actually, I just see people guessing the prime, and I'm reminded of some of the bingo cards people are making. Oh, and, anyone yeah. got a bingo card? Yeah, no bingos yet, I'm, I'm afraid. But given the energy in chat right now, it's probably time to give one of you a... Uh, why don't we do a prime access? It's working Ooh, now? Some Garuda prime Let's access. Oh, I am actually giving you stuff? Anyway. Okay, there we go. Prime access, because you... Business as usual. Garuda Let's continue. Today. I wonder why she... <laughs> I wonder why she... Would that's so rude of her to leave. I know. During that is her way, though. Alert. Rip your heart out and walk away. That's how she... Oh, we have Double winner. progress. Winner is none other Carvigo. than... Carvigo. Did I get yeah, it? Yeah, that was good. Is it good? Yeah, no, usually these things do take a little bit of time to just get oh, sorted out. No Dang it. I do give? Oh, wonderful. Wait, really? I'm not mm -hmm. seeing myself getting rid of myself. What was it? Car Carvigo? Carvigo has <gasps> Garuda. How come I'm not seeing it getting... How come I don't see myself getting giving it for myself? Anyway, are you actually getting Genshin drops as well, Shin? Shin, are you actually getting Genshin drops as well? Because I've changed my game to Warframe, even though I'm playing Genshin Omega LOL. That's where unironically watching Tenocon. Like, that's where I'm at right now. New uh, Veracris War fan and Sugatra for watching Tenno Con, and then Tenno Live is Titania Prime. You know, you already have All right. Prime. That's great. A free slot. A free slot. What's wrong with a free slot? You know, or you can have two Titania Primes. Ooh. Can't no, but I wasn't getting Warframe, so I thought Genshin was blocking it. Ah. Maybe there's, you know, actually no, you can't feed Primes to Helmuth. Helmuth Prime. Maybe is that, that's a reveal. Have I got everything now? Go oh, I've actually oh. unlocked everywhere now. Sweet. No, it's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Don't even get don't even get drop. Yeah, secondary do. better oh, fucking explode when thrown. What's the secondary again? I don't think it's going to explode. It's very clever. Say hello to the whole world. Hello to the whole world. You are here for Tenocon 2022. We can't believe the day has come. We have been planning this for so long, and we hope that you are going to enjoy the endless <laughs> sources of information that follow uh, our housekeeping here. I think we've gone over the main points. That I think we, we got everything. We can really quickly recap what the day is going to be. So right after this, you're going to go into the Sounds of the System panel. With Throwing Marcus, knives. George, Eric. You can make them explode Howard, if you use the uh, cautious, the no, not cautious. In the you can Warframe use world the hidden uh, explosives mod, I think it's you're called, or something like that. that. It is a pre-recorded panel. They have I think it's going to be really pretty boring until four hours later. Four uh, the art it's panel is usually pretty dope. Plays a really fun game with um, which the sound really panel is probably a bit yeah, sleeper, yeah, but so unless you're really into that. Uh, like if you're a if you're a budding myself, sound designer, then the the sound panel is going to be hype. Joined by Pablo um, and Matt. You know we have some uh, yeah from game design, from weapons uh, weapons lead, from art director. That's so usually how it ends up being. Of uh, you know different questions. That's a bad mod. Again, <laughs> yeah, it is. But you know, just telling you what you can do. Uh, Devere one is obviously going to be. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, Megan has an alarm set. She's done with that me. One, no, that's my that one credit thing anymore? they mentioned. Because we got to go. We got one minute left. The operator hood. The schedule. Uh, live, live dev Q&A. And then, of course, the Art of Warframe panel. There's some juicy concepts in there. Maybe a little bit of mocap. You can use, you can use Saren with Community Concealed. Show, yeah. Helen yeah. Well, in fact, you can use anyone with Concealed, really. And then, of course, Live 2022. But why Saren? This is where we will have all the seats filled. You're probably wondering. Oh, because of Toxic Lash. Chairs for it. Why? We're not going to let Saren mission then um would um yes, we will be back um with a full squad at oh, 5 p.m shit. here for okay, Tenno Live, where we'll be doing oh, the future of warframe you're gonna learn and see the live my definition then does so um stop my sweaty palms immediately because no you no does pressure. oberon work with like um nothing could uh smite infusion does um uh, zana's whisper now. work as well panel. thank you very much for tuning into housekeeping this has been rebecca or are you talking about spore yeah and we are gonna go work with spore then Overall, it's just an elemental mod. Guys. Zata, maybe, I don't know. Megan here to let you know that by watching this year's show on Twitch, 
you're gonna earn yourself some incredible free items if you have your Warframe and Twitch account linked. Watching TennoCon until 5 p.m. Eastern time for 30 consecutive minutes will reward you with both the Bear Chris Warfan and the Renala Sugatra. But that's not all. Tune into Tenno Live between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern time for another 30 consecutive minutes, and you're gonna earn yourself a free Titania Prime. That's right, a free Prime Warframe. If you already have your Twitch for account, already have Warframe account linked and received for, for us who already have Titania Prime, all set. we don't see Titania Never Prime, we Warframe see a free Warframe together. slot. Simply go on over to that's what that is. Com slash Twitch, log into your Warframe account, and follow the oh, crap. instructions to get set up. And that's it. Enjoy the show. I'm down. I'm sorry. Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. Wake up, Tenno. Alright, I'm gonna hop out of um, the voice chat. Thanks for joining in the voice chat, folks. Uh... Yeah, shit started to pop off. Alrighty. Yep, heal up. Let's try that again. Wait, so what's up next? Sounds of the system is next. Yeah, I think Sounds of the System is next, right? Yeah, that one's gonna be, um... I mean... If they talk about, like, the music of Warframe, that could be really cool. The moment probably when we wanted to... But, like, you know... ...on what an environment could do for the game. And, uh, you know, you're going from smaller scenes, like... I've never really enjoyed the sound dev streams myself, but, you know, it is what it is. ...go into Plains of Eidolon, uh, the doors open up, and then there is a world above and beyond. And there's an awful lot of design that winds up going into it, so at that point, being able to run around in a video game on a large piece of train. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a novel, but it was novel to do. Yeah, that's that's Warframe. not a so that's not a throwing knife, folks. That's a melee attachment. It's a yes, the marines and uh, some of the thing. iconic bits and pieces of architecture and whatever we could wind up. Cosmetic item for you know, like um, weapons. Made it feel like you were cigatras, man. And we're exploring God damn. new territory for us, which is a bit of an intimidating thing, but it worked out, which is great. I also come from an area of the province which people say is rocks and trees, rocks and trees, rocks and trees. Uh, so I don't I have any energy. Subject matter. The world building is kind of, um, that's kind of the meat and potatoes of it as much as we can do. Uh, and then after that, it's like trying to have a sense of locality within that space. So things that are like little local pockets and memorable bits. That is the moment. The hood is cool when it opens. Systems level thinking does it, becomes a whole. Does it clip with the neck? If not, I might actually use that as like um, I could talk about a collar. Does it actually small become a collar or not? Nah? Foliage, the train textures, how you make a tree. I'll find out when I log in. Or actually sit with atmosphere. <laughs> like even artistically as opposed to technically, like if you make a heavy use of value, and saturation in one part over here that can draw the attention of the entire level which is not necessarily something that we need you know we need to guide people from it's just like a normal ass hood oh, okay. if you use up all of those resources with the one cool thing over there people make a beeline to it and they don't experience half of it if you wind up having it pull apart in front of you consciously your walk into it experience should not have you do that you should feel like you were just in a world in Warframe right, that is new and different. So the um, on this the fact that we actually did Let's that, the people were able to open gates issues. and still feel like they were in Warframe. Okay, that's, that's okay. The Come best. on, let's get to the next island and finish what we came to do. Hey, Tenno. Oh, yes, we we're getting so much closer. Like Assassin's Hoods. Incredible. Okay. Tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be opening up the Duveri Amphitheater orbiting Earth in game. Join your friend Wait. Tano for an up close and very unique. Oh, the very amphitheater is going to be on Earth. Okay, sweet. As a special thank you for joining us. Don't forget to jump in on that. For the next, they did a stress hours, test like two weeks ago. Claim a to make sure that it should work. And drifter so here's the hoping that it doesn't fuck up completely like last year. Of cosmetic is available right now on all platforms in the in-game market for one credit. Be sure to log in and claim yours. Bye, Tano. I hope I didn't just. Okay, I see it. Ah, oh, Gafia, let's take a break. Who knows whether we'll find anything to eat at all. I'm on confused what color it's using. I'll have a look at it later. All right. So how many echoing conscious have I found? 
nine. Oof, okay. Group of students I have seen come to class. Thank you so much. Oh for shit! Tenocon 2022. My name is Gemma Laurel. I had the absolute privilege of voicing for Cephalon Melica. I can honestly say that Cephalon Mel Melagar is, is a game. fucking so is an Aussie. Have a awesome one and be great. No shot. Hello, I'm Maya Grant and I play Archimedean Yonta. It was a pleasure to voice the character, and I'm so grateful for you for playing. Thank you so much, and have an amazing Tenocon. No way! I thought she was Goodbye. British. Hello. If it isn't my favorite grubber, I'm Brett. Oh, my man. Voice of my Canada. man. <laughs> hope your Khan is, uh, I did not expect Cavalero's voice actor to actually be an Asian. I really didn't. Man, he. Oh. Wow. And will someone just give me a damn Kubro already? Is that too much to ask? Greetings, Tenno. So good to see all of you again. Okay. <laughs> this, this, I, this I expected. <laughs> Who is Hombas? Hey guys, She's the chick who sells you um uh, Dormazone things. Um, I just wanted to say hi and let each and every one of you know how thrilled I am to be part of Warframe. Enjoy. Cavalero is so hot in the game. Hi, it's David Ottavino, voice of the husband in the Zeremon ARG, just making a quick video to say happy Tenoka. What could go wrong? Who the f Please who? Don't help open this door. It's jammed and I, I have to pee. How long have I been trapped in this booth of anguish as the stench fills my Wait, body? who's this? Because I Who's I the husband? Pants. Happy Tenno Khan, my angels. Hey Tenno, my name is Capritano and I voice Kira in the Warframe ARG. Some of you may have known her as Zeri John or Cephalon Fog. I don't know, who cares? Anyways, I Come really on. appreciate your Enough final standing around. Logs, Let's keep moving. I really hope you have a great Tenocon. Who's Bye. Kira? Hey there, Tenno. I'm Calvin. Oh. The voice of Viso. Or oh, the angel. Or the voice angel. Depending on who you are. This is the void angel. The Fuck. The community is genuinely one of the kindest gaming communities. Yo, it's Viso, dude. It's Viso. Viso means so much to me. Have a great Tenno. My man. Or profit. Apparently, there's a, hey, there's a Zeremon ARG. Adam Bennett. The voice of call 175. Wishing everyone Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. From the Hell yeah, brother. Thanks to all Carl. for your love and for your Former brother, my dude. Hell yeah. It's me. Varsia. Oh. Oh. It's me, Gigi Saul Guerrero. A big hello all the way from Vancouver. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing Amazing time. I like I liked uh, Vazia. I think she was really, really cool. I barely interacted with her because I didn't need anything from her, but god damn, she was really cool. I'm Let's get going. AKA there are people Captain who Vala need Glarios. our help. I'm so happy to be here with Captain Vala Glarius. Enjoying yourself. I have one Wait, as in as in sleeping in the cold below? below, below. Yes. Going where the winds don't blow. Yes, the cold below of Bala. Yes. Then we'll all be sleeping in the cold below, below. Hell yeah. Sleeping in the cold below. So good to finally put a to put a face to the name, uh, to face to the voice. Enjoy. That's incredible. Who's this mommy? And welcome to the Tenocon. Yes, yeah, the uh, it's Sound the chick who played um. This is a pre-recorded panel. The the my uh, name is Marcus Kretz. I work here. Uh, the, the ghost train. ship. I'm a senior the ghost ship lady. And for the next hour, we'll the be sister, a deep the first dive sister of Pavos. Things: sound design, music, dialogue, and Warframe. Nice. Now this is a general spoiler alert for anyone who uh, has been playing through Warframe. Um, if you have not completed the main storyline content for Warframe yet, there will be heavy spoilers ahead. I mean, at this point, uh, if you're watching Tenocon after the, the before the, the new, so if you're watching you know, Tenocon after the new war, ahead. I mean, expect to get new war spoilers. Let's just be real here. Love to introduce uh, the panelists that are joining me today. I'm very honored uh, to be joined by three incredible people. First up, we have. George Spanos, audio director for Warframe. Haha, <laughs> my man, George Spanos. Yeah. Good, good. How is everyone doing? He's like the main yeah, guy right. for uh, sound and music, isn't he? Uh, we also Pretty much all of the Warframe tracks are there. um. Hello, happy to be basically here. Uh, associated so, with him. Sounds of Warframe. Yeah, we love it. Thanks for being here, Eric. They're and, gonna be spoiled, uh, but they want Titania Prime. Posers, Keith Power. Thank you for joining us again. Here. <laughs> true. Have you? <laughs> Big true. Oh, so very happy to be here. Yeah, it's nice to see you guys. 
Yeah, it's great. To, uh, honestly, it's been so I convinced two feds to play recently because uh, they're addicted. Jordan, oh, yeah. Uh, in two years in person, so it's incredible. Yeah, about, that, well, I mean, uh, if you've just started, then fair enough. But, like, you know, if you haven't, if you have been playing for a fair bit, operationally, are, like, if you've played you play for, like, a, from home, a year, have you been able to and you still haven't done the new war, I, I get the feeling that's a bit on you. It's still mostly from home. It's, you know, we've we built a new sound studio, and so we're trying to... You know, coming in now and then to kind of use it and that, uh, you know, recording some Foley and, mm. and uh, doing some voice stuff and that kind of thing. But it's mostly from home right now and hopefully soon. Still working from home, huh? We'll get oh, yeah. All you know what? I can't really stuff. complain. I'm still working from home as well. To, to see the whole nope, team that's a lie. day in and day out uh, instead of over a screen. Wait, camera, what the fuck? So. Mm-hmm. Where am I going? Keith, I'm pretty sure uh, you, you're. Oh, I completely you're bypassed it. Whoops. Correct. That's your. That's your, we should uh, probably that's your go and um, unlock the uh, teleport well, point over there. Every day, and it's it's about a thirty second commute. Right. I walk the house through my yard, and you know, <laughs> and then I'm here. So so it's more of the same. It's I've been working from home um, for for many years, and uh, and it, I'm gonna probably keep that up. I like I like it that way. Hey, yeah, you, pretty, uh, wake up. Thirty second commute probably can't be beat. So uh, no, that's no. great to hear. That's great to hear. Very nice. Well. It's been an incredible year for Warframe. Uh, looking back, the uh, the amount that's been achieved in the past year really can't be overstated. But you know, really, I have to start with going back to the new. Ah, that's you know, God's you know, gift. After eight years of Warframe, it was the longest quest in Warframe history. You know, it brought uh, an incredible amount of work behind it, but it certainly had uh, an incredible amount of of love and work that went into it from the sound team especially. Isn't that we're returning to the office? So, yeah, pretty much. Know, we touched on it briefly on last year's panel, but you know, for the sheer amount of dialogue that was recorded uh, ah. in the request, was there any logistical challenges in oh, terms of capturing just Ever that much audio? Yeah, it was a lot. Like, it, 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 Let me know if you need me to turn down the game, okay? You know, um, actually, I should have I, you know, should have uh, highlighted all the lines to see what the line count was, mm-hmm. uh, but it was a lot, and it was a lot of coordinating with all the different actors, uh, and it was a lot. He likes of working from home. Up in the to be honest, working from home is actually pretty cool. Who holds so, the highest sometimes, but, you know, but then sometimes you're just like, oh, I need to talk to fucking someone. I need to talk to someone, anyone. You need to realize that you release it, and you're like, wow. And you take a look back, and you're like, wow, that was a lot of work that we put into that. I am sorry for getting everyone involved in this. Yeah, yeah, very, very proud of this. me. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, it was it just uh, just. This is a this is this is a Warframe stream, but we're playing Genshin at the same time because you know there's stuff to do in Genshin. To that, like, but no. the but we're watching we're Warframe at the same time. Uh, on many first places. That's just how we want to roll. Okay. It's just <laughs> incredible leap in terms of. Angels of Zarma was better than the new War Hot Take, by the way. The wow. Drifter dialogue times four, right? So you're here, you know, you finish one, and then you're like, okay, we're done. It's like, oh, no, you got to do that three more times. I don't disagree, you know, but I don't necessarily you know, agree you know, either. Have to time See, the thing about Angels of Zarma is that it's better in the sense that there's more uh, content. Was timed out to, in the sense that they're, to, like it is his, uh, essentially an expansion of the game with awesome the things and rewards and cool and shit to get. Because of and potentially and change up the way you play the game. One version, right? That's what Angels of Zaramin is. Have to come the new war is specifically a massive yeah, story. A couple of our, our you know, a lot of people like were like saying like, oh, the new war, but it wasn't really a war. Finagling. It's a five-hour well, quest, make sure they all which compared to like every other quest in the game is massive. B, C, and D. Mm-hmm. We don't have any other five-hour sure quests. That, the the that War Within is like a two-hour quest at top at best. Sacrifice is like an hour, an hour and ten. So that was a lot. You know, um, thingamajig is like, um, you know, as you wish, me for life. Yeah, incredible to have, yeah, like you said, four different contexts for both operator and for director across four different voices. Like, what, what a challenge that must have been. Now, another moment, so like, yeah, I feel like as well. I'm, 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 that's why I'm really satisfied with like New War. It's uh, massive, probably one of my favorites of the whole. I couldn't stand whole purple again. Another spoiler, I couldn't stand purple for, lotus, so we uh, finally had some. Some form of a load. Yeah. Massive spoilers ahead. Uh, there's a moment towards the end. I don't think it's really worth comparing the two either because the, the idea is that uh, Zaraman, uh, I guess, it, like a true in a perfect world, Zaraman and world. New War would have come out uh, simultaneously. This moment of, you know, seeing them you know, in a perfect world. In, you know, perhaps their true form, and there's that really haunting vocalization uh, that comes out. That's just how I see it, you know? Uh, it absolutely terrified me. I know it really resonated with fans as well. Uh, for that moment, was that something that, you know, 
years back, you know, perhaps you'd always known that this, you know, form was going to come, and you always thought, oh, we we know what voice we're going to use for that. Uh, what the hell is this? Or is that something had, that organically came up? Uh, oh, it's a lava shell. We had no idea, and but I have to say that the actor is. <gasps> oh my god! I did not recognize this at all because <laughs> I'm above yeah, it, and it's at the back. back. It was me. I, yes, it was, <laughs> that was Yuki. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> That was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Eric. Yeah, and Eric definitely speak to it. Um, I think you took a few iterations to kind of figure what we wanted to do because we didn't have a preconceived notion of what it should sound like. But man, you hit it out of the park, uh, and it turned out awesome. But yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember I'm having struggles concept art with and surviving this concept steel pot survival run. Run! I'm out here getting one shot as Trinity. And um, I was working on. The Sounds like you have an energy issue then, because you should be able to stay reasonably alive as long as you maintain your energy and then like continue to use your um, ultimate ability. Um, should be fine. It had this down walrus, and it had this really menacing kind of tone. Just keep searching. And then it did a pitch drop, and a kind of like a minor pitch drop, and it felt really strange and and big and scary. What? Um, so that was kind of the basis. Oh, so you're about three minutes uh, what late. What ended up being that voice? Okay, you're talking uh, so about Lava Chow. As a bass, I, I overdubbed myself on it, um, hitting the same notes what? that Walrus kind of hit, uh, except adding words in. And then I layered it multiple times, so my own performance multiple times, and pitched it down, uh, added some effects and processing, and mixed it together, and that's what. what I'll drop it in Discord one sec. Result. Okay, we'll have a look at your build in a sec. Cool okay? too, because we've got those words in there, right? That the writing team came up. Yeah, with we'll have a look at your build. Says, and I don't know. Has anyone kind of figured out what the like deciphered what it is? And I, I don't know if, if the community is kind of. They probably tried to pick it apart to kind of get There's, those words and see. There's been some very valiant attempts. I've heard some uh, YouTube videos where they've pitched it up, where you can really get close. But uh, I can tell you that no one. No one has found it yet. I always thought it was, seriously, I always thought it was, Eric is cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's exactly. 12 down, it. four to go. It was originally, but we had to change it. Am I actually yeah. going to get yeah. the... We got it there. We got yeah, it you're very late, it's mate. Yeah. You're very late. Oh, we more, yeah, like, to, in all honesty, I think that's one of the best kind of endings and cinematics that we've done, sound design-wise, musically, vocally, all of that stuff. It really came together really Play nice. Hazo. And also for being one of the oh yeah sure attack, hold on right? like I think mm -hmm. especially let me bring out Hila Hazel oh that was probably one of the last um, <laughs> Where are you, the last couple that you and Let's your team worked before on the trail goes. so yeah it was it turned out great though yeah absolutely thanks John Dave Eric was awesome Hazel yeah. <laughs> oh my <God>. God. <laughs> and, I mean I think that speaks to you know how great that that audio is at the end that. You know, to me, I thought it might have been something that's been, you know, cooking up for, for years, but to hear that it was, you know, something that, you know, had to be brought about almost in the, the 11th hour is, uh, is pretty incredible. I don't think I necessarily need ER. Uh, could you imagine, you know, all those years ago Oof, okay. thinking, oh, you know, uh, who knows, down the road will be uh, doing for now. score for a four-hour quest, you know, what, what, uh, <laughs> what yeah. might you say to your, 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 your former selves for that? Yeah, it's like the movie version, right? It's, you know get to 10 years in or eight years in or so and let's do the movie version of this yeah that's a good point yeah. actually ah, this thing is fun better than yeah. better than no that. no but it's it's true it's kind of like it's taking a lot of the older ideas and building upon them and kind of bringing them together and, and kind of you know you know making it feel more fleshed out and and that's what I love about, you know, all the stuff that we've been doing, especially lately, is it's taking a lot of those older ideas and, and kind of melding them into something new and incorporating them. And so you really have this through line of, of um, sound design, voice, and music especially that has continued. Whoa, I managed to dodge that one. Warframe, and I'd like to think, I mean, you play it, you know, it sounds like Warframe, you know, which, which is kind of always the goal. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's always a good thing, I think. Agreed. I'm glad I have my yeah, weird like operator drifter skin that, colors. That Sonic Wait, do you still have? Even though, have you? Do you, you still know, maintain them? Take us in so many because I thought the idea with the patch that got rid of them, uh, later on, it got rid of them, but brought along the um, well, refacer. Be a behind the scenes video. The refacer the kit. Be prepared. We'll be taking a look at. The you shouldn't have them by now, the right? Angel of the Zerm Bro, are they still there? We'll specifically be looking at the sound design behind some of the new mission types. Um, as well as a very highly requested look at the vocalizations for the angels. Enjoy. 
Wait, have I done this one already? From the sound team. Today, I'm going to be taking you through some sound design from the Angels of Zerman update. Let's take a look. Let's have a look. So we are in void flood game mode right now, and we're going to take a look at making a sound for one of these void fractures. Yep, I've done this one already. Start by recording some audio. Looks really familiar. God damn. Yeah, yeah, add that bass in there. <coughs> oh my gosh. So it's... Wait, so the Void Angels are mostly vocalization? No shot. All right, so we are here in Reaper. We've got some mouth sounds. We've got some ghost voices pitched oh, damn. down. Some spooky breaths. Some synthesizer. Let's take a listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a lot of me making some weird sounds. But we are going to do some processing. So on yeah. some of our voice breathing sounds, throwing a bit of flange on there here and there, throwing a bit of ring mod. The ring mod really makes it rattly. You might hear this sound in some other gameplay elements in the Zerman as well. This was really fun. Sounds like fucking... Kaya, Kayako, Kayako, whatever the hell that name is. On me pretending it's probably the ghost. best sound team in the world. <laughs> yeah. I was able like, to Like, sound design can be absolutely of, wild uh, sometimes. It just really depends on, like, how they decide to do it. That, and we're gonna lower it in pitch just to make it sound super weird and artifacty. And I took the void ooze loop from the new war. I time stretched it a bit and just snuck it in as a texture layer. And here's oh, this is the together. arena that used to hold that used to hold the um, Maku Kenki, and now it's just empty. Yeah. Oh, it's a Fatui camp now. Okay, very spooky. Let's throw this in the game and see how it sounds. Here oh, by itself. Oh, shot. And here it is with the rest of the game audio. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a. Thanks for watching. Drop. Thanks for playing, and I'll see you next time. Nice, Sue. I got a drop. I'm Tenno, and welcome to TennoCon 2022. I'm Eric, part of the sound team, and the today this? we're going to show you how we made the vocals for the voice. Wait, excuse me. What? We wanted the Void Angels to elicit a sense of beauty, but also fear. And what better place to start than with a Mayan death whistle? Wow. It's terrifying. We recorded the death whistle and added some extra effects. <laughs> that was feeling Holy good, shit. but we wanted to punch it up a notch. So this time we recorded the death whistle again and pitched it down. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> and here's the two performances combined. Reminds me of my granny. <laughs> Once the death whistle was feeling appropriate. <laughs> if your granny sounds like that, you should probably out. take her to the so fucking that, hospital, mate. A reverse reverb trick on some female laughter. We started with unprocessed laughter. Wait, what did you know? Oh. <laughs> and to begin this trick, you first have to reverse it. <laughs> At this oh, stage, monk ass. Reverb or echo. And then you record that to a separate track. Once you have that recorded, you can move that to a new track, remove your reverb, and once again, reverse it to get the final product. Oh shit, I'm turned on. What? Yeah, it's a fucking witch from Left 4 Dead. Combined with our death whistle. Once the death whistle and the beauty element were combined, it was time to add a little bit of size and a little bit of danger. For that, we used a microphone called the Sanken C100. It records sounds above human hearing, and what that lets you do is pitch down your own vocals by several times uh, to make something simple turn into what sounds like a beast or a monster. This is what our original unpitched recording sounds like. 
And this is what the same recording sounds like pitched down several times. Oh. And then we added that to our death whistle and our reverse laughter for the final product. Whoa. And that's how the Void Angel vocals were created. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Happy Tenokan. Nice. Thank you for that. I mean, you know, I love that they're using a friggin' ceremony update drum. I like that they're using a death whistle. That's actually really cool. That came out where we got that first. That's actually kind of. That's kind of hilarious. I think fans have been pretty curious to hear how uh, how those sounds were developed. So that was a very cool look at that. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. And speaking of the Zeremin, uh, earlier this year we finally got yeah, that was actually kind of hilarious on board the Zeremin proper. <laughs> We'd had a little bit of a visit during the new war, but you know. Since uh, since Warframe began, people have been hearing, you know, echoes of, of the Zeromen. Uh, and finally, we got to take a look and go on board uh, that doomed colony ship. So, you know, it was a really remarkable mission. It was a really, really great update in terms of the sound design, the music, uh, and all the audio. And, you know, I just have to say... Yeah, Marcus you know, really upgraded a lot. The yeah. track that was playing yeah, with the, uh, the off, Warframe man. launcher uh, when the update went out, you know, mm. The music just went in an entirely new direction, and, and still very much Warframe, but it was really cool to hear how you know the music was developed for that update. So, you know, Keith, I have to ask you, you know, what inspired you to use something like an organ uh, on the tracks uh, for this update? I think D. Marcus is Eric. D. Marcus, right? He still he still hangs <laughs> Eric, around the right. subreddit, <laughs> so you'll still find him like we were, just we were answering questions dialogue, on the subreddit on the DL. So, like, you know, much of the he's just was chill, man. By the sounds that you sent me, the, the shrieking sounds. Um, I think you sent me those, right, initially? Yeah, yeah. yeah early on, yeah. Right, it was very helpful. It, was, it became a task of matching those sounds. So enormously helpful. And then... Um, the hell is this? And then it was, it was, Eric, it was your idea. It was like a last... What the hell is this? This might be crazy. Oh, is this the jellyfish? And this is a jellyfish really, minigame. Uh, it was such a great idea. Probably not available yet. It worked. It works really well. It just meet to borrow. Who the fuck is that? It's it's, it's pipe organ it, it, that just makes the whole thing um, that little. It's a little bit more grand. Warframe subreddit. Yeah. Just like the <laughs> scope that it didn't. Pretty have much. Until we added the pipe organ. So. It was almost like a, because of the the angel theme running through it. It was kind of like how can we push this and, and give it sort of a, a cathedral vibe or a gothic mm -hmm. vibe. And sort of, you know, organ came to mind and thought it would be interesting to try. And of course, Keith knocked it out of the park with the parts that he wrote and worked it okay. in beautifully with the tracks. So Hazel does actually so suck in Aloy's bombs. Unfortunately, yeah. she su he sucks them in too quickly. Works so well. Yeah. And I'd love to add, sorry, that um, sorry, to talk, but uh, that Matthew Chalmers. Before I forget, Matthew Chalmers, brilliant composer, what the fuck? helps me what the fuck is this? Um, on a lot of things. Uh, yeah, working right. with him. Uh, Ever seen one of these? Yes. So thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matt. Shout out Matthew Chalmers. He worked on some of the uh, new war as well, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew uh, Chalmers, Evan Duffy, Steve Davis were my, you know, uh, very, very helpful collaborators yeah. in all of that music. Well, yeah, as George said, you know, absolutely knocked it out of the park. It was, uh, it was fantastic. Confess. You know, Fracture. given the Zeremin, you know, it's got that uh, intense lore and such a, a specific, important part in terms of the in terms of the lore and the history of Warframe and Nintendo. You know, when you're creating that ambient audio on board the Zeremin, you know, was there a specific layer or sound that you started from um, in terms of like, you know, capturing the theme in the, in the history of the Zeremin? Where was the where was the starting point for that? How much, that how, much, how much resin do I have? Kind of started in the new war, eh, Eric? Like a bit, yep. I mean, you know, a bit of that and then brought through into that, into the Zeremin update. But uh, yeah, you worked on a lot of that. Fuck well. me, I only have twenty. Yeah, absolutely. It totally started <laughs> in the in the new war, and that that mission really much uh, set the tone for what we did for the Zeremin update in terms of the ambience. Is there not a conch uh, around here? A Shit. lot of it was kind of trying to weave in some memories of and echoes of what would have existed on the ship before um, <laughs> what happened, and but also trying to keep it somewhat realistic. And is there seriously in, not a conch uh, around here? Shit. 
in an area where it would be believable. Uh, didn't want to make it too spooky, um, didn't want to make it a haunted house or a house of horrors, but definitely wanted to feel that there was a uh, presence there uh, before uh, what happened. Uh, so yeah, lots of iteration, lots of going back and forth with the team and working with George to get things right. We put a lot of time into our, our ambience work as well, um, and I know a lot of times people don't hear it under the gunfire or, you know, some of the missions get right to the point very quickly. But uh, yeah, we, we take a lot, of, a lot of time with it what? and kind of give each space its own characteristic sound. So yeah, if you're ever interested and you can get away from some enemies for any amount of time, turn the sound up and take a listen. <laughs> yeah, you'll find some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, and I just want to mention too, sorry to cut you off, Marcus, uh, oh, just before I, I forget as well, talking about other team members and just acknowledging uh, the other people on the sound team. And that's uh, Giovanna Agapito, uh, Jess Buscema, Slater okay. Rose. Jeff Hartling, Mark Perkin, Willem Shonkin, Jem Sermon, and Chris Teixeira, uh, they all did a fantastic job on, uh, yeah, on, on all of these updates and can't thank them enough for the White. cooperation as well. So. Mm -hmm. But in terms of <laughs> some things in the update that are, uh, I guess, a, a little frightening, I did want to talk about um, our favorite void of manifestation, a skitter girl. Wait, I'm sorry, this because, boat talks you know, now? Anyone who's been playing through the Angels of the Zeremony, you've probably been uh, what the chased what the by the lovely void manifestations. So I have to ask, is it more what the fun fuck? to do this boat talks now? for a Since when? child than it is to be chased by one? <laughs> I think you have to be chased by one to know how to sound design for <laughs> yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A uh, little bit of both. A little bit of both. Um, that was uh, that voice was Archimedean Yanta, um, and she recorded some lines for us for Skitter Girl. And uh, Giovanni, one of the sound designers, he did the processing and, and got that working and made it made it extra creepy with the echoes and the. Sorry, one sec. I need to listen to this fucking boat talk. I'm so confused. Uh, but, you Maybe know, you've gained some intelligence. So very cool to use the Congratulations. Same, uh, to use the same voice actress for that. So well, you're finally yeah, away. Uh, Time to rise not, and not shine. A fun, not a fun chase, but it is, it is cool. It's a, it's Ugh, fun. You're back. And then in terms of, you know, the Zeremon, it very much uh, has... There's a squirrel on the boat for a little walk. For sure, so the enchanting ask, scenery and you know, pleasant weather here soothes sort of, the body and mind. Know, sound qualities, was there anything that... Perhaps we might hear from Duviri that is everything is fine, in, uh, except the, that some places Zermen, are know, a little maybe, peculiar. Uh, oh, the servants of darkness have descended. Rejoice, for the return of the Imanachreich is nigh. Main Fräulein means that this is an unexpected development, and she has never seen anything like this before. No, that's not even close to what she said. Oh, my apologies. Please take that as my own opinion. Okay. After last night, there have been some unusual spectacles on this island. Yes, swimming birds, flying squirrels, the sun and moon in the sky together. Some of these sights only lasted for a moment, but that doesn't make it any less bizarre. I heard a strange flapping sound on the island, but didn't see a single flying creature around. There was what is happening here? Seriously, what is happening here? Though there are many flowers on this island, that scent did not resemble any of them. Seems to me like whatever these things are, they aren't visible to the naked eye. I tried to perform a divination, really? but my scry glass hmm. showed only a chaotic mess that was impossible to decide. What, is she like 16 or something? Ooh. Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Hmm. I had resolved to summon the Imanachreich in this land. She's 20. We wow. We observe these puzzling phenomena. Could this be the spawn of the condemned trying to thwart my sacred endeavor? Wait. You don't think Alice could be behind all this, do you? It's not out of but the question. Really was her? It wouldn't make sense to do all this. <laughs> ah, look at them, old chap. Seems we scared the pants off them. Aye, well, they've never seen anything like this before. This old boat sailed all over the briny seas in its time, and tried talking to many a sailor, too. But in all that time, not a single person has ever spoken back. 
Exactly. If it weren't for this environment, who would have thought humans would be able to chat with us? What the fuck is this? What do you mean by that? Did, did everyone at Hoyoverse just smoke a gigantic bomb? The environment. Could it be that that the environment is what's interfering with my divinations? Uh, even if you were. Dreams aren't supposed to become reality, right? And a dream won't make you suddenly understand boats and squirrels. Uh, ah! What's wrong? What? Look, over there! What? Oh shit! Oh shit! <sighs> Holy fu- huh? I need to turn anti aliasing back on. An illusion? No, it felt too real to be an illusion. No, Imanoxrite is actually showing up. Holy shit! In and out. Still questing? Exactly Still questing. Earlier this morning. <gasps> Does this mean the Imanoxrite is real? Wait, Wait, what? Wait, what? God oh, fuck. <laughs> she just had a moment of speaking normally again. Come, my people. A new chapter awaits us. Indeed, main Fräulein. We all have witnessed this miracle with our own eyes. And now is the time to celebrate the creation of a new world. Shit, here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the Yamanakurash. Yeah, let's go. I'm so happy. Paimon doesn't have the heart to interrupt her right now. Oh, she doesn't seem surprised in the slightest. Does that just come with being an experienced adventurer, or...? If this isn't an illusion, we ought to go and investigate. I got an idea. If you hurt yourself in a dream, you wake up right away, don't you? Okay. Um, hmm. Yes, you have a point. Right? So come on, Kazaha, hit me. Hit me with your uh, best shot. I'd rather not. Uh, how about you hit me instead? But that'll hurt real bad. Hey, there'll be no need for any of that. Just leave it to us. Um, hey, Traveler, can Paimon hit you? What is happening here? <laughs> I like your senses of humor, me hearties. An illusion. So... Talking boats and squirrels are just an illusion to humans, huh? Now, now, it's understandable, old chap. Haven't you heard? As humans grow older, they forget many important things and lose many of their abilities. Jesus Christ, way to just call out humanity uh, like so that. They do. A pity to be Alright, see me, sir. Thinking back, in all those years I spent sailing with the fleet, I would have never imagined that one day I'd be laughing over something like this. Well then, me lads and lasses, don't you want to take a wee gander at all the places you're so curious about? Of course, but how do we get there? Look, here. What? At what? Blimey, at me, of course. Oh, that's right. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the smartest chip you'll find in all of these parts. The name's... Uh, just call me whatever takes your fancy. Oh, do you make face? That I do. I just can't remember it. All I know is that I came here from Inazuma. In what? that case, Paimon shall name you... <gasps> Mitaburu! How's that? All the other ships in Inazuma seem to have names ending in Ru, too. Do they? Mitaburu. Ha! <laughs> That'll do nicely. You're lucky to have met me. 
I can sail through the choppiest seas with ease. Can we keep there him? There isn't a wave out there that can capsize me. So, come aboard, and I'll take you wherever you'd like to go. Ah, how very kind of you, old chap. Unlike that animal archon who abandoned us here. What? You know, the animal archon of Mondstadt. Wait, Don't they know Venti? Some of these islands used to be Mondstadt's mountaintops. Once upon a time, the animal archon sliced them off to neaten the place up and chuck them into the ocean. What? My great, 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 uh, great grandfather was on one of the mountaintops and got sent flying here along with it. Wretched animal archon. How could that happen? Venti? And we've been living here for what the generations fuck did you do? since then. <laughs> Fortunately, there were a few other squirrel families that got stranded on these islands as well. So we built ourselves a kingdom here. What? The good thing is that there are no predators. Wait, or is this a dodoco? All the pine cones on this island are ours for the taking. The I mean, it's supposed to be a squirrel, but stuck here. is this actually a dodoco now? Can't see that coming. So what is happening? Is a kingdom of or is the Imana Yeah, or is that happening? What? Hold thy tongue. Paimon, please do not make such slanderous statements. The Imanakreish is, of course, a kingdom of night ravens. Hey, lad. Yes, you. You're from Inazuma, aye? That makes us brothers. Why is this boat from Inazuma? Inazuma? Oh no, no, never mind. I'm listening to the English voice. So that's why he sounds like a yar har fiddle dee kind of dude. Are you coming? Fair enough. To set sail is to leave one's homeland and travel far away. Aye, you need lots of courage and just a dash of heartlessness. Because <laughs> once you leave, you may never return. But if you stay, you're forever a prisoner in your own heart. <laughs> Inspiring words, Mitoboru. And you're right. The wanderer's spirit runs in my blood. I'll go with you. My friends, are you coming too? I want to take a look at the strange phenomena on that island. Also, I smell ancient timber and waterproof varnish on this boat. The scent is indeed from Inazuma. He can smell so the Inazuma from the boat. The God damn. Huh. Well, what does everyone think? Oz, lay down the gangplank. Thy princessin shall take to the seas. Sweet. Let's all go. It'll definitely be an experience. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Great. And we're off. Safe travels. Wait, it says she's born in 2001. That makes her 21. Alright. And getting things wrong. Um, so I always say the sooner you can start getting things wrong, the sooner you're gonna start getting things right. It's Mel Cleef. Yeah, Fucking cool. Christ. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. No, thank you, thank you for those insights. Those are uh, those are really great to hear. Uh, so next up for our panel, we're actually going to be playing a little game. So for those of you that are fans of the ever popular Wordle. There is another version uh, called Hurdle, where you need to listen to Wait, and what? guess it uh, quickly enough, as fast as you can. And so today, we are bringing you Warframe Hurdle, Wordle. Wordle. And so and you guys get to play it for the, the first time this? ever. So very, very exciting. Oh, so the great. object of the game is you want to try and guess the source of the audio um, in as small of a duration of a clip as you can. So we'll play a small duration of a clip. OK, let's give this a try. If you're unable to guess it, we'll start playing longer and longer. Until we until we max out, uh, I think we've got about four or five samples <coughs> for each um, that we'll play. So you guys are working together on this, don't worry, and uh, we'll have it separated by category, so you can kind of stay in the same headspace. Uh, so first off, we'll be starting with uh, the music category. So these will all be songs. Uh, so to guess correctly, you just need to either uh, guess the title uh, if you want, or you can guess what update uh, the song is from. Wait, what update so, the song is for? Here's oh, our first damn. track, and this will be about a second long. Sounds of Duran. Oh, Wait. Shoot, Keith, sorry. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> he wrote it, so what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give it the name. I, as, no. <laughs> I was going to say the werewolf one. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah, what was that? That was... Uh, the werewolf Alice one? And what was that update called? Um, the Sacrifice. Sacrifice. The sacrifice. sacrifice, yeah. Sacrifice. Yes. Yeah. It's one of my favorite tracks in the game. I love that. Wait, that was from The Sacrifice? One of my favorite p- pieces I've oh, shit. for anything. Um, I- I'm... Yeah, it probably is Smiles yeah. from Duran then. Melodically, it I don't know. I did not. I did not think it was from. I did not think it was Smiles from Duran. I don't know. Very oh, yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. It achieved, it achieved what I was going for, um, and you know I don't always quite. But I've never been good at hurdle. Got so. that okay, and uh, let's check out the next track. This. Uh, I, uh, I think I if it's it. what I think it is, I you think it's also the, from the sacrifice. Yeah, angels of, of the Zerubin. Oh my god, I'm, I'm horrible at this. That's the angel OST. Yep. The boss fight. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I correct. forget the name of that one. But. Nah, I'm yeah. horrible at this game. Uh, it's uh, on corroded wings. On corroded wings. On corroded wings. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't even title. really the hear it. As na 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 na. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never na, thought of those. Like na 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 na. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, all right. So next up, so that was our music category. We'll be moving on to dialogue. Oh so shit! You can guess either the character or honestly even the update that it's from. Uh, both will suffice. So you'll be hearing a shorter amount of dialogue, and then you'll just have to guess from there. So here's our first clip of dialogue. Oh, that's Hunt How, vainglorious whelp. Yep. I forget the update. Nice. But yeah. You got the line, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, Man, it's weird, eh? How is it from Octavius <laughs> Anthem? <laughs> yeah. It's oh, like yeah. memories rushing back. Yeah, it's just like, like vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Hun Hao, I'm thinking it's Octavius Anthem. Yeah, you absolutely snapped that, George. Yeah, I think that was a, I think that was a fan favorite among the community team, for sure. We love that line of a uh, vainglorious whelp. It was just... Uh, it's from the New War, isn't it, I think? It is, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. me. Yeah. It's from the New War. Yeah, excellent oh. delivery, and um, yeah, it's yeah. Such, a, such a good bit of dialogue. <laughs> Is that, yeah. is, it's it's, a, it's right, from that bit when we miss when we meet Hunhao and he gives us another rock. Dialogue. Dream. What? Or a night? Is that dreamers? No. This is oh. Ooh. Oh, I'm out then. All right, let's hear the second bit. Dream. Let them defile. Oh. Wait, what the fuck is that? I yes. should say they do scale up in difficulty TSD. as we go across each category. So this will be the hardest one. This I don't think this one. is TSD. This is a tough one. It rings a bell, but I can't. Right. Sister of for, for the full uh, for the full duration. Yeah. Dream. Let them define no more. This is in the new war. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's um, when you get to one of, like, near the end uh, and you climb the 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 tower the unum oh, it's yeah. the unum it is yeah. the unum it's the oh of course for the word oh it's yeah. the unum fuck uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no i'm, I'm I, don't I did not uh, recognize a single uh, one of them the characters <laughs> you expect to hear from i don't think the unum is someone maybe i am a fake warframe veteran after all oh no oh no oh no 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 no, 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 no. That angelic voice that comes through is really, God, really cool. Damn, that was quest. tough, guys. Uh, I, I think this next category is also uh, increasing in difficulty as well. Now we're moving on to the uh, sound effects or the sound design category. Oh no, so sound effects. By, you know, the source um, of uh, these bits of audio or the update that's from uh, both will both will work. So oh shit! Here we go. First sound effect. Is that Gulsaw? <laughs> Some kind of infested or something. Is, does that sound like ghoul yeah. sword to you guys, or does that sound more infested? I don't know. That sounds like. Oh, Helminth. The bell too, but. I think that's a Helminth. That's tough. That is a Ooh, tough that's one. That's a tough one. I- increasing in difficulty, you said. <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> I can. There is actually there is actually a hint. Of, uh, a plan for this one that I can give now. It is yeah. one of the Archons. Oh fuck! Uh, oh okay. Uh, oh fuck! It's an Archon. One it is. Right. Sounds like a wolf. I think it's um. I don't know what his name is, but I, I think it's, it's the wolf one. Yeah. Archon number three. <laughs> You're absolutely. You reckon correct. it's Naira the snake? Three. I think it's the rhino. I think it's the rhino one. Oh, Naira, nice, nice. Oh, it is Naira. Awesome. Good job, Keith. Nice one, Sue. Nice one. You got it right the first time, but then you changed. So fuck, you fucked it up. Hmm. That's like a fucking Hydralis from StarCraft 2. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. 
You think it's a maw? Um, what's in the uh in the orbiter? Um, what's the? I don't think it's a knock on this time. Um, I'm forgetting the name of the of the. I didn't sound like anything to me. In your orbiter. Oh, the helmet. Oh, the the, the helmet. No. That... It's oh, not so the helmet. Uh, that doesn't sound like the helmet. Latest Warframe. Yes. Um, oh, From Angel yeah. Zerman. It's, it's higher. Beastly. Yeah. Cool. It is. Uh, do you want to play the uh, the full sound effect? <laughs> yeah, that's her fourth ability. Yeah. Correct, Eric. Yep, you're correct. Wait, is that Gyre's fourth ability? Spell. What the Motor fuck? Spell. Nice. Yep, nicely, yeah, nicely, cool. nicely done. Yeah, nice. you had it after that. Uh, after that first second clip, well done, well done. Holy shit! Right, well, thank you guys for playing Wordle. Uh, that was a blast. Uh, it was uh, very cool to see. Holy uh, hear shit! Hear some of the, you know, the bits of uh, history behind those uh, different pieces of uh, dialogue. Nice. That was actually pretty cool. For uh, proved you're quite good. The Super Wordle, Saiyan so. mode. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago, we did uh, ask the Warframe fans both on the forums and on Reddit. Um, to, uh, to pose some questions uh, for the three of you. Uh, so we'll, we can jump into those now. Um, so Guts440 on the forums asks, Guts440, why wow. In the why in the middle of Forn Armor do you use a sample of what sounds like the intro to This Is What You Are? Why? I'm trying to remember why. I think it's something along the lines of just trying to bring an echo of This Is What You Are. Um, like, it, like a distant memory of... Of um, of how things used to be, sort of that kind of idea, like a little echo that you know you might miss it, but more than likely we'll just get this sense that it's connected to um, the past. Mm -hmm. And Keith, I have to ask, how did that feel taking you know uh, taking that anthem of "We All Live Together," this hopeful, beautiful song, and then kind of inverting its entire theme, you know? Was that was that your idea to corrupt your original idea? Ooh, um... I still I want to hum, the hum version of Cold Below as it's on the summer chord. Collaborative. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, eh? Um, George and I had, a, I think it was a two-hour call one day, Zoom, quite like this, um, where, where it was just ideas back and forth, and, um... The good ones are usually George's, and, I, and then I, you know, attempt to take credit for them later. Um, <laughs> but, but you know, the, it definitely, uh, I, I love the idea, no matter whose idea it was, I love the idea of having two pieces that you could actually almost overlap. I wanted them to, to play at the same tempo. Um, I'm not sure how they could top it. <laughs> uh, in the same key, but I don't think we ended up doing it. Yeah, it's all over, folks. We're done for the day. Um, but, you know, the melodies play off one of another, and, and um, a corrupt version of it is, is exactly the, the, the concept. Enderlay on Reddit asks, uh, what sound effect in the game is the most transformed from its original recording? Hmm. Wow. That's a good one. A lot of them. Actually, hey, Eric. I mean, it's funny. Like we were saying like earlier, you know, here. you, you know, you come in with an idea and you kind of twist and turn things until it kind of, it's kind of like having like molten steel or something, and you're hammering at it into like bend it into your will into the shape that you want it to be. Um, yeah, I've I've done the one thing kind of comes into mind. I, I I don't remember what it was for, unfortunately, but just. Uh, okay, okay, when Harrow Prime? Uh, the sound Probably after Cora Prime. And just really like stretching it out and right? putting Right? Like, on uh, it the latest Prime, we had Garuda, really and then Cora, right? I can't remember what. So after what those two, but should be yeah, Harrow Prime, though, I think. You know. mm -hmm. Yeah, we're always trying to you know, refresh things and keep things updated where we can um, without changing it's things too much. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say there's any one. One particular sound. It's lots of little things over over time. Um, improving the technology that we use to play our sounds is a big big part of it too, mm -hmm. and that kind of indirectly affects older sounds. Oh, Scourge Prime! I'm thinking of life. Wait, sorry. What am I talking about? To a slightly different context. Yeah, what am I talking about? We already have Harrow Prime. Why? Why, why the fuck did I think that we don't have Harrow Prime? The best, one of the strongest Warframes in the game. For sure. That came with a Harrow rework. What, 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 too, right? like you, it's two. It's like three o'clock in the morning, guys. Four o'clock. It's four o'clock in the morning. Don't fucking at me. Like, you just can't be afraid to try things. Baruch Prime sure. would be coming next. Music too, it's like, I guess. I guess? Would think Actually, would Baruch Prime be coming next? It's like, well, how when Mad Prime? Sound something Mad different. Prime is coming when um, cross-play, cross-save right, happens. And not really thinking of the rules, as it were, in that sense. And you mm -hmm. can come up with some really interesting stuff. <clears throat> stuff that way, so. nice. 
Daft Techno. Mac Umbra, 50% more armor. Uh, what is your favorite sound effect <laughs> that you haven't found? Oh, Scourge Prime? Yet. Scourge Prime is fine. Uh, it's always been a solid weapon. Uh, you, you, you could use it mainly as a super prime weapon, super primer for like your melee weapons. Rubber chicken. And then on top of that, you can use it as a super primer for your secondary weapons as well if you want to do that. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's always been a great supporting weapon day, be a to support the chicken. shit out of your other weapons. Yeah, we have one of them so yeah, I, I recommend it. A build would be broken, someone would squeeze the rubber chicken you'd hear. Like, yes! Through the yeah. office. So, it's, where is that rubber chicken? <laughs> Where it's, it's, in my, it's, in my, it's in my office. Just waiting to be used <laughs> on something. Away. Yeah. 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 Man in the wall 2.0. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ooh, that would be really yeah. Those chickens do sound <laughs> honestly pretty terrifying. So that would, uh, yeah. I'll bet it would right? sound horrifying. It's yeah, down, chicken down, in the wall pitch. Octaves. That, like, that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. This Got to try it now. It's going to happen. Next right. Warframe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Easter egg. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what the fuck? Uh, amazing. And I think... Uh, Hold on, guys. I'm going to... We definitely, definitely received a lot. Uh, At that time, I'm going to mute the Tenacon for a sec. I, I want to listen to this. Why would someone keep the plant in there if it's dead? It's a way of sending a secret message. It indicated that there was something hidden inside the flower pot. Okay. There was a letter buried down at the bottom, which told of an ancient secret in my clan. I did not take the bonsai with me after reading the letter, which means it should still be in the warehouse now. I wonder who removed the plant and placed the pot here. Someone's so being a bit of a saucy baka. To your ancestors? Seems a shame to leave it empty like this. Huh. Kaza? What do you think about maybe putting a little something inside it? Okay. All right. Do you have a seed? Well, I still don't understand why it has appeared here. I can give that a try. <laughs> what? Wait, what's this? It's loading? It's literally loading? What? Wait, what? Where are we? Huh? Oh, yeah! Everyone's here, except for Kazuha! The fuck Kazuha? just happened? Where are you? So, you so okay? the we found a bonsai plant, and now we've well, teleported into a domain. Uh, okay. Look at the decor here. It's like the inside of a grand mansion. I don't think this is a perilous maze. It's somebody's home. Most curious. What secrets lie within this place I shall surely uncover. Huh. Okay. Alright. Oh. Hello. Well, that's kind of... That's kind of scary. I think we're hearing some Daviri music, folks. Yeah, this is some spooky, spooky Daviri music. It's, I think it's only just started. Yeah, it's, it's only just started. Okay, that just closed. Thank you for sending that along. That was uh, that was pretty special. Oh, they haven't actually finished. Yeah. And honestly, a massive thank uh, you to the fire arrows of different colorations. You can adjust its angle of elevation. Yeah, for, uh, for Warframe, prismatic uh, seals it's, of certain colors can be spelled by arrows of the same the color. Thank you to the three of you uh, for what? joining us today okay. for the sound panel. It's been an absolute blast. After you pick up a thank prismatic you, gem, you can uh, unlock it. It's been really fun. I enjoyed this. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah, it's been an honor. Yeah, no, uh, honor's all mine. Thank you so much. I also want to give a special thank you to uh, D.E. Corey and the community team who helped co-produce this panel. So thank you, Corey, uh, for your help. You were okay. uh, instrumental in this for sure. Um, and don't go anywhere for TennoCon 2022 because next up we have a live panel brought to you by our very own Megan Everett as she goes through a live developer Q&A. She's joined by Pablo, Kaz, 
and DE Matt as they answer all of your questions live. So enjoy Tenocon 2022. Hey everybody, Megan here to let you know that by watching this year's show on Twitch, you're gonna earn yourself some incredible free items if you have your Warframe and Twitch account okay, linked. So... Watching Tenocon until 5 p.m. Eastern time for 30 consecutive minutes will reward you Ostensibly, I wanna both do this. Bear Chris Warfan and the Renala Sugatra. <laughs> but that's not all. Tune into Tenno Live between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern time for another 30 consecutive minutes, and you're gonna earn yourself a free Titania Prime. That's right, a free Prime Warframe. If you already have your Twitch account and your Warframe account linked and received drops before on Warframe streams, then you're all set. But Wait, do I need to close the door then? your Warframe and Twitch account together. Simply go on over to warframe.com slash Twitch, log into your Warframe account, and follow the simple instructions to get set up. And that's it. Enjoy the show. Okay, who's your favorite D stuff? Most exciting stuff. Because I think it started out as like uh, a terraforming situation. We were going to take this crazy... I don't really have a favorite. ...Venus and cool it down with these... Like, um, but usually when... Um, ...devices yep. that were there that the corpus had come and see. They tried to know. turn back on. Yeah. Because of the, the turbulence of this terraforming device, oh, you'd have what? stuff melt, and then it would freeze up, so you'd get... Oh, so that's how that works. ...and sideways icicles, you know, off... Like usually when... Um, so we're trying just to think of, oh, how, how could we describe this place? Being? How can we make this look... Interesting and make. I'd probably say Reb and also make it. I think Rebecca. Sense. Usually Rebecca like you know, knows to some extent to be, what's going on. Right? Like, and then and sometimes she even like says bad. like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's so like, that's here's right. some here's something, something that a lot of the players are saying yeah, kind of yeah, might, yeah, be, might be might be meaningful, might be worth something." Like elevation, like because like planes is pretty flat. You know what I mean? Like in or ballast there. The Helen. Pretty mountainous. Yeah. Really high up in that. But I think in the end, like, I, I think Reb still, that. I think Rebecca still I got, like, that played a key factor. Like, she's the, probably, like, got, like, you know, the, um, she's got, like, fact, probably the most consistently, like, like, the levels of it's like okay, good like, ideas massive, of, like, massive, how things are working. World to, and terrain. Even though sometimes the way she builds so, Warframes like, is. Drive came in to kind of speed up. Bit, to be honest, the K Drive came in. sometimes, but, like, started not the landscape. It came later. Yeah. Yeah, kind of came. Those later, those elements actually work really well. Oh, shit. Okay. This is some. Escape when you see There's it. some okay. Kazua lore like, here. Oh, here's a great opportunity yeah. to inject Kazua this. Kind of surf really in the snow. Yeah. Well, also, like, some of the vehicles got explored a lot. Yeah, again, we were trying to tell the story of what they, yeah. what was happening. So we had, like, Kazua. almost like forestry-type equipment where they were mm. chopping down mushrooms. That's not like, like a logging-type <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah. I, so I don't know how much of that actually came through, but we were trying that. Because, again, great. we were trying to fill out. Yeah. It was so big. And just to try to tell these sort of small stories throughout the landscape. We're seeing how we can take this into sort of any direction we'd like. Go outdoors, yeah. Well, just in general, like just anywhere. So it's really, really fun to be a part of it. Yellow Jade. To do that, I guess. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. More ballast More is what we want to do. <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, Tenno. Megan here again. Did you know that we have new merch in the store? Just like this lamp. If you go to store.warframe.com, you can get yourself one of these lamps. That Wait, is that a, a lamp? But not just that. Oh, they're actually selling that lamp. It out from a lotus symbol to Wait, a hold on, guys. You guys can't see it. There's a mysterious hat right there. Wow, that was smooth. Wow, just like that. Make sure you go to store.warframe.com and you can get there one of these and check out all the other merch that we Wow, that was smooth. As well. <laughs> <laughs> that was your scare? What was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh. What are they gonna sell that mower in the background? They won't, it's a one of a kind. We're getting so much closer to unveiling some incredible surprises. Tonight, at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll be opening up the Duveri Amphitheater Orbiting Earth in-game. Join your fellow Tano for an up-close and very unique experience during the Tano Live presentation. Oh. As a special Hello, thing, everyone. joining us for TennoCon today, I thought you know God's first, you can claim a special operator and drinker cosmetic, the stream. This exclusive cosmetic is available right now on all platforms in the in-game market for one credit. Be sure to log in and claim yours. Hi, Tenno. The hunt is on. By royal decree, I summon. 
Will you be going in the relay? Yeah, of course. That was just an alarm. Oh, more dudes. Okay, let's go. You're stuck now. No rest for the wicked. Hello, welcome. Sorry. <laughs> Staring into the abyss at Dean. <laughs> and I can't really see anything. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the uh, audible sensation of the art not the art panel, the sound panel with Marcus. Who's left or you? This is very disorienting. I need to take that out. I'm like screaming. Sorry, Dean. <laughs> supposed to be able to hear him. Uh, with George, Eric, and Keith Power, and it was so fun to watch that uh, get put together. And thank you to everyone who gave support to that. Marcus, you're incredible. And now we're here for the Dev Q. &A. I am joined by some very fun, lovely people from DE. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves one by one. We'll start with Kaz. Hi. I'm Kaz, I am the weapons lead at Warframe. Me, uh, Matt Tremblay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm next, right? Yeah, After Kaz, next. that's me. Uh, I'm one of the art directors on Warframe. Don't forget to get the hood, yes. Uh, and I'm Pablo. I'm a yes, designer. I will also not Warframe. forget to you get the me. hood. You know me, it's Pablo. When you find a melodic uh, Omori, you can pick them up and carry them with you. Minutes, and Place them in a special a shrine. questions here on my iPad, oh. and I will be uh, asking them. These are oh, questions fuck. based off of questions that I've seen on dev streams. I maybe creeped some Twitters, you what know, just kind of curated some stuff. We're going to talk about the new war. We're going to talk about Angels of Zeremon, and then of course a little bit about Viri. But before we get into that, I said at the beginning of the stream that I might do a giveaway. And we're Kazuma gonna Adams, giveaway. yeah. We're going to do a Garuda Prime access. She does end today. I don't Garuda know Prime access. Ooh. There's no reason why she would just up give away a Garuda Prime as well. God oh, damn! They give away all the primes. And today, but we're gonna give away a Garuda Prime access. Dean is rolling. Fuck. You guys see how tiny that text is? That's really small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my glasses. By the way, there's eight total chests here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I can see, actually see an Apex Acolyte. Am I right, Dean? Wow. Oh my god, Apex wow. Acolyte. Wow. Congratulations. Man. Young, Apex Acolyte. Wow, what a name. Not young, not good eyes. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just closest to the screen is all. Uh, Apex Acolyte, congratulations. You have won a Garuda Prime Access. Please whisper the Warframe Twitch channel you're watching right now with your in-game alias and the platform Wait, you play it, Warframe on. Did I just we'll go through a secret passage or is that the actual way Congratulations. All right. Oh yeah, that was actually the way I was supposed to go. A's to the Q's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Let's do it. All right, first we're going to start off with just with some general I bet you there's probably a secret question here somewhere. Your actual role and what it is that it means to be ABC. Uh, so we're going to start with Pablo and chest. what does it mean to be a game designer? Uh, not really, you know, not, not, not really that it's secret uh, at this point. You kind of go around, sometimes you're working on... Fake username on cat. Warframe, sometimes he's kind of looking back and seeing, you know, recently we did for example, rework of Focus, rework of oh, Eximus, you know, systems that have been in the game for, Dojo. you know, literally a neon. <laughs> uh, so, the dawn of time. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to go to the Dojo. Eximus have been there for, what, nine years untouched, right? Imagine so, if the bot won the giveaway. About, <laughs> like, looking back and seeing, like, okay, well, what could we do to improve what's there? Sometimes it's like, what is new Enough that could be, like, exciting. That'd be you know? pretty fucking hilarious. Uh, sometimes it's like, uh, looking for new ways to, to give a... Uh, um, new rewards for players that feel kind of new, like evolving weapons, for example, was a thing like that. So you kind of, it's a little bit all over the place. It's kind of oh, hard to find. Uh, how do you keep uh, something that has existed for nine plus years fresh and, you know, keep it fun? Mm -hmm. You're the fun maker. Nightbot wins that, that's, <laughs> that's the PC. That's the idea. <laughs> the PC's already been given away, Mara, so okay. yeah, that's, there goes that idea. Weapons artists. <clears throat> Yeah, so we make a pretty weird game here at Warframe. <laughs> Do we? Uh, I don't know. As I'm sure you know, our <laughs> weapons and cosmetics are pretty unique in the industry. So as a result, all the people on my team are pretty weird. Zaraman bot. Themselves yeah, Zaraman bot. Very creative people. Mm -hmm. We come up with just amazing things 
and it's it's new every single update, every single time. So coming up with something from nothing, uh, from I guess Pablo's um, design direction as well, <laughs> <laughs> and then just going crazy with it. It's just the dream for it. And any artist just to be able to oh, do hello. Yeah. just go step outside of the box so far it's every crazy. single time <laughs> it's fun i'm still waiting for like a, a corn launcher <laughs> still waiting for the weapons i want well wait and see <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> the anticipation uh, i do have more corn questions but we'll wait um uh, matt art director tell me more corn questions. oh matt you're about to be <laughs> introduced all right well, jesus christ they're giving a lot of uh, also a back uh, right, right. Uh, in, in this patch True. Positions. Cosmo mains be like nothing. Does a whole lot of stuff like Pablo was saying on the design know, side, but you know it's obviously more art centric. There's a few of us on the project. Like it it's a big dreadful. game, so there's different areas, different kind of um, responsibilities, I guess, in terms of the overall of yeah. art look of Warframe. Yeah. But a lot of what we do what is work with, you know, the creative Kaida team, Arable you know, the designers the and the creative directors, the narrative people. team, the art team. And you know, there's there's all different types of groups there. So, as an art director, okay. most of the job is just liaising between all of those groups, making sure that you know the creative direction aligns with the visual direction, the artistic direction, and then keeps that art train kind of running on the tracks. Essentially, mm -hmm. you know, there's all kinds of super talented people that we all work with. Um, so I'm not doing a whole lot of the actual day-to-day -day creation stuff myself. Um, I leave that to people like Kaz and, you know, there's so many super talented people on the team. So, um, yeah, as an art director, yeah, you do some art and you do some high-level stuff, but you really just kind of help, help move the vision along and, uh, you know, be there to support the people who are actually doing the day-to-day -day content creation. Mm -hmm. and all three of you have been here for a while. Do you know? How, do, do you know? Uh, I think I've been like. 11, Wait, did I miss a shrine? Like Matt, you're a vet. Yes. Twenty-five. Oh, there it is. Twenty-three. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> Kaz, I'm like seven. It's like seven, yeah. yeah. Nine, yeah. So we're, yeah. you know, we've we've been around, but I think that's one really cool thing is, you know, you all three have very unique, different jobs, but they all kind of blend into okay, each other. So yeah. Like, there's not a time the where Let's try somewhere else. your art direction, something that you're working on, doesn't involve Pablo or doesn't involve Kaz. Like, everything yeah. Ooh, hello. kind of blends together. Mojo no time. Pablo, I want to I kind of take take us all back. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of years here. We've been through a lot of iterations of Warframe and what it's been over the years. Do you remember the first thing that you worked on when you came into Warframe? Uh, I was actually still finishing our previous project, oh, uh, oh, but no. people were starting getting wrapped up on, uh, on Warframe, and at that point I was a UI programmer, so they needed basically the basic components to be able to make menus and stuff. <laughs> they just needed kind of like the yeah, like the basic foundation of how to draw a list, how to draw a grid, and stuff like that. So I was literally doing kind of that on the side of the other project, and just sending them more, and they would just kind of assemble the screens. Mm -hmm. uh, it, remember the first like screen you did? Do you remember? Uh, probably Arsenal, but that, that might also be a lie because I made that screen so many times by now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what did it even look like when you first did it? Yeah, we changed that screen so many times that I, I'm sure that... Oh, I'm like, it's perfect, it's old. though, right? <laughs> you don't miss. Don't, don't even touch it ever again, it's uh, great. I guess the weapon team are the one who designed the kind of weapons. Of those things Seems like it, yeah. Arsenal. But, you know... I would uh, assume so. The first design thing, like once yeah. I started to mm -hmm. kind of transition a little bit more to that, I think it was uh, changing abilities to no longer be mods. I think that was like my first oh. big change, like the design suggestion that essentially kind of got the ball rolling. Because, you know, obviously the, the pipeline of UI programmer to designer is not a common one. <laughs> it's not, so, not a step over. It's, yeah, it's not a very natural transition. Uh, so, yeah, I think that that was like the first probably... Either that or Endo, one of those uh, mm. is probably kind of where I kind of got started a little more on the, on the design side of things. Mm -hmm. It is interesting. Sometimes I, I like uh, start playing and like start thinking of all the things that we've done. Like it feels weird, obviously, a game of this size. We were talking about, you know, it's very kind of like it's a collaborative thing. You, mm -hmm. you just cannot do it. 
Well, <laughs> just, that's yeah, yeah. kind of do it. <laughs> yeah, it is impossible. But it, it always Jaguars. feels, uh, you know, it always feels almost like a miracle to get like even this that we get anything together. tangible <laughs> yeah. out of it yeah I mean I mean the, I don't know how much we're gonna Wait comment on what happened last night uh, we, uh, we talked about it this morning we talked okay. about it. So, they know they, they know. know okay well <laughs> it always feels like a miracle when we pull it and yeah. uh, uh, you know I think we're uh, I don't want to speak for everyone but I, I definitely think like the general sentiment is like we're all super <laughs> fortunate to be able to work in such a such a successful project yeah. that is also so creatively free mm -hmm. uh, and that really allows us to kind of do crazy things and mm -hmm. switch it up all the time uh, th yeah it, it brings me back to like just remembering Bye. conversations of like i really want to do a, a motorbike warframe and then a year later we have gauss right like you have these like little trinkets of ideas that you think are so far-fetched but warframe is oh, so far-fetched sure. that like you can make it make sense yeah. from an art director perspective yeah. What's that like? <laughs> uh, you know what? I've been blessed in my tenure on motorbike warframes. What? On environments more than that's <laughs> true. Super You're right. tricky what? stuff. I mean, we have some weird environments. We absolutely do. We absolutely <laughs> do. And the the thing is that it all like like the people that work on the project, it all has to mesh together. You know, like we all work together towards a common motorbike of frame. This game, and you know, you can't do. Is that the next warframe? People. Uh -huh. Stage and you can't do it with the people behind the scenes that are you know watching from home uh, today. I wasn't exactly listening. It's yeah, it's 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 difficult sometimes to come up with something. But uh, yeah, you, you can know, definitely exciting, come up with some absolutely fucking bizarre. There's so many people that are so ideas. I think that's the in the product in the project, general thesis um, of this particular that if you're stuck, you just have to look to the person next to you and say, you know. What do you got? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Like, is this a good idea? You know, ideas come from Pablo, ideas from Kat, from, from, from me, from anyone in the studio. Corn Warframe. Corn, Continue. yeah, I mean. So is Pablo like the lead sure. designer? I really like that, actually. <laughs> we just some established the one who, like, yeah. game, okay? I'm going to keep the with the main, with the majority uh, of no, the ideas and point. the team are like, um, yeah, okay. Just kind of go back to what we're talking about. Um, first thing you remember working on Warframe. Kaz. I know uh, if we go back to your origin story, it's like one of my favorites of all times because you were part of the community and you know we had a relationship. I refuse to believe Revenant was a vampire. No, it was out there. And yeah, no, Revenant is not a vampire. You're a part of DE now. Yeah, uh, I did Tenogen for a little while, but my first project was uh, the Barrow Katir Kubro armor oh. that the community effectively uh, okay. considers so a the cone of shame. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny when I saw all of those comments. <laughs> I agree with it, though. It's kind of like that. Cone-esque. Barrow Katir is very cone-y. That guy's yeah. got cones. Yeah, he's got cones on mm -hmm. cones. And back then, uh, I was off-site um, for seven months waiting for my visa, and my only way to communicate with the studio was with uh, emails with Carrie, and he told me how to use uh, Substance Painter through emails. Wow. wow. <laughs> that's, a, yeah. that's a long back and forth. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That was an interesting time. Hey, Kate, if you had kids, would so you give them a Chinese name? <laughs> you should be. No. That's yeah, I'll give them a Chinese awesome. name and an English name. Matt, do you think, remember the first name? Yeah, I was just going to say. If I would have like, no idea how to come really up with cool a Chinese name. I'll basically be asking my dad, hey, dad, help me make a Chinese exactly. name. You know, like she impressed. Like, I'll be asking my dad and my mom, be like, with her hey, help, and me make, like help me come up with a Chinese name. Attitude. So, yeah, they would have a Chinese name, but I would also be like, okay, we're going to really emphasize on the idea that you have um that you have an English name. Work on the art that way. Yeah, no, I think uh, most people will be able to look at you there and be like, yeah, okay, not, though. oh, you're Matt, right. you're the interviewer. Yeah. How could we not? Tate. Anyways, yeah, sorry, I, I didn't mean to divert from that. Hey, Alchemist, yeah, how's it going? Really, oh shit, non degen really hours? Yeah, it's the complete opposite. It's degenerate hours for me. Mm -hmm. That's what happens well. when I'm pulling an all nighter. Um, because some <laughs> of, uh, you know, the. How's it going, mate? How's it going? people, the best, most equipped artists, well, and designers, all that kind of stuff. Like the community has all kinds yeah, of great ideas. So mm -hmm. back to the other point, like if we don't have our own ideas, we just, we can look go? to the community because mm -hmm. the community it's is currently really four in the morning by the collective work that we've done, which is super rewarding for me to mm -hmm. see anyways. And I'm sure it is for most other people you know, to, to get, uh, you know, a response from the community that's so positive and, and so interested in what we're doing. That's mm -hmm. pretty awesome. No, and you're absolutely right. Kaz, I'm pretty sure, was the first person that 
from the community, like we eventually, like you came to the studio, like you live here now, like there was yeah. that whole yeah. process. I like, live I've, here now. You live here now, and you've lived here for a while, but I, I'm pretty sure you're the mm. first one. Yeah. That Dude, we and I, I, I put so much into getting hired here. Uh, I made and those little void key candles and, right. and the, the, the bobblehead yeah. too. I made a Captain. What's your new war fan yet? I still haven't. I guess so. I haven't had a look yet. I took it. <laughs> I'm hoarding everyone's replicas and props. I'm sorry. Although you have a lot, you have like the giant queller at home, which yeah. I would also like, but you don't have to give it to me. No, you can't. But you can keep it for now. I know. Now she's like, you're never getting this. <laughs> um, taking another step back, Pablo, do you have uh, a favorite thing in Warframe that you've designed so far? A favorite thing? Uh, I don't know. That's kind of like... It's just MR Potter IMO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a fan of Warfans uh, myself, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Like, maybe with a maybe with a decent ribbon, it could stop overall, being MR Potter and become yeah, yeah. pretty decent. Yeah. Well, the magic of Warfans kind of... We'll find out. And that's what the, like, the, the moment-to-moment gameplay, like that sort of... Like, I think that's the idea with MR. I think that's the idea with ribbons anyway. Like, you know, you... you almost kind of dancing. If you get a decent... If you get a good ribbon on an uh, on an MR Potter weapon, that we've managed to make suddenly your MR fodder weapon doesn't look so MR fodder anymore, does it? Work with that mm -hmm. without without breaking it because it, you know it's, <laughs> such, it's, a, it's an interesting balance. Uh, yeah, I think in general, like I don't know about a thing, a thing exactly that I you don't want to pick a favorite kid, I get it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, in general, like. I think what I what I feel the proudest about how, what the team has done, <laughs> okay, right? like yeah. when you're when you're playing Warframe. You know it's Warframe. You know it looks mm -hmm. it, it looks like nothing else. It plays like nothing else. Uh, you know it sounds like nothing else. <laughs> oh yeah. So you know that's that's kind of the like I think that's that's really what I take the most the most pride of uh, for the whole team in terms, of, in terms of what we managed to to make there mm -hmm. and the fact that it's so so unique and so its own thing. My father once mentioned great this pot was Goodness. originally part of a Cass, can you follow up with that? What's uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there something? Platinum Arrow is still power corrupted and useless. Fuck off. Probably just the whole Platinum Arrow basically stands the set that I did. I did the I designed three of them and I finished one of them and then the other two I gave to members of the weapons team to finish and they did and only true gods know how to use it just that whole set all together just all um, came together really nicely so the one that I finished was the shotgun and I think it's okay but only because of what if are you going for onslaught oh the stance will it transform will it transform yeah well let's see let's see what we can make is there a particular war fan that is considered like a most proud is there a particular war that, are, that people actually use regularly yeah, you know, I was thinking about this this morning. Um, I think the thing for me that really like, resonated the most just, um, was the second dream. If it's just that I process? Think oh, okay. The reason well, then being is not because we were doing you know, anything super different on the, on the kind of environment art side of that stuff. I don't know if I'm really just like, That was the first. Capacity. Uh, cinematic quest. But then again, I haven't really been into really it at all. So, you know, it turn the tables or turn the corner for us. I don't have that new stance yet. The direction that we were going with Warframe. It has a heavy attack. A lot of us work on more single player games. So, if anything, you just want to use a war fan that is you know, like not really a melee weapon, but instead is a rage weapon. You hadn't really done anything. At that point, you might as well just use a Zor with them. In Warframe, yeah. And, the response from the, the community was... The one that uh, throws out a prayer... The response the, the one that I use on um, Akundala, the one that throws out the tip. Yeah, I think, uh, looking back... As an explosive? Uh, we've done a lot of really great stuff since, but once um, time it, it really kind of struck a chord with me yeah. to realize Zuba. what we could do, After you know, the ride um, and, and, and the quality work that we could put out. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I remember us. when... Um, just a, a few a few people, I think it might have been like a VIP complete. group for a, Later, one of the old tunnel cons. We came to, to the missed. studio at the office mm -hmm. and no um, the, the studio at the office, the, the, the theater <laughs> at the prime. office. Yeah, and, um, we'll they had us listen to a really early but version. I, but like at that point, that's like a melee weapon like, that is specifically trying so to be a rage weapon. different than everything else and it wasn't finished yet. That's a little bit different. It was so magical to hear that for the first time. 
<gasps> Wait, you're telling me the new Warfan does shoot projectiles? Warfan was about to change to yeah. something so much deeper, so much more me. Yeah, but it was a shot. Really awesome thing. I didn't even try that. Yeah. It made me personally realize, anyways. I, I reacted to it in a way. Oh no, Quasis does that. I, to, I think any other game that I have played. You know, and maybe there's. It was new one is just a normal ass fan. Oh, there we go. The, the project, but um, yeah, there was just something like the 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 songwriting like the, 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 there was so much about that that evoked emotion um yeah just it, for me it really there's a new wisp really, skin really, what really really quite enjoyable yeah it was i remember the development process of it and like you could feel that there was a shift in the way the entire story was gonna go like we're gonna try this really you know far-fetched <laughs> idea and story and emotion that we want to evoke because our game is very you know looter shooter slashy slashy like gore enabled game and then we're going very emo emotional the song was incredible and um it was probably for me in my career like the highlight one of the highlights mm -hmm. is just the reception from that and mm -hmm. i think i know for me like i'm always chasing that feeling because i want to feel what everyone else felt over again. You want to feel I, loved. I, I want to feel loved. Love me. No, I'm what are you talking about? Uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was a game changer. You know, we've, we've done so many quests afterwards, and you know, just continuing that story. And you know, we're at the very paradox, which is just a wild ride. That one, which you'll see later. We're not going to talk about it right now. But I do have some more nitty gritty questions. Wow, this is wild. Pablo, I'm gonna go to you. <clears throat> How do you approach reworks in Warframe, considering we now have 49 Warframes, not counting primes, <laughs> bosses, enemies? How do you approach to rework? Uh, it sort of depends. Sometimes, like, uh, we actually just did this exercise, like, literally three weeks ago or something. I asked um, part of the community mm -hmm. to look at uh, the usage for. Uh, abilities and kind of look at like so the, bottom, the best weapon cosmetic the bottom abilities okay. uh, because I wanted to consider the only weapon cosmetic can I rework I talking about abilities skins without too. reworking frames mm -hmm. just as a way to kind of speed them up a little bit oh, I thought you don't can't scare uh, my conclusion was I can't <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah once I started looking at some of them like you know some of the lower ones were like one of Grendel's abilities was really low but then if I looked a little bit up Another one of his abilities popped up there, and it started feeling like, okay, well, I, I can't just change one ability. I have to like go in and do the whole shebang. So generally, it's kind of like that. I will, I will sit down and I will play. Um, I guess I can spoil that. So what are you, what are you talking about? Uh, reworks uh, for Mag and Excalibur. A little bit confused. Uh, what you're talking about? Uh, yeah. It's been a while. Essentially, I was looking at the starter frames mm -hmm. and trying to kind of make them a little smoother for newer players. Mm -hmm. That's kind of... So, for example, that one is the first time I've approached it like that. You like oh. have to think... Yeah, they've been around for a while now, a like a few weeks mind, at least. How, what would be the best to change so that a new player can pick her up right away and play her <gasps> without it being too complex, right? So, As for example, she has that whole shrapnel Lord mechanic that a lot of people don't even notice that it's there just because it's like tiny little glowy things okay same shit different thought. day let's go uh, the, even like the description barely mentions them right so um so in this case it was more about that like how do i make it so that someone can just because she's an awesome warframe already like okay. veterans can play and destroy mm -hmm. anything with her mm -hmm. so she doesn't need help there <laughs> but she does need help for like someone that's just starting the game so right the approach for this reworks was that, mm -hmm. like just how does someone brand new pick them up, mm -hmm. understand what they do, and work with them. But sometimes it's more about like, okay, well, what are the what are the awkward ed edges of, of a frame that people don't don't what enjoy uh, is this? playing with? You know, what what is it that it doesn't quite work? Sometimes it'll be like uh, their abilities are single target, and our game is not single target. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it'll be like you know they they they're their energy economy is bad or things like that. So it kind of is very case by case basis, but generally try to look at the, at their kits in more of a holistic way. Mm -hmm. Like how and will they play entirely? Yeah, and I think- Mac hasn't gotten anything new for cosmetics. No, not really. Very cool. Cause like you're saying, like, you know, not to say that no other Warframes are gonna rework. Like you're saying, we're looking um, at Grendel. So I'm there's, still there's running like Mag- On that list that, you know, uh, we're, we're taking a look at. Um, new yeah, Mo, Stamajig, you know? You're like, okay. One, one abilities 
the um, used. There's another one. There's another one. Maybe Magda Lux. That means it got yeah. to go back in and just kind of like She's, give it an uh, like Magda Lux is still I mean, just nine plus years of absolute Warframe. banger. A lot has changed in the game. Can't go wrong with Magda Lux. Some abilities just don't get used. It like we took away. Can't wait to show off my switch exclusive. Everyone can jump now. Like, like that <laughs> nice. Way. Like, yeah. Game changes. So Warframes have to change with it. So I think it's a very interesting way. We're gonna talk a little bit about the new war. That old thing that happened. Lux, in yeah, her deluxe is just too. Her deluxe <laughs> still, still is just too. Old. It's not a new war anymore. <laughs> it's an old war. <laughs> the no. old new war. Uh, Matt. Yeah. So in the life of the new war as we know it, very as far as spoilers, an armor controlled world. Yeah. We're now armorized, if you will. Um, from an art perspective, what was the process like to turn you know our very familiar environments of Warframe into a more an armorized sentient aesthetic? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Phenomenized, oh, no, huh? oh, no, oh, no. no, it wasn't that. Is that a word I, I, that we're it was, using now? It's difficult in a way and easy in a way. I mean, easy in that, that we had a very kind of small palette of things that we wanted to utilize mm -hmm. to tell that story. Difficult in that we were taking yeah. old levels, mm -hmm. old old tile sets, um, and then trying to put this element on top of that. And you know, those tile sets were not composed, they weren't created with this usage in mind. Right. And so because the game's so old, because we like to reuse stuff when we can, when it makes sense to the narrative and stuff, you know, we have Zaka to Deluxe gonna be good. allowances or, or sacrifices or I remember what Zaka Deluxe looks ways like. to, you know, adapt those things to work with the new storyline. Mm -hmm. So um, that, that was a bit of a challenge. Um, but we handled it in a way that was similar to um, Anyone who played the game or has played the game from as soon as I got that announced, I bought it right yeah, right away when it dropped. <laughs> what Magdalux? Yeah. Versions of all of our. You know what? Same. We, we kind of used. Uh, we didn't do anything really new there. We just used some of the kind of old techniques and, and tricks that we had done for that, but mm -hmm. then tried to make it work for the storyline and mm -hmm. the war. Was it hard to take? Like, if we look at Orb Valis being what it is now, like yeah. that was an entire, like. Just re almost, it felt like almost like a You've redo of the entire the world. Essentially. Yeah. Why be trash if yeah, he no, messes up the chain ponytail? Luckily, um, with a place like the Orbalis, there's such a let's just see what happens. A lot of technical stuff you know, that goes on behind the scenes that allows us to do stuff the with the visuals the the um, that really uh, makes it a lot easier than it could be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's the same level. You're playing Orbalis, you know, in, in its its regular form, and there's a few little knobs and switches that are flicked, and then you're playing it in the new war form, you know? And same thing goes with uh, um, PoE. We did a post <laughs> I was about to say, like, why do you need to farm second Saku? And that that was a like little you, bit you you ate the first Saku to get Zardus with Baha. Yeah, we had we had. Well, uh, you know, you can always just wait for another three years for Zata Pri Zaku Prime to come out. Exists there. Um, if you play the early part of the game, you're going to see original POE, and if you get to the new war, and then post war, you'd be playing that version of POE. So it was a little more challenging that way. Because of the people in it, but. Again, it's happy. it's that like collaboration. Maybe uh, Shin just technical. didn't really like Zaku yeah, to begin with, so he wanted to at least try to use Zardus Whisper on other Warframes. Kind of uh, make that that thing. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. If you ever grow tired Pablo, of this tedious life, new war. A lot happened in new war. Six average six hour quest. There was a lot that the went on in there. Um, one of the life. common questions that Don't we get when we do get kind of those bigger quests are yes you know, there's a lot of really Arthur. fun things in them you know example the new war we have those cool puzzles we had archons and stuff like that what's the process like of taking something that wasn't really meant to be a mechanic and maybe changing it into a mechanic outside of a quest uh, I think there were like many, like I know as we were making the new world, there were a lot of conversations about like, okay, well, we're making all this new stuff. How can we then turn it into not something that you just play once and then you kind of move on? Obviously, being a live service game, we kind of need to come up with things that, that have replayability and that you kind of go back to over time. Um, and, you know, without spoiling anything, you'll see a little bit of that later today. Oh, uh, I was hoping you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see a little bit of the, the, the fruits of that labor uh, will come a little, a little bit later today. And there's still a few things that we might kind of circle back to at some point next year. 
uh, because there is a lot, there is a lot in the new mm -hmm. world that was uh, left there. But I've, uh, you know, a few surprises later today. A few surprises. Okay, okay. I like it. Leave them wanting more. I'm into it. Um, still on the New War train, Kaz. Uh, New War also introduced a hefty amount of weaponry, also narmerized, very sentient-esque, of course. Mm -hmm. What did you think of, um, what do you think of the mag rework? They designed the... Wait, there's another one? ...skin, and you kind of took it the rest of the way, kind of like... They're doing another mag familiar. rework? What's the Wait, what? development process like behind taking a concept like, you know, a beautiful one from Liger and making that come to life in Warframe? Yeah. Well, Lego did a really great job. There's there another mag rework? Wait, what are you talking about? Concepts mm -hmm. and don't leave a lot of room for interpretation. <laughs> You're but just like, <laughs> okay, I'll do that. <laughs> there is still room there, though. Mm -hmm. um, once you bring it into 3D, there's a lot of new problems that arise. When you turn the object, does it look good from every angle? Mm -hmm. You have to see it from every angle. Does it look good from player perspective, etc.? No, I wasn't really listening to there's the thing. I was trying to figure out how to do this. Um, I like to put in a little extra puzzle thing in Genshin. In there. Mm -hmm. Really fun to work from. Well, what are they talking about? Are they talking about? They talk about the previous mag rework, right? Bad, but very well yeah. Concept. If we're talking about like the yep. previous yep. mag rework that made Mag the way she is right, now, we'll go into little angels. We'll of get a mini Mag and scale of a rework. Release this year. Is that Manatize wasn't engaging enough, so they're going to change it? Oh this fuck! Experiment. We've made it. Nine years uh, later, we get to board this. Okay. Uh, pop look. Where do you I feel like Mag is absolutely perfectly fine the way she is. If anything, the only thing that needs to get a rework cetera, with regards to Mag is just pull. That's about it. Uh, the simple fact is that pull is the only ability at the moment that kind of doesn't really have much of a reason to exist. Related to the previous question. Uh, in terms of like, well not pull, but like half of pull doesn't really From there exist, the which is a bit of a shame. Of the angels was so um, because of that, like it that's just basically it. They just need buff pull for the, yeah exactly. That was really the only thing that like kind uh, so of is an you know, issue at the moment. That's, that's a cool thing. Magnetizes, no, there's no real issue with magnetize. But Let's just see what they're gonna do. Like, like if anything, if they want to do anything to magnetize, I think they should definitely um, just be like look at um, defensive magnetize because defensive magnetize serves seriously no purpose at the present moment. It is not useful in any way, shape, or form. So uh, yeah, we'll just see. very important. See what happens if there's going to be a magnetized uh, change. I won't want to see defense ma defensive magnetize. Speaking of this, I mean, we'll hundred percent. Like, hundred percent, I would like to see defensive War practice change. Three, something like that. Rhinos. In the codex. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right? yeah, like yeah. Rhinos Going War three in the codex, like back in the yeah. Yeah, a billion years ago. At, was it Rhinos? Did they mean the defensive one? Oh, I hope they, they mean the defensive one because that's definitely both. the magnetize that doesn't <laughs> do like. And anyways, obviously anything, and I've been asking for the longest time for defensive magnetize to get changed. How the Cybermen sort of fit into the world has existed for Also, like how they're completely ignoring crossplay. Well, yeah, of course, because crossplay has basically been that could have the most annoying more, question uh, that they yeah, dare not a answer yet. Being there with them, having a because they're gonna they're gonna say before I'm there. To you, uh, you know, and mm -hmm. if defensive magnetize actually works, it'll be the greatest thing ever. Yeah, I just want defensive <laughs> magnetize to work uh, the way that it was yeah, shown that part in the um, uh, thing. What drove a lot of the narrative there mm -hmm. in um, the uh, trailer? We knew that, that we, as we also in the knew that we wanted to start uh, planting some seeds for something that. You Happens people later, see on. later on today. <laughs> um, basically, that's where a lot of the a lot of the ties for like the new enemies mm -hmm. uh, and some of that extra extra spice came from. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've always had like the eye towards like, okay, well, okay. what does this mean? This well. You know, the the blocking of the void and what is on the other side, and you know, all of that has been kind of in the. <laughs> we're always working on one thing, and we always have the eye on like. I believe yeah. the next you reckon defensive magnetize should be one-handed? <laughs> 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 I don't know about that. That's kind of how inspired it. Um, I don't really care if defensive magnetize is going to be one-handed. I just model. wanted to actually be able to, Jupiter you know, work, I think it was. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be so that, like, when I um, use defensive magnetize, how long it's been since that, but and then it's been a while since we did um, game mode, sort of like. So. Uh, um, so fling the bullets at enemies. <laughs> I can actually three kill them. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Maybe not one shot them all the time, uh, so, but at least like yeah, that's, uh, do something. Honestly, like sometimes you know? It, you know, as players and I think as developers, it's very important for us to always. Kind that would be nice. Don't don't fall into a rut. Right now, when you uh, do the same, try to make them the same fling at enemies. It doesn't do like that's, anything that's particularly that meaningful. That wasn't just the same. I was more focused on. 
kind of finding those new gameplay spaces and mm -hmm. trying new stuff, mm -hmm. going back and reworking really old systems. That's something that I don't really like at all. The drive there while planting the seeds for stuff that will be seen stuff later today. Later that <laughs> we might trailer the mag only use uh, one hand. I have any answer to this question, but is there anything that we worked on for Angel of Zeremen that didn't end oh, up? Oh yeah, you're right. Feel right or just wasn't didn't have a place? Uh, I mean, there's, there's like, whenever we're ideating, we're, there's always like a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, at some point, it was going to be four game modes instead of three. Oh, of course. Why, why, why not? <laughs> uh, you know, but yeah. there was that. Uh, at some point, the uh, Incarnate Weapons was a, a bigger thing that might <laughs> be at some point. Mm. But, uh, you know, there's always like a lot of... Uh, would it be like Nova's if, second if orphan? Every idea you come up with ends up in the game, it's probably you're not coming up with enough ideas. So <laughs> <laughs> generally, no, I don't think so. That's a little bit different. Uh, My understanding like, is that that should be a bit later. different. Yeah, you know? I mean, uh, they're shelved and then they, yeah. they come out. You never know. <laughs> yeah, it's um, always good to have a backlog of good ideas. Exactly, <laughs> it never hurts. Mm -hmm. Speaking of incarnate weapons, Kaz, you mentioned before. Um, you know, there's a good amount of uh, lore as well behind these incarnate weapons. Um, can you kind of share the kind of lore that uh, we use to create incarnate weapons? Yeah, so a little bit of history there too. They, <laughs> they originally started out as just security weapons, like right. Tenno style ship security weapons, but I did a couple concepts and they just they didn't really feel very special. Mm -hmm. So then we decided to kind of pivot there and change them to more of like a ceremonial look and kind of went a step further with that to make them come from like maybe specific trees or something like that. They're really special. Taliban has the worst fucking energy pool and he needs 200% power strength for complete defense strip. Because <laughs> no you'll likely be using blind rage and that's kind of stupid. Yeah, like it's supposed to travel with yeah. the ship as sort of a remembrance of home when they go to the new system and all of that sort of thing. Throwing a mini magnetizer shoot in that explodes when coming into contact with terrain or enemies. Like You've basically described antimatter drop. Mm. Like the, um, the tonfas, the void tonfas, um, are actually like a, a big horse shape, if you look at it. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> and the, the dual pistols from the shotgun, they're like yeah, you've actually just described AMD. Like ready what? To jump. <laughs> I'm learning things today. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, it's, th these were really just a blast to work on. Yeah. They, they really, the style of them, because they're ceremonial, they, it kind of feeds into kind of a comfort zone for me with uh, flowing lines and really elegant shapes and stuff. So, oh, <laughs> it was just a great project. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, oh, we yeah. weren't I remember yeah. one of the, the references for like the backstory was uh, a gif from a Sylvester Stallone movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the one where he uses like cursing tickets to wipe his ass with. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> My <laughs> <You know God. laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, they had a museum of violence. Yeah. It was a museum of violence, and that was part of the reference. Story. I did not think that was about to come out of your mouth. No, I'm so sorry. It was... You're too funny. <laughs> oh, design inspiration can come from anywhere, folks. I want to know now. Simple as wiping your rear. Anyways, moving on. Um, <laughs> Pablo. Uh, unrelated to that. Any more Sylvester Stallone? No, I don't mean any more Sylvester Stallone. Hey, remember when D announced that they were going to have like uh, old school skins for some weapons, kind of like a with the pistol. Game, really great, so check that out. Um, like a pistol uh, old school skin I mean, that makes it look like it's a pistol process, from World War Two and shit like that. Remember that? that Whatever happened to that? Yeah, the warframes generally start uh, generally from like two different places, either. Well, or maybe three. Sebastian uh, <laughs> 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 Stallone. Sebastian Stallone. It was Van Damme this time, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and Arnie. No, um, so generally they start either, someone has an idea for a theme uh, that they want, you know. Someone will come up with something, something that no one has ever said, maybe werewolf frame, for example. Who would do that? No one has ever mentioned that one. No, never. So someone will come up with that, and then we'll kind of look for ideas for the theme. Uh, others come from like a mechanic. So for example, Nidus came up uh, like at first, it was the idea was uh, something that pulls enemies together and you hit them. And that's the really huh? initial mechanic, and that's where Nidus kind of got started. Sweet how the D's ignoring Caliban, but Zarkly got a rewrite, got a rework. You're really a 
three rounds of boss, Caliban got magic. quality of life. <laughs> a backlog. They probably think that Caliban is fine. Uh, which comes up with a crazy agree with, but uh, uh, they probably just think that Caliban is fine. Moist critical claim Warframe Pog Champ. Oh, nice. And we have a folder literally with like he probably He's probably getting sponsored. Uh, frame ideas that he's just like drawn over the years and he just like does an illustration, puts a little like text of what he imagines would be, and just drops in there. And you know, that basically every now and then, whenever we need a new frame, I'll open that folder and I'll just start looking around and be like, oh, this one's cool. And then I just kind of start thinking, like, okay, how could they work? How, what could they do? Uh, and if I find that uh, one of them excites me, and I think you came back genuinely. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, the one I, I that's good. Mm -hmm. um, so that's actually how it uh, came to be. I love the idea of uh, of the skirt expanding with the electricity. I thought it was really cool. Um, sometimes it's hard uh, when when you've been doing this for a while. Sometimes it's hard to not stop yourself when you can see ahead that there's going to be problems and I, immediately i saw the skirt and i was like this is never going to expand <laughs> that's going to be a problem clip all over the place you're going to slide and it's going to go into the ground it's going to be a nightmare i was like no no i'm still going to do it yeah <laughs> we're going to make it happen yeah. uh, you know so sometimes you just kind of have to say screw it yeah and go with it even if it's not uh, someone else's problem yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and fortunately you know that I, I'm talking about the magic of a team. Uh, I didn't solve that problem. Uh, the play, like the paid stream is to play Railjack. Yeah. Uh, although now, the, uh, now I'm looking at nah. Well, I, sorry, I, nah. It was like, again a group thing. Yeah, First, generally speaking, like big streamers, really when they randomly modeling, play Warframe for a bit, especially during Terracon, yeah, they're probably getting they're just they're just probably getting, just, part, they're just probably getting sponsored. Part right. of the side, so they could actually open. Yeah, fair enough. Um, once that was the big streamers the are problem. usually but then he came up busy with, with other game games and other the ability um, it large upwards, things that they need so to get sorted like, out it comes you know? almost wings mm. and that solved it mm -hmm. uh, and you know that was one of those things that I, I'm very thankful that he figured out because <laughs> I was going to make her basically oh, be able to wait, 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 <laughs> memory <laughs> puzzle y'all like parkour not with Jai no 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 uh, so I'm um, glad like that he saw that so yeah it's kind of that that process of like uh why are you using Spectra Caliban though? Why do you have energy issues? A theme, a mechanic, or a, Me? Or, you know, a visual? Oh, I don't and know. And then from there, kind of start spinning, you know, gyre, um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of spinning around with the, with the ideas uh, and finding, to me, the most important thing with a frame at the end is that it plays what different the to the others. The right. That's like has a sense of uniqueness. And yeah. It's not just, you know, so you know how what you the fuck? do an electricity frame when you already have bolt. Okay. Oh, there's many different things that you have to do to kind of separate it mm -hmm. mechanically, visually. Did Genshin just suddenly uh, become a side scroller? You know, all those things kind of need to split. What the fuck? So that it works standards on its own. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of the the, the trials and tribulations of <laughs> okay. coming up with. <laughs> <laughs> we got lots more in store, my friends. <laughs> Tune in to Channel Live. Uh, <laughs> sticking with Angel's Zerum a little bit, we talked about Incarnate Weapons, Kaz. Um, and we kind of, we're actually talking about this organically behind the scenes about something you might see later on. No spoilers. Um, but we often get the question when we see, especially. Explosion is weak, weapons. range of special siphon on a dev stream, the question of, how do I even hold that? Like, that this weapon is just so wild looking, like, where do I put my hands? And is that actually something that you have to think about when you're creating weapons? Like, it's so crazy looking, but I'll probably be able to hold this. Yeah, actually, that's kind of where we start, because we have so many shared animations for all the different types of weapons. So, for example, the Tompas, they have to fit in the hand. All right, see you, um, And they kind of glide along the side of the arm, so you can't make any shapes that would clip all right see you at channel live uh they spin around in certain channel live is going to happen about two hours that goes over the top so if yes. it spins this way it clips but i mean no it, was, no it was too cool I, I could not do it <laughs> <laughs> but we do try to respect like the hand positions for all the weapons as much as we can just so that uh readers don't hate us and yeah animators don't hate us <laughs> like don't worry yeah. you can hold it normally even yeah. though it's pointy in every direction yeah it all doesn't work it's it's definitely the first step in our process to make sure the character can actually hold it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, we're going to get into some spicy to very questions. <laughs> we're going to see, obviously, Tunnel Live is going to debut finally a live gameplay demo of. That's not that long, holy shit. Yeah, time yeah. flies. Game experience with the Deviri Amphitheater that will open at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. 
um, but we're going to peel back the curtain just a little bit, but give this people a little bit, a little taste as to what they might experience later. Experience. Obviously, they've seen trailers and such, but I wish that I Matt, met my yeah. like I said, they're going to experience the Deviri Amphitheater very soon. Can you peel back the curtain a little bit and describe the design process understand. of a world like Deviri? Life Deviri's. is a long journey. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I mean, people that have been watching us do TennoCon for the last couple of years have obviously seen Daviri teases. Yep. Um, so it's not a new idea. Mm -hmm. um, but what we have had to do in the last bunch of months and, and over the last year is actually figure out how we're going Just to make it. You know? So the amphitheater um, was kind of step one for us in terms of prototyping how we were going to make the world. We had an idea of what we wanted to do, you know, but you know, an idea on, on paper is different than, <laughs> yeah, than actually making it. Uh, and so we had to do a lot of experimentation, a lot of R&D. There was a bunch of stuff that had already been done um, from those teasers and those trailers that kind of established more conscious. Uh, a bit of a baseline for us. Mm -hmm. um, so we weren't starting from scratch, but the- When are you getting onto Warframe? Was the first uh, action kind of island. Once I find um, a few more conches and I unlock the uh, official uh, skin. a lot of stuff that we did wrong. Then I'll probably stop. In the process, you always- stop. You know, uh, stop Genji for a bit. Oh, of course. Um, Jump on Warframe. And try to make sense. Of I think that's what I want to do. What you're doing while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Figuring out what works, what doesn't. Where am I going? Where am I going? Um, no, this way. And I think one of the things that has been really great is that the the concept art team that we have supporting us mm -hmm. did so many great concepts. You can't get the official skin yet. What you're going to see in the art panel? Why? There's just simply no <laughs> conches left. I found um, and 13 so, yeah, so far. It, it was. It gave us a really great place to start from. Um, so I found 13 so far. Kind of is that the maximum that's really that's awesome around right now? Working on, on creating the bits and pieces mm -hmm. of that, um, and we learned a lot of really great lessons that we were able to apply to the rest. 14 of the total from the island. Later on, um, one from a domain. And beyond today, there's lessons that we've learned from doing that. So. You know, it's, it's really kind of cool. It's one. Of, it's an ongoing process. You're always learning new stuff. But the, the amphitheater was that that testing ground, um, and I think it turned out really great. Like so I'm, I'm cool. pretty happy and pretty excited to see what people are going to think of it. So I'm. Um, so I'm missing done anything like this in Warframe. You know. Um, I think that theory. it's really great to for us to if, if we can be excited, then fans are going to be excited. Uh, so that's super important, so I, I, I hope that people are going to be as excited as we are to, to actually show it to them. Yeah, I mean, even going back to... What the hell, where did this one come from? That feeling of, like, oh, things are changing, like, I get that feeling from the theory, because it is yeah. so... What's wrong with the audio? Yeah. We're going so... I, mean, I can barely understand time travel, but I'm like, yeah, paradox, let's do it, let's make it real, it's crazy, like, it's... Visually, it's crazy, uh, and I think... What, is the game too loud? I asked you to tell me like three hours ago, bro. But wanting to do and the goals that we have for it's choppy. The very world. Um, there's some challenging stuff there for us to consider Sounds and try to okay. uh, I don't know. you know come together and try to figure out how we're going to do it. But uh, I know we're going to pull it off, and I think it's going to be pretty awesome. I think, I think it'll be a nice, you know, uh, a nice refresher for people who are used to what Warframe has been for the last couple of years. Yeah, and it's always fun with Warframe, like, we've been working on this game, the same game, for a very long time, and when we The do, so audio actually sounds normal on my end. Refresh. Hold on, let me just refresh the... Let me refresh the stream. I'm not... I don't, I don't hear anything weird. Let me refresh the stream. Mm -hmm. Speaking of new things, I'm not spoiling too, too much, but, but we know horses exist in Duviri. They are a thing. How does it sound now? Um, but obviously, you know, one has to ride a horse. There's there are many ways that one can ride a horse. Okay. But perhaps the staff will be a new helpful. Yep. Okay. What's it like to, trying to... Give me a sec. Let me, um, let me put on some... If, let me see what it sounds like on, um, on my phone. Okay, that's very weird. Um, 
Huh. My intuition tells me that something very interesting is about to happen. I have a lot of questions about fish. I don't know what it is. <laughs> People love like fish. I love fish. The like the ersatz look of that stuff, like that's what we call it in a house. Ersatz, is, yeah. Like that Doing stuff is work is so interesting and unique, no, and it relies I mean, on literally. so many different design elements. But events. you know, like looking at them, we're, it's a horse shape, it's a sheep shape, it's a owl shape. It's you know, but it's not like anything you're going to see in the world. You right. know, like and I think the really cool thing about that, you know, based off of. Like riffing off of what Keith had designed and the ideas that we had for the story of the Daviri, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, there's a, it, it's not a, a realized, a fully realized world, right. you know, and so there's elements of that that play into the environment design, the character design, the animals design, mm -hmm. you know, um, weapons too. Weapons too, yeah, of course. Like it, it, if we're doing it right, we're touching, we're taking that idea and we're applying that theme and we're applying it to all the parts of. Uh, of the animal, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're, we're we're applying it there, and and so we took that horse and we used the the horse as the jumping off point, um, and we designed some fish. We're not entirely sure if we're going to use them. Mm -hmm. You know, we're still trying to determine what the design goals are for mm -hmm. the big picture of this. But because we know that's a part of the other open worlds. We just kind of started rolling with it. So mm -hmm. if it's something we decide we want to do, we've got the stuff ready to go. So mm -hmm. uh, we're using this. We're using the same kind of characteristics and stuff. The horse have negative shapes. Mm -hmm. You know, fractals. Like There's Swiss some. Cheese. The, 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 it's like Swiss <laughs> cheese. You know, they, you can see the inner workings. Yeah. It's not flesh, you know. Okay. There's, there's some really. I muted cool myself on OBS. Thanks for letting me know. How's it going, Zundup Chef? How's it going? So, mm -hmm. I, I think like the ones that we have done so far, I think they're pretty cool. I, they're like I'm pretty wild. excited about them. So. <laughs> yeah. I Boiling like, a ribeye now. Demo what? Fish already Boiling? Me, Why? Why? Why would you boil a ribeye? Like, these things are <laughs> wild. Fried. And then we go to beer, and I'm like, what am I looking at? <laughs> doing fine. <laughs> hey, today, that's good. He will eventually. Fish exist. Um, Going back to it's you. It's true, I've seen that. It's true. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> they exist. Um, Duviri, Pablo. How would you say that Duviri, without, you know, without getting too crazy, how do you think it differs from? There's no conch here, is there? Open worlds. Oh no, it's probably down in there. It's an interesting one. We started, like, actually, actually Is there anything out. down here? What is this? <laughs> oh, is, is that it? Is this Duviri, like that meme <laughs> on the internet? Is this chamber just a great big debate? Um, it is an open world in the sense that it is Wait, open. Wait, I'm also stuck. Uh, but what? it has, both, what? you know, the things that you're used to seeing in this? open worlds, you know, bounties, fishing, mining, all that stuff. Hang on. There's Might none not of that be. there. Oh no, it is a big, so, it is a great big debate. Expect it to be entirely oh, no. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, different thing. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to like go it. further than that, but yeah, essentially, yeah. It is a different thing. It's not, uh, you know, like I think it's it would be it would be misleading to even open, call it an open world because it's more of a guided experience that mm. we're going for. What is this? I don't want to get too much into That's details. That's okay. Yeah. Wait, it is a great big debate. It's like of all the systems oh, that you're fuck. used to from. What did uh, they forget to add something here? General structure mm. of open worlds. None of them are present. <laughs> I'm sorry to get that fan in Warframe. <laughs> nice. None of them are there. Yeah, essentially there's nothing. Right. None of those are there. It's an entire I'm a, different. I'm a bit tired take. of Genshin now. So you know, like you know, Breath of the Wild is an open world, and mm. uh, what is the 2077? It's also not gonna, not gonna lie. When Warframe story. streams, kind of like that. They are actually we're saying, beard, cringe as fuck. Wild. What do you mean? You got some wild <laughs> ideas. It's a paradox. It's a paradox. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It, it yeah, just like, be talking. You know, one of those, the things is obviously you know, nine plus years into a game, when you find yourself and you say, okay, what is this gonna be? And it's like, no, I'm not, okay, well, I'm not, I'm not uninstalling. Like nothing else we've done. Mm -hmm. You know, but, that's you know, that's, that's, a time to, uh, that's fun, and that's uh, take a break you know, and actually uh, because obviously yeah, you know, swap over to Warframe. The safe shore would have been to just make another open world, sure. right? But um, you know, but let's do we something. Did that. Who different. wants to do safe? <laughs> yeah, who wants to do safe? Not us. Um, so we're actually. 
two minutes away from being told to get off the stage because we've talked a lot. I didn't even get through all yeah, my questions, which I love, but I'm also kind of sad because they're really good. Um, I, I do have a couple of chat credits. questions. Wait, is Nightwave Corey over? That back at home grabbed for us. Um, I mean, I burnt, go I burnt a bunch of quick, and they're all going to be Nora credits on um, Hoover and shit. Uh, any new Warframes coming up? Stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> are you going to talk about the next Prime Warframe? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, <laughs> Where's Call 175? Where is the new war hack puzzles? Stay tuned. Yeah, I don't know. There might be some exciting information soon. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of those questions you will be very pleased learning about later on. Um, but before we go, I do want to just kind of pick your brain in terms of you have, I mean, we kind of already touched on, you have free reign with a lot of things. Where is Vesso? Everyone's ideas. Give it to uh, me. We'll, we'll Vesso's see dead. He, he, design he, uh, he blew up his own ship. Frame. Corn Warframe. Or rather, he, oh, he used this ship to attack it, the, so to make it the Sentinels. <laughs> the Sentients. Uh, if I had free so reign, naturally, the Sentients just infinite one budget. shot his ship. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would love right? to make Surely. tools to allow players to make missions. That would be. Oh, like a Super Mario dream. build your own level. Whenever I see like the creations that people do with the dojo, yeah, I'm oh. so blown away whenever I see We that. have so many dragons. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so I saw one link this morning for a. Dagobah or something. Yeah. I saw it in the community channel link today and it was awesome. Yeah. Whenever I see those, I, I always feel like, damn, I wish we could, I wish that could be turned into like a player main mission that yeah. people could play. Because yeah. I think they would come up with really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Unfortunately, it's very hard. So. <laughs> We've been talking about that for so many years. <laughs> Matt, free but, rain, what do you got? Oh my gosh. You should have prepped me for that question. I'm, I'm going to steal Pablo's. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting though. That's that's a really, like, that's one of those things that we've talked about for years that would be so amazing to do. And then it just is so daunting a task to think about actually making it work, you know? Like yeah. it's just it'd be it'd be really cool actually I think that I think I get a thrill when I see those player built mm -hmm. dojo uh, compositions as well I'm just like how the heck did somebody think to do this and combine it in that way like right. it's just yeah it's really amazing yes free reign quick fire <laughs> I want to make a glam rock frame oh yes. oh yeah <laughs> does it have corn involved no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so it's double resource time, uh, and yes, here are the uh, okay, the <laughs> Here are the war fans, uh, right. and, and here's the time for our live dev Q and A. I know Dean, you were frantically waving at me. I'm so sorry. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Kaz, Matt, Pablo, for coming to this crazy stage and answering my cues with your A's. I appreciate all of you for being here. I'm so excited to show the work that you all Oh yeah, put gotta get that hood. Theory. I'm very excited for them to finally see what the heck we're talking about, because we're being very vague. I know it's painful, uh, but all will be revealed at 10 Alive. Next up, we do have, I believe it's the... Art of Warframe panel. Daniel Sokolowski is joined by. Ooh, really awesome the Art of Warframe so panel. Never seen stuff, so enjoy. There's Thank usually you, some pretty and spicy we'll things in there. Hey everybody, Megan here to let you know that by watching this year's show on Twitch, you're gonna earn yourself some incredible free items if you have your Warframe and Twitch account linked. Watching Tenocon until 5 p.m. Eastern time for 30 consecutive minutes will reward <sighs> you with both the Veracruz Warfan and the Renala Sugatra. But that's not all right. At all. So tune into Tenno Live between ooh. 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern time for another 30 consecutive minutes, and you're going to earn yourself a free titanium. So it prime seems like my bright, bright white free prime primary Warframe. color is a bit too if bright. If you already have your Twitch account and your Warframe account linked and received drops before on Warframe streams, then you're all set. But if you've never linked your Warframe and Twitch account together, simply go on over to warframe.com. That's not bad. Log into your Warframe account. That's actually not bad. Full instructions to get set up, and that's it. Enjoy the show, Taylor. But um, oh, I think I would actually swap my colors girl. around then. Girl, you look great. <laughs> I'm a sand pancake, but I'd rather be a waffle. <laughs> you want to see my tricks? Uh. There we go. Something like that. I got a big room. Wait, is this thing? <laughs> Wait, is the is this a Zaraman hood actually like a textured one? No shot. As Tenocon merch. What's Tenocon? Oh boy. <laughs> no, it's not. Never mind. It's not.
that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, you could have used that money for Klecon soup. So, uh, not entirely sure if you made a. It looks totally cursed if you hide the face. Well, yeah, it is the friggin, it is the the, uh, the friggin Daviri thing. Enemies I think it's supposed to be cursed. Because, you know, more content for the players, more fun stuff to animate. The designs in Demos were so interesting. <gasps> yeah, that's cursed, all right. Really, really inspiring for us as animators. It's important for enemies. Okay, I'm gonna to walk around with a hood for a while. For a lot of distance in this landscape, which was different from others, is like the jugulus. It could literally pop. C zero clear, not a real clear, mate. Oof. The the jump scare. Are we uh? Are always fun to do. Are we seriously uh? Set the player up. Clee. Think some of the enemies. Clee count shaming at this point. This God case, damn. It allowed enemies. My community is absolutely ruthless. With the infested, you you kind of get like they're a lot more um instinctual. You know, the Therid, for instance, or the, the Leaping Thrasher. That long, sloppy arm. It reminded me of, like, if you've ever seen what an octopus walking about? on land. It's hard because there aren't a lot of real-life examples of things that, that even look like that. So you kind of have to take where their weight is and how they would lumber through the landscape. Um, but when you get a faction like the Infested, um, they're, they're so different. To, to create the, the day-night cycle, fastes up in the air, and, and then Vom pops up. That's the signal that the day-night change happens, and because of their sheer scale, you have to slow the animation down, like, so, so much. The team just, honestly, I think they really I heard faithfully and sloppy. <laughs> created a world that did the infested justice. There is one Zundam enemy chef that sent me a floating sent me a gift. That you didn't have to send me a really gift ground. at all, but if thank you. you. Look closely, the little mouth might look familiar ah. if you look in the back thank you. Of the orbiter uh, thank you thank you thank you that's helmet's mouth we took the whole orb and i'm going to do my steel pass daily degrees and yeah no. <laughs> give me primos for yeah. c6 clay yeah no no yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey no danny here we're getting so much closer to unveiling some incredible the rule book still stands and you have and you have to spend your own primos to get c6 lisa oh sorry c6 clay what the fuck am i saying hello you have to spend your own primos to get c6 clay i spent my own primos to get c6 lisa thank you you must do the same to get c6 clay for the next 48 hours you can no a special i guess you just don't like clay then the stranger's hood this exclusive cosmetic i guess you just don't like clay now on all platforms in the in-game market yeah dude gave me a some meat in. and a hot air balloon. Thank you. Bye, Tenno. What the hell is this? Hello, everyone. Welcome to another pre recorded panel. We are going to is the audio stage for the Duviri through the art of Warframe. My name is Danielle Sokolowski. I am your panel host, and I am just then the um. I think that's the first time I've heard. It just sounded it. like on my end, okay. like I was Sokolowski. lagging a little bit. Soko. Now you know. No, wow. Now everyone knows. Right. I think Good I'm enough. fine. Usually everyone just calls me Danny, which you everyone can. I mean, I'm no. sure. Um, I'll put the pressure on you for my last <laughs> name when the audio is stopped. <laughs> but yes, I am joined here me. today. By by uh, three wonderful panelists from the Digital Extremes art team. Might as well start over here with Eric. Hi. Hello, Eric. What How do you, you do at DE? I'm Eric Vedder. Eric Vedder. And I'm the lead. Not scuffed audio. Okay, look cool. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you guys, but yeah, lead concept artist. Lead concept artist. And Jeff? I'm Jeff. I'm art director, animator guy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And <laughs> Carrie is here as well. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm Carrie. I'm with the uh, uh, the environment side and the art and all those. That sort of stuff. He does more than that. A little bit. He but, does you know, kind of does everything. Yes. Yep. Mm. So today, oh, actually, before we get into all of this, I want to thank Sarah from the community team, who is actually here today. She's going to be assisting us with, with presenting. Thank but you, Sarah. Big thank you to Sarah Thanks, for Sarah. helping put everything together. And a big thank you to the art team, of course, who they're not all here, but we love our art team mm -hmm. and they do some incredible yeah. work. Mm -hmm. I also uh, have to give a massive spoiler warning. We will be going through the new War Quest and spilling all of the beans on that. So if you haven't played the new War Quest yet, you have been warned, or even Angels of the Zeremy. 
Working Quest, just a heads up. But uh, speaking of the new War Quest, did you guys know that over one million players have started playing the wow. new War Quest? Oh, wow. And we're actually Bitch. nearing, we're very, very close to one million players having actually completed the quest. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's wow. I just that's learned real. this the other day, actually from Pascal on our team. I got goosebumps from that, that's cool. Mm. Yeah. Actually, that's my first question. How does that make you guys Jeez. feel, knowing that the quest you created has been played by so many people? Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that was a rare occurrence Amazing. of a puncture prop from my Paris sword. Prime. Yeah, I should only be seeing uh, viral props, it's not it's puncture awesome. props. Yeah. So it's just really cool. cool that everyone's getting to see all, <clears> all that yeah. hard work. And it's it's so kind dope. of uh, hard to And then on top of that, like, blast. remember my Ribbon? It feels mm -hmm. like so long ago. <laughs> yeah, did it reduce does. my status one, chance so. by a fair bit. Yeah, thank you to everyone who's who's played so it. I'm surprised uh, I saw I think also surprised there were any props, let alone a freaking punk prop. Doing that quest in kind of the COVID... Um, I really miss that Vazor in here, Max Max so tanky. It was really daunting, and the team just... Yeah, I know you're a Ma Yeah, I know, because you're a... We're gonna go That's through right, some man. of the art for the new war. So naturally, that works really well for you. But for me, um, nah, I just don't see but, it. But uh, so on our path to Viri, we released the new war, of course, which, as you all agree, was probably the biggest, is the biggest cinematic quest yep. mm -hmm. to date, and yep. a huge effort from the whole team. Yep. And um, I thought we'd kick it off with a look at some of the animation work cool. that went to, went into that. So let's have a look at that. <laughs> oh, poor Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's seen better days. <laughs> I need a Protea build. <laughs> That's great. Uh, as much power strength as oh, you can no, muster. <laughs> I just stand around and hold Equilibrium. <laughs> Run synth fiber <laughs> and potentially even synth deconstruct on your um on your companion. This is oh, so probably cool. one of my favorites. Uh, oh, and cool. then so and cool. prime flow. This especially. Yeah. There, so there's your build. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> I, think that's me la I think that's me laughing at them. Is, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I think they each, each of those guys had to do that fall probably a dozen times. Oh. So, you've been stuck here this whole time? Not here exactly, but yeah, stuck. You got bigger problems, right now at least. This one was cool. I think we actually ended up using to freedom. the very first take. They just acted out really? the entire yeah. thing on the first go. Yeah. We ended up cool. using it. Yeah. Tim even ad-libbed uh, yeah. hands on the head. Yeah, like, it's great. Which is such a... Rotea scales with dura yeah. Yeah. duration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then put as much duration as you can on her. That's full of spoilers. The only thing you don't really need to care about is efficiency 95% of the time. some stuff today. Yeah. Let me shove it. Um, dispensary. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll have to put a big banner that says spoilers throughout the whole stream. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah, especially. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see more of him a little bit mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. Those mats come in handy. There was a lot of this. Lot of <laughs> the amount of Any balance, strength, vibration, keep in mind with our strength passive. So that was just two Crazy. minutes. Oh, yeah. Just oh, don't forget range. You'll probably want a bit of range in there, too. I'm curious, in total... I mean, you don't necessarily need it, but fuck it, why not? You guys, you think you, know? you think you got for the new war? I, uh, I Ultimately, the only I thing that really doesn't matter that, that, that much is um, efficiency because of dispensary. That's basically it. Yeah, because we record so much, and we kind of cut up and splice uh, different parts of it. Except, like I said, that, that dinner for two. Was like, <sighs> did it. Did, did we just Although the only time you really need to care about efficiency right. is maybe the first cast uh, of dispensary. Um, once you get that first class of dispensary out on, I don't basically know, I good like, to just, go for the entire mission that the team did. It's easy straight like, as um, Protea. Mm -hmm. I'm still kind of like in awe of it, to be Baffled. honest. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know the actual. I'm, I'd be curious to find out actually. Yeah, maybe we, figure that maybe out. we can find out and Dean can put it yeah. as a ticker <laughs> that goes about the Splice actual like in. minutes of yeah. mocap we have because I would be kind of yeah. fascinated to find that out. I do want to point out that I did originally credit Jeff in the video. When I first edited it and I showed you as a mocap actor, I think you, you called said, me a performer. The pair dispensary is yeah. nice but kind of meh. Yeah. You made a kind great load. So I, think it's I felt like I could still credit you. I just, I'm just a big prop. That <laughs> <laughs> I need to hold on and to something. It's completely right? unnecessary for a dispensary and ability that is already like a, broken like as all hell. I bought two stalker beacons. I don't know if, it works. I don't know if you want to um, try and 
join in too, trying to get the despair. Oh, honey, I've already got the despair like 15 times. Oh, there's Jason and Tim. <gasps> but I can try and help you get despair if you need help with that. But they're also performers. They're actors. Mm -hmm. So how does yep. that ultimately affect the you final project? need help getting despair? Like the new war. Um, it, it helps a ton. And <clears throat> moving forward, we've actually even had... Uh, more of the animators step up and do more of the acting themselves, cool. which is really yeah. cool. Um, I hate yeah, you, I've been trying for like the past six months. Think, uh, um, you do the mocap. Getting hate or but, trying to uh, get the pregnant. The amount of animation <laughs> Sorry. work that goes into um, it to make the performance happen. Well, I can, I can try and help you. Uh, no guarantees, though. Um, you they know, usually end up keyframing entirely by hand. Uh, same with the the face animation, right? Um, but there's so much editing and and um, like kind of artistry that goes into it. It's just it's a really good template for a foundation to build on. Um, but yeah, the the amount of key framework and artistry that goes into it to to kind of get the performance out of it as well is yeah, mm -hmm. is it's huge. impressive. Going yeah. back to kind of speaking on characters, we of course in the mid section of the quest are greeted with the drifter, so. So uh, we don't know who this character is initially, and then all of a sudden we're playing as them. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have some early Why am I still through. getting oh. hate? She's here. <laughs> um, yeah. So what were the early thoughts on the Drifter's overall ah. appearance? Uh, Keemstar. Well, like, Keemstar. Well, I didn't realize you joined the chat today. How's it going? And, uh, we're, and the Kimiki Brothers, too, which you'll see some of their stuff, too, coming up. Uh, just kind of like a haphazard collection Drifter of concept. parts. Because uh, we didn't want it to... You want it to feel like you're playing a Grenier, but not <laughs> like right. kind of pieces of it. So, so yeah, I just try to grab like like the knee pad for the helmet and stuff, and I was like, oh, well, actually, that know. was the original idea that yeah. we we pivot because um, Steve ended up liking the the kind of the the, the main drifter look yeah. more than so the the original idea was um, to start this quest out as uh, the the Grenier cosmetic set. Oh, right. which we actually yep. do yeah. have a Yeah, and then we were going to do it the opposite. Brother. Oh, yeah, I see. we were going to do the opposite. We were right. going to offer the other one later as an option. I see, okay. Yeah. Um, but we reversed it when, like, Steve liked the impression we made. But we thought when you start the mission, you'd be playing, like, as, as Eric said, yeah. um, right. a Grenier. I do want to point out that the, the melee weapon strapped in the concept here was swapped out with the sheave, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. ferocious melee weapon, as we mm -hmm. all know. Um, any uh. creative <laughs> decision making there? Time. The creative decision was time. Time, time. <laughs> it's always that is time. That's a good one. Hey, look, this exists. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> and then, Ship yeah. it. Yep. And then this next one here is ultimately what we yep. are yep. familiar with. Correct. So, yep. um, the poncho. The poncho. The poncho. Yep. Yes. Yep. Love Very the poncho. Cool. Um, also, the, uh, I see some. Uh, Fish Do we know if Protea the, Deluxe uh, is coming anytime soon, though? That wasn't me. That, that, that wasn't you? Was, uh, <laughs> that wasn't I you? might have inspired them. Or is that, like, you know, they saw not me for a long time? Yeah, he's pretty cool. Let's put that in the game. I'm assuming it's not for a long time, eh? But it brings me to so. another question. We talked about this on the dev stream. The beards, the facial hair. Mm -hmm. are, we doing, mm -hmm. are we still doing? Mm -hmm. Is still planned? Uh, yeah, there is actually an update going in when are we film are we do we say when we're filming this yeah i mean it's soon it's, yeah. it's pre-recorded yeah, yeah. we are filming this so. what is the date june, june 22nd, 22nd. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. just a few days ago i saw so oh. check in continuing on with key characters our friend mm -hmm. era mm -hmm. well turned friend i guess you could say because when we're on Fergasa in the new war quest uh Era seemingly saves us as we're going on to the last archon fight he seemingly perishes <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what we think happens under some debris and rubble. Yep. Um, but he will be returning in some form, but, but uh, maybe not the form uh, that so we close. are. Seems like he really lost his head. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary. You're, oh, Gary. You're waiting on Zing. that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like 15 second build up. <laughs> Now's my chance. Now's your chance. So we have this uh, new Archon Very cool. uh, concept here, which is just, I. I mean, what can you? Okay, I think in hindsight, next time I'm not gonna do a. Real. I'm not gonna pull yeah. an all nighter. Um, we also have next the, year ten of I'm not gonna pull an all nighter. I think I might just stick uh, to like waking up early for it. Yeah. Because it is, uh, uh, it is pretty teeth. brutal and really taxing. Uh, terrifying. <laughs> not gonna lie. Is there anything we can Love say it. about this without really saying anything? Uh, I think it's pretty clear. But uh. No, but um. This long. I do. I do remember, and I. 
appreciate it also. Fuck Some it. people are huh? a little disappointed with Era's resolution mm. to New War, and a lot of that decision was Got him. around scope and right. time, um, mm. unfortunately, because we did, you know, it was, it was a hard cut we had to make. So, um, but yeah, we're trying to fulfill that. Right. No, fully so we're bringing him back in a big way. Yep. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll get to, you get to see more oh. of this new Archon. They don't know what a drifter is, huh? But yeah, getting back to the quest, after we defeat the final Archon, we get to... Yeah, I'm thinking of doing that too, yeah. Um, this is at the, of course, the climax of the quest. Um, Once it's I do this daily, I might just... Yeah. Honestly, yeah, did a great take job. a pause yeah. for a bit. Just an insane state. Spoilers are so um, big. And when it comes to Again, such, like, like big you know, there's no... There's no um, what are some of the goals in the... There's no real surprise there. Work? these very powerful, emotional scenes. Well, I think uh, there's a bit of like a hierarchy to the whole experience. It'd be like if you were watching like a BlizzCon and they're talking about the next World of Warcraft expansion as a character and they start talking point. about the fact uh, that like you want like some Illidan shown like in the previous managed to capture around, but then he's made it his own. Showing our names here, uh, killed Jaden, and now they're fighting each other stamp on and he also like and fucked and up that light to be blowing thing up. that so was one of the paladins to get really pissed off and all that shit. So how your silhouettes will go as it gets pulled into a... If I take a nap, I'm going to completely fall asleep and now I'm then I'll miss the whole thing, yeah. so I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Again, huge spoiler warnings for this. Spoiler away, yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> it was funny, Sarah and I were, as we were putting the panel together, we had a discussion about how it just feels like as the stage is crumbling around you, so are the relationships mm. that are playing out in front of you with like Ballas and Lotus, mm. yourself as either the operator or the drifter with Lotus mm -hmm. and Ballas, mm -hmm. and it's just utter chaos. <laughs> it's, a it's, yeah. it that, is a that, lot. It is a lot, yeah. It was very That's heavy cool. yep. and just very cool. And I, this piece here is just, it's stunning. Of yeah, course, Craig so just, good. yeah, doing yeah. incredible. This really helped with the production because it was yeah. it was a hard thing to figure out. Like everything, that all the motifs that you kind of listed off was intentional and just right. kind of figuring out how to best kind of mm -hmm. stage that and have the progressive right. kind of collapse. Let's take a break from just while you were doing stuff and let's just chill and watch the stream. Hard to implement. It came in pretty late. <laughs> 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 but considering Lots of that, people doing really hard things. Yes, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. one was late, yeah. actually. But yes. yeah. Considering Aww. that, it was such a stellar moment. And uh, on, right that moment was not over. <laughs> you know, we defeat Ballas, and we have this almost moment of relief with her, where we're like, oh, like it's over. Mm -hmm. And then the air gets sucked out of the room, and the man in the wall appears. Yeah, and wow. we're just kind of like, uh, There's a little bit of a company history of one more thing. So, oh. you know. <laughs> yeah. that would be the one more thing in that yeah, case. Yeah, this would be yeah. the one yeah. more thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'd also be lying if I said I didn't specifically look in the animation folders for Tim being hoisted up on a oh plank by you in the way that the man in the wall is holding enters. him up. Like, <laughs> yeah, you should have done like, it. Like baby Simba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that moment yeah. is just so, like, it's completely yeah. unreal. Yeah. And, um, I think Daryl keyframed all that. I was going to say, yeah. that, that would have yeah. been. It was yeah. like the, you know, he's a pretty limited character, like, uh, for what he can do <laughs> mobility-wise. <laughs> he's a man um, in a wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, the new war was kind of closure of a mm. lot of things, and we wanted to make sure that we kind of... Um, uh, yeah, gave, gave players a taste yeah. of what the future paths could be. And I think, yeah. Carrie, you bring up a good point of, the, like, when we first spoke of of, or said the name the man in the wall in quest like the chains of harrow mm. um i don't think people literally meant <laughs> thought we meant a man <laughs> in a wall yeah, i think actually that concept <laughs> has been hanging around for a while yeah. so right? in our minds it has literally been yeah. a man yeah. in a but, wall for but some to be time. fair and, and usually keith is on these panels but um uh you know and it's people can see it was it was his concept that he did and mm -hmm. uh we just kind of like we're talking this was years ago so we were just kind of talking over the idea and how to explore it and he just tried one literal, and it was mm -hmm. it was it was amazing. So you guys had the idea, yeah. and then he kind of brought it to life, and then it yeah. just stuck. And it was actually mm -hmm. fun that a lot of players noticed the missing portion of him as well. Ah, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. which uh, yes, yes, yes. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna yeah. mention, but yeah. if you do look, look this closer. is giving you a really good look <laughs> at him as a whole because in yeah. the moment in the quest, it's very quick. It's quick, and people picked up on it. I was yeah. actually really pleasantly mm -hmm. surprised by yeah. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. so from the time that the concept existed to actually seeing him in the quest, there was there's a lot of lore that kind of happened in between that point. So, you know, the Red Veil calling him like the lidless eye and mm -hmm. Albrecht and Trotty's stories of, mm -hmm. or his encounters mm -hmm. of the Man in the Wall. So mm -hmm. from those aspects, did the concept to the actual creation of the Man in the Wall, that change at all with those in mind? I think, I don't want to speak for them, like, 
But I whose penis broke off the fuck? Stuff. Like we had we had committed to this. I see. Okay. So we had committed to this, so they used it as inspiration awesome. for a lot of those ideas. The only thing that changed, um, which I think we're going to oh, see later, but man in a wall. You know, the original idea that Keith pitched this was that the most bonker fucking ass part of the, the new wall. If you go back God, to the original damn. sketch, you can see a grenier oh, ship nice. in there. Oh, he yeah. kind of had yeah. collected lost ships in the void and and made this form. Um, Dude, that part so of the we, that part of the new wall was absolutely crazy. We want crazy. To kind of tie it closer to how the void represents Deviri and right. uh, things you see in. Which, uh, speaking of which, <laughs> speaking of which, since we're on the topic of uh, Dviri, the Void, kind of the unknown, mm. this is a really uh, intriguing. It was a concept art, because it's of not something some that we sort of actually had. Hand grabbing the Zara, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Sarah, Sarah, yes, well done. The grasp of the Void um, really grabs you. Really, it really does. <laughs> it really does. Uh, but it's not something we've actually. Like, like experienced in the game at any point. So when I saw this, we're like, is this more symbolic than anything else? Is this like quite literally what the void looks like? Is this just an interpretation of how much it's affected the Zeremin, like what we saw in Angels of the Zeremin and how is it, it one of many pictures that informed what the skybox decisions were? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which we actually will see another picture. And uh, yeah, speaking of kind of the, the skybox uh, art that was put together for specifically Angels of the Zeremin. Um, I think quite a bit of people noticed this when they were playing the quest as you mm -hmm. load into the missions or even if you're just playing in the Zeremin mission. Actually, hey period. guys, here's a quick, here's um, an interesting you idea. load into the ship, you see the skybox and there's this kind of picture. Do you reckon these are the, situation do you reckon these are actual behind. cannons? I guess maybe beyond is maybe the better word. Does the Zeremin actually have like defensive capabilities of some description or like... To Offensive armaments and shit like Very. that, because those are. A lot of people are really I could see those potentially more. being anyway, like, you know, side guns. And look oh, at oh, such a massive ship. Really shit. incredible. Oh, yeah. oh shit! So, here it is. Here's just a look at the concept work that went into. Holy fuck! Brothers. Look at that. I think this was totally their pitch. As well. I reckon that's the engines. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably yeah. is. Yeah. That great big that. hole probably is the engine. Cool thing, but the yeah, holy shit! Look at that. The internal artists and sometimes external artists, which is cool too. Uh, just kind of do like here's maybe they destroy an asteroid or two here and there. Yeah, take on a warframe idea. Yeah, right. whenever we have some time. Uh, I, 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 I would, I personally would buy that instantly. Tell the team, hey, if you have it. I'm gonna just say that right now. I would personally buy that instantly. I'm with for a while or sitting on a shelf. Uh, bring it back. And then instead of a pink theme, I would make it a green theme. But holy fuck, that's gorgeous. Or a deluxe option. That's so good. They had this, and I was like, oh yeah, I just run with that. That looks amazing. It's so good. I, uh, I did actually have a chat with uh, the Tomiki brothers, and they said they were really inspired by Yureli's kind of like playful right. anime style oh, cool. animation. Yeah, yeah. I know Pablo was was gunning for, yep. and I want to read this word for word from the way that they described her. Um, they said that they have a passion for edgy tech, and they wanted to propel Titania's design into a, and I quote, dangerously pointy, aerodynamic, high-tech, butterfly cyber knight. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Well, they really nailed it, Successful, too. They yeah. did, right? Yeah. They did. We also have her, of course, her yeah. exalted mm -hmm. weapons, the Dexpixia. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> bringing okay, that, like, high That doesn't look as good. I'm sorry. Her that Mata. didn't look as good. Mm. Uh, very cool. The rest of the skin? Yeah. And yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, okay, that actually looks pretty good. Amazing. They touched on uh, on yeah. The deck, I'm not a fan of the Dex Pixia, right? Flies mm -hmm. in her not a fan of the Dex Pixia skin as well. So mm -hmm. our, our cute little yo. I just realized my assignment due <laughs> date is postponed. Life is good. Nice. Well. Ooh, amazing work. Yeah, and yeah. then of of course the Cyan Donna mm -hmm. as well. Oh, that's a Cyan Donna. Very very cool. Um, yeah. The yeah. Next, pretty uh, much all of that skin <laughs> looks dope, We've except this Dex Pixia. Yeah. I think so we all agree on that. This is really right? just um, a reminder. Of oh yeah, there's Zaku Liger's Deluxe. Oh, boy. Zaku Deluxe, mm -hmm. which we showed in the first dev stream at the beginning of this year, I believe. Oh man, we did. I yeah, <laughs> I know it feels like a lot. Yeah, don't forget ago, that that's a but, thing, um, folks. This, uh, I think it was the what is it? Uh, the Kintsugi. That's right. The Kintsugi yep. method, Japanese method mm -hmm. of um, putting. <laughs> Running together with gold. Right, yeah. yeah. Repairing broken things. Yep. Yeah. So now, <laughs> I said this was a spoiler-filled stream, and it continues to be. But for the <laughs> sake, 
for the sake of salvaging a major moment in the new war quest, I'm not going to say any anything beyond just for those of you who know, you know. So, so Sarah, you can uh, show this next slide here. <laughs> so for those of you who know, you know, but this oh. uh, specific cosmetic will mm -hmm. be coming in the Zaku Deluxe Very cool. collection. Yep. which of course again uh by liger holy shit just i'm so excited <laughs> yeah and this was um Wait. liger getting inspired uh oh to offer this kind of oh are they course, doing based on how things go uh um, are they doing uh yeah. lotus slash what you would call it cosmetics yeah. is yeah. that what's happening and uh liger oh. also, you know that uh, it was, oh no way a lot of inspiration. They're doing space mom shit. Yes. As well. Yep. Um, so really lovely plays. Holy this fuck. This is the next deluxe coming oh, that's up. Great. <laughs> uh, this that's great. That's great. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I, I'm excited. I didn't think I was going to get Zaku Deluxe, you know, but fuck, I'm going to get Zaku Deluxe. The art panel stream <laughs> that I'm announcing next. <laughs> there she is, so, chat. Cora Rough Pride. sketches of Cora <laughs> Pride. Boom. There Cora she is. Pride? Get to steal all the movies. I'm only showing the concepts. Yep. Just a little... Just a little tidbit. Again, 10 yep. live, 5 p.m. You'll get to see more of that. Yep. But uh, it was only fitting Wait, that. Wait, you'll get to see Skyers, more of that. Uh, mm -hmm. Put together. Wait, Corporate do they actually have like a? Know, or maybe you don't know. Uh, Skyers is the. Creator, these are just these are just rough designer, sketches. They might have a or, uh, like a proper render right, ready, top to bottom, mm -hmm. and then we'll be able to see it properly. So he put together. Because that's usually what happens with um, Tenor Live. Concepts here, and she's just so cool. Regal. Yeah, really great vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Beautiful. Very neat. Uh, and then, of course, her Venari, her little ah. furry companion, is also getting the prime treatment. <laughs> of course. Not so furry. Not so, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that looks more like just Venari. That's that's just more, with looks more like a cover with like, prime armor. But uh, very exciting stuff. It's really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really, really cool. So that was our little, uh, I think I got everything for our interview. Yeah. So we're going to go back. back. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back to some. We've had our yeah. off done. We're going for the uh, for the. No okay, is it me or is the stream <laughs> no is the Warframe stream sort of stuttering? That guy's gonna be on your A game. Uh, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna refresh the page. One sec, folks. It's like sort of stuttering and like jumping on my end, so it's probably completely fucked on your end. Uh, I just wanted to make sure. Let's see if I can uh, refresh it and make it better. Here mm. and. Uh, uh, it only makes sense to uh, go back to 2019. The when Skybox the... guys don't get enough call out. This oh, is true. They don't get I enough agree. Yeah. They're I so agree. good. They're, so They're good. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's a lot better. And they kill it, and yeah. they yeah. often yeah. get that crazy. That Cora looks like Octavia Prime. <laughs> what? <laughs> other ideas, and they're just the coolest oh, guys. What? They're so good. They're so, so easy to work with, too. Yeah. 2019 was the year TennoCon was the event, and we debuted the Duviri Paradox trailer. And I just want to go through some of the concept art that kind of went into. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I really these. loved working on that. Yeah. So that entry scene, we ah, have space the man on the ground. Mm -hmm. We're like disorientated. We're not sure where we're at. And then this crazy creature comes flying above head. When I asked you guys, the same space worm that you can currently see if you go into void storms from <laughs> so time to time. Two, yep. mm -hmm. a space worm sometimes just floats right next to you, and like, yes. what the and the answer is, is yes. Uh, and I thought that these were completely God. do different creatures, no. but we have a cat dog situation happening here where they're it's a double sided worm. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. So Those are the yeah. jet engines on the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've so is actually there, like, you know what it looks like, like? Completely different characteristics. The, like the, are they the body they kind of looks like a like ruined like serpent in Genshin? Is for being I a just think, now I think about it. Like, it I'm kind of looks like a really ruined serpent. Curious. No, no, genuinely, there's jet engines on one end. Oh, it's you and Lang. Oh, I'm literally yeah. One one actually. Hey, Hoyaversa. Oh, okay. So we beat you to the jump on that one. That's right. And then the the one in the front is the. Although to be I guess, I guess mechanical snake looking things tend to end up looking the same way. The previous image was the front. The previous yeah. image was the front, yeah. I thought it was the golden a, maw. It's got a gun yeah. underneath it. Yeah, yeah whatever happened to the golden maw? <laughs> it's got thingies Amazing. up above. I think it just got updated. And it is, like, like, I think it's, it's, a, it's dragon uh, inspired and aura worms. themes and debris that could. So they're called aura worms, huh? Why it's a dragon. Dragons okay. are so cool. So we, Wait, after Keith we Thompson. get to visit our worm friend here, we're greeted by, music guy? greeted isn't the right word, but like, he's greeted. You know, he's a little You're on your way to Walmart. Guy. You're gonna pass yeah. by this guy. You're yeah. not yeah. Just checking in, seeing what's up. Uh, um, yeah. A 
a Dax soldier? Man, I had a lot of fun working on this. I don't know if Which that is really that? is a Dax soldier. He kind of looks a little bit on the undead side. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. It is an undead Dax soldier. So, it is a couple of years. As you introduce Golden War yeah, PvP into Conclave, really not that anyone so can play it, but soldier, there's a Golden uh, War model, um, so it doesn't get wasted. Again, yeah. Original piece by Make Keith Golden Thompson War Spectres so we can transfer into them. Yeah. yeah, so there's like a bit of an incomplete theme mm -hmm. that kind of goes on in a lot of the Deviri aesthetics, so that's why you're kind of seeing portions of these concepts are kind of exploring that. Which yeah. we see a lot of in the later concepts we'll show. Kind of <laughs> Of the um, fractured nature of You know, I think, yeah, I think the way they've the recycled the Golden Moor so again, and stuff like that, yes. is that they've just mm -hmm. taken that yeah, model and then just added like 15 layers of shit onto it. With the concept team. And then suddenly like there's a lot of we have the Aura Worm. I really think that, I think that might have been uh, the Because, uh, you know, like yep. at, on the, the production side, levels are. that's what I would do. Waiting for feedback. If I was to, <laughs> We're if I was to fight first, I would be like, or seven. So, someone, someone from D came down it's and said, like, "Hey, we need to make like this uh, fucking space worm thing." I and I would probably be like, like uh, "Okay, well, we have this, uh, we have this asset that we um, unique touch and, and barely use in this so, game." Um, as How about I uh, very detailed reappropriate it? Work from yep. others. It, we and kind of uh, them in a way, right? right. It's just turned it into a fucking space worm. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Within <of> reason. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah. That's always the tricky one. Yeah. But it's fun. It's, it's yeah, it I always pretty easy to me. The industry, so. Twitch, can you fix your infrastructure, <laughs> please? Did you buy fun. the Tetocon Digipack? Uh, no. Uh, being creative in this game and the people here that make it, it's awesome. So yeah. It works, mm -hmm. right? So. And, uh... God, I still love yeah, this Yeah, this is, this is, awesome. this so cool. is just so... So, the Dax, of course, riding the Kaith, or... Uh, uh, just. <laughs> still love this. Can thing. we get sculptures of these? Should I buy? Oh please! I didn't really see any. All the different. I didn't really see any reasons yeah, to buy it. Those, like you know, like the toy. So, uh, you put a coin in. I'm saying no. Pony <laughs> and it rocks. Can we get one of those? Wow. I don't see any real reason to. I don't know Beautiful. if it'd be comfortable though. But, no. Uh, no. Not at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, the the mount that the Dax is riding is this Kaith here, and we've only seen one variant of it just from the. Trailer. So we are actually. Um, there's actually. So the very paradox is actually chock a block and, full of uh, undead. <laughs> They're all uh, just. Is so that sad. the idea? Oh, yeah, man. Because so cool. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of skeletal <laughs> stuff so man. And that, like, you yeah. see so much, uh, like. This is basically just weird, rotten yeah, undead I mean, shit. That's kind of like. Like horrific Holy skeletal fuck. and stuff, but they, there's such a beauty, like a combo of the two. Yeah, it's just like really it blended so it. well, and yeah. it's yeah. amazing to watch and yeah. look at. So that one. I like how it has the proper bone structure. <laughs> no, oh, no. They better let us use them in normal <laughs> missions. A little bit more. <laughs> Bro, we can't even yeah, use yeah, necromechs yeah. right now in normal yeah. missions. Do you really think we're going to be able to ride horses in a ship? I don't think so. Over into. I don't expect us to be able to use these in normal missions anytime soon. Can we use them in um? You'll find open the worlds are absolutely to these normal missions. Yeah, I would think just because the complexity so. of it, we'll see, and just we'll kind of how detailed they are. Because um, like you're in sometimes. Because I think about it, you're in the corridors of a ship. Cavalry so has arrived. You know, and, and and the idea itself is so abstract. I was going to say that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, point. but then again, we are fitting entire Gundams no. into a ship anyway, so fuck it. So I would like to see when it happen too. First saw the mount mm -hmm. in the trailer the first thought immediately because we love mounts <laughs> in general or any modes of transportation Man, in our game you're really gonna steal the thunder oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, I'm only showing certain aspects of are you approved to do all this? I, I was approved. I was approved. I think approved. you snuck all this in. I promise. You maybe approved. I did. You got something so. approved. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this will get edited out. Sarah went rogue. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, Sarah was Blame peppering Sarah. in things. <laughs> but uh, yes, this will be a mount we have. If you're drives. showing what I think you're showing. I Well, some aspects. You are. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So, yes, you will be able to ride these beauties. There it is. Peace. Amazing. And there it is. Hey, drives. We have arc wings, and now we have mounts. Yeah. Now we have mounts. One hundred percent credit to just how talented. <gasps> you can really call hard. them no shot. All hand. Uh, <laughs> there, uh, there we go. On the other hand, Jeff was. Wait, this game has just suddenly, suddenly become Black Desert, Desert Online. Point, but <laughs> yeah. Nobody Were wanted to do this. Hey, no. Yeah, yeah, okay. Our <laughs> 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 room isn't that big. <laughs> Someone would be getting kicked for sure. Someone would definitely um, be getting kicked. Yeah. yeah, like the the animation on that is beautiful. That's only a snippet. There is. Um, like any kind of any time, I think I've talked about this before. But anytime we do mobility animations, things that have to like have movement-driven uh, animations, it's just a huge, huge library of work. Um, and so that's just the taste. Horsey McHorse face. Does that go? Because I mean, you're making little small 
small snippets that get stitched together in the there's game. Your, there's your horse name. Like, how does mm-hmm. an animator do that in their Always game? a good choice. It, like, always a slam dunk. Uh, something with something face. Always a, always a good choice. Some new systems coming in for this mm-hmm. as well with uh, with Daniel on the AI, AI side um, and the animation-driven kind of movement. Um, so it's a lot of collaboration, you know, mm-hmm. like, like a lot of... Um, it's kind of like taking a lot of pieces of movement and then in the code they stitch it together. Yeah, to, they stitch together. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, interesting. So when we get to the end of the 2019 trailer, we have the title. I Fairy really Paradox. love that trailer. I don't know, watch it again. <laughs> you should. Trailer. It's great. Oh, it's you time. guys did a great job. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. We're met with this very kind of shrouded character in the back, and we're all wondering, okay, who the who the heck is this? And we have some concept art of mm. this particular individual, God, really? who mm. you will learn more about. And I don't think we will say much more than that. Dominus but Dominus Thrax. Dominus is Thrax. Here. Huh? And uh, there's quite a bit of significance in Wait, is he related to the fucking Thraxes that you find in the Zaraman? Not just only in our Those big shieldy dudes with the massive size that fucking one-shot mobile defense targets? And was that a significance that was pulled from Keith's concept here? Is he king of them? Like, from the team? Shit. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, I think think the the kind of ideas that he explored that we wanted him to help us visualize... Um, the mask was all him. He kind of threw it in there, and it was just such a strong element that we kind of built on it. You know, we kind of re we kind of rethought the the, the trailer itself actually to, to work around the mask. Um, kind of like we we were already in progress, and then we, we kind of pivoted because right. we liked the element so much. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yep. So now we get into the cool. All of this has been cool, but here's Whoa. the extra cool stuff. Uh, our Duveri <laughs> exploration of the oh, landscape itself and. Let me tell you, this is only a fraction of some of the pieces I saw. Mm-hmm. This is so old. Man, yeah, there's so <laughs> much stuff. Yeah. And this is the lot. first stuff, Sibulge, Mike Sibulge and myself, we were exploring this stuff. As yeah. you'll see, I think the next yeah. one is Mike's. Um, but yeah, this is... It's still relevant, though. Yeah, yeah, still, yeah which, is, which is yeah. really cool. It's yeah. been, I think, three years plus, right? Yeah. So, But I remember talking with Jeff. We, you'd, you'd kind of explain it to us, like you wanted the ship to come in and like it would build this land mm. out, out like it would kind of spread from it and create create land masses mm-hmm. and uh, looks like sky uh, islands big tower yeah. ideas that were uh, discussed as well they so it seems like we'll land. actually be able to so, like this next explore one the to build upon that idea Zaraman part and, of uh, the Daviri huh some really cool ideas for that that I know Rogue Elite kind of went away from this I think so. I wonder if we'll be able to bring our Railjack here <laughs> but uh, there's, there's still some there's nuggets some, in there though yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, I think it'd be it great if we could tie Railjack into this somehow a colony ship that it has some emergency tech in it if yeah. it got stranded that it can kind of do its oh, own yeah. terraforming okay. um, which is why it's kind of fractal based um, mm-hmm. it's kind of like this this world built on math and uh, then it gets corrupted by the void as well so, right yeah. um, it's clear <laughs> as we go through these concepts like oh, even yeah. this especially like oh, wow. That's right. it has <laughs> gone through Whoa. so many different styles work. and yeah. artists and just the feelings that it evokes and the questions that you start asking yourself. Like, this is, I would say, I pretty far the multiverse of from what we saw in the trailer. Mm-hmm. So what was kind of the the goal with this one in particular? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think it, it does was seem like, like this is a lot bigger kind of than the, back, the other one. It's, it's yeah. like the big, like, circular dome was like you're close to the ship. So oh, things that really were Also, it's just like... Had more, like, definition. So you're basically talking about a uh, procedurally generated open world, huh? Other yeah. kind of artists is How long will Barrow and be in the Tenerpon relay? I missed relay? the mark with this one, but... <laughs> it was, it was neat it's going to sound like a... Play. It's going to sound like a dig, um, not, but... Oh. Uh, the great he's going to be uh, the in the Tenet Bomb Relay for six days and 19, 19 more hours. <laughs> no, 100%. And, um, yeah. 100%. And so, yep. so I think this was like one of the first ones Eric did. Okay, can I enter the Tenet Relay right the now? The idea of the, mm-hmm. uh, the, the fractal construction and just kind of threw this out and we were like, yeah, we'll never be able to make this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, for sure. It's <laughs> really good to get that <laughs> yeah. down at a yeah. gaming yeah. stage. Yeah. Oh, I should have been. Yeah. Yeah. But it also kind of sparks conversation, and yep. you know, gives you get really good feedback out of it, and you kind of build from there. So yeah, and you yeah. might take like like a corner, a little yeah, I just straight up section mm-hmm. going. Yeah. That's kind of a neat pattern yep. system. Let's apply it to the next thing. Like or, legitimately, you do you know, in concept art, you kind of want to see big ideas. <laughs> yes, you know that yep. that you can kind of 
you know, uh, let's just say things just got out of hand. You kind of early, early, early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I always say we've carried huge stuff. big ideas way too late. <laughs> while you're waiting oh, for feedback. Cool. Yeah, while we're waiting for feedback, yeah, obviously. Yeah. You know, we're sending big ideas. I guess that's a yeah, like a good question too, Carrie, for the environment team when you see these concepts and you're going. The okay. environment team would not see that concept. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 there'd be several layers of protection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're hidden in my folders, and sometimes <laughs> sometimes other people get them. And I'm like, hi, why are they building from that? That's not allowed. <laughs> yeah. So is there really? It, there's a lot of kind of like, you know, seeing these pieces and picking and choosing some elements that maybe yeah, you want I to mean, retain. You, you take checks uh, yeah. of little bits and then what we can do and then what evokes and then you kind of come back to some things yeah. much later when it's like, okay, there was a, this problem was partially solved then right. and then you can run it down to a degree like, you're not looking to burn through idea after idea, you're trying to get to one right. place, but you know, oh, at the beginning, you know, there might be something here, here hmm. and here and then you're kind of I thought it was to do with them um, yeah, when yeah, and to give those guys also their their due. Like, I don't know. You kind of have to rely on their expertise. It does make it, it probably is a hint that like in de- that during Devere really shenanigans, well. you somehow lose your warframes for a bit. They have to kind of problem solve and figure out how to kind of. But I actually think that like Devere shenanigans is um, here, like in the in the eternalism timeline where um actually experience in the trailer, you mm-hmm. and I think don't I would um, say is. Probably we when you, uh, where you don't ex- escape the Zaraman. Deviri is ultimately mm-hmm. panning out to be. So then you well, end up in Deviri. This is still old stuff. Oh, is it? Which is hilarious. Yeah, this yeah is but still and now that we, like, like the, prior point, the original yeah, Tenno yeah, know that, like, again, right? still Deviri is a yeah, thing because we talked like, to the Drifter, we're like, the heroes we have to look at what absolutely. this Deviri shit is. And, uh, yeah, again, you see kind of these, um, now that we're talking about it, I am seeing these elements being pulled in and the... Of course, like the idea. So maybe they, the, off, so maybe they themselves, maybe the drifters um, themselves, actually lost their also just the level kind for of a bit. absurdity and but the Tenno never we lost have like an, it looks like like it's like an elephant graveyard in a way <laughs> <laughs> like like this yep. especially yep. like you know is this, this all? And yep. we, even when we saw is this the, all going to be like, in Devere? Like, all of this is this, this, this uh, like or like or like half of these just this kind of concepts? Seriously, if this is all in Devere, then Devere is going to be. Right. Yeah, the, the horse kind of came in and and it kind of dictated a lot yep. of. Mm-hmm. Um, we pulled a lot from that. Yeah, no, it it's just always difficult too. Like, how do you take something that is that organic and that yeah. crazy and then take it into the size of a world? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know it's like yeah. it works at this size, and then once you start to walk through it, how does it work out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so interesting. Just from that one piece, you can build. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Entire yeah, it's a build language. Off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Yep. that's awesome. Oh, speaking yeah. of graveyards, <laughs> uh, I don't know how else you could. Well, well, well. Yeah, well, well, well. Look at, look at this. Good stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, this is yeah. amazing. Sabolge did a lot of work on this mm. stuff. Yeah. It was. Uh, so yeah. How is that? Some, 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 yes. some Honestly, sort of very god or something? Vegetation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and these studies are so interesting to see kind of the. the the so we're going to be dealing with some Eldritch God nightmare up, shit, huh? Um, these spaces that are just so vastly different from one another. Yeah, and color is Mad in the gr- even though you have Rap, a lot of tap, color is a very important role. The man yeah, in the ground. Uh, the trailer being heavy. He's coming. He's still looking at it in color. Right. You know, yeah. you Whenever he wakes so, up. Have something like this as well, where could be something like that. I think that this is really interesting too, because even for me as a player, this for me is the first kind of sign of life beyond mm-hmm. what we've already seen in a way that's so different. Different. So the amphitheater. <laughs> wow! Really? We I'm are. Um, Holy which is a shit! Place you guys will be going to. This is where Carrie starts to shrink. <laughs> 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 Just disappears into his chair. Yeah, yeah. Ten Alive is the place to be. It's a flying being, island in the uh, sky. This will be where we have our. Isn't it, chat? Live event moment. Is that how you spell it? Amph- amphitheater. Seriously, Deviri is going to be. Amph- Deviri is looking oh, like it's going to be absolutely Amph- fucking massive. Amphitheater. <laughs> <laughs> and by massive, <laughs> I mean G three. Scary your neighbors who are sleeping. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Again, another kind of sign. When I say um, massive, life. You know what I mean? It's on Duvier or I mean you know, thirty gig download massive. Generally, a place of. I mean, good fucking luck fitting that in your hard drive. Massive presentations, which again, because this is why this this is too much. Actual presentation during uh, ten oh five p.m. Hey, why? <laughs> And um, on the YouTube chat, how's it going? What was the kind of design process for like building a stage specifically for the event? Lagonator, particular significance. I don't think it's going to be a lag fest. Well it's the just that, like, how the fuck are you going to be able to fit that wow. in your device? Uh, <laughs> like, if you're a switch tenor, yeah, exactly. If you're a switch tenor with like only 64 gigs of space in your we'll keep our. 
for our lips if you're a Switch so fan, you have to wait until I they're think that actually... would be the right one. Okay. <laughs> this game's supposed to be coming to mobile, so if you're on your mobile, your mobile is just gonna run out of internal storage instantly. Good fucking luck with that. Thirty-two gig. Oh yeah, no, you're screwed. You're screwed. You're screwed. That, you'll just have to experience Bombastine. You can get an SD card. Yeah, you can. Come be live event. Yep. And just to, just like to speak to how long these concepts have been going on for, I think he was done before the horse was. Mm. Oh wow! So that's why. So the yeah, uh, the exactly. Team that's I'm just wondering on how they're going to kind of fit this all into back. a single game. Yeah, kind of like, like, uh, Call of Duty is not that big. Design, Cyberpunk it's is. It's been a, okay, Cyberpunk is pretty big. And is this GTA uh, is like uh, 50 gig. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All this yeah, stuff, seriously, it. looks really yeah. 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 fucking yeah. interesting, yeah. and yet there's so much of it, so I'm just wondering, that, like, uh, oh, includes fuck, is any device going to fit it all? On Duberry. Well, like, basically, so, it, it, know, we kind of, if you download so, Warframe no, now, it'll probably be like a... <laughs> <laughs> You underestimate the laziness. We're, all out of water. <laughs> we're the new ten alive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Because I get, I, yeah, because uh, part of me does think that maybe like half of the things that we've just seen are uh, actually just well, discarded concepts that won't show up. And kind of thought about from the players since 2019, really. Uh, it just seems overwhelming. Uh, just that it's been, been a lot of work, and Harry's been a real. It would just be too much, champ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did a great yeah. job on it. Yep. And and, and Jeff's feedback has been great. Even though so, you're waiting. Even though we're waiting. <laughs> on it. When it comes, though. Yeah. yeah. I think it's always just about the team. Like, yeah, the I team, was going to kind of go there. Yeah, yeah, the team right now is just, yep. you know, they're, they're working on it right right this second. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and like, yeah. um, if my phone was allowed to buzz, it would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Never a dull moment yeah. with the team. So. Yeah, everyone's doing such a great job. Yeah. Start to finish this yeah. amazing yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's very impressive. It's really cool to yeah. see the pro process, and thank you for sharing the concept work and oh, yeah. approving it, which I will say, <laughs> there was approval for these things. Mm. Jeff is shaking his head, uh, but... Sarah just ran <laughs> through this through me when I sat down. <laughs> <laughs> She's hiding. She's running out of She's running room. away. She's saying goodbye. Bye. I don't want anything to do with this. Um, we do have one last reveal. Uh-oh. But before we get into that, it is special segment with myself, Eric, and a special guest. But before we get into that, oh. uh, I want to thank Am I getting kicked here. out? You, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Wow. Very welcome. Right. Right. Well, <laughs> Scram. But, <yeah. laughs> Scram. but I, I appreciate you guys coming yeah. out today. And, no, uh, I'm going to restart. Uh, it's going to refresh the page because it uh, seems like it's lagging again. I don't know why. It seems to be fine at the and start, and then it kind of just slowly yeah, slips into laggy uh, territory. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I suspect Twitch is buckling again. I don't know. At least the at least the streamers are rubber banding like crazy. On the amphitheater tonight. Your roommate is watching some high quality videos. We're watching, I actually highly keep watching. doubt We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Oh my! One more thing. They're one more reveal. What's happening? Ever since we put out. Catch it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't catch it. We have fairies. We have necromancers. Uh, would it be nice to have a werewolf? Theme and uh, unanimously, everyone okay, seems like playing it on 720p yes. seems to be helpful. So we are here today. So at least that's a, a little bit better. Very special guest, uh, a comic book legend, a founder of Airship Syndicate Studios, <laughs> Joe. We hear him in the back. <laughs> Joe Matarera, hey also known as Joe Mad, is here. Uh, famously known for your work uh, on the Marvel comics, like Uncanny X. Wait, is there a new uh, Battle Chaser series? As wait, 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 wait. Is he making a new Warframe comic? Is that what's <laughs> and, going on? Uh, the Dark Siders games, and uh, we are lucky enough to have Joe here today to talk about. The Turn off low latency mode if that happens a again. Really rad Warframe that the community has yes. been asking. For. Really rad Warframe that the community has yes. been asking for. So, hello, Joe. Welcome. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. <laughs> Thank you. See if that helps. It's great to be here. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome. We're really excited. Uh, we're here to discuss the opportunity that Eric and the team here at Digital Extremes had working with Joe mm -hmm. uh, to bring to life. Uh, a wolf yeah, no, it's it's frame. 1080p for some and, reason. And uh, we have some concept work here, uh, just kind of some progress shots of wins, and uh, we can get started. Why don't we start with uh, just some early work we have here? Sure, sounds good. Yeah, I guess Joe could speak to these, of course. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so, <clears throat> I mean, from the onset, I was super excited, you know, both because I love 
Warframe and all the awesome designs. So it's going to have a. So it's just basically going to be a wolf in the form of a Warframe, huh? Monsters. That actually looks really more like. Um, when I was a kid, I I was just fascinated by. Creatures, you know what it looks dragons, like? Dinosaurs. Yes. It looks like a mecha. And so, you know, it looks like um, empires, anything like that. Yes. Uh, it, it's <laughs> not not EXADB. So no, no, no. Um, combination. Uh, was some of those units from like yeah, fucking like, like as soon as I heard about it, I was like, uh, Macross and shit like that. <laughs> no, not Macross. The tricky part is, you know, how how Arceus werewolf to go, you know, how wolf is too wolf. Uh, <laughs> it just looks, it's still it just looks like a Warframe and and a mech, a mech suit of some sort. Yeah. So there was a lot of not like a necromech, but like we did, Eric. Like an actual uh, mech from like anime, uh, like as well. Not a Gundam, but a Gundam keep adjacent. Me, yeah. <laughs> in, in like on the right track. Uh, That's just so we just <laughs> played around for a while and, and tried different things. We got a claws. We already have that. They called figured Valkyrie's out talent. So cool. What worked? Uh, yeah. So, so it's it's been super fun. Yeah, it's gone through a lot of changes. Absolutely. Yeah. So and uh, <laughs> I guess the werewolf theme, like as a whole, has had so many permutations over the yeah. centuries. Like a traditional like lichen folk, you know, these fantasy stories. So what was the process of kind of, you know, as you mentioned, Joe, reinventing this well known, well loved theme and a character into a game like Warframe, which is very sci fi. Yeah, so I think <clears throat> on the very first few, is that a female? We went very werewolf with it, you know, like taking you know into what? account <clears throat> the the gameplay and design uh, stuff. We we just it helped rein us in, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's like how could we turn fur into <laughs> armor? How do Actually, we how many female it, like how many female werewolves? Are, whoa. That, Will convey sort of like okay, we've moved away from werewolf and into some shit from Warhammer aspect, yeah. and then yeah, the so, this looks like a friggin' inquisitor, man. God damn, claws. Uh, right? We were told uh, no more claws. <laughs> so oh, had, hang on, uh, now she's got tits. Uh, Sevagoth. Oh, hello, um, Garuda. Garuda, yeah. and uh, yeah, well, even and Valkyr was kind of yeah. like the one we had to kind of stay away from as much as possible. Which of course we wanted. We drew claws and everything we had, <laughs> but, <laughs> but then we started to pull it back. I did this. I did this weird insect thing here. Yeah, I think uh, there's like a joke that I just put faces <laughs> okay. on everything. <laughs> now it just looks like a hive god, yeah, which is literally what we're destiny. Looking at right yeah. Here. yeah, lots and, of faces yeah. and teeth. Yeah. <laughs> So I was like, you can really this, tell uh, the guy makes dark siders, yeah. Was like, teeth all over this thing, and then it, it <laughs> kind of helped. You know, it's like, hey, okay, what if they were more wolf-like faces, and you know, like they 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 articulate and the mouths open Ooh. and stuff like that, and that kind of started to push us in like a cool direction. Right. Uh, again, it's always more fun to start crazy and then dial it back totally. a little bit. So I wasn't really taking into account, like, hey, is this giant shoulder going to block the <laughs> targeting reticle? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. But as we're, you know, uh, working the, the design aspects in a little bit more game design, uh, it's, it's helping uh, mm -hmm. take shape a lot, as you can see. And I think we've arrived at something that hits all the the right yes. marks hopefully yes. uh, at least for us but yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. really the, so the cool. players that get to decide <laughs> so what he's going to yeah. use wolf spirit yeah this is going to be dope yeah. I, the idea of like is the idea well, that it's going to be summoning wolf spirits to attack but, enemies uh, Still in progress, so but it's, uh, it's also got a big working. ass. We can talk about. Like, I can't tell if that's meant to be a big bushy tail or a like big a flaming wolf, tail. Werewolf theme that we kind of honed in on mm -hmm. in terms of design. More of this, yeah, less Grendel children. Bite, and as Joe said, there's like mouths and, and faces <laughs> on everything. So we kept, we definitely kept this up, and uh, yeah. this is really cool. So yeah, yeah basically, like it, if you touch any part of her, you're probably going to get bitten. That's like <laughs> dangerous yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, like, because of her agility and, like, again, like, leap, just things that, like, I, I wanted to keep her, like, agile looking and, and lean and fast. Yeah, and uh, we... Like a hunter. Yeah. She, she, she's very much like a hunter-type uh, character. So, like, so cool. speed and agility and... Stuff like that is kind of yeah. what I was pushing for, and and like threat, threat level. 
I feel I feel threatened. <laughs> <laughs> and that tail that you've thrown in there, like that's like an energy. Bit of a summoner frame. For, yeah, it could be. To do that. So we, were, we were told it's okay. No exactly. fur, but energy for <laughs> energy. Uh, yeah, we can kind of have. We're in the clear. <laughs> and one yeah. thing we had to consider too is that uh, this character is holding a gun and shooting <laughs> right. and weaponing. Yes. So it's like that kind of also had to informed our the, the designs yeah. a bit too, right? So loving monsters in film and like I would buy all the Fangoria magazines when that was a thing, like back in the day, like horror movie like effects and stuff like that. I've just always been like a huge fan of, of monsters. So I'm sure all that stuff is is in my <laughs> DNA. Uh, and <laughs> and you know a lot of it is kind of what uh, inspired Darksiders as well. Yeah. Um, Awesome. Back in the vigil days, it's like, you know, having monsters and demons and like like bad guys basically uh, leading the story versus you know your typical happy hero types. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Like it, it's just like a theme that I I love and I try to I like gray characters and evil characters and tragic villains and so monsters are just my thing uh and so yeah it, it, all of it all of it really uh inspired this obviously we're not going to do a typical werewolf right. approach warframe never does the typical stuff so yes this spin on it has been really cool and i'm pretty excited to see where we go with this yeah. so i am very excited and this is so cool uh it totally. will not be the next warframe just to be clear nope. it will nope. not be the next warframe it still needs some love and uh it still needs to actually you know get made but uh, yeah. still work abilities to come, but those will be future, I think, future dev stream conversations that the, totally. the folks can look forward to. I think once the art team is able to really attack this, they'll, mm -hmm. just, they'll have just as much fun as you guys had concepting oh, totally. it and making it become a reality from like the abilities to the effects that go into it to the audio. Mm -hmm. the, the audio team guys, they're gonna be super stoked for that as well. <laughs> gonna get some, I don't know we're gonna get some howls uh, yeah Sarah do we have some howl effects oh. <laughs> perfect oh, I don't know if you the <laughs> weakest howl I've ever heard oh, oh there we go <laughs> so, yeah so I think not only at least the furries are really well between this and Genshin with Ty Tigari yeah time, then the furries are coming out in full force mate like a weapon that we ship with it true uh, an accessory yeah, yeah. so like what do those things look like that I know we tried to play around with maybe some weapon ideas in the early stages but we were just really trying to focus on getting like yeah. the, the an initial look to get going in. Yeah. But like, I'm just trying to think of like what uh, what else are we shipping <clears throat> with this and how we can add to all that. So, so right, I'm gonna take a Joe. quick nap. So, um, <laughs> so I'm trying to get. I'll keep it running. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> I won't <laughs> sleep through and then. Yeah. Is there anything you know, else you guys want to miss the the big the good stuff? The, um, the but yeah, I'll just here with the keep this running. Frame. We'll see how we go. No, I just want to do this more. We'll see you guys in yeah. a bit. Some, like working with Joe was great, uh, and uh, yeah, it'd be be cool to do more of these things. Yeah. <laughs> so. Unless I yeah. ruined it, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still, I'm, I'll no, still be here. I, you know, it was super. I'll fun still be and, here, and uh, I'm happy that. You know, I'll still be here, but I just want to lie down for a bit. You know, thank you guys. It's uh, you know, it's an honor. I can't wait to to run around the game. But yeah, I'll still be, I'll still essentially be listening. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah thank you so much <laughs> you guys for working anything, with us right? on this yeah. and taking part of this yeah. for our TennoCon art panel this year. Uh, we thought we'd uh, end the art panel with a bang mm -hmm. with. Uh, Totally got a form to a deep sleep. Uh, designed by, of course, Joe Mad. And uh, yeah, it's a very special event for us. I think internally we're all very excited. Mm -hmm. as well. Like we're like, yes, it's finally happening. So thank you, Joe, for also making yeah. our vision and our excitement for this come to life. And uh, yeah, I guess we can sign off here for uh, yeah, I and head so. off to other segments during TennoCon. So thanks again, Joe, for joining us. Thank you, Eric. No, no for problem. Sticking around. Yeah. No problem. And uh, again, thank you for watching the art panel for this year, and we'll see you in the next segment and during 10 Alive. See Slept you there. Bye, everyone. Hey, everybody. I just, I Megan just finished here another cup. You know that by watching this year's show on Twitch, you're going to earn yourself some incredible free items if you have your Warframe and Twitch account linked. Watching TennoCon until 5 p.m. Eastern Time for 30 consecutive minutes will reward you with both the Veracruz Warfan and the Rinala Sugatra. But that's not all. Tune into Tenno Live between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Time for another 30 consecutive minutes, and you're gonna earn yourself a free Titania Prime. That's right, a free Prime Warframe.
If you already have your Twitch account and your Warframe account linked and received drops before on Warframe grab streams, pri- then you're Prime set. access right away. But if you've never linked your Warframe and Twitch <laughs> yeah. account together, simply um, go on over to nah, I think I'll still continue with the Twitch, usual method of um, Relic and running follow the simple instructions by just, in. not necessarily it. by farming Enjoy Relics, but just buying a bunch of Relics using Steel Essence. Of Herald Stars! Of Hollow Chains! Where are the people hanging around? I don't know. Did you guarded the divide between dust and void? Speak! From within your everlasting sacred vessel, you held the lidless eye! Speak! Yeah, apparently there's a Harrow figurine. Tap, tap. Nice. One bizarre way is to compare it to a sitcom. In the case of the open worlds, there is an external, ongoing situation right where the characters are embedded. The situation doesn't necessarily change, and the story comes from the way the characters respond to it and to what it is doing to them and to each other. It's really about getting all of the backstory thoroughly detailed first as to what the story of the setting is, and then you proceed from that to the story of the individuals within it. In its simplest possible form is make me care what happens to the characters. Because if, if the character isn't in trouble, if they're safe, then it doesn't spark that innate human concern that says, I need to know more, I need to know if this being needs to be helped. Example, father is trying and spectacularly failing to protect his family. I know this looks rough, but we're gonna get through this together, but nobody takes a blind bit of notice. But it also informs the situation when the Tenno show up because father was like, I couldn't be any use to my family. Maybe here is somebody to whom I can be of use. The role that the character has, has to feel like it fits in naturally with the situation even before any Tenno come along and want to buy guns. There are basic commonalities to a town or a hub. It's it's the oasis of respite in the middle of some kind of an ongoing conflict. On Deimos, you've got the infestation encroaching of Zaraman, very environment itself. And then, if that wasn't enough, you've got the Corpus and the Grenier, each with their own agenda getting in on that. There's also being mindful of the many different ways in which the Warframe universe is different from our universe. One of the things that we have had to watch is keeping track of words that we've used that refer to real world concepts. That then means that or something like that must exist in the Warframe universe. Little Duck says that we've clicked the kicked the clown car. I'm like, does this mean that somewhere in the universe of Warframe, clown cars are a thing? Hey Tenno, Danny here. We're getting so much closer to unveiling some incredible surprises. Tonight, at 5pm Eastern Time, we'll be opening up the Duveri Amphitheatre Orbiting Earth in-game. Join your fellow Tenno for an up-close and very unique experience during the Tenno Live presentation. As a special thank you for joining us for TennoCon today, for the next 48 hours, you can claim a special Operator and Drifter cosmetic, the Stranger's Hood. This exclusive cosmetic is available right now on all platforms in the in-game market for one credit. Be sure to log in and claim yours. Bye, Tenno.
welcome to the TennoCon 2022 Community Art Show. I'm Helen Hickela, a member of Warframe's community team. Oh, and it's the community art models. and I guess Pretty cosplay show, huh? And I'm Mike Skyers, a principal character artist on Warframe and a TennoGen supervisor. Your other co-host. <laughs> uh, we first would like to thank Go Light Up for their awesome performance of We All Live Together that you saw in our intro. You can check out the yeah, the stream is very loud, but um, over the next yeah, hour, no. Scars and I are going to take you. Should be fine when I'm speaking, art eh? Art and dojos. We are going to be showing Skyers all these pieces for the first time, and I'm really yeah, looking forward to okay. sharing it with him and all of you. There were over 300 submissions this year. So many. So many. And Julia Fields, Veronica Botnick, and I had a lot of fun going through every single submission and appreciating all the hard work that went into it. But of course, in a one-hour segment, we don't have time to go through all of the submissions okay. we received. That said, we agreed, and the community team agreed, that we wanted to give more of these pieces a time to shine on a Warframe live stream. So, when prime time starts back up, over the next three months, we are going to show more art that was submitted to this segment on prime time. Okay, do you need a you bedtime can watch story? No, I don't weekly. need a bedtime it story. I Thursdays think I can manage at things. 6 p.m. Eastern time on the Warframe YouTube and Twitch channels. All the artists featured today will receive in-game platinum and exclusive trophies as a reward for sharing their creativity with us. Physical props and cosplay will also receive trophies to acknowledge skills like charm and craftsmanship. But without further ado, let's take a look at Warframe's finest dojos. In Warframe, players team up to create clans. A clan supports one another's in-game progress, competes in events, and forms a community of their own. The dojo is the clan's home base. It starts as one empty room, and it's up to the clan to decorate and expand. Since dojos first entered Warframe, ambitious clans have created increasingly complex designs. Dojo decoration has become an art of its own, and some clans stand out as true experts. Oh the shit, they made a Gundam. Today showcases a mastery in dojo design. Look at that. After today's showcase, you can visit the dojos yourself to check out even more of each clan's creations. The <laughs> another the Gundam. Warframe star chart all weekend, and there's much to see. Oh fuck, another Gundam. So it is no <laughs> secret that the Warframe community. Yeah, it turns out a lot of Warframe. Uh, uh, turns out a lot of uh, <laughs> clan decorators are Gundam nerds. And Hell yeah. Warframe Church is a great representation of that. But they don't only make mechs; they also create gorgeous rooms around those mechs. So let's take a look at some of those. She's regal. She's gorgeous. She's guarding a library. That's crazy. <laughs> Holy fuck. So you can see here, they have like little personal Whoa. decorations they've added in addition to all the major ones. I gotta join a clan like this, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, by I... the church, you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have space? <laughs> and I like this trend where they've taken a corpus decoration that wasn't intended to be a book, but lots of dojos are using it as a book now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm just shows what clans can do and their imaginations run wild. <laughs> Next room. Wow. Okay, yeah, I gotta join this clan. <laughs> There's one for you, <laughs> Or at least take a visit, yeah. So obviously you can probably tell they've taken a lot of inspiration. Someone had to manually from, fund every single decoration. Uh, yeah. Dark no, it wouldn't have been one person. It I probably would have been a team of like 10 people. And just go. manually. You nailed it. That's the other one. That's crazy. That's super I, annoying I'm again. To like again? What parts they use to make this? So many. And overlapping them to create certain oh. shapes. Yeah. It's All the debris is so carefully placed. And the effect coming off the eye is really awesome as well. For sure. I wouldn't mess with either of those creatures. Mm. Although clearly there was a winner. <laughs> that looks like a freaking. Uh... Now this is exo our unit. Final that that, that thing looks like an exo unit, right? If you go visit Violet Church on the star chart, you're gonna see something like so that. Much like more cross or shit. Some shit. So it's not only a gorgeous mech in this beautiful courtyard landscape, they've created rooms for the dojo members. So it's actually like a little city or... Yeah, you got like personal quarters and that's amazing. We're gonna move on to another PC clan now, Umbra Lua Lichens. The reason we're gonna look at this clan today is they have so many strange but beautiful designs. The okay. whole dojo feels enchanted or maybe haunted. Let's take a look. Whoa. 
Wow, that's a straight up medieval dungeon <laughs> in Warframe. <laughs> yeah. What is this game? I mean, what is this, this you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me yeah, of um, see those corpus. Ezio's uh, little hideout in back. Assassin's Creed Revelations. The stained glass windows. Mm-hmm. You know, with like the stone, so stone placed. walls and like the real chill vibes. Little and guy. then we're in the volcano part of the map. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Is that spooky? Okay. Hey, I never knew you could do all this kind of crazy stuff with dojos. Okay. <laughs> the <laughs> fuck is going Welcome on there? Welcome to Warframe dojos. I was thinking of Doom. Yeah, definitely. It like, like, feels um, like definitely with that part. Yeah, there's, that that feels like Doom. A hex what or the something has been put on each room. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm really into it. <laughs> Some sort of a rock earth god for the the needs of sacrifice. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, who? Okay, what is this headless chicken? But I think maybe the room. Oh, hey, Misa, what's up? Relic of the past. Oh my god, look at that ass. And we have. I don't know if you know, Core like Prime is out. Or Atlas, it's got no neck. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all, a fact. It's all traps. That's a fact. What is this happening is here? Giant. It's a corpus dude, isn't There's it? A story being told in this piece. Holding up a pillar. Mm -hmm. Is that a Saving corpus dude? Mm -hmm. No, it's Make just like a corpus robot closely. dude. Oh, it's a little person. Yes. Taking a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a selfie with the giant. <laughs> so saving the day. For yeah, the unit there. one from Evangelion. That's the one. And now this is a structure they've made entirely on their own. Like this isn't a preset room we've given. This them. is like some they've fucking like in walls. Greek, <laughs> right? Uh, like, design. like Greek Olympian shit. I suppose it is. Olympus is Greek, right? Yeah, Olympus is Thank yeah, you, Greek Olympus shit. Fucking like so market's gorgeous. gonna be chaos. Uh, it's gonna be chaos for about crazy. half a day, and then it, oh. the parts be, will become incredibly raven uh, because uh, there's this other cool trend in dojo decorating uh, where players it will become incredibly affordable. Culture, movies, TV shows, and uh, so you know, just give it a day. Really It'll sort itself out. The market will little... write itself very very quickly. Actually, this is the, the market of Warframe is a lot more corrective than um. Star Wars Get fans? Out of here. The other, than most other markets. Anyone? Wait, did they make a fucking Falcon. Millennium Falcon? Yes. Two scales. Yeah, that's the Falcon, right? This is the Falcon. You can just see Luke you training. Have the, they have the, the chessboard. Yes. Don't come for me, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember either. Yeah, yeah, this is the Falcon, <laughs> alright. Shit! They actually Where managed to make the Falcon. There's a floof thing. God damn. Okay, we're entering another in the sci fi realm of film. Anyone recognize that suit from. Alien? Yeah, that's the alien suit, yep. Uh, it doesn't just end here. Did they make an X-Wing? Please tell me they made an X-Wing. Queen somewhere in here. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> I'm sure someone's made <laughs> an X-Wing. Doesn't look like we're going anywhere safe and good, no. that's for sure. <clears throat> we're gonna fix some of this. Wow, they really went I balls know. deep with the effects. Well, we can. And down we go. Oh. I'm like afraid. Oh no, yeah. Oh boy. That's awesome. Is that so sick? The oh, they the they actually suit. made an alien queen? And how? One of those classic Raven Fox little details. How do you do that? Victim on the left there. Oh wow. Yeah. And of course, we had to showcase what the clan could do with an original design as well. This is their Guardian of Eternity that Three Claw, one of their lead architects, mm -hmm. created. It's impressive. Yeah, they have little floofs operating this, there's a word for this, observatory. 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 Yep. Look, more are arriving. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's impressive. It is, and this scale. Yeah. All Especially of this... going through all the, all the items that they can use to curate what they need I for have this. I three unfunded mm -hmm. boxes. Starting with the skybox. Mm -hmm. It's madness. We're jumping back to PC for our fourth dojo to check out 12 Olympians. Long live the king. Upon his throne. Mm -hmm. So this also just started with a skybox. That's wild. Name that movie. Yeah, so when I first saw it, I thought, oh, mine's a Moria, and then... <laughs> Yes, and we're going in. Absolutely. More door. 
So they've taken like a mix of seedist decorations of just natural rocks and yeah. infested. In space. Creative caves in space, guys. <laughs> oh. All of this. Those aren't even lava effects. They're a different. Damn! Someone made kind of they made Mordor. That one, yep. Just Holy made it look like lava. shit! I I can't mm -hmm. believe that actually is real here. And they made the burning eye. The scale. What the fuck? There's a movie. And it's a movie. Okay. I think it's so cute. So they created a little That's camera great. director's seat. And now this is an original work. The hell is this? Oh! Yeah, oh, it's net. It's frozen. it's it's the frozen throne. And if you make the long, they made Northrend. I don't. Holy know it. It shit! Look very inviting. It looks a little scary at the end here. It's a great slot. Uh, there's the Lich King. <laughs> they released. They released Titania Deluxe. And you can. It's available now. Into the kind of cave creation that they've made. There's oh, they actually more to explore okay, yep. what we've even shown here. Let me update the game. But, you know, gotta give everyone a little preview. Holy shit! They actually made Northrend. Yeah, no, this is, these are definitely That's incredible. Like, even checking out in person. We're now going to jump into a dojo from Warframe's Wii game server build. Meng Huang Guo Du translates to Dreamland, and we love how they've used more open space rooms to create entirely original landscapes. Okay, take a look. Whoa. Whoa. Already off to a crazy start. Whoa, yeah. goddamn. Huge city. We've seen Dreamland. cities before, Wait, isn't that, but I think isn't that a really scam NFT? the next level recently. Is that Wait, sorry, isn't that like a like scam? Uh, through. Mm. It's not just for looks. GoFundMe attempt? Yes. <laughs> I love this statue. <laughs> Can you say Oricon cool? I mean... <laughs> is that just Bala smoking a blunt? It's such like an an Oricon style statue piece. Uh huh. Uh huh. God. They even recreated their their weird dread hair stuff. Yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love it. So we're seeing like a very diverse range of styles mm -hmm. here. Um, we're gonna talk okay. more about how dojos make this kind of art, or dojo decorators make this kind of art in a bit. Mm -hmm. But those hamsters. They got some cool stuff. What is that, Big Zam? Cool no, never mind, it's just a space station. Got it all! And again... Cool space port, somebody's dropping a bomb on it somewhere. Yeah, a whole alien fight, and you can go through, and, and like they set up every single piece, every floorboard, every doorway, every computer, they place themselves. Oh, it's it, I love things that tell a story like you feel like you're looking at a frozen moment mm -hmm. in this battle. We're moving back to consoles. We're checking out an Xbox dojo called Dojo Prime. Great name. Yeah. And they, well, everyone who watches Primetime will know that recently the community team has been freaking out about shadow art. Um, that's what we call it. It's okay. basically when dojo decorators play with our in-game light and shadow logic to create some cool two right back. pieces. But there's a lot more you can do with this shadow and light, okay. as we'll see. Okay. So let's start things off with Dojo Prime's work. That's a shadow. Yeah, so they have placed a background and used our text boxes, which you just type into, mm. um, to create like blocks of color. That's unreal. Yeah, so you can use that glow there and then put decorations in front of it to like create the shadow effect you're seeing. One piece? One piece! And more anime. Oh yeah, I'm getting it. I'm like, I know these references. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. An original landscape to show some diversity in this dojo. They do a lot of stuff, like, so much. I can picture the clan sitting down for very important meetings here. Yeah. I'd be just, if I was in a meeting, I'd be distracted by stained glass. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, is... look at that. Yeah. Wait, what are we supposed to be doing? <laughs> exactly. A fountain. Yeah, and mm -hmm. what I appreciate about pieces like this is how carefully you have to work to like, make everything align oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, creating these circular structures must be a task. Yeah, it would be very time consuming. 
And now we're going to look at another style of that playing with light and shadow uh -huh. idea I was telling you about. Notes from Underground on PC is a master of that. And they've created this kind of style that we in the community have been calling Tron style uh -huh. rooms. Yep. And, also a fan of Tron. So. Yes, yeah. so more for you, Skyers. Yeah. And we've seen more of it coming up, like more Tenno are giving it a shot in their own dojos, but this is some of the earliest stuff we've seen of this look. So, let's see. <laughs> I'm like, what? So you can walk all through here. Like you've been... I'm, I'm just amazed, I'm like, how? How do they do this? That's amazing. It's wild. It feels like, Yes, this is a simulation. <laughs> we pierce the veil in this dojo. Going through warp speed. That's so cool. Yeah, I have to visit this one too. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, live on PC. You can go check it out. Okay, this room, we're looking at it from one direction. Are we going up, down, left, or right? Because I, <laughs> I don't know, but we're about to go the opposite way, and it's a different color. Okay. That's impressive. Yes. And that alignment again. And the spirally madness has not ended, Scars. It's and only begun. <laughs> yeah, we're all mad yes. here, that room's called. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay, pay attention to how this works out. Am I breaking on a break? Yes, Scars, oh, it is. There it is. It's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna notice maybe it's a little topsy-turvy as we come out this doorway. Are we gonna be on the ceiling? Yes! Oh, it's the that. same room you started in, but upside down. Wow, okay. Pew, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Nice. Yeah. Gotta have a strong finish mm -hmm. with that Tron-like space again. That's, an, that's so impressive. I, I had no idea <laughs> that I was going to come and look at those just like this today. Yeah. yeah. Well, we aim to please, Skyers. So yeah. We aim to please. Okay, our next dojo is Sky City. And they're going to finish us off with some more themed rooms. Are you a fan of Elden Ring, Skyers? I am that one person in the room that has not played Elden Ring yet. <laughs> well, but... fear not. I'm sure plenty of Tenno out there have, and even if you haven't, you're going to enjoy these yeah. designs. But there are some things you might recognize as inspiration from Sky City as we go through. This, the scale again. I like want to go and walk around in it. The scale of this is. And there's Very a impressive. dragon! This city, this poor city in ruins. Beautiful ruins. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, it's got levels. <laughs> <laughs> it's got layers it's to it. The verticality. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow. Yeah, so we're gonna get a closer look at what it's like to walk through this city in ruins landscape that's been so carefully set up. Of the golden roofs. Oh yeah. And now another of a similar feel. You got a tone change. A little tone some change. Blues going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is what they call Huge. It. Absolutely. This is uh, Academy of Rhea Lucaria. My school didn't look like this. <laughs> I wish, I wish. <laughs> now this is an original one because you gotta finish strong and show what this clan can do. I mean, this is huge. Yeah, yeah. It's wild. I'm gonna find my my uh, spacecraft in here. <laughs> you could get in there with a, a small jet. The the new little tiny little set come through. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, finishing off with that huge sci-fi ready railgun. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Beautiful. So those are all of our dojos for today. Uh, thank you all so much. We've blown away by them. I'm, 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 I had no idea. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> I hope you learned a little bit about what our Tenno mm -hmm. can do. I'm gonna have to visit a few of them. Yes. Just to get that scale, because like I can't. Yeah. 
I can't. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> yes. Well, fortunately, you can't do that because those dojos are live on the Star Chart all weekend. So please go check them out and let those decorators know how much we all love their designs. You ready for our next segment, Sai? Yeah, let's do it. Let's jump into it. Okay, so now we're going to be getting into the traditional art category. So the things you'll see in this section have been created with uh, physical media like pencils, ink, and paint. That's right. Well, let's kick things off with Irolia. Okay, so painted directly on a shirt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm very familiar with this character. Aren't you, Skyers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Skyers is Warframe Cora. I think it's a strong start to show mm -hmm, you this beautiful mm -hmm. creation. Yeah, it lives on a shirt. That's great. Out in the world now. Yeah. I'm man, part of the best part of this job is to see people do fan art of the work that we make and it's really cool to see this on a shirt. Yeah, you did yeah. an amazing job, Errol, yeah. We're gonna do the next one for today, Eggs Gaia. X Gaia created their own Warframe concept. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Frame, and their weapon talo. This guy looks like he's okay. a forger, and I love it. Oh, yeah. What have I missed? He's got, like, the lava going through. Yeah, it's super cool. Certainly. Yeah, you can see the you know, volcano just, inspiration. You know, I was just I out for a like bit. I feel like would welcome X Gaia. Nothing dramatic here. Yeah, I think yeah. that's I'm back. <laughs> Half an hour to go, folks. Half an hour to go. More fan art, even mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. I missed a lot, didn't I? All the detailed work in this piece with your oh, well. concept. Uh, let's see. I want to log into Warframe. Naxus has created the next one for us. Whoa. Where the sentience went. Titania Deluxe was a letdown. Is what? They put as a comment with this piece. It's very detailed. I'm like looking, I'm like, oh, okay. So it's, yeah, it's got the whole story in there. That's yeah, amazing. it's like yeah. the longer you look, the more yeah. you see. By the way, okay, I now have Our an R2 Amos. Wow. Tipton. Congratulations on your R2 Amos. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Skyers is very familiar with this kind of art. Yes. Well, oh, yeah, painting models and minis is like my... Oh, favorite. little figurines. So that's crazy. And I see we got there. We got Ivara. They're Mr. actually kind of dope. Loki Prime. There's <gasps> even a Lotus in there too. That's crazy. I know. They've created a whole collection and it's gorgeous. So we really appreciate this fine work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Miso is not happy about oh, you getting surely. R2 Amos yeah. Prismatic Falcon. No, show us how you're doing that. Not too. happy at all. Warhammer, but make it Warframe. <laughs> Next we have Mira Kassardis. That's incredible. You want to get Freedom yeah. Sworn? <laughs> Good luck. Saren, I mean... Saren Prime is a gorgeous like, design. So, love seeing artists... You sure you want to wail that hard? Or, you know, tell their own story. She's got a corpus tied up in there. Yeah, an yeah. unfortunate corpus. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, but fortunate for us because we get to so see So that's a for a prime, huh? So thank you, Casardis. As always, your work is magnificent. Titania. We have drone made now. Titania collection, with hey? Ember and Frost. So you get also okay. the. Uh, kind of like an opposite. Mm -hmm. Dana. Mm -hmm. theme. It's very playing card aesthetic. Like yes, it. I can see yeah, it. Yeah, no, now. I'm going to get it. Fuck it. Yeah, I and I, I'm, I'm always a fan I'm of this style of like the, the lines to create shadow. Yeah, yeah, the hatching, yeah. Hatching. I am so bad at that. So <laughs> I'm looking at it and appreciating it. It's like it's so nicely spaced and I can make out everything. I know for me, when it comes to that stuff, it's like it just turns into a mess. <laughs> so that's that's really cool. Yes, super yeah. appreciated. No, I'm just going to get it. Fuck it. We're on to Fuck the it. next one it. by Rina May Palma. All right, let's have a look at what we got. Speaking oh of shading. Holy boy, yeah. 
our only boy. Ooh. Yeah, so we have Harrow here. Uh, Ooh. And all Harrow's magnificence. Mm -hmm. Titania just Noble, obviously. Carefully done piece. Like you can yeah. just see how much time had to go into every detail. Oh, that's very good. Beautiful. Golden Shades has the next one. Uh, and their comment with this piece is, you are okay, I think with, and future. I think with this one, we want to go for as minimal as possible on the chest. It's very angelic. And then we try to go like Looking as opera extra yeah, you can see as we can on the shoulders. So I love that the operator feels like the powerful being. And then with the legs, we want to go extra as well. Thank you. Space child. Space child. Pyra is bringing us our next one. This no, not that one. Illustrative love letter to these two critters, and I wanted to test my knowledge of utilizing my markers to their fullest. First sketched in pencil, mechanical pencil, then inked with simple ballpoint pen. No, maybe not Taj. And then, of course, they used a colorless blender marker. Riv Elite Guard. Yeah, Riv Elite Guard. Ink laid before. And final Auxiliary. pass color with a Prisma. Oh, hell yeah. Prisma color primer markers mm. and oh, gel pen. Oh, hell materials, yeah. Materials, guys, yes, I yes. imagine. and I avoid them. And what's that signed data that we got? I'm very much a digital artist. Because <laughs> I like my computer. Oh, so this is not signed data. And it's impressive. Like, this is, the blending is beautiful. And we have one more piece in this category. What's that signed data that we got? Smallish Poppy 6. Another, Another hero. hero piece. Of course. We have micron pens, Prismacolor colored pencils, and a gold pen here. That's Wait, beautiful. And I what's like the sign down called? Tenno, like gold. You bought the skin only? Aesthetic on the edges. Did I just buy the skin only? I thought I bought the bundle. Yes, it feels like an Oricon homage piece. Almost yeah. like. Oh, I only bought the skin only? Threw it to something mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is all of oh, this category. Okay. So thank you, everyone. Oh, that's amazing. And Whoops. you can expect to see more gorgeous hand-drawn art in the future on prime time as well, of course. They got the sign data. Shall we move on to? I swear I did. Yes, yeah, let's do it. I'm pretty sure I went for the bundle. Yeah. What's it called? Gun home music. But I can't see it here. Rail to Sindana. Rapala Rakta. Apparently I didn't get it. It's on me? No, that's not the... Oh, apparently I didn't buy the bundle, I apparently I accidentally clicked on just the skin. Rip. Oh, you know why? Because I clicked on this. And I was like, yeah, okay, cool. And then I bought the fucking skin only and not the thing. Oh well. That's fine. That's fine. No biggie. I mean... You know what it actually looks like? It looks like the fucking Strike Backpack. The Strike Gundam Backpack. You know, that's what it looks like, man. Oh well. Oh well, it's a bit basic. So, what am I gonna put as a Cyanidana? Digital art was definitely the category that received the most submissions for the art show. We have a lot to show you here, a lot of good stuff. And we're starting things off with Naru Bonds. Support ticket? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't really care. Yes. Um, oh my gosh, I love that. No, that's going to clip like crazy. The trickster herself. They're all in there. <laughs> They're all in there, all the clothes. I was like, okay, one, two, and then the other one. <laughs> I'm here too. Yes, and she looks prime. The gold. Yeah. The posing is great. It Gives is. them all their own uh, personality. Which is yeah. really cool. It's really well said. Thank you, Narabon, for this stunning piece. And now we're going Ooh. to move on to Cret Du. There we go. Got it. Aww. I know. 
This is a classic Cret DUI piece. Okay, I'm what colors can I play around with? Say, guys. Very sweet, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I like I that. Like, I don't know, it feels like entering a fairy realm mm -hmm. or something, but with more frames. What's mm -hmm. not so much? And it's that moment when their <laughs> their horns are right about to touch. <laughs> <laughs> it's special. It's like they're gonna kiss. Yes. <laughs> we love it. Thank you, Cret DUI, for this and all the other gorgeous pieces you My do heart in this style. Grew two sizes today. <laughs> sure did. On to sand chomps. So this is an animated GIF, mm -hmm. and you can see the kind of Trivian. Uh, yeah, wasn't really expecting that. The price quest, that moment. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's really cool. A moment that stays with all us techno, I oh, think. Yeah. It's very deep. And sand chomps even said this is their tribute to the sacrifice quest, and they adored the theme of love. Ooh, that's brutal. On to Pie Raptor. Uh, Zaku. Zaku. They're in pieces, of course, mm -hmm. because the broken warframe is there. But I, I love how there's a quality of being broken, but also powerful in oh, this yeah. piece. You can feel the real, like they managed to keep the gesture in there, even after mm. doing all the amazing shading and stuff. And it, it feels, you can feel it moving and happening. That's great. Thank you, Pyra, Pyra Raptor. On to I'm so Carla fucking broke Griffith. this month. This month? There's too much. There's too much heart in all this. Like Just this month, eh? Yeah, with more frames. <laughs> who are these people? And the flower edition, mm -hmm. which all of us who know. Uh, the people who work at DE. Will appreciate. That's that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Great work of use of color too, and the lighting with like. Oh yeah, that's to be expected. Sun rays coming through and going across, leaving your eye. Yes. Did you get the? No, I did not. And Trinity, what a great. Turns out I didn't buy the right. bundle. I accidentally After just bought the skin. Morning, another warframe. Meg is gonna be fine. Yeah, <laughs> Meg fell in action, but Trinity will bring Meg back. Yeah. Fear not, folks. Yeah. Our next piece is by Nello Sart. Now, with regards to Cora Prime, the uh, the void qualities mm -hmm. since the Zeramin has opened up to Let's us. Have a look at we're seeing Cora Prime real quick because she does look a bit. I love weird. the new aesthetic that we've added to the game with all the spirals, and it's it's a really beautiful way. So that's Cora Prime, eh? And they've recreated it here very well. Mm, they have, yeah. even with a reflection. She looks Arabian. Of the Zeramin logo. There. Not gonna lie, that's I get Arabian cool. vibes from that. Our next piece is by Gerana. It's your girl again. More Cora love. <laughs> Our artists love her, I swear. So I think... Um, <laughs> it's not love. <laughs> and barely used great Cora. Deadly. Yeah. But I will farm for her prime parts. Cora. Yeah. Naturally. Done great job. And, and it's customized colors too. Mm. The blood red face, that's, that's really cool. Smart. Adds a lot to the mm. aesthetic of the piece. Our next piece is by Takaya Lee. This is epic. Once again, we're back in the void with the Zeramin. This is a great, like, poster aesthetic. Yep. Yeah. And with it, we now have a lot of flat to spend. Said, Together, we will save our <laughs> home, our Zeramin. What did you do, Soup? What did the hell? What the hell did it you just do? For a movie. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was like a movie trailer poster. Perfect for that. Awesome. Our next uh -oh. piece is by Ruv or Rev. <laughs> This is amazing. We were just talking about we more friends with clothes, and here we are. This is this is epic. Yeah. So all the boys and their Wait, what the? Sorry. cool, cool looking looks, looking spiffy as you should. What are you talking about? I feel like they've really chosen like human outfits that suit the work. Our paddle right, getting kind of boring. These are perfect. <laughs> it is the odd paddle. So I, want, I want Rhino kinda, as a personal trainer for sure. You kind of know what you're getting Sign into. Me up. Sign me up. So thank you, RV. There. Quite a trio. I have there. some excess plat. Awesome. Toasty tea leaf. Hey, hey, Moist, chuck some over here, why don't ya? Totally different vibe. Totally different. Yeah. We've gone okay. 180 degrees around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, it feels like Are you ready? Kiss of death, kind of. Toasty leaf, you nailed the vibe of You can't see it, but this anything. but it's 91. I'm about to purchase 91 relic packs, okay? Ready? Three, and Shadow two, brings our next one, piece. go. Another movie poster. Uh -huh. And this is actually an attempt at a movie poster in the oh, style okay. of the Nailing Duveri it. Paradox. Nailing it. So, very appropriate for Tanakon mm -hmm. this year. Yep. <laughs> she got the memo. Yeah, <laughs> clearly Shadrad knew what was I have about. no idea. Frivolous. What's Frivolous. in any of them? 
It doesn't matter. I will have a look later. I'm to there. see like what relics I have and what I can <laughs> potentially like, refine makes, like, OG. to start potential well, to start farming like, Coral Prime. Yeah. They've really used it they, well. well. We're not going to do that tonight. Mm-hmm. Or rather, we're not going to do that today. Of the cosmos. Mm -hmm. We'll do that like. Thank you, Frevelis, for doing Meg just later. Looks so cool. <laughs> and Art B Horant. Nah, I don't really order. care about selling prime cool. parts. I'm more interested in building the prime right? warframe itself. I promise, I promise, <laughs> I didn't just choose a bunch of chorus for Skyers. All right, that's it, done. <laughs> community so much work to us. We were, I mean, Julia and uh, Bonnie and I were obsessed. Amazing. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, a mix of the Tano <laughs> and the Lux skin inspiration here. Yeah, I'll get some sleep after um, Ten Alive in half an hour. Deadly whip. Mm -hmm. Twenty minutes. And it's a kind of I mean, like, Twenty minutes until Tenno Prime. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even look that far yet. That's now let's see what we got. Let, let, let me let me even look at what we actually yeah, got out of that because that, so that was the Warframe gotcha, ladies and gentlemen. That was the Warframe gotcha. Tenno Prime. What? Tenno Life. What did I say? No, Tenno Prime. The fuck is Tenno Prime? I, I mean, I wanted to keep both. Okay, here we go. Let's find so, out how, how many. Uh, went for the lotus. Let's find out how many coral relics I got. What did you choose? Uh, lotus as well. The okay. new design. Oh, is, like too cool to take out. Too. Oh, that's a pretty good spread. Uh, they're all magnificent. But Six just, of the rares. Either side. Oh mm. fuck I me. Six rares, nine rares. <laughs> yeah, Six I think it commons. Every. Six uncommons. Beautifully, <sighs> and but it has a uniting quality that yeah. I really value. Yeah. It's beautiful. Gamli. It's gonna be a tough one, folks. It's gonna be a tough Again, one. And we're going 180. <laughs> Can we wow. talk about how high? Oh yeah, I want to see. How, I want to see where I'm up to with yeah, uh, histics and shit, eh? Hey? right in front of that wave. Pathetic. Hey? So, how many relics do you have? Too fun. Oh wait, you so don't because you probably just bought Core well, Prime instantly, didn't you? I'm noticing all the little details. Uh, histics. I know we have. <laughs> we're moving on to plats. So I got four it uncommons, like ten rares. It's a good <laughs> two comments. Good, oh, yeah, yeah. good day for some adventures. Uh, and they said, my friends and I. Enjoy oh, hey, Razor X Gamer, how's it going? What did I miss so far? Everything. Yep, so. I got it. But you are 20 minutes. Are having a good summer. You are 20 minutes early. Gorgeous. We are going to be uh, watching Turn Live very soon. So, next piece. in the meantime, though. Mm. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, Mecha, the release Mecha Titania is out. By the design theory of the high, um, of so the that's a thing. Core Prime now is now available if you want to do that. If you want to get that. And had the idea um, of that design with Trinity. Oh, and there's also a Drifter hood um, that is available for your operator yeah, and your Drifter. I, like, um, I am mainly using it as an actual hood. So yeah, that? that's what we that's what we have at the I present moment. Absis to choose Chung Kang Q. No doubt about it. Oh yeah, I'll try and help kill your sister right now. Go and raise a wing? Yeah, super sure. Super it, super furious. I'll try and help kill your sister right now, Miso. Let's go. On our list. I won't be able to help you. I won't be able to help kill I mean, your sister I love in, um, driving. I love in the final railjack mission, though. Creatures but I can at least try to help kill your sister right now. The speed, the motion is coming yeah, through in no. this still shot. Yeah. And it's always impressive to see when somebody's gone in and rendered something so deep, like highly detailed, but it still has the energy and the motion in it. And they've done they've done a great job at keeping the energy of this alive, as well as like giving people a, a feast for their eyes. Yes, we've dined well in this piece. Ooh, let me see how this goes. <laughs> and in this, what, what am I using? Yeah. So thank you everyone for your digital art. We're now moving into Capsura. Power Titania, huh? I'm not gonna run on power titania because I'm just not good enough at using titania with shit like um thing I just yet. So I'm gonna swap over back to um something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with for warframes that aren't mag just for now. I just renewed. All right, ready to start. Change the primary color of Titania Deluxe to skin color. Capture allows players to create detailed images of their in game characters. Um, some of these are straight out of Capture, and some of these have been edited afterwards to create something truly unique. 
Yes. So our first start in this segment is It's True Blue. First start. There's only one start. But it's a great... Why is the word <laughs> sus band? <laughs> no, oh, we're in... You can blame soup for that. Very red, mm. dark. The framing is great on this. It feels like the start of an adventure. It's another movie poster. Another, another movie great poster. movie poster. Yeah, It's True Blue. You've done a beautiful piece here. Our next one is by VGC. Protea with her past actions behind her created by Temporal Anchor. That's really cool. Yeah. That's a fun effect to play with to create a picture. Can we I, use ducking to unban words? Protea no. Protea perfect for this. Mm -hmm. uh, I am so impressed by the action sequence. I have not set up what a reward structure for that. Gwanox has the next one. A capture I edited to give it an outrun art style. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm um, a sucker Sorry. for this kind of look, for sure. The synth wave look. The yeah. synth wave look. Yeah, yeah. That's what's in my headphones all yeah. day, I tell you. <laughs> Our next piece is by Purple Flirp. That's epic. Those wings. <laughs> Those wings. Yeah, it's scary. It's, but you know, I somehow feel like this character is on my side, even though I'm terrified, you know? It's here to protect you. Yeah. From darker things. <gasps> Tells a story. Mm -hmm. Rallin Capshura. Speedsters. Yes, so this is cover art for a version of Warframe if it was a sci-fi racing game. K-Drive Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Mm -hmm. And they a even included... A lot of cover colors, too, for this kind of thing. It is all the looks of Kate. <laughs> so thank you, Rowan Capture. This is a really good cool idea. Where is she? Yeah. Kaylee Emerald. This was their first capture they took with these wings. Oh, your wife, your wife came. No, you're favorite. very far forward. Kaylee. So this was like a one shot wonder mm -hmm. in the capture tool. Yeah. It's great use of Tenogen and some in house stuff. And the lighting is beautiful. I wonder where that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A single soft light coming down. I do sometimes look at Capture and wonder how much of it was in game and how mm -hmm. much was the editing. Mm -hmm. They merge things so nicely. Thank you. We're on to Medusa Captures. Hero Pose. I wanted to challenge myself to try something different for Tenocon. I wanted to pay tribute to the beginning of the Warframe story. Mm -hmm. The new Void Shell skins. Uh, faced or gave me inspiration for these stone warriors. They are that. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I see they replaced Meg <laughs> with Rhino. Rhino is also an early He's OG. Warframe. He's OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we respect it. Mm -hmm. And we've given Meg the glory that Meg deserves. <laughs> So here are all the guys and their super cool stone looks, mm -hmm. just like that intro cinematic quest. Yeah, that's great. Coraliva Crasta, a magic wisp as a siren mermaid. That's really cool. Coming out of the water like okay, that. Okay, can you expand the extreme window? Okay, More sure. Tenno Gen Love. More Tenno Gen Love. And the reflection is what really sells me on this piece. Yeah. I feel like sirens aren't necessarily kind, are they? The and that mood. comes through too. The mood is perfect on this. Yeah. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful Captura pieces. That was our last one. And we have another category to get into. All right. Shall we? Let's do it. Off we go. They released the full patch notes, or is that after Tenocon? Uh, if they haven't released the patch notes yet, it's probably going to come after Tenocon. I don't know. The physical art and props category includes very hands-on media like woodworking, clay, and 3D printing. 
Our first one is by Lord of Creepers 2. Ah. That's amazing. Yeah, so is they it, made... Tell me it lights up. Does it light up? It lights up. Oh. You got a picture of that? <laughs> yeah, well, that, you can see a faint glow here. Okay. We'll okay. have to... We're gonna need to do a whole slideshow of this piece to show you all its magnificence or something, because, yeah, it lights up. It is a model of the war. Mm -hmm. You have done yourself with this prop. That's amazing. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> you to go fight. You're gonna go fight some sentience. On to Specimen Delta's piece. Comey. I need one of those, too. <laughs> We're gonna deck out Sky's whole space, yeah, playing yeah. Comey with a war at your back. Mm -hmm ready to go. So they used a combination of 3D printing, woodwork, and hand ground charcoal. All right, congratulations. No, that's beautiful. They say, care to play a game, old friend? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, but. Please. <laughs> yes, please. All right, that should do the trick. I I'm going to jump out. Relationship after, not like in that <laughs> oh, quest. I, I, I'm, I'm ruthless with this. Oh, boy. <laughs> Noted. We're moving on to Fib Philip. Ugh. A model. Okay. What is this made out of? I need to know. We have this one made out of polymer clay, painted with acrylic, and fluorescent colors. Wow. Oh, I realized That's the game audio is not such a to warframe. Do. I worked on this character. and like, why y'all can't hear it. Doing it in the 3D model was a challenge, so to do it physically, that's a very impressive piece right there. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sure you can appreciate it more than anyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just like... I but yeah, Ra Razor Gamer, yeah, you can find the patch notes for like, um, the, the patch, that, like, the today's patch, the right uh, on the forums. You should be able to find it easily. So that's very impressive. And it measures around 28 centimeters or 11 inches. And they're going to make Wisp next, so they big. say. It's yeah. a decent size. A decent size model. Mm -hmm. And they have earned the Solaris Workmanship Award as a special acknowledgement of all of that. Congratulations. Yes. Well deserved. Milwa. Wait, so this artist managed to actually win. Um, oh, we got a flu. Oh no, I don't That's think they hero. won. They just they made so this thing up. Find themselves. That's fine. So it's especially worthy of the Clem's Choice Award. We love a charming piece like this one mm -hmm. with all that care and every stitch. Congratulations. Yes, huge That's congratulations. It's adorable. <laughs> it is. And now we're going to go to Ketamel's piece. Holy shit, look at that. Yep. Obviously, depicting that is uh, freaky. Void angels. It is 34 by 31 centimeters in size. Polymer clay, LED lights, mm -hmm. and acrylic paint. That's amazing. This is a perfect like representation for these things, like as a relief sculpture. Mm. Yeah, and the LEDs. I mean, oh, yeah. it would have been amazing enough without lighting. Yeah. But yeah. here it is. Yeah. That's that's really well done. Stunning, kind of. Nomad Arts, more polymer clay. So this is nine to 10 inches tall. They've made a few pieces. So uh, we Cora buffs like Garuda? To show you Does Cora them. even they, need they buffs? They make many of these out of polymer. And painted like, with What acrylic. part of Cora's, oh, Venari. It's wonderful. Is, and it's um, cool how she's like in a hero Yeah, Venari, and more importantly, I kind of was, I was kind of hoping they'd get yeah. rid of um, defensive Venari. I still don't find it all that useful. <laughs> Thank you so Good much, Venari. Amazing on that. Gorgeous. Aggressive Venari is and fine. Healer Venari is fine. Magic. Defensive Venari, oh, not terribly you. useful in my opinion. Magic I don't really care about disarming people when I can just kill them. Oh, yes, I saw this one. Why I, which is why... <laughs> Yeah. Magnetized discharge. I, I don't use it for the pu for the purposes of the pistol. discharge. I use it for the purposes of the fact the, that it affects magnetize. Uh, it says that you can like with some uh, texture. Uh, you know, end it on like demand. Like the actual bubble material there. The fact that you yeah, are disarming enemies yeah, on like mass. Like that's just. Well, that trigger. Mm -hmm. That's just a side effect. Go flying. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you, Magic Thighs. You have also been given the Solaris cool. Workmanship Award for this piece. That gun looks piece. pretty cool. Well deserved. Yeah. It was a fun design to work on and to come up with for your Oh, yeah? Yeah. So working with the weapons team, we're like, well, why don't we... Yeah, it's a bit of an icing on the cake, but it's completely unnecessary. I don't, I don't, I don't carry the way. Gun, so. 
We no? sent it. We sent it to concept, and concept came up with this lovely. If magnetized discharge yeah, lost perfect. the discharge oh, part, yeah, I can rather, imagine the chance. If magnetized so discharge lost that. the disarm, like our deadly tomorrow, gun. we love it. Our next piece. Watch me. A widescreen John. Not care. Multiple pieces. Yes. So this is a bunch of props that they've made for Warframe. One screen John is kind of like in the community team. We look forward to their next gun piece, you know? We, we see the recreations often on Twitter. Oh, these are really cool. It's impressive, like... Wait, did they actually make, like, a full-on, like... So, it's always really They actually made, like, a... Uh, take on the challenge and take it on... An so actual well. 3D Archiplasm. So oh, yo, that's real. dope. Oh, man, that's true. Actually, look at that thing. They have a full arsenal here. <laughs> It's crazy. And a, and a Our full last on piece for physical art and tenno is dip by off. Zeneca Tenno. Hiya, Tan. The fuck is that? That's beautiful. Isn't it so cool? Oh, it's an Iotan. Okay. So they said Iotan treasure inspired bronze sculpture took over 100 hours yep. with eight moonstones in a single Labradorite. Oh, and it jingles. <laughs> it jingles. That's beautiful. 10 bronze castings and 87 parts to complete the fabrication. That's amazing. I was wondering, I'm like, is that real metal or is it painted? But it's bronze castings? It's like as Ayatan as Ayatan can be in the mm -hmm. real world here. Mm -hmm. So that is a wonderful conclusion to this section. Our last category is going to be cosplay. Stunning. All right. To finish things off, we're going to look at cosplay. Uh, the section you'll see people that have taken on the task of recreating Warframe characters in real life. They sure have. First up is by Tal Jawa. They've said, oh, this is oh that's a real nice Nyx cosplay right there. Skin. It took around two months to make and Don't it cross -play. Of EVA cosplay. Foam, foam clay with some LED lights in the helmet. That's amazing. It's amazing. And the helmet lights up. <laughs> This is like, it's the cosplay and art panel, dude. Relax. Easy no. Real you're expecting no, cosplay here. Where they take it to another Wait another five minutes. That this person is then we will that. be in. Is, are, do we have other photos of this, or is this just the one? I think this might be the only one. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I know. I we want more. Yeah, Tweet us more. more. <laughs> yeah, we love it. Yeah. Stunning. And the weapon, too. Right, it's not like they, I mean, just did a Warframe. That would be crazy enough, but they also made a weapon to complement it. That's really beautiful. Beautiful. And they've been given the Solaris Workmanship Award as well. You barely see anything with Titania's neon auxiliary wings. We're going to look at the women's piece. <laughs> they said, a cape-type Limpo Prime cosplay for a very special <laughs> guinea pig. This is great. What the, really I've never what the hell is this? A hat in my life, and here it is. Limbo Not Prime as a hat style? Limbo, Limbo Prime. Prime hat. The fanciest hat. I can't get enough of it. Obviously, for such a good guinea pig, it had to get the Master T. Sanai Award. Thank you for sharing <laughs> this gorgeous pet cosplay. This is adorable. I don't know, Shin. All I gotta say is, uh, the get good. Pig had a good time having all these snacks in the shoot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> now we're gonna finish things off with uh, a cosplay by Arboreal Key. Oh, that's a cosplay? So Fuck, look it looks like, like a render. Or what? For a second there, I was like, this is in the wrong area. <laughs> oh, so, a, God, more time damn. Certainly. Yeah. And we've seen this cosplay before. Mm -hmm. We've seen it on Twitter before, um, but since we last saw it, they've added claws, they've added more details, and obviously they did a beautiful shoot. It's a great photo shoot. Yes. And they're working on a NYX Deluxe mm -hmm. for TwitchCon in Amsterdam. Yeah, I have to keep my eye out for keep that. Keep our eyes out. I am blown away by this one. It's stunning. So naturally, this piece wins the best in show award. <laughs> Can't argue with that. No. Can't argue with yeah. that at all. Yeah, it's so yeah, good. It looks like fucking. It looks like Captura. It's like clean. It's got some God. grime on there. Wow. Obviously. That's really good. It's a must. <laughs> it's a must. Yeah. 
That concludes the TennoCon 2022 Community Art Show. Thank you to everyone who submitted. I can't tell you enough how much Julia, Veronica, and I enjoyed. All right, everyone, here we go. Uh, and I'm we have been so streaming happy for nearly I'm nine hours. It with all of you and with Skyers. And it, ha and it has been basically an, an all nighter. Yeah. No, it's been a huge time. Time has finally arrived, yeah, folks. Artists working on the team. Ten alive. To, to be able to create something and then have it released into it's the three world minutes. And see people interact with it, and even go out of their way to do their own art based off of it. It's really re-energizing. And that's, thank you so much for that. It's been amazing to see all this. And I hope you all enjoy watching the rest of TennoCon 2022. Bye. Bye. This has hey been a good day for Doggy Fong. here to let you know that by watching this year's show this is on a Twitter, good day to die. you're going to earn yourself some incredible free items if you have your Warframe and Twitch account linked. Watching TennoCon until 5 p.m. Eastern Time for 30 consecutive minutes. I need to abort the mission. Both the Veracruz. Yeah, you don't need to continue. You don't need to complete the mission to continue with the sister the shenanigans. Hell? Tune into Tenno Live between five yeah. and Yeah, don't forget to log in, folks. Time for if you if you have access to Warframe, minutes, if you can access Warframe right now, free you might want to jump in because free, um a free Prime. Warframe. Yeah, because the special relay is going to show up. And your Warframe account linked and received drops before on Warframe streams, then you're all set. But if you've never linked your Warframe and Twitch account together, simply go on over to Warframe.com/twitch. Log into your Warframe account and follow the simple instructions to get set up. Do you get anything for the relay? No, you don't really get anything for the relay. It's just that you get a better idea. Hello. You get to have a better look at like what's coming up. You're a Sanskate floof. What? I'm a bowler roller. So you're not really okay. doing it for re really for rewards. You're mainly just doing it so you can check out the cool shit. Um, Want to talk about some things? Flippers. And like in like whatever angle you want. Flippers. Yeah. So, um, maybe not. But maybe if chat buys enough stuff on the Warframe store. We'll be able to turn back? Maybe. Did you know that we have TennoCon merch? What? Yeah. When did this come out? It This morning. But it's not the morning anymore. Is it still there? We've got a wake up Tenno mug. Oh my god, I hope it's still there. Because like, how am I oh, going to know? Oh fuck, I need that wake up Tenno mug. I have a mug that doesn't okay. Tenno I need that. Don't panic, don't panic. I need that okay. mug. We've got a Warframe lamp. Maybe that's still there. I love lamp. We've got, uh, yeah, Mesa t-shirts, we've okay. got a Neja and Wukong t-shirt, a Rhino t-shirt, a Yureli t-shirt. You yeah, like t-shirts? Really we good. got t-shirts! <laughs> Tentacle merch pack, you can still buy so it. So apparently the Daviri Amphitheater is actually going to be mask on, your chest. on Earth. In-game, you get like a cool little charm and stuff. There's so much that's in it. We've got an Excalibur bobblehead. Hell yeah. A Sunny Popper floof. A Teshin statue. I love Teshin. He is really cool. He's got two swords, which... Wait, like, is it available now? Considering I have no hands, that's more swords than I can hold. You I know what? It's worth it. Join the really? Daviri Appy Theater on Earth when it goes I live in five minutes. Ride, possibly. I'm not sure. I'll be honest with you. It's still June. <laughs> um, so the Daviri Appy Theater may very well be coming to Earth. Uh, wait, it's available now. Out, it's not my fault. No. And, wait, what? Uh, yeah, so you could go it is now available now. Con, and I'm going to try and figure Daviri out Daviri Appy Theater. Anymore. Cool. Bye. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I think it's just a relay. Hey, Tenno. Danny here. We're getting so much closer to unveiling some incredible surprises. Tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll be opening up the Duveri Amphitheater Orbiting Earth. It's available now. Join your fellow Tano for yeah, check quest alerts, everyone. Very unique experience during the Tano Live presentation. As a special thank you for joining us for TennoCon today, for the next 48 hours, you can claim a special Operator and Drifter cosmetic, the Stranger's Hood. This it's on Earth. Cosmetic is available oh, right shit. Now on all platforms in the in-game market for one credit. Be sure to log in and claim yours. Bye, Tenno. The movement is so crazy in this game, man. I'm a fish from Deimos. Like a brown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like oh my god, look at this place. Ooh, that's a look. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to All Stars Warframe. This is incredible. A competition of Warframe's greatest challenges fashion, interior decoration, budget cosplays, and of course, combat. My name is Earl T. Kim. Also this place is not. This place looks wild. Today's competition. Wait, you see something different? Thank you to the Warframe devs and. What? Do you see something different? Fun we're about to have. This is the Daviri Amphitheater, baby. Now. It's time for some All right, pick us. Fame. All right, everyone. Everyone, find a seat. I'm not going to take first. I'm not going to take front row seats, but I do want to be in the middle. Cottage core. Bad and bougie. Tactical.
Act a cool. Act a cool. So cool. We're in the shadow realm, baby. All right, we are in the shadow realm. On the clock, and let's get them in. Okay. You know what's gonna be the bad? The bad's mm. gonna be the whip. The ice cold sort of vibe. I think it whips. Mine is in color. In the forest. Oh yeah. I think you guys have managed to get something very strange then. Okay. I like that she's got the bow too. Very nomadic. Oh yeah. Energy. This is ballroom. Need to touch that. Oh, that's a look. Uh, can you show us? Can you show us on um? Discord, what what you guys see? Your selfie shots. Where are we gonna go? Gonna go to Show us on Discord what you see. It's gonna be a nice. I'll, I'll, I'll put it up on um. I'll put it up on the stream so that we have uh, some context as to what you see. Right up on the cliff here. Pose for it. Yes, yes. Go. Work it. Oh. Boom. Are we good with that shot? Tacked a cold as ice. All right, chat. Which team was a 10 and which team was a no? Poll is live. Oh, that is the final score. Congratulations, Embers to Ashes. I feel like that went really well. We're going to be getting into a little bit of gameplay. Okay, let's go. We're going in. The goal here is for me to do the headshots, Charlazar to just go ham, just blow it all up. Mm -hmm. mm. What is this? Some sort of weird PvP shenanigan? Back up, back up. Yeah, crushing it. You see an enemy, just cut through him. So I initially thought my four went through the bubble, but I don't think it does. The movement is so crazy in this game, man. Yeah, yeah. True. That was like one of the first things that I ended up falling in love with this game. Oh wait, where am I going? Wait. Oh, it's this way. Oh man, where did you go, laddie? I lost you. Wait, through a door. <laughs> <laughs> to the green, to the green. To the green. Yes, get there, get there. Which way did you go? <laughs> oh, another beefy. Oh, got God. a minute and a half left. Get those final kills in. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Get oh, back, yes. get back, get back. Get out, get out, get out, get out. You're making space right, mom nervous. Up. 10 <laughs> seconds left, 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All righty, and we'll call time for that. Next, we've got our competitive Orbiter Interior Decoration. Our themes today are Boogie, Level 5 Enemies, Keck W, Paradise, and Beach Vacation. As far as I can tell, they're probably... <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure one of them has actually been playing Beach Warframe for a while. It is. <laughs> Let's get, get into, into it. it. Now we need to get our colors going. I'm gonna get some bright yellow. I'll throw some oh. lighter green in here to kind of give like the plant aesthetic. Maybe yeah. like some lime palm trees. I also want to start with the sand, but on the sides, we're gonna go with the blue. Let's get the ocean water in Ooh, here. Yeah. I'm liking this as a base. Decoration. Do we have any okay. decorations? If you had some beach balls, that'd be perfect for this. Oh, I'll get a planter right here though. I'm gonna get a couple of these probably. Hold on. <gasps> what is that? Those are the little jellyfish. Let's get our beach towel laid out. You see it? Okay. This is where we hang out. Look at that. Ooh, hold up. 40 seconds. Oh, here we go. No, we're going to tree up here, almost like a palm tree. <laughs> all right, let's get ready to take that photo now. I'm liking it. We got all the crabs. Can't really do be pulling an all lighter. Yeah, right man. There. Oh, I love that. Dude. You know, that we, we had moments where I was thinking, yeah, I don't want to. I can't lay down. But I don't want to, you know. Action. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't want to continue with this all night. I want to take a break. Ooh, but, uh, beach vacation. Fuck it. Yeah. I don't know. We did the whole thing, is. man. This is the final tally, so I believe the victors are Embers to Ashes, first Let's place. Go. Let's go. I'm hearing that the leaderboard is finally ready, so we can see the results of who is victorious for All Stars Warframe. Oh! In first place, we've got Embers to Ashes with 360 points. Well done! <laughs> Let's go! Thank you for bringing yourselves, thank you for bringing your spirit, and thank you for bringing all of your energy. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Chat, is your body ready? Is your body ready? The time has finally arrived. We have one minute and precisely 30 seconds left. Let's go. Get the big stretch. 
Tectone is streaming Warframe right now? Bullshit. Tectone? He's getting in on the action too? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. Go to the back right of the map. Go to the back right of the map. There is a goat? Back. Back right. Over here? Or do you mean the other back right? Oh! Yeah! Oh shit! Ha! There it is! Alright. Here we go, folks. Let's start the countdown when it reaches 10, okay everyone? All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Show us the good stuff. Oh, hello and welcome. <laughs> it's scuffed already. Oh, that was a sick intro, Dean. That's yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to Tenno Live, the end keynote of TennoCon 2022. Here we go. Today. Woo! Hey, we did it, chat. Yes, we managed to pull an all-nighter. Oh, so yeah. Anyone radiating heat at a level that's... This is embarrassing, though. No one showed up. I know, no one showed up. Yeah. Hey, where is everybody? Uh, we were going to have the DE staff here to have like a pseudo live audience thing. Mm. We made it work. This is... Um, luckily, we were able to get a nice stage put it's together. Cool. The I event love team this. made this feel, awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. So we're so bad is just us getting yeah. Yeah. indulged in it. It's quite uh, empty, but it, <laughs> yeah. you're here. Twitch There's chat. like six people. Hey, you too. Thanks for being here. If you're watching, welcome. And thank you very much for joining. We we have about an hour of Warframe to talk oh, about here. Do. So we're gonna do some intro, some housekeeping, just saying hi. Uh, I love housekeeping, it's the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you? <laughs> that's, that's, that's my favorite part of everything. <laughs> Scott's yeah. got a beer, okay. I don't, we're already oh. off to a I need a beer uh, after beer. all of this. No, no, I need whiskey after all this. Where's my beer? <laughs> Bloody hell. We'll get you one. No, it's okay, I'm good. Okay. Anyway, welcome, uh, my name is Rebecca. I will be somewhat running the show here with Megan. Hey guys, back at it. <laughs> We're back. This is your third live show Since today. This is my third live. I feel like I've done them both. Okay. Totally joking. Totally joking. <laughs> <laughs> totally great, okay. uh, but anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really do have a lot to go over, and we are going to get started after you guys want to introduce yourselves. You who know, are you? Who are you? Oh, you guys know us, right? Yeah. Well, you might. People might not. Shave this might a be minute. This they don't recognize you. You shaved your beard. Okay. 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 Yeah. So I did shave. Uh, uh, for anyone who's wondering, I did the, uh, mute uh, my game audio on OBS. That's why you won't be able to hear any game audio. That our team has figured that would make it less interruptive. Um, I shaved my beard because I'm just excited. <laughs> okay, uh, great. That's that happens when you Thank get you? excited. I'm just, now get I'm just start shaving places. What the? <laughs> Stop the we... Okay. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Next up. Uh, I'm Jeff. <laughs> we, had, we had a Jeff with a G. We had a uh, rehearsal last night, and um, I just, a, a construction crew cut the fiber optic cable yeah. that connects us to the office, and that was exciting. I was recovering yes. from my booster. I don't remember last night. And Jeff said he doesn't remember because he just had had his booster. Yeah, I was kind of yeah. 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 You were Needless cranky. to say, I was cranky. Life, <laughs> yeah. life has thrown everything at us for the past 24 yeah. hours. We yeah. lost six hours of internet to do builds and get everything ready for the live gameplay demo. Yeah. But Canada we're here lost now. internet. They lost. Six Six hours of internet? Oh, that's yeah. brutal. Anyway, we're here now. Steve is joining us. Hello. Yeah, hi, I'm Steve. Thanks for, for tuning in. And the most sunburned and man. I'm, I'm, I'm on really the burnt. I'm Scott. Oh, can we go tight on Scott? I'd, no, really, no. I'd really love to see that burnt. No, no, no. 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 no I don't. I don't, I don't I was, Scott's man, was as red as a fat tomato, man. What happened, happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. Uh, let's get things started. As if this stressful situation couldn't get stressful enough. Tenocon. We are so. kicking off our seventh Tenocon. We always uh, ended with what was really started as a live audience dev stream. So mm -hmm. we did that for a while. And then we did a digital 
partly because of COVID, and now we're back to sort of the dev stream, but there's no live audience, so, you know. We're almost there. We're almost we there. We got a stage. We we're got a stage. There. Maybe next year we'll be back to normal. It won't. You Scott, Scott, you and I could just go out into the no, other thing. No, no. Okay. Get like a mosh pit going. Yeah. Yeah. But this is actually a great time to be a live audience member in-game. If you haven't logged into the Warframe mm -hmm. game, all platforms, the Duveri Amphitheater is now live. Yeah, don't forget, this thing is a thing, you folks. Megan's screen, you could probably see it. It's there. Um, D, if you want to do it live. I don't know if you want to. Maybe yeah, not. I don't know if he wants to. I don't, he just no, doesn't seem fine. to want to. That's fine. <laughs> Dean, Dean is the heartbeat behind everything, so we'll, he's, in, he's in control. Um, but the live uh, Duveri Amphitheater is there. We have a um, partner experience for the live gameplay demo, so if you're in-game, you will be treated to an in-game uh, Partner I'll swap over to the in-game um, screen yeah, when that this is happens. Your I couldn't think of a better word. Did you just make that up? Yes. Yeah. It's a horror word. It's a new word. thing just to catch on everywhere. Yeah, Partner, I'm like, you just made that up. I've been <laughs> rehearsing metaverse jokes for this stream like for about but six months. Make... But you just you just killed it. You just were so good with that. Yeah, Partnering like... experience. Anyway, uh, speaking of <laughs> partnerships, we always have uh, wanted to turn TennoCon into something more than just about games. We wanted it to be a charity event. And oh, seven yes. years running, we've got to do a charity partnership. And each year, you know, we get to contribute to an organization in Canada that we firmly, firmly believe in their cause. And this year, we are thrilled to announce that thanks to the generosity of the community and just the year-over-year -year, uh, TennoCon uh, momentum, we're donating $200,000 to Inspire. Yay! Jesus. Whoa. So extremely, yes. extremely, extremely exciting. That's this a lot of money. Incredible organization. I don't know if you want to say a bit more God about damn. Inspire. But That's a lot of money. We were able to get a video from them this morning uh, yeah. in our intro, but otherwise. Yeah, they're a national indigenous charity who help uh, First Nations all around Canada, education, okay. getting them started. So really uh, special organization that we've had the privilege to talk to you and be able to donate this. And we have exclamation point donate in Twitch chat. 200K, to donate 200 CAD. Every day throughout the stream, uh, appreciate it always. Yes, so thank you everyone. Uh, very, That's 225,000 we'll Australian dollars. Yeah, so in the community. Okay, that's awesome. Yes. Yep. Uh, and we had a couple live segments today. Uh, we had a run of show. We had an order, but then yeah, that's two hundred twenty-five thousand Australian dollars. Safe folks, questions. Just for so that's a lot around. of money. Let's to address it <laughs> right now. <laughs> like we were gonna do like a bit of. It's canceled. We're not doing it. Whoa. No. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like I'm at my like stress and nerve limit, and then we just go live, and yeah. somehow it's we just fun. crank it up a bit. See, the, yeah, we'll make it worse. It's like a test. It's, yeah. it's, I feel like I'm. We change your mind. No one wants it. I, no, see, there was not enough people in ch Twitch chat asking. I mean, in the end, you just want to that get that video right, voice. so you do just have to sort of read from a script. Why are you fighting? Because it's like uh, it's your fault. Because they're, pro they, they're probably not they're probably not, they're probably not that great at presenting and like sort of riffing. You know, <laughs> this is like a, I don't really what's super blame them for just reading like this. This is the start of my Joker arc. That's for sure. Okay, all right, all right. But nevertheless, um, so crossplay cross save. It's been a year. There's a boat coming. We showed you the work in progress. That's right. Versions of it all. We had the mobile build. We mm -hmm. had cross play working. We had cross save working. And That's then we right. were saying in development, stay tuned. So now we're in the stay tuned phase. And we are essentially at the point now where the next thing we're going to do is, well, twofold. First is cross play is coming first. And we're starting community stress tests very soon, mm -hmm. which means we're going to be picking some platforms. The community team and the tech teams and the dev team are all going to work together to spin up true live tests for crossplay. So this is oh. something that the community team will have posts up about to give everyone a window into what we're doing. Okay. It's going to be happening soon. TM. Soon, soon. soon. Okay. Classic. But <laughs> Warframe is a game that has spanned many years, and there's a lot of systems in Warframe. And as we released platform over platform, we introduced things like Barrow. We introduced, uh, you know, uh, relics and all of these different systems that are per oh, database right. timers. Yep. So if you play on any console platforms, you know that you're two weeks behind Barrow Key Tier's offerings. He's one of our in-game vendors. He shows right, every two tier. weeks. <laughs> you're, basically a rotation, you're basically a rotation late from us. Really breaking some bones and resetting those mm -hmm. timers. Yeah, so July 29th, that's our goal. We're gonna do what we're calling a Barrow parody event. That's literally two weeks from now. Same place, same time, but he's going to catch everyone up uh, more, more so console. Razor X Gamer, thanks yeah, for the follow, uh, thanks for the subscription uh, so on YouTube, actually, thank you. Is bringing the same thing 
for everyone at the same time. Um, because, yes, we Hashtag Barrow Pero. So we know for a fact it's not going to happen before the end of the month uh, because no, they're going to do this parody this, event. Like Reb said, basically but that's fine. sync all the things that have timers, vendors. So this is going to be a full everything. reset on Barrow Katia. And then I'm guessing maybe barrel pair next this. month they're going to do the internal wow. testings. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to do the, the, the community yeah, testing. Some new stuff as well, uh, but the goal is to obviously just have that so, synced across the board. Come on, one man. barrel for all and just... Bring it off. And that logic is going to be applied to everything, yes. um, whether or not you're getting the same, you know, nightmare missions, all of the mm -hmm. things that are systemically Sorting generated. Things. We have to unify them all yeah. so that crossplay will work. This is going to be part of the stress test. And then after crossplay is proved to. Can you, you know, not be a horny creep can, for one second? I am recording this for YouTube, okay? We'll pave the road for um, other things. And we are actually starting a mobile friends and family test. Yeah, it's live yeah. right now for our friends for and staff. family. So yeah. we have a lot going on behind the Wait, scenes. Wait, what? The order of operations is crossplay test stress tests are coming very soon. very soon once all of that is sorted out we're going to take our development time going over anything we find we're syncing things july 29th barrow is going to start his parody mm -hmm. events and then once all of this is good enough to go wide then we get the cross save uh, bullets in the chamber so mm -hmm. we can start launching that so that's awesome. okay that's awesome yeah. okay cross that's save bullets in the chamber that's just Jeez, very yeah. good that, okay <laughs> our partnership between bullets and chamber okay oh, cool, cool, cool 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 wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I guess I guess we weren't going to get so cross players available now, first, but still, I feel like it's a huge task. Pat, like the amount of people that want cross play and cross save, we had to move it to the front of the run of show because it is such a key part of what keeps communities it's gonna together. Be, it's going to be a great but feature. It, yeah. we, we don't want to we we don't want to f it up. We don't want to launch cross save and then all of a sudden you turn know, it off immediately and then have to turn it off and then yeah. some poor Tenno's account is lost in eternalism of the version of them that didn't get you know <laughs> rescued. Oh, rescued. So <laughs> Jesus Christ, wow. red scene in the news. Oh my God, <laughs> very bad. Oh, oh my god. Hey. All yeah. right. Okay. But anyway, so we're starting with parody event. Yeah. Uh, and then we have also, I think there's also like relay destruction things that have yes. to get synchronized as well. Yep. So bringing the databases kind of. Oh, yeah. Off we go. Yep. Okay, great. Awesome. Yeah. Some relays we're are going to have to get blown up. Yep. That's how we go. Okay. Cool. There you go. That's the update. Well, or it's cancelled. Uh, I think, well, considering that they are like um, Jeez, major, it's <laughs> major like borderline lead okay. community directors and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, we are going to. I want to take a guess and say about a hundred thousand. Oh. As we do. I think if they probably make a lot of money. To see. Because they have to pretty much deal with all of us. Launching a giveaway. You have to enter. You better make sure they get paid enough to have to deal with all of us. Yeah. Computer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's this? Jabiri, uh huh. Oh, it's the PC. That was won by some dude at the start of Tenocon. Right? This was won by some. No! No, this is a different PC. It's a different PC. Sign up today. <laughs> it's a bit late to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is the first time Sheldon's seen this. I've never seen like, that thing. So right? that, we about need it. a banana for scale. So where do you plug your... That's a four foot tall. It's almost red side. Wait, wait, this is a different PC. <laughs> <laughs> it's even yeah, it looks different to the one that was given away like four foot tall at the very start of the, by of the convention. By AK Mod. They have built this one-of-a-kind custom oh, it PC. it looks amazing. There's because it's so Jesus Christ. It's incredible. This is actually a Gleam giveaway, and it's going to be live until August 16th. So if you're into that, you can just... Just do exclamation point giveaway and it'll get you a nice little link uh, so you can you, you can't win it if you work a digital you can't stream win it. i'm sorry you cannot win it okay. i'm sorry but, but you put could. an order in for one yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exclamation point giveaway get all the information on it uh again august 16th you have until then wow. so get yourself a chance at a four foot tall <laughs> Thurman 10 Zero PC. One of a kind. That tower. Amazing. It's insane. That wild. Amazing. Yeah. Honestly, amazing work uh, putting that whole Beautiful. computer and giveaway campaign together. Good job, team. That is the nice. <laughs> best computer I've ever seen and will never have. I know. It's like out of reach. It hurts. We give.
But it we, hurts. And this is the internalism where we don't get the joke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we don't know. We could. Wow, we could. We could. Yeah. Internalism right. jokes. Love we it. We had a lot happen today. We did. And at 4 p.m., something really exciting happened. We deployed a update on all platforms today. Uh, if you haven't got it yet, you can download ah, it. Ah, yes, the Titania yeah. Deluxe yeah. update. Mm -hmm. It's on Earth. But and yes, the yeah, Cora Prime update, which, of course, I now have. Cora Prime. She's out. She's here. Whoa. Core Prime Access. We That's debuted crazy. it on the art panel. Little tease. You yep. were there. Seems to do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Did you spoil it again? <laughs> Either way, it's um. Just I'm sure the again, website sure. will be up. But, um, uh, the, the details uh, will be very easy to find. Maybe we should show the Prime trailer. Oh, we have a Prime trailer. Oh, sure do. Sure we have a Prime yeah. trailer. Spoil. None of them truly understands how much I lost. When I lost her, nor by what subtle art my dead love now lives within another's gleaming skull. Wait, so hold on. Tonight, we shall celebrate. So the narrator is actually and mine. The dead ballast. Unveil a new creation, a harmony of mistress. And monster. Get him, Venari. Oh, gameplay footage. That's new. It's normally like hyper, hyper cinematic. That's not a word. Was that Vesso? No, that was not Vesso. No shot was that Vesso, because if that's Vesso, then he's dead again. Oh, there's the strangle dome. An apex predator. A deathless companion. Unsurpassed. Blood raw in whip. Claw and fang. Sure her ass. <laughs> nice. That's like, yeah. That's like posing amplified. I right? know. Pose. <laughs> Core prime. <laughs> That's how I'm going to show my butt from now on. Yeah. We will not be showing any butts on this no. stream. No butts, no butts. The trailer does make her look cool. Yeah, it does, eh? All right, so that is the Core Prime Access trailer, again launched today. It did. You know what we should also launch? What else should we launch? A giveaway. Oh, 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 yes. oh yeah. Yes. Yes. I think it I should. Propose. Propose. The first one. And you're yeah. the closest, so you, you're oh, going to have to read it. You're also the only one with laser we eye can't surgery. Really <laughs> ask Sheldon to do that. Oh, yes. Wait, who's <laughs> putting the camera rig there. in front of their camera? You have to go get a snack. Go now while Sheldon tries to read the giveaway. We're going to give away a Core Prime Access to one lucky Twitch viewer. Here Let's go. go. All right, here we go. You. The answer is. Oh, it's scrolled by. names. Oh, face jump. Fuck. Face jump. Face jump. Face jump. Hey. Oh, PH. Jump. PH like us. PH. A's jump. PH. Play, placeholder. 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 A's jump. So face <laughs> jump. You have just won the first Cora Prime giveaway of the year. Congrats. She launched today. The Prime access is all Way yours. Just we'll whip, whip, whip. Wow. Page and we'll hook you up. We'll the you first up. ever. So yeah. <laughs> key art. We can show. Yeah, they spelled my name wrong as well. Yeah. Her and all her beauty. The team did a fantastic yeah. job. It's a conspiracy, right. isn't it? They just put in fake ass Prime. names, huh? That's cool. It's got the Hystrix yeah. Prime, the Dual Carries Prime, uh, Alternate Prime Helmet, which is really awesome. Mm -hmm. Just all hot. So beautiful. Oh man, I love that trailer. I love, just love this yeah. design and just listening to Ballas. Yeah. Scott, Scott was saying he could listen to him just like reading bedtime stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you're not yeah. alone in the community yeah. Yeah. for that. He needs uh, like a redemption arc, maybe. Like, <laughs> new war kind of. Don't spoil it. He's not so okay. Never yeah. mind. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Some people haven't played the new war, but you should. But you okay. haven't yet. That's okay. Maybe, maybe that was redemption. like his. Hmm? There's always possible. room for redemption. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe he's got like a twin brother. Yeah. That's, oh, you know, yeah. like way more lovable. Family. All <laughs> right. Separated at birth. One was, yeah. you know, lived in a cabin. I need like cabin. a light switch, like an elementary school teacher. Like <laughs> <laughs> we start quiet down. Quiet down. Quiet down. Quiet down. Oh, 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 yeah. Quiet time now. Quiet time now. Yeah. Quiet time. Quiet time now. Wave. Yeah. Yes. But we also launched today. If you're a fan of, oh, actually, oh, if you're watching and you have your account linked, you can get Titania Prime for free. Yeah, oh. 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can get Titania Prime for free. Uh, what a perfect time to also release Titania Deluxe. Is a deluxe skin. 
everything's there. Which also showed in the art show, but you don't remember that. Uh, I yeah, told us like that was, um, trust him, but, um, you know. Don't trust don't him. Don't trust him. Organized <laughs> together. <laughs> yes, the, oh, there it is. Look at the key art. That was amazing. Yeah, wow. that was amazing. Oh, yeah. man. I do love Very that cool. so it's much. Got the Lux razor wings and everything. Dex Pixel. So all you have I actually do like this skin. skin. No, 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 no. It no, looks no, pretty no. dope, eh? No. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought that's you how it works. It does look pretty dope. This skin is conveniently available. Should you be interested to ben, use your new you? a skin on Rick your Rick Attella loves this. <laughs> he just loves this. <laughs> it, listen, it was so. He's just clapping. Yes. Who is? <laughs> mm, never mind. Never mind. Oh, okay. We're good. We're Sorry. Good. All right. Can't um, help myself. Yeah. So that's mm. all live in uh, the update today. That's all live and going live tomorrow. We did announce, uh, pre-announce at this, but Nightwave Norris Choice Volume Two mm. is going live tomorrow at the classic weekly reset time for us is 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, but we have a new Nightwave. She's going to have some new cosmetics, mm -hmm. bring back some old ones as well. Good. And if you're unfamiliar with what Nightwave is, it's basically like a kind of season's pass. We used to have an alert system, but we took that out and now we do Nightwave. So it's voiced by Nora Knight, which is uh, super fun. And it's just a, a nice little free path for some cosmetics. Yeah, battle pass round two. Sword. Here we go. We do axe uh, yeah. every Yeah, intermission round really 503. Let's go. We're playing the game. Launch tomorrow. Nightwave. Nightwave, baby. I wonder if they'll ever do another story one. All right. Uh, we usually start a little bit more on our Tenno Lives with a little bit of a recap. And there's one thing from the panels today that we wanted to bring Remember up. It? Uh -oh. Um, oh, oh. The art, from the art panel. Oh, no. The spoilers. <laughs> what did I do? No. What did you do? So they always, they always just hack you, Jeff. Like, where's the skin that you show? I was actually genuinely surprised. Yeah, I can't really complain much. about a fully free battle pass. You were allowed so, I mean. to show on the art panel. Oh, wow. So yeah. someone gave you permission to show it. Well, or ask for goodness. <laughs> or ask for goodness. That's how we <laughs> work around here. That's how we work. Yes, but we were, you know, we've been working on Warframe for quite some time. And we we're always looking for new ideas for our next Warframes. And we got the opportunity to work with industry legend from comics to Oh, video they're games. going to talk about Nomad. the and werewolf Nomad Warframe. I've been working on a wolf needs a buff. Oh, iterating on it and bringing all these ideas to the table. And I don't know. I'm going to have to with a use it again to that we're going to determine if I feel like it needs a buff of our wolf-inspired Warframe. Let's take a look at what um, Joe Mad worked on. We had Eric Vetter here oh, working man. from the DE side. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's uh, a thing of beauty. She will be having quite the, uh, the the power set, and you can look forward to hearing more about that uh, in your future dev streams. Just howlingly good. Howlingly <laughs> good. Wow, he's been saving that. How long, how long have, has this been, like, this has been, been requested for? The, 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 oh, the, the yeah. wolf-inspired? Well, I feel like, like you started this, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think no, I did. No, vampires. <laughs> oh, yeah. Other yeah. Things. Monsters, guys. Is that ice? <laughs> monsters no, I in. think that's monsters supposed to... No, I think it's not ice-themed. Oh, they were never out. No. It's wolf-themed, uh, and I think it's supposed to be wolf-spirit-themed. There's some... Um, it's not a coincidence that we were, mm. you know, lucky enough to work with Joe Mad on, on this. Yeah, I mean, we're... Everyone here at D, we're huge fans of Joe Mad. He's just, you know, he like you were saying. He's and all just, the games that him and his team work on oh at Airship. Oh, my God, the, 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 the team okay, at yeah. Airship. He has a 90s kid, though. 90s comics and stuff? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Come on. Totally. Yeah, you, yeah. Can't, you can't not. And, and the team that they have at Airship Syndicate is a fantastic one. And we're excited to kind of talk about the next steps that DE is taking in partnership what? with Airship Syndicate. Maybe we should roll it. Let's take a look. Wait, what? Hey, Tenno hey, Khan! Don't swivel, Steve. You're already swiveling. I know. <coughs> Ooh, right. Drop some hot bars, Joe. I can talk louder. I'm the loudest talker. <laughs> Do you have enough tape for all this? Too? They don't have tapes anymore, Steve. It's the future. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like we had great banter. We did have great banter? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most cool. I don't know. This is Joe Mad from Airship Syndicate. Hope you guys are enjoying TennoCon. Unfortunately, we couldn't be there this year. I did have the honor of designing a brand new Warframe. Hope you had a chance to check it out. A lot of people have asked what we're working on next, and we haven't been able to talk about it. It's something we're really excited about. It's our best game yet. Hey, I'm Steve Matarera, one of the lead designers at Airship Syndicate. I'm Ryan Stefanelli. I'm the president and game director here at Airship, and we're really excited to be partnering with Digital Extremes on our next big thing. It's a third-person action game, new original characters, original world, uh, never been seen before. We never would have tried this type of game right away. That's why we started. Wait, with hold on, what? Chasers. Then we dabbled. What's this about? With Darksiders Genesis, and now we're we're going all in with this new game. This is our biggest game yet. We're building a much larger world than we ever have before. Whoa. But for this, it's really more of a world that you live in, potentially every day for years to come. 
We've been fans of many genres over the years, and we've sort of worn those influences on our sleeve. One genre we never really thought that we could touch on is <laughs> MMOs. For us, like, we played a lot of games together online, so it's fun for us to finally get to work on a game like this where we're building a world that players can experience together. I don't think we would have tackled this type of online game without a partner like DE, a group that knows how to do it. I was actually one of the people who bought into the initial Founders Pack. I still have my Excalibur Prime. You know, Warframe is touted as one of the most successful games of its kind. It's always evolving and introducing exciting stuff, and we definitely do not want to blunder through something like that. This game is really character focused. The characters have personalities, they have relationships with each other. We want players to feel excited about all of the different characters that they're going to have in their arsenal. We're mixing in a lot of modern sensibilities and modern technology into those fantasy definitions to create something okay. brand new. What makes this game special is the sense of adventure. Okay, so it's an, it's an MMO, right? It's got an identity. People are going to be so jazzed. This project represents really being able to like, go big. To everyone that has supported us since the beginning, I can honestly say this game is for you guys. We didn't get to say a lot of details and specifics about the game, but we'd love for everyone to talk to us on Discord, get involved in our social channels, and get ready for this December's TGAs where... Off oh, RPG all... rather, yeah. Okay, I guess we'll hear more about it at the Game Awards, see what it's all about. I don't know anything about this at all. Nice. Indeed, indeed. <clears throat> you can check out the Game Awards later this year to see what exactly the game is. But and I get the feeling it's not Warframe related per se. Amazing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Why me? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Well, <laughs> well, sorry. well that's Soul sorry. Frame. I can't believe he's got like a founder pack. I know. And he's got it's so exciting. And, 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 like, that's just, crazy. Just you wait, folks. Wow, We're that's gonna, so awesome. Good games are coming. Everything's coming. That's, that's wait, that it, it actually is, what, is a Warframe RPG. No <laughs> shots. Yeah, I don't remember. We already have that. It's it? called Warframe. This is it. Those things. What did you call it? I don't know. I think you just so, called it a partner. I think I just said partner. No, there's, no. no. there's, there's more. It was a TM. Nice. It was a TM. I don't know. A partnering? Did I make it an active verb? Partnership. That's yuck. Workshop that. Well, okay. we could see Surely, we could it's a partnership. See chat, they would tell us. Yeah, chat. Chat would, would definitely be telling us. Yes. But we don't have a chat feed. We yes. just have. We just, just have us. Uh, us. Time yeah. to talk Warframe. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Oh, Warframe. Remember okay. that? Yes, we have been working hard on you know getting everyone ready to see a taste of the Duvieri paradox. You're probably seeing some key elements on stage. But what if we told you we were working on another update as well? Oh, something for the post New War side of Warframe. I think all of us, you know, came out of the new Isn't war. Isn't Duvuri the really post-new war December. side of Warframe as well? Just over seven months. So Viso dating sim? Please. <laughs> Yo, Spoilers. Viso dating sim. Spoilers. Oh. One of us is going to be very excited about that. We, we really want to take what we did with the new war and all the amazing content in it and bring it to you, Tenno, in a new update. Let's take a look at what's coming soon. Okay, let's have a look. What do you got? <laughs> Oh shit! Who's this? It's Carl! It's Carl, isn't it? He's back! Yes! Oh my man! He survived! Wait, what? Naira? Naira's back? Oh, wait, they're all back! Wait, what? Oh my god! Veilbreaker 
is an update that cool brings name too. Veil Breaker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! Like yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. We're gonna give that one to you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pick it up. Breaking veils. Breaking veils. But Veil Breaker is an update that's dedicated to the state of the origin system that you know after the new war. So if you played the new war, a lot of things. Is the audio choppy again? Um, and if you haven't, you'll be oh, God, introducing God. yourself to a lot of those characters soon. We hope. You know, maybe. Conflict and everything. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it. Didn't play the new war, yeah. but a lot of what of that video showcased. Hopefully, you can really infer where we're going with it. Mm -hmm. And um, there's going to be a ton to talk about. And we are hoping that the Veil Breaker update is going to come out before the Duviri Paradox. We'll keep you posted on development updates, dev streams, but we're hoping you can get your hands on it this year. So mm -hmm. uh, we'll have dev streams to talk about it. Uh, but we wanted to introduce you, Tenno, to <laughs> Veil Breaker as an update. Uh, show you a tra trailer of what you can definitely expect in it. Uh, but one thing absent from that trailer mm. that's a very mm. important part of the Veil Breaker update mm. is the fact that we are going to be releasing our 50th unique Warframe. 50. 5-0. Five 5-0, zero. Oh. Five zero, baby. Oh, oh man. Yeah. And that's oh, what I think I need a moment. Yeah. It kind of hurts. Jesus Christ, man. I've been around for 50 we Warframes. Oh, my Scott God. Scott remember this. Yeah. We were pitching this game uh, when we didn't think we could do it independently mm -hmm. way back in... Uh, is that 10 years ago now? 10, 10 years, years ago. ago 10 yeah. years ago. And I think, how many Warframes have we Call is the new Warframe? Yes. And they yes, I mean, Call yeah, is the new Warframe. I think we were like four, six. Four six. that were really yeah. solid four, and six, six that were. And, a, yeah. a, a problem and one of them was yeah. Mag. Well, like, are you worried you're going to run out of ideas for Warframe? Just because you already got yeah. six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we're at and now 50. Now we have 50. Exciting. We're at 50. I'm just checking on our servers. As you know, we do an ambitious live event. Everything. Oh, how's everything going? We're oh. just taking a look. Sit tight. Are... Sit tight, everyone. Um, we won't. Uh, if you're having connectivity issues, don't worry. Team is on it. Sit tight. We'll okay. get you updates. Oh, soon. so things are heating up in the hamster. Things are heating up. Okay, the hamster is wheels very fast. I can hear. I can hear them. I should have changed the wood chips. Yes. You know, and yes. it's just they're not going to yeah. run as fast. Yes. Okay. With yeah. Frame number 69. So on the That'll be a frame one. topic, uh, we're going to be debuting fully in a, uh, well, why don't we give you a little tease of how you're going to learn about the 50th Warframe. Oh, oh this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, a gladiator Warframe. Oh. Styanax. Styanax will be making his reveal in an animated short that we will be uploading closer to the launch. It's not even a short. Right? No, it's like a, it's like a six-minute little short film yep. partnered with uh, Passion Paris, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Um, but wow. We'll be showing that uh, very, you know, closer to the Veil Breaker information bits yeah. and everything. Yep. But that is Styanax. He is our 50th unique Warframe, and mm -hmm. you can learn all about yep. him and his... That looks so sick, honestly. It's, it's honestly really great. That's, That's right up my Gorgeous. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. yeah. His... Wow. I'm excited for 50, people to see 50. It. Can you believe? And it's going to give me, like, uh, from then till when it releases, from now until it releases, I'm going to be practicing how to say the name of the Styanax? Yeah, I'm going to be practicing. His yeah. origin yeah. is of that of the noble. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all either, mate. Styanax. That was crazy. Styanax. Styanax. Yeah, okay, forget it. You got it. Yeah. Nailed right. it. Megan, no, it is easy to say. I'm yeah. so, being a goof. Yep. To recap, for those, for those of you doing bullet points for your viewers or for your mm. videos, fail breaker. Coming soon, Styanax, the Stinax. 50th Warframe. No, he's not, she's not saying Cyanax, she's saying Styanax. in that trailer. Very true. Oh. Tough to say. Yeah. yeah, you're just making up words now. I'm just making up words. Okay. Yep. Now, now, Megan, I noticed you have some stuff on your lap. You know, I just thought I'd sit here with a bunch of things on my lap. I, I just can't. Keep these segways are getting so sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> I just love holding things. Is there a reason you have stuff on your lap? Oh, no, I just, yeah. I love it. No, I would like to give it away. I don't want to be holding it anymore. <laughs> oh, I want I see. you to be holding it. Uh, we have a couple giveaways oh, from... Oh, is it your iPad with your notes? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> don't touch it. 
Yeah, yeah, we have uh, we were lucky enough to be sponsored uh, by HP Omen to give away some stuff. I got a full laptop. Okay. Oh, look at that wolf. Wait, what? These got assets. Don't worry, it's coming up. This is um um HP Omen. They have been giving us some sweet one of a kind things to give away. Okay, cool. First bundle we're gonna give away live. Twitch Picker is going to be the headset and the keyboard with the custom keycaps. I like that we have assets, but you made Megan hold it. Yeah. Did I make you? I made myself. That's what I thought. I requested that the items be here so that I could hold it. This is my own fault. Anyways, yeah. custom PC and also the custom headset. So it's running oh, right wow. now. Where's so the headset? Here we go. Right here. Oh, oh, the winner. Okay. Oh my God. The winner is, <laughs> I can't read that. Oh, yes. It's, it's, yes. it's AO92561053. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. That is a fake account. That is 100% a freaking bot. One billion percent. Don't even at me. That's a bot. No shot, right? That is definitely a bot. All right. That account, please whisper at Warframe Twitch channel with your in-game alias and your shipping information so we can send you this keyboard. You Come on, D.E. Come on, D.E. There's no way that's a real account. No way. This one too. You know? Can I see a laptop? Yeah, no, of course. Don't, He's going to take it. Give it a oh, shot. Oh. He drops it, <laughs> you can't have it, but you can have it. We're also now giving away this laptop. And, and headset as well. Another pair of headsets uh, via the Twitch picker. So, Dean, roll it. You it's, made. it's a more complicated one for Sheldon. Do you guarantee the drop? Oh, man. That would be pretty nuts. Oh, oh. bit of feedback. Feedback. Bit of an echo. This oh. one is Her Esther Palispuff. He is derpalus. <laughs> derpalips. Uh, Crazy. life hack and He is derpalips. Wow. Where's <laughs> Dirt Pals? No way. Oh my god, Something, it's um, I don't think that's a fake account, folks. I'm sorry. I don't think that's a fake account. I think that's a real one. Opalips. Are you zooming in with your camera? Yes. <laughs> I am. He's meta. Dianax. <laughs> oh, no. uh, you won our custom laptop giveaway oh, wow. with headset. Mm -hmm. uh, this is yours. You need to message our Twitch chat mm -hmm. in whispering. Send it to us as a direct message on Twitch. Your shipping address so we can... Yes. Or broadcast it to everybody. No, Just don't do, do not do that. Thank you to Owen for uh, setting this over and creating these. I uh, can't wait for those two winners to get them. It's amazing. And this off my lap. There you go. And maybe we should also do Power Plat. Oh, wouldn't you like 100,000 platinum? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like I sure that? would. 100,000. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. They're giving away the 100K like plat now. I know. <laughs> Ask <Yeah>. for forgiveness, <laughs> not permission. Like, what, 100,000? That's how I work. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. What the hundred thousand platinum? Quad ver. Wow. Quad ver. That's the quad underscore. That was quick. This is not going to be a one hour thing. This is going to be a one and a half hour thing. I'm calling it now. Good job. How are how are we holding up? Should we kick off the theater or? Glenn says we recovered. Oh, good. The 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 swamping the swamping web situation real quick. Okay. <laughs> to make sure <laughs> to make sure that I'm in place. Would you want me to take all the belongings? Sure. I'll take a laptop. No, I'll just give it to you. <laughs> Here you go, Sheldon. Oh man. All right. What we're Sorry, gonna do? winners. Okay. You're never getting these. <laughs> yeah, Sheldon's taking them. Let me do a little. So so far, um, you have got to see the Veil Breaker update reveal. You've got to see a lot of uh, you know things that are in live build for you and. <laughs> the Jesus Stein. Jesus Stein. Amazing. And we are now going to go into the world reveal live gameplay demo of the Dubier Paradox. Oh, here we go. Um, right now, it's literally time. Okay. Oh, I'll that away. This way. All so right. I have to go over to the demo PC. So yep. I'm just going to draw my notes here. Uh, anything you want to say? Well, I thought on. we were going to stall more or something. Yeah, I, I just have a look at chat. This what feels sudden to me. There it is. is time. Oh, we're, uh, we're ready to rock. Oh, my All gosh. Right. Are you guys ready? Is everyone, is everyone ready for this? No. As I walk over the stage ceremoniously. <laughs> just anything, so you know. Anything to say? Oh. I just I want to say like this isn't a volume. This is yeah. I'm like, I I'm actually just moved over to I'm a different like, spot. Like, I think I'm in a different like server real. with the with the thingo. <laughs> like an Obi Wan show. It's not a you green know? screen. Like it's, <laughs> it's physical. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay, we're gonna sit quiet. You, okay. You guys ready? Well, what's there to say? Do we? Is there, no, is there no like um, camera for you on? No, no, no. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's okay. get started. Just a voice. Just Wait, a voice. get in game. <laughs> a yeah, voice please. from the void. If you aren't in game, go to the Daviri Amphitheater on Earth. Megan's there now, and we're going to start the show. Yeah, this is going to be we go. a little kind of interleaved show. Oh, look how cool this is. Yeah, awesome. Oh, that's the... That's okay, so the people are there, so things are working. Among the things are working. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn on game audio because there's actually something happening here. But first, a 
dedication to him by whose will we are gathered here. It's just the brightest As we wait for the Deviri the Paradox, there's something everyone should know about it, which is that it's going to come earlier in the game than you'd expect. Mm. Wait, what? The Paradox is indeed a paradox. And to that end, you may find yourself wondering if you are required to play the new war, to play the Dabiri Paradox. And the answer is no. no. What? We'll be earlier in the Warframe journey, and we're going to be taking it in lots of strange and weird directions to that end. Because Whoa, it's a paradox, seriously? if not an anomaly in time and space. And for us, taking all those themes and pushing them into this update has been a lot of fun. And frankly, quite exciting for the future of Warframe. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. The Deviri Amphitheater is live on all platforms, and our gracious host, Bombastine, will invite you to participate in the Deviri Paradox Amphitheater experience. OK. Get in and there, if it doesn't now. start soon, I'm just going to wait. Just, okay. We're waiting. Go oh. back to the couch. We're letting everyone get in. Everyone needs to be able to see this. The, we can see the, the numbers rising. We have a little ticker over on the side. Every relay keeps fill, filling up. Thanks, guys, for coming in. But we're going to give them a, a few more minutes. We don't want to start the demo without uh, everybody in place. So bear with us. Oh, 100 more. 200 more. Scott, <laughs> Scott, Scott's not even watching the ticker. Okay. <laughs> Scott's there. I seem to be a okay on my, on my end. Go. All right. I'll just go ahead with the demo. All right. Oh, Do it. We're going to start. You ready? Oh, hold on. So Megan, Megan's getting, it's, it's making its way through. The demo is about to begin. Packets are handed <sighs> away. Ever get that feeling you're stuck, spinning inside your little wheel day in and day out, only to find you're right back where you started? And so it goes, day by day, year by year, spinning and spinning until you're dead. Or in my case, until you're dead inside, never asking, what am I doing this for? Whose dream am I living? Dead. and sentenced to death by royal order of his majesty Dominus wait he's getting Thrax, he's getting executed again of all. get on with it death by impalement Oy. what the Wait, what? He's fine. Huh? <sighs> How curious. That doesn't look good. What the hell was that? Whatever it is, it just brought color into this world. <sighs> Who's... Wait, what? So and the daring knight was slain. I don't know. Was that Lotus's hat? Maybe not. You reckon? The hand ballas cut off from Lotus. Oh, yeah. No, you're probably right. I thought it was a Tenno hand for some reason. But I was thinking like, wait, no, we never lose our hand. Oh, stealth mission. Oh. Huh? 
Wait, he's got void powers? Okay. Well, yeah, he should. Yeah, when she was an Eidolon, yeah. Hit him! Oh my god, you just straight up disintegrated him, man! What's that? Shit. Oh, nice one, Aura Worm. Yeah, this world looks mad. Hey, dead. What's gotten into you? Oh no, you have to start from here again. Okay, we're no longer surprised by the fact that he has void powers. Okay, makes sense. So it seems like he's actually experiencing death loops. Not necessarily death loops, but he's experiencing... Maybe he's actually experiencing eternalism through and through. Because every time he dies, he also doesn't die. There's the worm. Take... Yeah, knock him off his horse. Oh, shoot him off his horse. Go, 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 go. Come on, come, go, go, come on. You make it before the worm blows up the bridge? And then behind you? Oh no, you're gonna make the jump. Oh, the horse can double jump. Okay. This is the intro quest to the Daviri Paradox. So what you're seeing right now is the onboarding experience. The quest. The king! There goes our honored king! Where? Where? He gave me no eyes to see him! There! I think it's him! Sir, will the dragon devour us today? I live to serve even as food! What? Is that a dragon too? There's a dragon too. Did you hear it? Your eyes are treated to what you Someone can tell me how our theater event's going. All right. No worries. Oh. This is an open world experience, but it has a lot of twists. The world. So this is happening. Vibrant, looks rather colorless. This must be an important character of some description. Being the same day, but something has changed. This place can change. This place can change! Oh, you're introducing color into this world. Let's follow and see where we go. Gallop, let's go! We finally have horses in this game. <laughs> Nine years later, we finally have horses in this game. That is incredible. What's happening here? Yeah, we're Dark Souls now. The King! Graces us! I am Bumstein. Oh. oh, the drifter is the king or you queen. Do you remember your courtly playwright? Yeah? Hey, hey, 
I am not. Have you come to join the performance, sire? It would be my deepest honor to see you command the stage. Yonder, you might recover your favorite mask. My favorite mask? Yes, manifest as only you are able. With untold power as only you command. Quick, sire. I can only stall this awful idiot's gallery for a while longer. Put on the mask, kiddo. Well, he's not actually a kiddo anymore. He's a actual dude. I think we have dude. to go find a mask. <coughs> Perhaps we can get some assistance. Whoa. So he has an ability that is literally golden instinct. Okay. Rams. How do I know this? It's kiddo. Oh, oh, it's the same. <laughs> oh, it's the same mechanic as the as that um me. lock thing from in New War. It's just that now, instead of it being a 2D thing, it's a 3D thing. Oh! Well, there we go. What the hell? God damn, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna have to. We're gonna need practice on that, um. On that, like, lock mechanic during the new war, because this one's going to be slightly more confusing. Back we go. The king returns! And in such a mood as this, he wears. It's working fine for me. So uh, I guess y'all, I guess y'all can experience the uh, thing uh, from me. Somehow I got lucky. Line feet? Of course, sire. Which play? Now here we oh. find ourselves with a very important decision. As you play through the open world Daviri Paradox experience, you're going to be given opportunities to choose your attributes, your build for that particular day, that play session. In oh. this case, players of, veteran players of Warframe, oh, this... even new ones will recognize okay, okay. heat damage as a, you know, a way to get your melee built up. Uh, in this case, we have the option Connor, to instantly even. summon and mount Katar's a loyal cave, now. which happens to be that <laughs> skeletal force I'm riding. And then King's Rebuke, which is uh, a, a decree that- This is literally to Spiral Abyss cards. First, when you, um, Dot. By the way, chat, this is literally Spiral Abyss card. Show this off um, during TennoCon here today. Uh, this is going to be something that you'll have, so you don't need to choose from it normally, but um, we're just going to use it today for the demo. When I bestride, when him, I bestride him, I soar. I, soar. I, am a I, I am a hawk. He trots the he air. He trots the air. The earth sings the when earth he touches it. The earth sings when he touches it. The basest horn so of his hoof. So he's, he's actually horn of his hoof performing horn in the game as well as in the, Hermes. In the demo. Of Hermes. Oh. That's cool. I was on the edge of my seat. Moving. Well done, sire. They love you. Right. Right. Daviri is a strange place. It is a place where your choices will allow you to build builds for your drifter and what's to come. And let's take a look at using that uh, decree right now. There's the horse. Instant horse. But where to next? Yeah, we gotta go to that. I'm taking. I guess we're gonna go to them hands. What the hell is that? 
Oh, it's a... It's an arm. A very paradox open world is a strange place. And it seems as though there's another one of these statues here. Let's take a look at that. I don't know, man. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, shit! Well, that just straight up killed you. I thought I had lost you for a moment, but you don't get to leave. Ah, so now I've chosen my respawn point. I can just get out of the way then. The aura worm node. Friggin' aura worm, god damn. Safety in the caves, Tenno. He's gonna make the jump. Ooh. Double jump. No? The Cave of Daviri. A memory clad in a steel dream. Swifter than bow shots, more loyal than a steadfast soldier's heart. Run through, noble Cave. So that would be the horse. Chat, that would be the horse. It's essentially like an undead armor horse. It's kind of crazy looking, eh? We are in a very strange place, folks. No! Now, of course... No friggin' way! But this is also the introductory quest to the Dubiri Paradox. So we, we'll see where this goes. <laughs> No friggin' way! <sighs> Who the hell is this? The friggin' so You finally took the hand. Is Teshin? What? Finally? Today's the first fool! <laughs> You know how this works. He's back! Would today be the first time? Your ignorance is second only to your apathy. Holy sh... I struggle to comprehend. Is this is like Avalon all over again and Teshin is, is, is Teshin is Merlin? Try Probably. You. <laughs> the other side. Who's trying to help me? <laughs> uh, you are. See for yourself. Excuse me? You should make a choice here, I think. Are we choosing to start a Warframe again? Gotta stay true to the poster boy. <laughs> oh, come on, Be come on, Rebecca. Or not? I thought so. Old dogs and new tricks. Go on, go wallow in your routine. Fine, I'm getting out of here on my own. Oh, now. That would be a surprise, wouldn't it? Take my old blades if you want a chance with that mockery of a Dax. Perhaps we're simply not ready yet. Wait, we're bringing... We're, we're, we're using... Hey! Hey! Until next time. We're unveiled in scars and sorrows. I cannot tell you how long he has dwelled with us. I only know that something See? has come There he is. Old man Teshin. Watch and wait. Too... Too old to deal with this nonsense. But hey, my man's back. Denefius, okay. Son of 
Thraxifus? I don't know. Ooh, got him. Bro. So I don't think he can infuse them with different different elements just yet, as Teshin did during New War. Whoever's the designer of this smokes a lot of weird stuff. It's the entirety of DA, there's something in the water. You can't just stab him, he's undead! Stab him three times? Got him. Four times? Oh, that actually got him. Shit. Jesus Christ, you just straight up murked him. Well, <laughs> looks like I made quick work so of Denpheus, but... I need my rail jack. I need my rail jack. I need to be able to blow this thing up with my rail jack. Chat, I need. Yeah, I need. Rail jack v. Worm gameplay. I'm afraid there's only one way to take down an airborne beast. And I hope I have the tools to do so. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna ride onto it? It has wings! No shot! Wait, I thought the overwhelm was going to show up here. It's not here. It's got wings, chat. Dude, that's friggin' wild. How dare he keep trying to leave? What's out there that's so fascinating? Maybe I should just go there myself. <laughs> Winter 2022. Christmas. It's coming around Christmas. <laughs> and that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, shit. Oh, no. All right. We're caught in the paradox. Did it work? Shut. There it is. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> uh, I'm so easily excitable. But, uh, and it's so glitching out. Awesome. The open world experience coming with the Devere Paradox is going to be. Everything you'd love about Warframe, your builds and everything you know is going to come to you through this drifter's point of view. The experience where you start off as the underdog and as you play through, your decrees will be bound to you for that play session. And we're really trying to play <laughs> That's crazy. experience. 
narrative. I want to fight that thing with my Railjack. In the cave. Yeah. I'm gonna say this right now. I want to fight the worm with my Railjack. Or call forward because of the paradox. Please, D. Please, 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 please give us Railjack v Aura Worm gameplay. Yeah, and you got to see a little bit of that. Would be so dope. Theory amphitheater experience. Yes. We had a live show. Rogue like. Probably. probably. Still right now. You're still in there. The dragon's probably <laughs> roaring around. <laughs> yeah, uh, be Logan, don't be leave because Bombastine uh, does have a farewell for you uh, yes. in a bit. But you can hang out, hang out with the dragon, and walk around. I mean, this is an old Tobey Maguire reference, but I was thinking an alt title. Well, boss. Pleasant <laughs> yeah, well, boss. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. You know? No? Yeah. No, that's that not landing for anyone, eh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, we're we just not laughing. Very good. That was unbelievable. I just yeah, love the color. The dragon and the flying around the dragon. Yeah, stunning. I love that we're going to get a Pegasus, man. That's nuts. Looking. And that old guy. Who's that old guy? Who's that old guy? With those swords. I feel like I recognize his voice. I recognize him, but I want to know more. <laughs> oh my god. And the whole... Oh, yeah. The yeah. cave and their winged... The winged beasts. The, the, winged the beasts. descents from the skies. A little bit of Shakespeare. I mean, it's, it's got everything you need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yep. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay reveal of the Devere Paradox. That was the quest or part of the quest for you to start off your journey. And we're going to be working very... And that's this year. Very, very hard on it to get yes. it. Yes. Like, the team. And we had one of the relay events worked. No, I think we had two. We had Teshin and... Oh, we had, yes. We had two we had of them worked. the horse, yes. Yep. Yeah. They were, right. I think people were able to experience uh, some of it. My PC was having a bit of a struggle. So, oh. you know what? Maybe we'll play that experience again at a later date. Just like we, we did last year. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. We'll do it sure. again. For sure. If, if, I guess if this was coming from when they added Gara and Eidolons. Wait, what do you mean? Our IT team is working right now feverishly to try to even get those last two working so i'm sure yeah, appreciate their work uh and appreciate of course everyone's interest and in cramming in there and wanting yeah. to watch it with us and yeah oh yeah beautiful mm -hmm. great job yeah. i just nice love work. the way the color works and just that thing in the sky the cloud Mm -hmm. Oh God! At the end. Yeah, there's oh. going to be a lot uh, with this update. You may have noticed the world changed a lot when we came out, and moods are a huge part of what will make oh, wow. each day and let me just different. Mute the game audio because this dragon is very bloody loud. Yeah. yeah, watch it. Awesome. Aura worm is just constantly is that, popping is off. Kind of. <laughs> 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 kind of not. I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. I, I probably was supposed to be prepared to have like a more structured speech, but uh, you know, it's why start now? We've only why, been doing why be structured years. now? <laughs> why start? Let's do this. Uh, but yeah, I'm, this is. I guess we wanted to share with our community um, some news about the growth of. D they say something about and cross play, cross save, Jackson Stroff. Yeah, so basically uh, the idea is I that cross play is going to start doing internal, <laughs> not internal, like community yeah, testing, kind of do this, community right? stress yeah. testing very soon. Yeah. Uh, just, but before you know, they do that, they're going to get Barracketeers shop to basically line up for every single platform. Because, you know, right now, right now consoles are two an entire cycle behind. So they're going to get that, like, normal. Normalized. They want to normalize the cycle <laughs> for everyone. Oh, no. What the hell is this? No. Uh, normalize the cycle for everyone uh, in two weeks, oh, yes. and then but yeah, the stress test you know, for crossplay will happen. Game, and then when they get crossplay uh, sorted out, ten years then they'll start uh, and stress uh, testing and setting up cross save. Part of our lives, and yeah, and weeks. and we made it in a way that that we hadn't made games before, which was with all of you at home, uh, supporting us. Mm -hmm funding us when we didn't have uh, a publisher and we were kind of striking out on our own and and uh, this is something that we are going to try again uh, and as uh, you know the younger generation uh, is going to take over Warframe and and, and phase in <laughs> that you're old, you're the, old, old. the old yeah. yeah yeah crossplay is finally <laughs> soon TM maybe, maybe yeah maybe exactly a little bit of pepper left in the salt uh, the old buggers are going to try to do it again with you at home and uh, I think that's probably all there is to say about it for now we have prepared for you mm -hmm. a taste of that experience that we want uh, you to join us with uh, its creation so thank you very much for that amazing mm -hmm. the very demo yeah. and yeah it's time to see the next story that we're adding to the studios you know legacy going forward i hope yeah. i hope you like it wait what's this
that began with a song pitched sweet and solemn. They that what the hell is this? Came hollow, fallen. The children raised in castle beloved. What the hell is this? Made hunters, grave of others, not. Remember this. We are a family. Oh, dead. Wait, lost. Yet young the pale of Odin's sky live verdant fields of rain and wild. Where Roman beasts of Alka's lost remember still and tell the ghost. Wait, did you just say Tenno Ghost? So this is still Warframe, is it? What the hell is this? It's a giant moose! Just grab this dude by the arm. Oh, nice ass. It's got a metal arm. Birds on the nipple. Come on, wake up. Wait, don't tell me this is this is also drifter related. No shot. Is this guy meant to be the drifter? So listen well. No, not necessarily. She. Wait. They are their souls within your frame. to earth her power true are they making wait what is this Got a blue arm. Seriously, he looks like a friggin' Tenno. You're telling me that the next the next thing after Duviri is like the origin of like everything. That helmet looks like freaking what's his face from thinking from from Demos. Lloyd. That helmet looks like Lloyd from Demos, dude. Is this? Yeah, I, I don't know if this is Warframe. What is happening here? What is it? Seriously, this kid looks like a Tenno right now with that mask. He really looks like a Tenno with that mask. I'm not joking. Join us, won't you? Oh, it is Soul Frame. Oh, shit. That's what that is. Wow. 
What is soul frame then? I no, I don't, I don't really understand this concept. What soul frame, dude? Is it basically just dark souls of? Can someone explain to me what soul frame actually is? Because I've seen you guys use that name before. It's Dark Souls but with Warframe shit. So they are making a spin-off. Wow, there it is, dude. God damn. What an inc- That was incredible. Javiri is looking hype. Soul Frame came out of almost nowhere, but y'all been talking about Soul Frame, so you know, there we go. I am very excited, dude. I'm not that that was great. Site is dead. Soulframe.com doesn't work? What? What do you mean? Oh, one. Oh yeah, Soul Frame is down. Too many people want to check it out. <laughs> Soul Frame is an Australian rock band. Okay. All right. Cool. Reminds me of the last Tenocon. Yeah. Okay, well, I've just been yeeted from this thing. Alright. Well, I'm tired. I'm gonna call it a day. I've basically pulled an all-nighter. God friggin' damn it. There it is, dude. Javiri and Soul Frame. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I want my Pegasus too, my dude. I really want my Pegasus too. Let's, uh, since we have so by many Kate, people here, chat. let's do something that I haven't done in a very long time, folks. Let's do something that I haven't done in a very long time. Uh, we're going to, we're going to raid a stream. So give me a sec. I'm going I'm going to figure this out. Hey, person with disability, how's it going, man? Yes, yeah, Soul Frame, dude. I can't believe they actually ended on Soul Frame. So that's actually happening. That's kind of wild. God damn, man. God friggin' damn. Can I guide with points? Nah, I want to raid another... I want to raid a small Warframe... Ch um, I want to raid a small Warframe stream. That's what I want to do. Where's Warframe? Where the bloody hell is Warframe? It should be pretty massive right now. Warframe. There you are. Okay. Let's find a small. Let's find a. Let's find a small child. I mean, new D game is gonna be fun. Well, let's see. Hey, we'll see. But yeah, I. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited, man. Uh, of course, I'm excited. Let's find a small channel. Someone with uh, single digit views. And we'll raid them. Seeing shit in black and white really fucked up my eyes. Yeah. And then and then the mechanic is you can throw color at them. That's how that works, folks. That's how that works. You can throw color at them. Ain't that a kick in the pants. Okay. Also, I just graduated this month, so yeah, currently unemployed, lol. Okay, well, good luck finding a job. Okay, here we go. We're into the we're into the single digits. So this dude is MR30. Let's have a look at what he has to say. See if he's uh see if he responds to chat.
since it has to do with the op operators, it's going to be the wall. What's up? The operator drifter. Drifter. Let's see if this guy responds to I'm chat. I'm going to assume if it's a drifter thing, which means most likely you'll have to have your operator unlocked. Yeah, if it's this guy doesn't read like chat, I would I would just move on to the next guy. Post war thingy. Like post new war. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Chat's popped up on his side. Post war within, my bad. So we have that, right? Okay. And Hey, ca hey, category. How you? There doing? we go. He actually responds we're to chat. We're just discussing what just happened over the stream. All right, we're gonna raid okay. this guy. So we have that. Uh, let's go over the Daruvi paradox. So. All right, everyone. Looks like it's gonna be. Thanks for like watching. A, um, I'll see you guys next time. Um, probably no stream Red tonight. Red Dead Redemption. Cause I need to sleep, yeah, and you know, able, so this is not tired. Like I've been streaming course. for ten hours, be an open all nighter. And Let's just to call it a day. I'll see you guys later. Not okay, we can talk about all this you know, shit until the cows come system. home later on, okay, we folks? So, then until feel, then, you know, thanks for watching. All if you enjoyed this stream, don't forget to follow. Feel free to sub if you want. If you're watching this now on YouTube or in the future, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace! God, um... Uh, wait, that was very anticlimactic. Hold on. on the map. There Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this. Build Until next time. And defeat the main. Peace. According to what I saw, that's what's going on. Um. It looks really good. Oh my god, Katagari, you just raid- Whoa, 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 I was not expecting the raid. Yo, yo, yo. Everyone who just joined the stream, welcome. Let me get the music back on. Okay, raid. Hold on, I'm playing off the- Is it playing off the right computer? Thank you for the follow, uh, the straw goes. Kate raid? Hey man, how y'all doing? God damn, Miso is taken. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, 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 everyone. God, thank you, Katagari. Hey, hold on. Let me get this out. Hope I'm doing this correctly. I've been streaming for 10 hours. Jesus Christ. Damn. Let me make sure this, out here. this command works. My shout out command is not working. Why isn't it working? Can you go check all my shoutout commandos? Really quick? Uh, elements, right? Thank you for the follows, everyone. Thank, thank, thank you. Uh, Cephalon Mara, uh, Orochi X825. Uh, thank you all for joining. What's up, Azza? How you doing? Good luck, buddy. Haha. <laughs> Servers just crashed. Yeah, my uh, my game's freezing. I'm gonna yeah. see if I can get the game. Oh, it logged me. Out. Hold on. Let me see if I can get the game back up for y'all. I can't even click play, bro. I closed my game. I made a terrible mistake. Servers are being really slow today. I mean, well, it always happens. That's expected. Yeah, but not this bad. Yeah, servers are not responding right now. Personnel, person with disability. They go to all brittle server. I mean, dude, it's like <laughs> over 300,000 people. That's what I'm saying. I wonder what's gonna happen. If any of them misbehave, you let me know and I'll sort them out. There's something fierce. Oh, I'm trying to get my stupid shout out command. Hold on. I don't see it, though. I don't know why stream elements of. Hey, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> God. I'll catch you later, man. I'll check out your stream. But thank you, thank you, thank you for the raid, man.